Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. Uh, this is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, Ruby and Pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Ho Chanda. I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Ho Chanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Ho Chanda. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Well, good morning, a very warm welcome to Ho Chanda. So the live event starts right now. We've got uh, our live hours beginning and a great hour to kick things off with Creative Grid. So uh, let me introduce you to the lovely Natasha, my co-host. Hello. Good morning. How, How are, are you? you? You are definitely a morning person. <laughs> yeah, can't deny it. Because you, you use it normally, even when you're on and early, I get up at four in the morning. Yeah. And that's only when I work early. Yeah. That's your standard. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. How do you do it? You're like superwoman. Well, no, because when I was coming here a couple of days a week and then uh, it just got to the stage where it just messed with my body clock. So I was like, yeah. do you know what? I'll just get up at four every morning, get a whole load of stuff done and it's easy. Amazing. So right. it just, it just yeah. became easier rather than miss going from one to the other. Yeah. Well, if you have got up early, welcome. We got, I say, Creative Grids, always a fun hour if you are a soft crafter. <laughs> For anyone who's not familiar with Creative Grids, can you explain a little bit about the concept? Oh, 
Oh, you're in for an absolute treat. So Creative Grids is a UK-based company uh, run by lovely Rachel and her family. Uh, started with her mum, Sheila, and uh, they're based in Leicester. So, you know, lo quite local, really, yeah. to here. And... Um, they are renowned for the grip that these rulers have. So on each of the rulers, what you'll see is like an opaque bit. You can sort of see it a little bit there. Um, yeah, so those circular bits, anywhere where it looks just a little bit different in tone, yeah. that is your inbuilt non-slip grip. So some rulers are just straight, straight yeah. acrylic, straight plastic. They slide Everywhere. all over the place. Yeah. And if that had been the case, when I started quilting, I wouldn't have got very far mm. because it used to scare me witless to have a rotary cutter and something that slipped on my fabric. Yeah. I would waste fabric. I was nervous of my fingers. Mm. It really, but I was so lucky that actually quite early on I discovered these Jeez. and I've never looked back yeah. because they've got this, it, it feels like not sandpaper exactly but it's sort no. of it's sort of that texture but it's not going to rub off it doesn't wear off you don't because some people try and put like little sticky rubber things yep. on the bottom of their rulers anything to try and make them grip mm -mm, nothing this will grip and the concept is fantastic and each of the rulers has different things to look at yeah. um, and they're making quilting fun they're making it easy they're making it accessible and uh, and lots of the traditional quilters that I talk to and that I've worked with uh, they they struggle away to make these intricate blocks and then I go but have you tried tried this and like, what 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 how and because each one helps you trim back so that you get an accurate quarter of an inch or they'll cut away your dog ears we'll talk more about dog ears later uh, it's less painful than it sounds uh, then you are gonna get that those perfect points and it is that's the holy grail as soon yeah. as you start quilting you want that perfect point Let's and that that's perfection. what you're getting with this with safety uh, and one thing else uh, got to point out is the fact that you do pay a premium if you get pre-cut fabric so if you are going to get your charm packs your layer cakes they you're paying for the labor of to get them cut you're able to do that now so dip into your stash uh, we have got some new grids on the show everything will be dispatched from the 24th so only a week you don't have to wait long here uh, this is your six inch trim tool so what will we be working on here then Natasha Oh, so this is going to be able to create lots of different looks. So um, many blocks in one. So they're, they're just three of the ideas here. When you get your grids, don't throw away the little black, um, the black instructions that come with it because that is, that's just great. But you'll also see a QR reader scanner there. Yeah. There are videos that back up each of these. So if you are Perfect. unsure, there's a video that will show you how to work with these grids. So with this, um, we're going to be able to make all sorts of different things, including the snail trail block, which mm. is that one that spins. It's got lots of right. different names, yeah. but here it's called the snail trail block. You and you can see, see that bottom. spinning around. Yeah. Uh, what we'll do, the best way to really appreciate these are seen in action. So I'll be quick uh, down the counter, show you everything that we have, and then we'll let Natasha demonstrate. That's your first option, uh, the six inch tool, 20 pounds, 94 pence your price, 522396. We're gonna move on, uh, we've got more for you. So another new, do uh, new today, this is your eight inch, 2294 is your price, 423087, your item number. Similar concept, well, same concept, just Different on a size. bigger scale. So yeah. if you want to work on that larger scale, uh, 423087, your item number. Going to move on. Now we've got a wave ruler. So as the name suggests, it allows you uh, to create that waved effect on your projects. 2395 is your price. That's 12 inches in size. Uh, 645527, your item number. So what kind of effects? I know it's a waved effect, but how would we incorporate a wave into uh, our projects then, Natasha? So it might be that you just want to have a wavy border. It nice. might be that you want the edge of your block, of your quilt, to be wavy. It might be that you want to have a break in the middle of your quilt and create a wave that goes through it. There are lots and lots of different ways. Or it might be that you just want to have strips of curves going through. Uh, yeah. going through and, and that's the look that you're going for so either you can create a big block of a wave going through um, it, so many different options yeah. Uh, are we going to be seeing this today? Yeah, yeah we are. of course we are. Uh, 2395 your price there, 645-527 your item number. We're going to move on, we've got more for you. This is very, very useful. Uh, it is your eight and a half by uh, 12 and a half inch ruler. So would we be using here 
uh, as for, this is one of the essentials when you first start out. This, this is, is, your is kind of size. Yeah. yeah. It's not as sexy as the others. It is your bread and butter one that you will yeah. use day in, day out. The others so are a little bit more exciting, maybe, but this is the one that you will go to. This, this is your slipper. This is your comfy slipper of rulers that you will come back to. It is your friend. Um, and the thing with Creative Goods, you'll see white numbers and black numbers. So the white numbers there are your inch increments. But if you spin it around upside down, there we go, then what you'll notice is all of a sudden those black numbers, they've got inch and a half increments. Oh. So rather than trying to find that, that middle, oh, that yeah, halfway yeah. point in those inches, just spin it around and it's on there. And the really beautiful thing, because these are quilters uh, creating for quilters they know our needs so on one side where it's uh, where it's the inch and a half the the opaque grip bit is to a half an inch okay. and on the other side it's a quarter of an inch so they're they're the numbers that we use all, all the, time. the time so they're there as a quick reference and if you want inches use your ruler one way up if you want inch and a half spin it around brilliant I love Just that. Just brilliant. That, I mean, that in itself Genius. will make it will make work so much easier. Eighteen ninety five your price there. Eight one two five eight two your item number. Huh. Let's talk about stripology. For someone who is not familiar with stripology, it will revolutionise yep. how you create yep. and cut your fabric. So, what is the concept? So, the concept is being able to cut strips of fabric quickly, easily, safely. So, it's mm. going to save you time. It's going to save you money. So, not only can you cut your strips. I mean, this is the mini. So, this is going to trim back your blocks, and you're going to be when you're working with smaller amounts of fabric, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this is absolutely perfect. Then you've got the uh, the large size, and then the extra large. We haven't got those two on the show, but okay. the concept is to be able to cut back safely, quickly, and efficiently and easily. So you can also you can now create your own two and a half inch strips, but also your own charm packs. So if you've bought a charm pack at a premium, then of course you can then cut all your planes and everything else to match, and it be exactly right. Because we pay yep. for yep. charm packs. It is that time yep. uh, it's taken somebody could to cut it for you, and that's why yeah. if you get a say a half meter a meter of fabric and cut it's your yourself, your most cost effective way, right? Yeah, that's it. But uh, all your scraps, uh -huh. cut them down into charm pack size. Yes. You bought Don't your fabrics because you love them, so why not do uh, a complete mishmash quilt in all your favourite fabrics? I like that. Just cut down from your scraps. You will use this and you will love it. Thirty-seven <laughs> ninety-five is your price. Four three four five one five your item number. Okay, now we've got our six and a half by six and a half inch ruler. Just going to show you this. So uh, smaller scale, fourteen forty-nine your price there. Four six five 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 three your item number. When would we use this? All the time. All, All the time. The time. Um, sometimes, you know, we're just working on smaller blocks and we just don't need such a large one. I use this with bag making, purse making all the time, especially if I'm boxing bottoms or anything like that in a bag and I just want to maybe mark off an inch, inch and a half off a corner. Mm. I don't need a great big ruler to do it. This is one that is always in my little bag that I always bring to Hochander with me. It's always with me because it's small, it's compact. And again, you've got the inch and a half and you've got your inches depending on which way around you spin it. It's brilliant. Cut your blocks back, do everything with it. It's a great size. Amazing. Uh, 465, 553 your item number there. Uh, we've got a 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So this might be a ruler that's missing, a size that's missing from your stash or your preferred size. 21.95 is your price here. Um, you see, with rulers, I think a lot of it is preference. Am I right in saying that or not? You need certain rulers for the right uh, job? Yeah. What would you There's say? want and need, isn't there? Uh -huh. You'll start off with like your eight and a half by twelve and a half inch ruler, and then you'll realise that actually, if you've done a twelve inch block, so the um, the first ruler that we looked at, six and a six inch, mm. so six and a half inches. By the time you've put four of those together, you've got a twelve inch block. Yeah, trim it back with that, uh. and so you you get. Um, You've got your four inch, six inch, and your eight inches. These are the, the, the sizes that we see time and again yeah. with quilting. Because if you've got uh, if you've got an eight inch, then you can trim it back. You'll you'll have four inches, four inch blocks that you'll make up into an eight mm -hmm. inch block, four and a half inch blocks that you'll make up into an eight and a half inch block, and then when it's sewn, it's a finished eight inch block. And with your six inches, then you've got four of those makes it's going to make you a nice 
12 inch. Now that's a 12 and a half inch ruler mm -hmm. because you will trim it back with that quarter of an inch edge all the way around, which is your seam allowance. So that's why the ruler is 12 and a half inches, um, but you will be able to trim back any size block with it. It's really useful. And it's 21.95. $21 I mean, that's very good value for money. Uh, 157064, your item number. Now, if you liked your 12 and a half, inches how yes. about 24 uh, here we're having a little look 24 and a half inches good morning Lou good there you morning. go Lou's just come in uh, so here it's your six and a half by 24 and a half inch ruler uh, forgive me for the repetition here Natasha but with regard to this length of ruler why is that important to have in your I'm going to show you I'm going to show you right um, this is a half meter of fabric yeah okay now when that cut, that's 44 inches salvage to salvage, okay? Mm -hmm. When that comes off the bolt, it's folded in half. So Yanis, maths, what's half of 44? Uh, 22. 22. Mm -hmm. So if I want to cut strips or anything, yeah. what I've got is an extra inch and a bit either end, and I can cut an entire width of my fabric in one go oh. with an inch to safely but, uh, but my, my rotary cutter up and to come off safely off the other end and that is why you need a 24 and a half inch ruler again it's your bread and butter ruler I am going to put this into the need category yes I know we would like or want uh, a lot of these, but definitely just hearing Natasha talking through why this is so useful, and I think a lot of sewers at home can totally relate to that. Twenty-three ninety-five is your price. Three two five four two zero. Your item number there. We are busy. Uh, if you do have any questions, the lovely Natasha is here, so please get in touch. Studio at hochanda.com. I know that our stripology ruler always busy, so uh, that is. <laughs> No exception today, and we will be seeing an action. So do uh, stick with us. Right, what we're going to do first? Well, let's see the in action. Yeah, then, let's shall do that. We? So we're used to seeing the larger stripology ruler, and they are fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Um, this is the smaller one. So this is one that you would normally be um, trimming back your blocks with, getting them absolutely accurate. The minute that you cut on a forty-five degree line you cut on a bias and your fabric becomes stretchy so there is every possibility that you'll need to trim your bo blocks back which is why you can see on here you've got that x going through it which means that if you've done quarter square triangles you line them up and you you trim them back and it's absolutely fabulous so again down here because this is the smaller one and this is the only one of the stripology family that has this um actually actually on there so you've got quarter of an inch um replicas uh, markers along mm -hmm. there but if i spin it around then i've got every half an inch and still what i've got here is a little star if one of the um if you're doing binding and stuff like that then you, there's every every possibility that you're going to want an inch and a half strip well every star if you put your ruler in you will cut an inch and a half so no more having to do maths nice. uh, and counting that so it is it, it is fabulous and I, I i really do recommend it but also what you've got along here are your three-eighths of an inch mark mm -hmm. and also your one-eighth of an inch so whatever increment you are having to cut you you can do it they make it so easy I you're know. not going to you're not going to get lost on the grid they've got those references yeah. that you can easily see because yeah. sometimes and when i say get lost on the grid if you've got all these measurements and you're looking and you're trying to work it out and you don't want to mess up here you're just looking for the stars that's it yeah so i'm a metric baby you okay. know i was born in the era of of centimeters so yeah. when i had to but quarters work in inches <sighs> the eight time table yeah. horrible 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 times table um, but but this just makes everything so much easier yeah. because it's all laid out for you anyway now we're gonna have a look at the um, the square on square eight inch trim tool this is this is going to be our starting point okay and the instructions when I say this this little black bit that comes with it do not throw it away woe betide anyone that throws it away you're going to be really stuck so don't these are these are what you are going to be working from they are step by step fabulous instructions so we're going to have a go i mean just down there um i don't know if you want to pass me at all yeah 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 so uh, what i'll do i'll leave it there just and then throw I'll it at back. me go on. Oh, Bob. um this 
this is sort of the, the traditional block that you can do with it. So um, it's, it's turned. It looks like it's been turned. You've got a square there, but then the square is like that. And, and that's, that's how the block works. But I want to have a go at the snail trail. Yeah. Yeah, because I've seen these as cornerstones on quilts, and it looks phenomenal. It just looks incredible. So whether you're going to do a whole cushion with all these swirls in it, or whether it's going to be an entire quilt, or whether it's just going to be in the corners so that you've got wide, lovely wide sashing and then these cornerstones with this block looks amazing. Or maybe it's going to be the centerpiece of your quilt. Whatever it is, let's see. And I'm going to refer back to the instructions because I only got this this week. So, you know, let's check they work, right? Mm. No Let's pressure. Do it. No, no pressure. pressure. Hey, full face. No one's you. scared at all. It's all good. So um, I know that I'm going to have to uh, cut two and a half inch squares. Okay. So what I've just done there is just take off any uneven, uh, any uneven edges mm -hmm. that I've got there, and then I go down to my two and a half inch strip, and I know that I'm going to start with that Perfect. so let's start there and then we'll cut some more in a minute and it's so, so nice that you've got that groove it's, it's effectively the groove to follow you're keeping your blade safe it's in track it's not going to be jumping out yeah no absolutely yeah. and i remember the show when i first discovered this and i first saw it in action and i was like that is amazing and mm. i stayed after the show and i cut up a good two meters of fabric into strips yep. in like 10, 15 minutes? Amazing. Done. It was and went home and, and made, a, made a strip quilt out of it. Just brilliant. Just got brilliant. to say, with regard to stripology, 20% uh, of the stock's gone. So proving very, very popular this morning. I know it's early. Thank you so much for getting up. Uh, always a bestseller here at Hochanda. And it's a concept. And it's one of those, as you see Natasha working with it, uh, and you really start to appreciate the possibilities with this ruler. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so there are my two and a half inch squares Done. cut easily effectively multiples of them now what i'm going to do is put them right sides together and i'm just actually I'm, i've got spare so I, I can do another one so would that be later. classed as a mini charm yeah 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 you, you can get entire mini charm packs that are just two and a half inches yeah. and they're fab but again you're going you're going to pay for them you yeah. know and, and when you actually work out how much fabric is actually in them now don't get me wrong like i love a charm pack because you get the whole range of fabric, which otherwise would cost you. So there is an absolute time and a place. But as soon as you have a fabric stash, you know, there will always be scraps that you're not using. Yeah. Which is crazy. Ooh. So this means that you can cut all of those scraps up to usable yeah. sizes accurately. And this is the thing that people worry about, is that they're not going to be accurate with their, with their cutting. Yeah. Is not, it's just not the case. It's just not the case. Well, look, if you've paid for fabric, yeah. uh, beautiful fabric, so say you've got some K facet oh, or you've got yeah. some Liberty, yeah. and the worst thing, if you're doing it, if you're cutting out and you do make that mistake with measurements or you do go slightly wrong, so here it does take, it gives you a bit of a safety net. It yeah, takes no, absolutely, out. absolutely. Now, actually, having said that, one of them was folded over. I'm just going to redo one of those. Um, it's not. It's not worth if you if you are at all worried that you've cut it wrong. Yeah. It's just not worth trying to fudge it. No. So you know that one I could see one of them hadn't um, hadn't actually it was, it was just the edge of the fabric I hadn't allowed for it I didn't check it. Okay. And um, so now I know that I've got I have these. Yeah. And I'm going to pop them there. Now let's have a look at this. So. What we've got here is something that I'm going to struggle to match point-wise. I want to have one seam that goes that way and one seam that goes the other. So I'm going to repress that and press it over towards the dark side. And you'll see why in just one moment. Mm -hmm. Because now what I've got is that edge there is going to sit in. They, sort of, they lock sort of lock together and then I've got I can just take that I don't need to pin it yeah you can but I don't need to because those seams are just sitting one into the other if you want to pin go for it but 
I'm not, I'm okay. not a, a mega pinner. So with regard to stripology, what kind of anecdotal feedback have you had from the sewers? What have they been saying about it? Oh, they love it. In fact, there is, there is a group of ladies, there are a group of ladies, sorry, dreadful English, um, who, who go by the name of Natasha Strippers. Amazing. Because they've seen me use it and just gone, I need it, I need it. I've demoed this at the NEC, at, yeah. um, you know, at, at big shows, and, and you always get a massive crowd because people are like, oh my goodness, I've been worried about cutting a straight line yeah. for so long. Yeah. Uh, and it just takes the fear away because as soon, like you say, as soon as you've paid a pre, especially if you're yeah. working with CAFE or Modafat or whatever it is that you're working with or some Tula Pink or anything, uh -huh. you don't want to mess it up. Of course and, not. And I've miscut and I've um, ripped my hair out because points haven't matched. I'm like, oh, you know, I know that's what it's meant to be like. Uh, and it's the right tool for the job. Mm. So I was very lucky, like I say, quite early on, I discovered Creative Grids. And I, I did think, oh gosh, you know, it, can I afford this? My question to you is, can you afford not to? Because you, it, it gave me time. And, and especially with prepping for as many shows as I do, people are like, how do you manage to make as much as you do? You know, do you have metric minutes or something? I'm like, no, I just have the right tools for the job. So it speeds it up, you get all of your cutting done, Cutting becomes a joy. You actually enjoy doing it because uh, it, it's nice and it's satisfying and you actually get the sizes that you want. Cutting becomes a joy. Now yeah. that is a big statement because typically we always say, especially with pre-cut fabric, you know, you don't have to worry about cutting. You can go straight to the fun bit. But now all of a sudden, the cutting does become the fun bit with the stripology. Very busy here. 37.95 your price. Good morning if you have just woken up and tuned in. We've got a fantastic hour with Creative Grids and the lovely Natasha. So I was laughing to myself. You know what you said about the group uh, who used stripology and Natasha strippers? strippers? Yeah. yeah. I, I wonder how many people click onto that page and are disappointed. <laughs> Probab probably this is many. Probably very many. Very disappointed here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not what I was expecting. Or, or when wives tell yeah. their husbands that they've become uh, one of Natasha's strippers. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure there, there has Interesting been... Interesting conversation. Many, many a disappointed husband. But, uh, you know... Then they see how happy their wives are with, with what they are creating and, and all is good. So what we have now yeah. is an absolutely perfect two and a half inch trimmed little mini square that we are going to start off with. Now the ruler gives you everything that you need to know. So we're going to start with a two and a half, I don't know if we can see this at all, um, a two and a half inch square. That is my centre square. I've just made that before okay. your very eyes. All right. Then block A1. There we go. So, there we are. We go, uh -huh. Yeah, we go. So, we've done that. Tick, first line, whee! Done. Now, block A1, I need to cut two three inch squares and then cut them on the diagonal. Right. Then, for my next block, it'll be three and a half inch, then four and a half inch, then five and a half inch. Yeah. So, that's something that could instantly put people off, going, oh gosh, that's a lot of cutting. Yeah. No, it is not. Come on, we'll do it really, really quickly. Okay. And we'll get all of that prep done, and then we'll be ready to crack on with it. Right. So, we've done our two and a half inch. Now, this is habit with me every time I take off those edges, just in case. Okay, uh, so then, what did I say the next one was? Three inch square. So, I'm going to go on that three inch line and cut. That's yeah. my three inch. The next one that I want is three and a half inches. So I'll come across to three and a half inches. I'll cut there. That's that done. Then four and a half inches. Great. There's my four and a half inch line. And then five and a half inches is my last one that I'm going to need. There we go. There's my scrap. Pop that to one side. Now let's cut these back into squares because we're going to need them. Mm -hmm. So we fold them out and look at all of these layers that I've been cutting through. Hasn't even, hasn't blinked, no. has it? It's just gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to cut all that? That's absolutely fine. So I will double these up, you know, easy, easy, easy. If I had time, I would probably press these beautifully first. Yeah. 
but again if you know if my edges aren't quite lined up there I'm not going to stress about that. I'm just going to nip the edges off and again with this block that we're going to do you will always trim back so don't don't panic so that's my five they're my five and a half inch squares done that's that done yeah tick we'll put those to one side what did this one have to be four and a half didn't it yeah yep I had so to let's think. do those and then we're prepped and ready how quick was that i know i know i know right really really quick and easy so your blade just goes in there cutting across there four and a half inches is there and what I'm making sure that I do is that I'm lining up the bottom of my fabric on one of these horizontal lines mm. so that I'm cutting um, perpendicular every time. So I'm getting that 90 degrees perfectly every time. So let's pop those there. And then this was three and a half inches. Let's just cut us one of these. And of course, you know, I'm using the little mini here. I had a lady buy a mini from me the other day. She said, you know, I just, I just don't want to work with the bigger one on smaller amounts. Fair, Fair enough. enough. She said, you know, my daughter's moved back home due to, you know, the situation that's going on at the yeah. moment. She wants to craft next to me. I don't have as much room on the kitchen table. I'm like, look, fair enough. That's absolutely fair enough. Uh, this was three and a half, wasn't it? Yeah. And that's actually a good point. If you, uh, having the smaller one, just if you want to pull out, save a bit of space. I yeah. could imagine there are people who have got the bigger one and maybe want the smaller one too to add into their stash. It's one of those things. The feedback that I get from people is, I didn't think I needed it, mm -hmm. but actually what I realize is that I, I do. I'm going to use them. This isn't something that is going to be decorative and ornamental. This is something that you are actually going to use and it's going to make life easier, which yeah. is just fabulous. Okay, so that's all of our prep done already and I've got all of those sizes Fantastic. the next thing that I would do is just press them and I would uh, at home I would use a starch spray like a best press something like that mm -hmm. uh, because we're about to cut them on the on the diagonal yeah. so as soon as that your fabric is is woven right so you, the warp goes up yeah and the weft goes left yeah. okay so as soon as you cut diagonally through there you're going to get some stretch Mm. Okay, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So just by using a starch spray, it just helps hold everything. But again, I'm not too concerned because I know mm -hmm. that this is going this is going to be absolutely fine because I'm always going to trim back. So is that termed cutting on the bias, or have I got that wrong? It is cutting oh, on the bias. Very nice. Learning, yeah, yes, slowly. you are. You are learning. This is excellent. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about you. You've taken this all on board, and, and you've just gone, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you, you've yeah. helped educate me. It's, it's an absolute pleasure always. Now, I want to cut from tip to tip. Uh -huh. So all I've done, that's my zero line there, and I've just popped my, my points yeah. underneath it. So now I can cut with this, I can cut my triangles nice. perfectly. Yeah. Okay, now then, let's have a look at then what we need to do. So here is my starting point here. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is go opposites. So I'm going to sew the silvery one there mm -hmm. and on the other side there. And then I'll put the black one there and there. So shall I sew those and then we'll come and trim back? Fantastic. Okay, that's great. So we'll let Natasha sew those up and I'll just have a quick recap. We always know around about half seven, uh, a lot more viewers join us who've woken up. So good morning if you have just joined us. We've got a great uh, day here at Ho-Chan. It's lovely to see Pooja. I haven't seen Leonie in a long time. Hello. Do you know, in the studio right now, spread out and social distancing, we've got Lou, we've got Leonie and we've got Kay. What a great moment. Of course, Natasha is well. This is a good morning at Ho-Chanda. Hey. Oh, no. I mean, that is super glam, lady. Look at those, look at those it's, killer shoes. It's worth tuning in later to see Leone all glammed up. Uh, right, speaking of glam, we've got our uh, creative grids. We're going to start here with, now, these are new today sizes. This is your six-inch trim tool. 
uh, giving you the blocks, and you can see the blocks here that it will help you make. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, because obviously you can play around yourself. £20.94 is your price, 522-396, your item number. Then we have the 8-inch, which is proven to be a popular option. Let's have a little look. I want to draw your attention to the price. For an extra, what, £2 or so? you're getting, so for $22.99, uh, when I say an extra two pounds as opposed to the six inch, so you're getting a couple extra inches, slightly bigger size, and uh, $22.94, your price there, 423087, your item number, we like those. Uh, do pay attention to the QR code on your creative grids, because Natasha was saying, when you get these home, you can scan those with a smartphone or tablet, and it will direct you towards a, a video explaining how to get the most out of your grids. We're gonna move on to our wavy 12 inch ruler. So it's allowing you to achieve waved effects, bordered effects. Uh, if I just turn that around, it gives you a couple of examples of how you would be employing that waved effect. Twenty-three ninety-five is your price there for your beautiful non-slip uh, quilting ruler. And do uh, I know Natasha had mentioned this, but on the rulers, and this is a real innovation with Creative Grids. Wherever you've got that slight change of, it's got like opaque. You can just see there that is actually the non-slip integrated in to the ruler so that's all already on the ruler uh, it's just something it's a small point but I think crafters especially sewers will really appreciate if you don't have that on there if you've ever struggled with the ruler slipping around and all you have to do is slip by a, a few mi millimeters or in centimeters I should say and you're out on uh, of your points okay now we're gonna look here we've got our eight uh, eight and a half by twelve and a half ruler from Creative Grids. Uh, so, good size. Natasha described it as it's one of your bread and butter puddings with regard to rulers. Uh, $8.95 your price there. Uh, 812-582 your item number. I don't think, uh, bread and butter pudding, I just added the pudding. <laughs> no, hey, I, I'm always up for a bread and butter pudding. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, it. why not? I thought it didn't, it didn't sound, it didn't sound like how you mentioned it earlier. But, uh, <laughs> it's like your bread and butter pudding. Uh, no. I was, I was wrong, I was wrong. Uh, let's move on to uh, creative strips. Look, what I would say to you, creative strips, I've seen Natasha work with these time and time again. 30% of the stock's gone. This will, and I know what I'm gonna say, sounds like, it sounds really selly telly, but it will absolutely change the way you work with fabric. You saw how quick it was with Natasha when she was just breaking down this fabric. So what I would say to you is, if you've ever bought charm packs, uh, layer cakes, strip rolls, and you want to make your own, because you always pay a premium, and you'll know this. So for the amount of fabric you're getting compared to if you just bought by a half meter or a meter of uh, fabric, make your own, use your scraps. So all the fabric you have in your stash, you can make your mini charm packs, your charm packs, your layer cakes, your strip rolls with ease. You've seen it. You've seen it. So think about what patterns you have that incorporate those kind of sizes. So layers, uh, layer strips or uh, charm packs. And then being able to make your own. You were about to say something, Natasha, and I was talking. What were you going to say? No, I was, well, all I was going to say was um, that this was the last stripology that I bought. Wow. The large size. So I went for the big ones because I know yeah. that I like to cut loads and loads and loads of strips, hence the Natasha strippers. Um, but this was the very last one because I didn't know if I needed it. Okay. Uh, yeah. But what it allows me to do, right, you're not going to be able to cut, you know, huge swathes of fabric with this one. This is for your smaller amount. So use up your scraps once you've cut your blocks. When, like, you know, I've been using fat quarters with mm -hmm. these, so they're already folded, so I can just trim them down to whatever I need. And so that's what this is for. This is for those smaller projects. And this has been an absolute godsend when I've done workshops and people just don't have the space yeah. to have the massive stripologies. So this one, brilliant. Just think, do you think it's a good access size as well? So you know if someone's never used it before and thought I just want to get at home, play around with it, get comfortable with the concept and then maybe grow to the larger size. Yeah, I mean it's it's whatever you are comfortable with. It's for some people and also for some people the price of the bigger one will put them off because I mm -hmm. think it's over 60 pounds. Yeah. And that's a lot of money to invest if you're a little bit on the fence. But get this and see how easy the concept is, how safe it feels, how accurate it is, how much better your points look, and you'll be hooked. And you will want all of them. I have all of the sizes. And actually, um, I've got a lovely lady called Jane Orcott coming to work for me on Wednesdays. And I gave her one of the stripologies because I just said to her, look, and she's like, oh, no, no, no. I said, no, no, no. 
you need this because this will speed up your preparation time. Like, it's, you think I'm being generous. I'm not. I'm being completely selfish. If, if I'm paying you to prep something, I want it to be as fast as possible. And that's what the stripology does. It allows her to prep her fabric fast and effectively and accurately. So it was just a no-brainer. Um, anybody that demonstrates or works with fabric um, or cuts fabric or wants to cut fabric just needs one of these. Yeah. And you if, you want to, if you want to work on larger pieces of fabric, you can always fold them over. We've just seen yeah. that now. So uh, it's a very, very diverse ruler. We are now approaching a third of the stock. A lot of you are going for this. Do not blame you. Thirty-seven ninety-five is your price. Four three four five one five your item number. We're just going to jump onto the website as we head back to Natasha. Everything that we've shown and featured this hour so far, you can find on our website and more. So do have a look. And can I just take a moment to soak in all of those five-star reviews? By the way, we also have the sewing machine you're seeing there, the Juki sewing machine. It is incredible. I understand. That is a scary price for this time in the morning. But if you've been doing your research, been waiting for the right opportunity to get hold of a sewing machine of that caliber, what I would say to you is the Juki is incredible. And here at Ho Chanda, we have got those flexi payments. So rather than going onto the high street, a, it's the price is very competitive, so please do your own research, but you'll see the price is very good. But also, being able to spread that cost, I think it, surely it would have um, three, uh, three flexi payments, yeah. So 931.66 today is a lot more digestible than 2,000 uh, plus. There. It's a machine that you, will, um, that you will never, ever grow out of. So if, if you are serious about your soft crafts, and I mean, I've had I've had lots of people buy them from me saying, Do you know what, we didn't have a holiday this year. Yeah. So what I've been doing is I've been staying home and crafting. So actually, I will invest in what I what I love to do. What I would say is um, buy the best machine that you can afford, but go for quality over gimmick. And what I mean by that is some machines, um, even sort of around like the 500 pound mark, will have all the whistles and bells, and you'll be like, oh, this is great. It's, you know, it's got like. 500 stitches on but is it going to do those well and actually how many of those do you actually end up using mm. um, now this machine does the lot and for that price it blinking well should yeah but it does and and this is the Rolls Royce of machines so you'll notice that when I sew if I want to let me just find something here okay so if I'm sewing two things together for example, and I know that we've just sort of gone off piece a little bit, but you'll okay. see me using this machine today. You'll see Jenny Jackson at 10 and 1 using it as well. And this is your machine? This is my yeah. machine. This is my machine. And Jenny's got one as well because we, we, we're due to twins. Mm -hmm. Now, you'll notice my needle is down, my foot is up, mm -hmm. my, and what you can't see and what this machine does is the feed dog. So the little metal things that hold yeah. the fabric and feed it through, they've dropped. So that if I'm working with a fine fabric and I want to turn it, it's not going to grip or pull it. Uh. It's those little touches that, you know, just, just, you've just got on this machine. Yeah. And, and the, the manual is, is phenomenal, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. It's got a thread cutter. Uh, it also, I love it. just love it. Okay. Uh, it's, look, it's an incredible machine. If you do have any questions, please get in touch. Uh, I've got to tell you, we've had a real surge for stripology. We knew it was going to be popular. Half the stock has gone here. Thirty-seven ninety-five is your price. Just to remind you all that it will be dispatched on the twenty-fourth. Uh, of September. So it will be dispatched on the 24th of September. Only have to wait a week and then we're going to get it straight out to you. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Right, so we have sewn and, um, and it looks tatty and weird. Mm -hmm. And I fully accept that. Uh, it's about to have a haircut, unlike me, and, um, and look fabulous. Yeah. Unlike you, you're yeah, still spotting those long locks. Fabulous. How long can I go on without a haircut? We'll find out when you have a yeah. man bun. Uh, <laughs> now, this square is what I'm looking at first of all, okay? okay. And, uh, and that is going to go over that right. middle square that we made earlier. Is this is where the rulers are so clever. Right. Yeah. Right. So what I'm having to do, you're just literally layering over the shapes yeah. and then cutting. Yeah, yeah. And what you'll see is here, so it goes into the corner there, and then this round here with the non-slip grip in it is my quarter of an inch seam. Perfect. But look, I've got another sort of quarter of an inch here. So even if my sewing was a bit wobbly, a bit wonky, a bit, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter. Creative grids are here to make you look good. That's why I don't mind demoing them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yep, we will get those perfect points. So that's that's two sides done. And then spin it around and again, look at it again. If you say your square isn't quite the right size, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that those corners go up into the corner there because this will get you back on track. So if okay. you have done any wobbly stitching and it happens, um, then just make sure because then you're going to get, this is your seam allowance here that you're cutting. And so if you're sewing with a quarter of an inch seam, that's going to cut through there and you're going to get a perfect point. So that's what I would say to you. Don't worry, don't panic. If you do have a rotating cutting mat, so much the better. It just just helps. What? And look, suddenly, oh, yeah. that looks so much neater. Yeah. Okay? Now, this is where I need to concentrate. So. I like the fabric you're using, by the way. Oh, well, next Thursday is where we can get all this uh, Christmas Ooh. gorgeousness. But I think, I, I don't know about you, but mm -hmm. I, love, I love a bit of Christmas. Yeah. And... Um, and I know when we move house, and we've, we've had to for work quite a lot, uh -huh. um, I know when we're going to end up in a house because my husband will know where the Christmas tree is going. <laughs> and as yeah. soon as he goes, so we'll just have the Christmas tree here. I'm like, oh, okay, so this is, this on your is house. the one. <laughs> this is the one. In fact, we were saying the other day, we've actually been in our house now for three years it's the wow. longest we've lived anywhere it's a beautiful house though. It is I've seen a beautiful pictures. House, yeah. so you know we're, we're, we're sticking there for a bit mm -hmm. um, right this is where I'm going to concentrate Kay. because I'm going to refer back here mm -hmm. and you'll see this is my lighter one here and that has gone across to there so whichever way round you know you want to do it that's you know that's absolutely fine mm -hmm. so just know that if that is there then this then needs the so let's take this dark one that's there that's so we're going to go around this way and so I'm going to put that darker one there and then I know I've got to go opposites okay. and this will start to just send that trail that round. round. Now you are getting the instructions so what uh, Natasha is referring to, they come with your grids, please don't throw the, those away. No. Natasha was discussing it earlier on. Uh, so they'll just arrive, I'll just show you, I'll pick up one. So these are just a couple, that was for the 12-inch uh, wavy ruler and this is for the 8-inch. Uh, so these are the instructions, they fold out don't throw those away right. so they're very important okay so please don't throw those away right. the other thing to say is I know we said about QR readers and all of that if 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 you don't have a fancy phone or I can't ever get my QR reader to work because I'm a bit rubbish with technology again don't fret just go onto YouTube and just put in the name of your ruler uh, and it will just it will find it perfect yeah, it, so don't worry and go. Oh gosh, you know, does that mean that I can't I can't get hold of any of those instructions? No, 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 no. It's all there. I'm just redoing a seam because I got a bit overexcited. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, with the regard to the stripology, it has been very busy and we're not surprised. So uh, almost two thirds of the stock has gone here. Thirty-seven ninety-five your price. It's one of those, when, when you saw it in action, suddenly we saw a massive spike of uh, sewers going for this. And I do not blame you. Being able to trim with ease, so you've got all the strips, those vertical strips, having both the inch and the half inch in there as well, measured up. It is an incredible thing to work with. Fourth, uh, three, four, five, one, five, your item number. And that's Natasha, me talking, saying it's an incredible thing to work with. I'm not even a sewer. And I'm I know, I know, this. I know, I know. I, I think it's like the electric scissors that we've brought to air yeah. before now. There are certain things that get everybody's interest. Yeah. Whether you're um, a sewer, soft crafter or, or not, there will be those certain things that people are like, ooh, I need those. Um, yeah, and, and it's... But it's when you can see a sense and a reason for it, though, as mm -hmm. well, isn't it? It's like, this yeah. is the reason, is that it's going to make everything look great and accurate, um, which is just fab. So I'm just going to press back those seams. Always just put your iron, just do a, a quick press, and that's just going to bed those stitches in, mm -hmm. which then means that you'll get the edge of your iron and just knock back the edge of it. So you're not going backwards and forwards ironing it you're just knocking it over and then pressing 
Nice. I don't yeah. iron, I press. Mm. But we can just start to see, ooh, oh, it's just starting to happen. Yeah. So now we trim back. Mm -hmm. So this time we go to the next square okay. and we line that up with this, the block that we, we just did. And for me, this is the biggest innovation. When you say lining up, you're not having to find uh, certain measurements inside a rule. Here, you're literally just overlaying that center point and then just trimming back. I mean, like kids can use these because, yeah. you know, you, you think about the very first thing that kids do at school is to match uh, squares with squares and shapes with shapes. Yeah. We've been doing it since we were babies, you know, and that's, that's all we're doing here. Okay, so then, next step. Okay, that looks beautiful already. Right? Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to give that a press because it's, it's a bit wonky. Um, but again, and this is where, you know, you start to realize why you need these extra rulers. So this so, is a stripology in action? Yeah, and, you know, yeah, you can use any of your rulers to get that straight line. It just, I'm just working with two rulers here. That's all I've done. Um, and it's just... It's meant I haven't needed to have lots of other extra rulers. But you know what is nice? You're not going to be coming away because you've got that, uh, that protection both sides of the stripology. You're working within that groove. So if you're going on against a, a normal ruler, there is that worry if you do come away slightly. Am I right so, in saying that? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, sorry. I was, I was just making sure I was going to put my Kay. next one in the right place. Um, Normal rulers scare me, yeah. and people think, oh, you know, creative grids are a little bit more expensive. Yeah, but if you want your plain ruler to be safe, you've got to then pay out for extra grips and things that fall off and you lose them, and you've got to put them on, and it's fiddly and it's faffy, and you're still not going to... If you don't get them in the right place, then your ruler's going to rock. It's just... A f why not just get it done? Yeah. And then just enjoy it. Um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for these rulers. That's a massive statement. It is a massive statement to make, but it's true because I would never have reached this point where I was comfortable to cut and sew. Um, with my last job on a, a sewing dedicated channel, uh, I, I told them that I would never demo, mm. but I hadn't found Creative Grid then. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. So it, like, life changing. Yeah. Sounds so dramatic and yet. Just true. to tell you, three quarters of stock has gone for our stripology, so very, very busy. So again, you get into the groove and then, oh, hang on, it helps if I actually concentrate when I say, um, you're going to get into the groove and just get going, so you'll, you'll just do opposites and that's all I'm doing mm -hmm. is just sewing opposites. Sometimes I'm too gung ho. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I want you to see it yeah. before we run out we of time. We want to see it, yeah. It's a really nice block to work with. And that's another thing with regard to the stripology and all the rulers on the show. But speci uh, specifically the stripology, think about the patterns, the blocks uh, that you've made in the past. So being able to break down those elements quickly, breaking up. Uh, if you want a certain size of square, if you want to create those triangles, so say for your flying geese, you're able to do that quick and effectively. Uh, we, that's a big jump. We're limited. Uh, okay, we are limited now for our stripology ruler. If you do want to get a hold of it, less than 10% of the stock remaining. And uh, we do think that it could possibly sell out this hour. So please don't miss out. If it, oh, actually, do you know what? We are into single figures with regards to stripo uh, stripology. So now it looks like it is going to sell out. If it is in your basket, please check out if you want it. Because there is a chance, a big chance that it's going to sell out. And then if yours jumps out, someone else will nab it. Can I just say, Yanis, the reason that we don't have the big stripology mm. rules is not because I didn't want to bring them to air. It's that they're just not available at the moment. Wow. So, you know, with, with the world the way it is at the moment, some of these are manufactured in the States because, of course, the States have massive quilters. Mm. Massive quilters. Um, and so, you know, it's, some of these are tricky to get hold of. So if you are after them... You know, things are selling out now. Ah, I possibly wouldn't sit on that fence if I were you. If right. you think that you want it. Like, obviously, if you know. Yeah. But if you know you want to get it, don't miss out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so that's another round done. Mm -hmm. 
and will trim back in exactly the same way. But look, all oh, of a look sudden. At that fabric, is, oh, now that pattern's really starting to come to life. Look at we that. just go back to where you were, Natasha. There we go. Perfect. Sorry. Perfect. <gasps> look at this. It's so exciting. I have yeah. looked at this pattern so often on quilts and gone, oh, it's really beautiful. I've seen people print this pattern onto um, onto panels that people can just cut out because it's too complicated to otherwise wow. sew. With this we can do it using right. our rulers. Right. Yeah. So then we go to the next square up. Uh -huh. And the, tool, uh, the ruler that uh, Natasha's working right now is on your screen. It's new today. It's our 8-inch trim ruler. But the real innovation are the measurements and shapes on there to do this precise block with ease. So you're never going to get it yeah, wrong. Just no. layer up from the center and then cut, trim. Brilliant. I love them. Absolutely love them. Um, did I mention that? I might have done. Mm -hmm. uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me just get this the right, uh, ba -ba, the right way up. And there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and you'll know if you're on the wrong side because you'll be chopping back way too much. Yeah. So just have that as a... Yeah. There we go. Just got to tell you, we have technically sold out of our Stripology ruler, so uh, it's a technical sellout. Well done to everyone who's got that. Uh, if it is in your basket, please make sure to check out. If any do bounce back, I will let you know, and it'll be a question of fastest fingers first, but that is if. Uh, if it is in your basket right now, you've got it, just press check out to secure it. Um, I could carry on doing this. I've got one more round to go, but I'm very aware. I've just looked at the time and gone, oh my goodness, I haven't. Minutes. I know, I know, I know. Can I just show you this one very, very quickly? So yeah. this is your, your 12 inch wavy. It's actually 12 and a half inches, but it gives you a finished 12 inch. Okay. But look, if you want to work with your fab fabrics, and if you want to do them like that, great. If you then want to have it going wavy, um. then cut it the other way, Kay. and you get that wave going around. But the thing that I wanted to show you was firstly how easy it is to actually use. And uh, I mean, there's a lot here that I w would love to go into, and I just don't have time, I'm so sorry. Um, but you're going to start with a 12, 12 and a half inch piece of fabric depending on what size that you want and just cut like that turn it around mm -hmm. and then line it up again and cut perfect now there's one other thing you know we mentioned dog ears yeah Right. If I'd have done this the full 12 and a half inches, then I wouldn't have to move this down. But because I cut it just slightly short, what you'll see on the ruler is it looks like it's chipped. Yeah. It's not. All right. That's clever. And you want that. Uh -huh. Because what you will now do is line that up with your top bit there. Mm -hmm. And you are going to nip off that tiddly tiny piece. And you're going to do it. On the other end as well, I don't know if I can do this easier to show you here. Okay. And it is tiny, like really seriously tiny, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, like that. Okay. Because now people get themselves in a bit of a tizwas about um, sewing curves, which effectively mm. this is. So that is going to have to go like that. It doesn't look like it's going to fit. So what I'm going to say to you is that bit you just snuck off there, line it up on that corner there, and then everything aligns. And as you go, can you see? It's the, way, yeah. the angle that it's cut means that it fits perfectly, perfectly so exactly you know right where course. you need it. And then you will just align one on top of the other as you sew around and it will be perfect, perfect. And absolutely gonna, perfect and that is the key on something that traditionally look free freehand you're never going to be able to get that uniformity in the curve thank you so much oh Paul, my absolute pleasure uh, when are you back on um, um 10 o'clock with, with lovely jenny jackson oh. we're going to be all things tulip pink incredible so do make sure to tune in then thank you so much Natasha. thank you, thank you.
Oh, uh, we've got a great one day special for you. Studio Lights, a winter charms. It's going to be uh, Leonie taking you through there with a the lovely loot. Then we have Indigo Blue with Kay. And after that, Natasha's back, Tula Pink. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. Over time, I want Craftoscope products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. Uh, I think for me, crafting's so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well, and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Hochanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. Uh, this is why I enjoy being part of the Ho-Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho-Chanda.
Hello and welcome. Um, I'm Mr. B in my head then was at Leona, your mics are going live because I was shouting to the other side of the studio <laughs> chatting to our Natasha about ponies. Um, now it is lovely to have your company. I'm really excited about this hour because it's me and Lulu. Hello. 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 Subtitles provided underneath. <laughs> it's one of those shows. Half half. One of those shows. How are you, kid? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm doing all right. Yes. It's so good to see you. And it you. feels like, again, it feels like I can't work with you in ages. Well, it is. And it's, it's still weird all this. I know, isn't it? We've got to do it, but it's Hello. just feels weird. Can Hello. You... Hello. Hello. <laughs> you there? Well, <laughs> the social distancing, and then there's miles away. Isn't indeed, they? <laughs> indeed, they've kept us proper distant, haven't they? Mm. It, it must be like, listen, put her over there, and then if she's tempted to run in, she, she's got all this way. Yeah, it doesn't matter if the mics go down; they can still hear her. You <laughs> name it, <laughs> they'll still hear us. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, now we've got a beautiful Christmas range. There's all sorts in this, and we've got loads of different options. However, we've got the biggie, which is literally everything you are seeing on this counter. And you know what? Freedom members under £100. We've got stamps, we've got dies, we've got um, beautiful, beautiful papers. Um, there's die cuts in this. I mean, it's a massive collection. If someone is going for the full thing, Lou, mm -hmm. I mean, there's literally something for everybody in this. There's cute, there's sort of um, nostalgic, there's everything, isn't there? There is, and because it's not just Christmas, it makes a point of it being yeah. winter. Yes. So yes. it's a seasonal thing. So yeah. we, all, we keep forgetting that there's like yeah. three months in yes. winter, isn't there? Not just one. But Absolutely. yeah, there's something for everybody a brand new starter or someone quite experienced. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. In fact, this is the thing, isn't it, with we, we winter months? Yeah, every, like, summer, spring we and autumn, we craft for those those months, yeah. but then winter, it's like Christmas. That's it. And it just seems to be that's all we see. But, yeah, people who have uh, winter birthdays are just the fact that winter's a really beautiful month. It is, and, and I love, I've started, you know, I love my journaling now, but yeah. I'm doing lots and lots more winter journaling because I love the season. Mm. See, Simply because I'm able to do like lots more, and I just find it a really sort yes. of comforting thing, especially when you're indoors. Yeah, and it's yeah. cold out. Oh, it's, there's a song in there. Somewhere, yeah. Isn't there? Oh, it's cold outside. It is, baby. baby. It is. Um, <laughs> so I love doing that, but I'm bringing it into my journaling, and I'm finding a lot of these I can bring into my journaling. Yeah. yeah. Not just make a card, or a, yes. I can do my scrapbooking, but I can do my journaling with these. Yeah, as well. that's really good because that's it. In it initially, you wouldn't think that, but yeah, absolutely mix it up. Um, it's massive. Now, you have got on the full collection, you've got a saving of £25.83 um, if you're a Freedom member. Obviously, you've got Flexi as well. So today, if you're going for the full thing, all you need to pay is £32.48. That is brought down into three months. Um, obviously, Freedom members, you're not paying any postage for the huge collection that you're going to get. OK, we're going to break it down for you. Um, obviously, you can get it in different options. So we're going to break that down, but do remember... Everything's available in this first one. So essentially, this lot in your big collection you get for free because you're saving this £25. You get this for free and something else if you're a Freedom member. So you're not paying for this lot that I'm showing you in your big collection. If you're not getting it in your big collection, buying it single, you do save £8. So what you've got here, you've got, first of all, the stamps. Now, this is lovely because you've got that really nice, big uh, Christmas tree there. But it doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. It could just be a fir tree. Because it's like you're saying, Arlo, that tree, yeah, beautiful fir tree, but you have got the, the decorations that you can put on it separately. So it definitely doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. No, no, it's landscape. I mean, fir trees, they are fir trees foremost, aren't they? Yeah. They yeah. happen to be Christmas trees later on. So, yeah. yeah, I've made landscapes with them and you don't need you don't need to just put Christmas on. Absolutely. It's lovely, is that? I really like that one. Yeah, you can t turn it, make all sorts with that as well. I know one of the girls, uh, still got to find the things, made it into a dress. I know oh, it sounds, wow. but, but she put like a funky little face on it and just made it into like a little dress. Oh, that's well Like cool. a winter fairy, a fairy, fairy. <laughs> Even fairy, <laughs> that's Winter a proper fairy. Yeah, uh, you're all right. Um, proper fairy. <laughs> <laughs> 
fabulous. And there's Bernard. That's Bernard. That's our that. Bernard. 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 Um, that, I'd say that's well nice. So we were laughing He's last lovely. night. That doesn't last long in some households, that barrel. That'd be, that, <laughs> that'd be gone in a minute, now. <laughs> yeah, just put, just put water in it. Yeah, you, yeah. You'd nobody would use then. it then, would they? No. Nobody would use it. It'd be it. fine. It'd be safe. Yeah. Um, I really like that. The St Bernard. And I love the little robin at the bottom there. The lantern. Uh, the, go the lovely old sleigh. The proper old fashioned sleigh. The snow is sparkling like Milton. Like million, oh Milton, <laughs> like a million little like suns. <laughs> you can chop the end of that oh. sleigh off and make it like a garden table. I know it sounds oh, daft, yeah. but I kept thinking about, well, what would I do if I didn't want to do it for Christmas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you do think of a different. If you think about it like that, you see yeah. things differently. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. I mean, the work that's gone into that. That's amazing. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you do. There are two collections here. So this is your first collection that I'm showing you, uh, which is called a snowy stroll, where you see um, our Bernard. Um, you've also got your um, wonderful dies. Now look at these. These are gorgeous dies. These you'll use all year round. Yeah. And again, that's not just winter. That's just really handy foliage. Do you know what? If I was saying that if you just change the colour of a flower on any foliage, yeah. it denotes a different. Yeah. Um, season. Absolutely. Totally. If you do put red on them, they're going to look like berries and yeah. stuff. But if you put yellows and stuff, they're starting to look like spring. Yeah. I, I really like them. Yeah, I really they're really like them. They're, they're really, really and really they're under. good size dies of them. They're cracking. Yeah. Um, so if you do want that first collection, just twenty four ninety six. Remember, if you're going for your big bundle, you're not paying for any of those. So you could be looking at it that way. The next collection that we've got, um, which is what's that one called? Cozy and warm. Oh, um, so this one, you've got that beautiful little log burner, which is gorgeous. That is proper cozy. I made a little card with that last night, and it's it's oh. really nice. It's so easy. All the details done. You just yeah. colour in, or it's just really nice to sit and do. Yeah, I really like that. I love the next one. The little um, stars of wreaths. They're really pretty. Yeah, Alex was really into them because there's a pentagram sort yeah. of shape. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's I I like that as a as a winter thing. Yeah, me too. I so, think that's really nice. Because you could nice. have that all year round. You wouldn't need, if you yeah. wanted lights on it, but I just like the shape of it. Yeah, me too. And I like all the um, the sort of, you know, like the willows coming off it. Yeah. And yeah, the little candles in the bottles. It's really cute. It's a proper decorate your home on this, it isn't is. it? Make it your is. home really cosy. You've then got your dyes, of course. You've got your snowflakes. And that is a big snowflake they on are there. Really intricate. I mean, I must admit, they do well with dyes yeah, they do yeah. really i mean a lot of dyes would be a lot a lot dearer than that for that yeah. intricate and yeah, for that big. size as yeah, well absolutely. and then obviously you've got um your icicles which are lovely with the snowflakes in i'll show you a few cards made just from um this collection i mean this is the thing you've got two different collections to choose from here saving eight pounds on these uh 24.96 if you're going for the complete you get in both of these. You get everything you've just seen, all those gorgeous stamps, all the dyes in there as well. Then, yeah, I really like... See, that is really, really lovely, isn't it? That is just a really beautiful card. I think, you know, there's a picture we've gone further back, but yet that sort of thing, and then more trees, and it reminds me of, you know, Narnia and things. Yeah, so it doesn't, magical. It could be like your yeah. garden or your secret garden. Yes. You know, don't yeah. you have to put anything white on it to make it snowy? No, absolutely. And I think that's, yeah. yeah, I like this. I think it is very, very, um, it's one of those, it's very usable. Very versatile. Actually. Yeah, mm. but I do, I do like dressing the tree. And I love fiddly little stamps like that. Mm. You know, where you, you faff about and put little baubles on yourself. I love stamps like that. It reminded me of, you know, when you were a kid I and you're dressing dog. those dolls up. Yeah. You yeah. know, when you put different things yes. on a doll's house. It'd be good for a doll's house, actually, with yeah, the fire and stuff. You could make your own. Yeah, it would. There's, I love these as well. Oh, Elise has put these onto fabric. That's fabulous. Look really good, don't they? Yeah. They'd be lovely to sell. We could make to sell it from oh, yeah, this selection. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're re and they're different. Yeah. They're really different. Then you could fill them like with Christmassy spices. Oh, This yeah. is beautiful that Rachel's done. That is beautiful. That's simple, though, isn't it? We're not being rude, yeah. there's loads of techniques on that. Yeah, because she's done loads of masking. I think, I think that's sometimes we, we sort of look at card and think it's simple. Yeah. But that's what they make you want to think. Yeah. 
but there's lots of layers gone into that it. That is lovely. And I really like that she's changed the bottles. So they have the bottles with the candles, but she's taken yeah. the candles out and put the beautiful branch in instead. That is a really clever card. Um, okay, if you do want to get hold of... So, you've got your choice. That's your first two choices. £24.96 pence for each bundle. Um, so already, when you think about it, that's like 48, what time, 50, 50 quid. And that is obviously all within that bundle, 50 quid's worth of stuff there already. And that's with the two eight pound savings. I mean, when you think about all the savings that have been carried forward, so what, what should that be? Oh, oh, my math, right, okay. So, yeah, so that's 16 pounds there already. And that's been carried forward then, isn't it? So that's a 16 quid saving already on top of the saving that you've made. So already you should have spent on that one 50, 60, what should that be? About 66 quid, something like that. I mean, me and math. Mm. Um, now, 527-348, that's your item number for those two. Next bundle that we've got for you. So, as we said, we've got loads and loads of stuff in this bundle um, and so many gorgeous elements. I mean, with this one, again, we've got some lovely dyes. You'll have already seen this um, within the cards that we've seen. You've got the frames, so you've got two frames there. Um, and, of course, you've got the filigree frame. Really, really handy. I love that you've got the little eyelets separate as well because they're dead handy. So that's your first die. Your frame, your tags, the deers. The deers are lovely. Look at the little one at the bottom. And I do like the little car as well. Yeah. I mean, that was before you... I mean, people used to put a 25-foot tree on the yeah, car yeah, put a yeah, vest yeah. on the end saying yeah beware yeah. now yeah. it's not yeah but yeah uh, i remember my mate mandy trying to get an icon to buy a tree with her and she had a proper little car were they called micros yes it's a micro little cars weren't they yeah, yeah, yeah. and obviously we chose this bobbing big tree trying to get that in car with both of us ridiculous but it what we did it oh well we did well, it as obviously well as well as you know you're trying to drive through lots of branches I've never done Utterly that. Utterly safe, no, have no, you not? But I'm gonna, yeah, it's something I it's might well try. <laughs> you, need, you need to do once in your life. Put it in my bucket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we had a lovely time. I don't even know if we managed to put it up proper, if we just sort of lent it against the wall when we got home. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and there it stayed till about April. That that were that were me and me and sister who did that. Oh no, me and Mandy did it as well. Yeah, I did it twice, so it stayed till and me and Caroline. Yeah, I've done it a few times. Where, <laughs> where it stayed stayed up for quite some time. And then it becomes a feature and we used to name them as well. Yeah, yeah. It lasted years, did our trick. Well, months. It lasted months, did that trick. Christmas trees. <laughs> Okay, the, the bottom row looks a bit, you know. Anyway, these are all die cuts, and you've got loads. So you've got two pages of each of these, and there's loads of ways that you can use these. Obviously, perfect for your card making. Brilliant for layering as well, these ones, aren't they? You know, behind the little door and window we've got, yes. because the window die we've got coming up, embossing folder, you can do it looking out or looking in. Nice. So you can dress it up like a little... Because there's, there's a new thing out, I can't remember the name, but it's like a book. Yeah. And it's like seeing into it, like uh, almost uh, optical illusion. Yeah. But yeah, there's, and a lot of people are doing them. These would be perfect for them. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen them yet. Not like your dioramas or whatever they're called. Is that they are, called? but it's sort of like side on. It's weird. It's oh, really strange. Oh. It's like looking like a street like that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll, if I can do one, which... <laughs> you know, I always have good intention, like I have loads of good intentions loads and I'm them, terrible yeah, yeah, yeah. at execution. Yeah. Um, now, uh, yeah, that's my life. This is lovely. Now, if you do want this set and look at that price, only £17.97. It's a £5 saving. So, again, if this, again, in your bundle, so already we've got 60 quid worth of stuff there. Is that what I said? So it should be 60 quid there. Then, um, so 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So already about 71 quid's worth of stuff we've looked at already. And I mean, I'm saying about, you know, all we're all about. It's all approximate. Um, you've got all sorts in here. And obviously with these, you can create so many different things. Have a look. How pretty is that? 
Oh, hungry. Um, now, if you do want to get a hold of that, loads of die cuts as well in that mm. book. I mean, it's one little book, but you've actually got 300 paper elements in that one. Um, 765178 is your item number. I love it because I've already forgotten how much I said we should have spent by now. Um, it's gone. 60 quid, wasn't it? 60 quid. No, there's 60 quid with that first bit. All right. So then it were so 60. 70 something. Yeah, it's all right, Kate is on it. I'm Kate, not even going to pretend I'm adding up. Right, so so far, just with those three bundles, oh, including this one, so we should have been. And is that with the savings as well? And that's with savings. So already it should have been um, 85 86. Wow. And we're only halfway through the bundle. That's the that's price you should be paying with these. Obviously, then your savings are going to come off them. Okay, so with this one, what you've got now, this is what you've just been talking about, isn't it? So you've got the embossing folder that embosses the detail, and then the die that cuts the little door out. That's cool. Yeah, I've used that one. And you can take the die out of that as well, so you don't ah, have to have it cutting out. A fabulous. I want to like it because it doesn't cut there, so it actually does open, so the door yeah, does open. open. But yeah, and, and a lot of people said to me, can we. Because one of them come out, it, yeah, pull it out if you want, and it goes straight back in, no problem. Oh. But yeah, but I did a little room with that yesterday on a card. It looked cool. I enjoyed How? doing it. Yeah, really enjoyed playing with it. Because it's a bit different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I did, yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so you've got the beautiful little embossing folder with the die, and you've got your book of papers. Now, I'm, we're saying papers, but these are really nice, thick papers. I like these as well. Um, 170 GSM. Um, you've got 36 sheets here. Oh, I like them with little drawers. Do you know what? I've got little drawers at home, and you can. I was thinking about cutting them out and sticking them on the front, so it actually looked yeah. like a little drawer. Set. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that a lot. I li really like the natural look to this. Like, you know, that one's got the proper Hessian look to it. It's really Scandi feel, like a warm, yes. cosy feel, isn't it? Yeah. But they're really well known for papers now, I think. Yeah, they Quality are. Quality of aren't papers, they? drawing, or. Yeah. Decorative. And the colour palette as well. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah they clever. Really like that. And it's a big paper pad. You've got 36 sheets in that one, which is amazing. Last but not least, now this is something as well that Studio Light are pretty famous for, the dies. You yeah. know the different shaped dies? Absolutely. I'm going to be using this one in first demo because I just thought there were so many options for it. Yeah. Um, and just sort of thinking, well, how about making that just a card or on a card rather than it being a card? So, yeah, I'm playing with that one because it just struck me that there were so many things I could do. Yeah, yeah. And that, I think that's what I love way a lot of the, the dye studio like bring you. You can create so many different Absolutely. looks. It's amazing. Um, and that is just to show you, see, that is really clever. Well, I'm going to work something along those lines, but yeah, exactly. It's sort of different, isn't it? Yeah. And that's a clever one and all. Look at that. Oh, isn't it cute? And then when I open it up, Ta-da! Yeah, they're fabulous. One more look. And that's one at top is out the other one. And that's that die again. And of course, everything, everything you're seeing. Um, we've got all these wonderful dies on the show. All the, oh, she's added there is a flowers. Okay, if you do want to get hold of that one, again, just 17.9775 pounds. It's already 20 past nearly. I'll hurry up a bit. So already on about 85 quid or something. That's what you should have been spending. Remember, um, oh yeah, you're, you're, I mean, it is so worth. With this one, 103 pounds and three pence. See the price that you are saving, um, the price that that it should be compared to how much you're saving. It is amazing. Okay, have a look at this. So you've got. I'll put that down so it's easier. That's really pretty. That's so frosty and gorgeous. It is. It's really nice. Isn't it? Yeah, that's lovely. Beautiful imagery. It's got that really nice soft palette. Love that oh, one. That's so nice. Yeah, I love that. That it's one of my favourite things a frost on leaves. I it's just beautiful. I've got so many photographs of frost on leaves, it's ridiculous. Yeah, but it's beautiful in nature, you can't beat it. No, you can't. No. And it's always every time you see it, it's just like, oh that's so beautiful. You never get bored, do you? No. Um so you've got your paper pad. You've then got so the other one had the door, this one's got the beautiful window. So it's the same theory, it's yep. the same embossing and then you've got the lovely window that you can cut out. Well the window you can do remember your ah. inches years ago? 
your inches. Yes. You can do your inches with that. So you take if you want to just take the die out of it, you can cut the die out and, and make your inches or a little ah, board with it. That's so you could fabulous. do little games and stuff. I really like that die because it's yeah. really useful. That's really different, isn't it? Oh, that's really pretty. Look. Oh, look. Oh, that is really pretty. Um, so that's the die with the embossing folder. Now, this is a cracker as well. So, how does this one work? So you've got all over, oh, okay. So you've got your three dies. So that one's got the trees. And then you've got your nesting frames as well. Ah, see, so the trees sit along the top, don't they? Like that. There you go. You could put two together and have them at the side, but it'd be a bit strange yeah. and going to the side. But like I say, you can change them to however yeah. you want. And I think with that one, I mean, that is one of those that you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll work with in lots of different ways, won't you? I'm and, using it differently, yeah. yeah. And cut them out separately. Absolutely. Yeah, that's another really cool bundle. Only 17.97. If you are going for separate bundles, I mean, you've got £5 saving on that. The prices are amazing. Obviously, the bundle is definitely the way to go. One five nine seven three three. Next, we're nearly there. There is so much to see. We're now to uh, what was that? Ah, oh, Katie. One hundred and seventeen pounds and eight to one pence. That's how much you should be spending if you were getting the whole bundle. Um, and obviously that's with savings. I love this one. The stamps that are in here are gorgeous. I really, really like these. We're going to be using these. Yeah, they're the ones, again, they're just so handy. Whether it's cards, whether it's your journals, really, really cool. Have yourself a really cool Christmas. I really like that with the, because it's almost like um, a bit sketchy, isn't Absolutely. it? And you can put your own, I mean, there are music notes on some of them, but you can put your yeah. own on. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's great background stuff, that great oh. for your backgrounds, whether it's got music on or not. It's fantastic layers. Yeah, they're beautiful. So you've got your jingle bells and we've got our um, music notes at the bottom and then of course the other one along the side there where um, we're gliding along. Oh, that's really lovely, winter fairy land. Oh, see, that's really pretty. You'll be singing along to them. That is such a nice stamp set. On the other side, the other stamps that we've got now, these are perfect for your layering. So mm. you have got your beautiful um, mountains, but then you've got... Oh, I love that with the deer there. But obviously you've got the darker, so the darker you could stamp in one colour and put the other one over the top. Yeah, you can have it either or, or you can layer up with it. I did one last night where um, it's sort of darker background and then lighter getting to the front. Yeah. And then yeah. stamped over with the lines. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Really like that. And if people can't paint or feel that they're not confident to paint, yeah. that enables you to be really really confident and sort of do a bit of watercolour in yeah. even yeah absolutely me head have you heard the singing the singing in me head um have you <laughs> do, 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 i'm do. sure i'll hear it at some <laughs> point but that's not the singing i'm hearing no <laughs> Uh, 13 pounds and 98 pounds that is all you're paying um absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna just do this so you can see some of the decor there we go. Uh, now, last but by no means least, the beautiful papers. Now, if you were going for the papers on their own, um, you'd be going for, um, you get eight of the, the, uh, the 12 by 12 and eight of the A4. If you're going for it in the complete collection, you're actually getting four of each rather than eight of each. Now, these are absolutely gorgeous paper. Have a little look at this. Look, really nice. And again, really nice quality papers. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, they are proper frosty. There you go. And then last one, look at that. That's beautiful. And then in your 12 by 12s, I'll show you these as well, because these are equally gorgeous. So again, you have got the all double-sided papers. So you're either gonna get, I'm sorry, it does take ages showing them like this, don't it? So you're either gonna get them in the big bundle where you're getting four of each, so, if you're getting this one, ten pounds and ninety-two pence, you've got another saving off that four pounds three seven three eight three eight. So, altogether, you should be spending a hundred and twenty-three pounds and twenty-seven pence. That's what all of that comes to. That is huge, isn't it? But. If you're not a Freedom member, hold on, we're going to give you those details. So zooming in as we speak. 
Okay, so if you're not a Freedom member, you've got on top of all of those savings, you've got an extra £15 saving, okay? But if you're a Freedom member, on top of all the savings that we've been talking about, because obviously all those savings are carried forward, and then you've got an extra £25.83. That means you've got three flexes, £32 and £48. I mean, this is a um, huge saving. I'd, I'd like to add up the saving, you know, all together with the saving carried forward. Because it is, it's massive. Um, and, yeah, beautiful, beautiful kit, amazing quality. Um, it is busy as well. 40% of the big collection has already gone. Uh, do remember this is a time-limited offer. You've got so many offers, all time-limited. So if you do want to get hold of anything, please check out your baskets. Um, okay, so the big saving is actually, so they're carried forward at £37. Pounds. That's on top of that £25 saving. So actual, the actual saving is £64.83. I mean, that is huge, huge saving. Um, that is, uh, well, really, it's not the one-day special, but it's the one-day special. Uh, 676425 is your item number. Right, enough of me, because our Lou is ready and waiting and patient as ever. Uh, what are you doing, Alo? Right, well, I thought I'd layer everything up and... Um there's bits of everything I've got because I wanted to do a card that isn't a card and sort of build it up and play with it and just have fun really. So have some funky. Yeah. That's well, what I, it's all about. It is because um, when I was doing that last night I really enjoyed layering it all up and I thought I'm going to do that again. So what I've got is the die cut um, that is like that. So it's the, I don't know what, what it's called because they all have numbers but it, it's it's a beautiful shape like that if you want. Yeah. But I wanted to take it a bit further so I'll cut it out with two. So I've got these two contrasting colours because uh, I did a show a couple of weeks ago with Janine and yeah. she used purple and green together and it was one of my favourites for years and I forgot about it. Yeah. So now I'm bringing yeah. it back. So I thought, right, you cut two. And then while you're doing that, you cut out the opposite layers. So what you've got, just to show you in essence, is you can put that layer on there ah yes yeah, and then that layer on there to get a nice yeah, yeah. contrast with it which are quite like yeah so that, like it, that it builds up like three-dimensional like the other guys did on on the team yeah or you can actually just put it layer it on the same color yeah. so you get like a, a tone on tone and then i thought right but well, i want something in the background but while i was doing all that i started to cut out the other one as well because i thought if you don't want the the big um yeah. The square underneath yeah, it. Yeah, because that's a great one for my, my journal page. That yeah. I just loved that, and I thought, oh, goodness, look at that. Yeah, so I got brilliant. that out, and I cut it out of a few, just a mess. Yeah. And then, but I thought, oh, look at that as a stencil. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So you've got a two. See, this is the thing. If you get your stuff out, play with it, cut stuff out, yeah, yeah. it's all ready on here. And See, you... the scrap of those trees, oh. that is a real nice card. That, just on pretty paper, Absolutely. that's the card done, isn't it? Well, you know, the die cuts out these when you fit them back in each other color yeah yeah you've got a card done yeah and I, I'm, I'm forever like that so I cut out the trees out of the other one there's a spare one as well with the uh, little deer on it yes so you've got the trees and then you've got the deer oh yeah I love the deer so I thought right I've got all these bits all cut out and I thought that the best thing now is to add my own bit because it's great having all these bits and it is wonderful because you've got a ready-made card but if you're someone like me who wants to take it a little bit further then I think you, what I what I want to do is sort of add my own touch yeah so I'm putting the green one in the back and I'm having the purple on the top Beautiful. the reason for that is I'm going to build up a scene here right so that's just going to stick to my card. Just to remind, I made a card back um, to fit, just to show you, a little bit, just a little bit bigger than that. So yeah. what I thought you could do is either glue down the whole thing. Sorry, it's wrong way around that. Glue that the whole thing down or have that like that. Yeah. But then I thought if I only pass, the, I pass it through the die, yeah. That far, I could cut into the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could yeah. have the back one folded oh, up as yeah, well. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. So when you yeah. put it through your dye machine, what you would do is you put it there like that. Yeah. And then you'd only pass through to there. 
yeah, and yeah, then pass yeah. through to there, and that would all fold up then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's another thing. Yeah. It's yeah. only when you go past those two lines that it cuts out yeah. or folds. So there's another thing you can do. So that's the back. That's going to sit on there, free, or I quite like it being free because I like movement in my yeah. cards. And then the purple one is here. So I really like this colour. Um, so, right, I'm a mucky, a mucky pup. So I've got a spare card and I've got, some, well, I did have some wash hair that was all sorted before. Look at me. I can't stand being tidy. <laughs> what have you lost? Kate? Oh, my brain. I've lost my brain. Right, I'll use this, but I don't want to, but I'll use it. Where's that bit? Oh, I'll yeah. use this then. Use that bit on the floor, kid. It's right in front of me, look. Love my neck. Right, so I've got this bit spare card, but I will use it. It's just I want to use that. And I'm just going to try and be clean, um, which probably make Kay over there <laughs> laugh her head off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're chuckling. It's so nice to see you. I have not seen her for ages. It is nice, isn't it? When and, you start and you can't seeing... go and see people. And yeah. we all say, right, well, I'll give you a ring. And then things get, life gets in the way. And before you know it, it's been a few weeks. And you're like, oh, so coming here has been like, it, it's been like seeing all my mates again, seriously. It can't is wait. lovely, isn't it? It is. It really is nice. Because you do. We all have things that happen. And, you mean well, but it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. It's been yeah. hard, really, really hard for people. But that's what I like about these um, kits have kept me going. When I've been getting these kits, actually playing with them has really sort of kept me... It kind, it keeps you focused, doesn't it? I've, and it's given me a purpose, which yeah. is really important. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the big, the scene one, and I'm taking the mountainy one at the top. Oh, yeah. And I'm putting it on my really clean block. <laughs> well, that makes my block look actually clean. <laughs> Manky, that, isn't it? You seen that, Kay? <laughs> it's beautiful, that. It's like an art piece. Horrible, isn't it? Look at that. So, anyway, I've got an archival, but the archival I'm using is not a juicy one. Right. It's an old one. Right. So, I, I tend to keep my archivals at different rates, sort of. A juicy one, new one is for certain stamps, then older ones I tend to keep for things like this. Um, because I'm going to get a really nice line, yeah. but it's not too heavy. Yeah. Right, the reason I've put these two pieces on is to try and keep some sort of semblance of clean Super. there. And so I you don't, don't want, it... want the stamping on the Christmas trees at the start? Absolutely. Sorry, I forgot to say that. I don't want anything on these two. You can put it on. Oh, that looks really clean, doesn't it? Um, and I'm just using it to stamp perfect there. That's so, awful. right, what I'm going to do then is, I've got that. You can move it away. I'm not going to because I know I will get it mucky, so yeah. I'm not. So, I've got some paint, and this is just um, paint from a dabber there. This is just what I've got. It'd be great you've got the indigo blue paints over there. They'd be perfect for it. Um, and you just... Tiny bit of colour with this. Yeah. And the reason I've got this one is because, one, it was in my bag, yeah. and two, it sort of fits with the damsel ones. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've put my indigo blue ones in there, and someone's borrowed them and not put them back. Is hint, that me? Hint. Is that me, mate? Oh, no, no, you gave them me back. Oh, did I? Yeah, you Has gave them me back. Has somebody else done it again? Yeah. Oh. I don't mind loaning, but... Yeah, give that's cheeky, isn't give it? Give it me back, guys. Give it me back. Come yeah. on. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's true, though, because cage paints are really strong, and they're artist quality, so you're going to get every time... Seriously... Yeah, it's not yeah. just that she's over there, they are really, really good. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they yeah. are, they're, 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 because her, um, her white has got to tiny in it, so it's really strong, so it'd be great for this. Titanium that is, on a serious note, it is. It's got to tiny in it's one of the strongest gessos I've come across. Mm. Yeah, no, it is lovely, actually. It is, I, it? Yeah, yeah, I use them. Um, I've got them. <laughs> it is, it's really, and, and I, wouldn't, I wouldn't ever say that if it weren't true because it's not, well, one, yeah, I'd yeah, look yeah. a right idiot, and yeah. two, it, it, it's not fair on you if you're spending your money, it's not. Yeah, yeah. So I've got the two paints here, and what I'm going to do is create some sort of like resemblance of a background. Okay. Um, so I've got this, and I'm just going to paint very, look carefully, not, um, a little bit of water, and it's, it's almost self-colouring. So I'm just scribbling it. In fact, I can take that out for now. So 
it looks really awful when it, uh, last night it was so funny because my other half <laughs> and his <laughs> mum were watching and she's uh, she made a comment about my shirt but my other half went looked at me my piece of work and went oh that is so rough where's she going with that <laughs> and in the end he said i even surprised him he said you really did surprise me because i did think it was really sh really really um <laughs> Shocking, he said. It's like, thanks, babe. Yeah. Thanks. But I get lots of that. It's like Jane Telford often tells me, she says, oh, look at some of your stuff, how it's that. She says, and I think, oh, what's she doing on telly? <laughs> but she says, then it ends up all right. I said, oh, thanks for that. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've put loads of water with this paint. And what I've done is I've just created a skyline. Can you see? So it's quite dark at the moment because there's a lot of um, water and once you've sort of wet card you can see it it goes darker anyway so I've got some sort of skyline I'm going to add a little bit now I'm using bleed proof white and bleed proof white is brilliant because what it is is a, it's um, a, a sort of artist paint no a graphic artist yeah. um, ink and what yeah. it does is it doesn't allow color to bleed through oh. you know when you put paint um, pen on or something and you get um white on top of something and yeah, you, yeah, it yeah. ends up going pink or yeah, purple yeah, yeah, yeah. it stops it because it puts a barrier down but it's wow, like a gesso it is really good it comes in a tiny little pot and that that lasts years and years and years because you you dilute it wow okay to however you want yeah so you don't just you can use it neat but we yeah. have got it on the we've got it on the website because i've used it before but i come to that again and again and again because you've got this great ability yeah. just to block things out so I'm just putting another layer at the top and then as you can see look it does look rough I know it does it does <laughs> It's like if the camera we got trust you though, okay. if the camera got up close to my face it's as rough as that <laughs> right so don't put your paint away with us I'm going to add a tiny bit of a tiny bit of purple to the white and I'm gonna just blend it a little bit because I want it to be seamless and at the moment it looks like there's a right thunderstorm going on so <laughs> I want it to be a bit nicer than that so I'm just going to put in a tiny bit of the purple and blend it back up now add water to it so this is this is what I like right because you've got this card kit this kit so you can make your cards yeah, yeah, yeah. you can make anything you want but then you can change it and put your own stamp on it whereas you know if you just want to cut it out stick it all together that'll look brilliant as well yeah, but yeah. if you want to put like your own bits and bobs on then you can build that's it up. the beautiful thing about these kits though isn't it it's literally you do whatever you want yep absolutely oh, yeah, that's beautiful and all i've done now is i've got a mucky a mucky and, it, and the, the reason for this is you have to screw it up so that you've got surface areas and then the surface areas will pick up the paint and put that on beautiful. if you want like last night if you look at the show last night when we was doing like a pad like that we got a different effect all together yeah. and we were able to get a softer effect so i'm going to just leave that like that so now, i really like that already yeah it's really simple really yeah. simple then i get a tiny bit of the white again and all i'm going to do i can't really see the mountains can we get close to mr b right it's so there's the mountain in. lines now and i'm just blending it out Oh yeah, that's nice. So now, now we've got the mountain range sort of happening. Yeah. And if I show you now that when you put on, this is going to go. I can see mountains now. on there now. Oh yeah, that's nice. So you can see it happening. Yeah, and yeah. And then yeah. what you've got the choice of doing is building up your own scene. So I could put that in the front. Yeah, that's cool. Or sorry. Oh, I like that. So you could put that, yeah, and then yeah. you're going to chop it off. Yeah. Or you can go with the other ones and just build it up yeah, yeah. with the positive and the negative yeah. you don't need to win. so that's what i thought we could do so just leave that i yeah. do like these as well and i'm going to put a couple of these on as well i do like these because these will just go yeah and then because as you move forward things get bigger yeah yeah so absolutely i'm just going to use um now this is the blocky one on it so out of the three i've used that first this one second and then this one will be at the front because i'll be able to see more detail the further you go away the less detail yes. you see but yeah. this is great for backgrounds it's great for cracks in paint it's great for 
lightning, yeah. you name it. Yeah, of course. It is cracking for lightning, isn't it? It's great for all sorts. So don't just see it as a landscape thing. Yeah. And that writing we've got is perfect. It's so yeah. tiny. People will not be able to read that when you're doing it in layers. Yes, So yes, you yes. could do almost like put it on anything. Yeah. It wouldn't just be a Christmas thing. So I've got this now. Now, I can use the black one. Or what I did use last night, which I did put out, is um, you could use your pens or you could use a little bit of... I'm going to use this. I don't know if it'll work, though. I think it might be a bit too light. No, I'll go with this. Go with this. I'm just going to use this, but I'm going to sort of do it a bit dod a dodgy stamping. A bit of dodgy stamping, love. Dodgy stamping. Mm. And the only reason I'm doing dodgy stamping is because I don't want it to be too harsh. OK. Perfect. That's right, good. so that shows me that I'm going to get hit and miss, which is what I want. Right, so I'm cool. just going to put that on. Right, I didn't put that under there. <laughs> you do that at home. It's a, it's a good job I stopped, isn't it? <laughs> See, trying to be clean. Don't work. Told you, told you. Right, so I'm just going to do it again. A bit of dodgy stamping, kid. Dodgy stamping. Perfect. Lovely dodgy stamping. Lovely, because it's only in background. I'm not, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm not trying to sort of, uh, you know, do it really precisely because it, you won't see it much in background. Yeah. And then what you do is you get your same paintbrush if you want or whatever, and you can add a little bit of paint to these. Lovely. See there again, I really like that stamp set. Um, if you just want that stamp set, you know, you've got the gorgeous stamps. Um, you have got with that one the uh, two lots of the background stamps. Really, really nice. Um, Thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence is your price. Remember, they are the um, yeah the background stamps with the the winter trees, and then that I re I think. Like, if I were having to go for just little bundles, that would absolutely be one of the bundles I went for. It's nice you know, one, if I couldn't go it? for the biggie, I would absolutely have that one. Um, and thirteen ninety eight, that's proper affordable. Really like those. Um, to, uh, nine, seven, nine five seven three three five is your item number if you want to go for just that bundle. Um, you have got those options. I love that it's broken down into really um, affordable options as well. Nine five seven three three five. Sorry, Lou, back to no, you. No, it's fine. What I'm going to do now is just put the other ones in the front and building up that way. So, and then we've got a scene. We can put the trees on. So what I'm trying to do is build up a nice little scene. Yeah. But these are in any colours you choose I mean I could stamp in green on that now yeah um, I could you, you know choose your own colours but you can just see now where it hit and missed I put a bit of paint it's gone now you can't see yeah, yeah. that and when I put a little bit of white on those trees it will disappear altogether now you can use your oxides if you want but now I need a crisper ink right so I'm going to use Versafine because this will give me more of a detail and that's what I want. I want more yeah. of a detail. I don't want the um, the blockiness of the other one. I want detail. So I'm just going to offset it, and I'm going to stamp there. Now, hopefully, people realise that you you need to leave your block and your ink so your ink can sink in. Because a lot of the times, people sort of stamp and pull off the block straight away. And yeah, what yeah. happens is you haven't given your yeah, you haven't given it time to sort of work in. Yeah, yeah. So I've got... I do that. Yeah, well, it's on and off, on and off. And uh, you think, well, you know, my ink, it, if it's a bit dry, it won't sort of yeah, stick. Yeah. But if you put, sort of give it a minute to just soak in. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more, not a lot, I don't want a lot, of the purple paint just to fill it in. I've got a little bit here. It's a bit dry, this paint, I must admit. <laughs> and I'm just Go on, give doing that. a splash more paint, love. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm getting a bit. Treat yourself, Lou. And I'm going to get some new stuff. Right, so done that, happy with that. Now, I can choose what I want, quite like that there. Or I could choose my purple trees if I want with a black flash on them. A black flash? Oh, cheeky black flash. Cheeky black flash. See what I mean? They fit, they fit in there like that. That looks quite nice. Or I could do it the other way. So if I get that, black tree with a cheeky purple flash oh i love that see those are trees so are they on which are they with oh are they with do you see these ones yes yeah. right got it so i'm just going to put the black one i quite like the black one and i'm just going to do 
Right, on here. Look, I unbunged it, Mark. I unbunged it. Right, what are we telling you off? Oh, yeah, I said, unbung your glue before you go on the telly. I said, I unbung it all the time. <laughs> this gets unbunged every single show. I like that he gives you a running narrative on your shows. <laughs> oh, he gives me crits. <laughs> gives me crits, and I'm like, what? He says, oh... Well, I'm going to tell you all right. Mark's mum is 80 and tomorrow, and she's absolutely, she's a brilliant lady. And she says to me, are you allowed to wear that shirt with Bob Marley on it? <laughs> it was the other one, but it is, it's like this lady. You know, you know, you all know who we love. Yeah. But she's called Bob Marley. <laughs> I mean, it's spit of Bob Marley. Bob Marley, I love Bob Marley, but... Maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. So, anyway, um, yeah, I've given a shout out. She'll kill me now. She'll kill me. She'll go, oh, what are you telling people that for? Well, you shouldn't have said it. Nothing is sacred with me. Nothing. And that's it. It's like Ron Teller. If you don't want it, tell her, Jimmy. You don't want us to <laughs> tell. Don't tell me. <laughs> Oh, it's like otherwise. <laughs> I mean, you're giving us, you're giving us like, um, ammo. what's it, what's it called when comedians have material? You're giving us material, you're mate. You're giving me ammo. I've lost my tree. It's here somewhere. But... Can I show? Well, you loved for your trees. Yeah, so I'm going to show these. Go because on, this is the, the pack that um, Lou's using at the minute. And you can see the trees. You're getting three of the different size trees. You get the beautiful deer. I mean, just cutting black like Lou's. To, oh, then look, the baby. Just cutting in black. They look absolutely gorgeous. Not only do you get those for 17.97 you're also getting of course a beautiful frame i love that you get the eyelet separate so you can put that on the tag or of course you can make that into a tag and then you're getting all those die cuts and there's 300 die cuts in there really gorgeous really traditional um but there's cute elements in there as well there's loads of little florals so there's all sorts in there Really, really good um, little pieces for collage. Beautiful. Um, and that kit, again, the prices are astounding. For that whole collection, you've got a lot of dies there as well. I mean, um, two die sets, but there's actually a lot of dies in there for just £17.97. That is 765178. That's your item number if you do want to go for that collection. Obviously, all part of the complete collection, which is massive, and that's where you've got that huge, huge saving as well. I mean, of course... You know, the, the Saving Freedom members, 25.83, it isn't. I mean, really, it's £64.83. That's how much you're Saving Freedom members. Um, and three flexi buys as well. So it does mean you can really split that up. Um, and, of course, it becomes really affordable. 676.425 is your item number today. The whole collection for 32.48. The whole collection. It is amazing. When you think about, like, really, you know, that first two, that's, well, that first one is nearly your first payment, isn't it? I mean, that, it is amazing. Anyway, sorry, back to you, Arlene. Well, I, what all I've done is stop faffing, and uh, I've got the b base, yeah. the base there, and uh, you can either or, like I said, you can think about cutting this, or you could just put it out straight like that and have it. Free or stuck. Anyway, I've got the other one. What I've done now is I've put the inside and the outside of the trees in uh, it. They look really good. So it's built it up a little bit. And what you can do then is, if you so wish, you can then put in your little yeah. deer. These might be... Actually, they're not too bad there. So, you know, you the, can put... Do you know what? The deer, the, the legs, they are so delicate. They are really good. And I've cut out, I'm cutting out a quite decent card here, so, you know, that's a feat in itself. Yeah. And it depends on your own cutting machine as well, of course. But, yeah, they, they, they do really good dyes. They're very now, good. I'm just gluing that on there. I mean, you can do it off so you don't have to glue it on there first. But I'm just doing that there and then folding it over. And I'm keeping to this idea of um, using all the bits. Beautiful. So the other bits I've got here, I'm just going to put... Because I quite like movement in card. I like yeah. it to look different. I don't want it to all... I'd, I'd, if I'm making a card out of all these little bits, I want to put my own little bit on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't Your want it to spin. just be cut and stuck on. I just want different bits. And I want it to be interesting. So I'm sticking the purple on the green and the green on the purple. Yeah, I like that. To give it a little bit of... That like movement, yeah, and contrast. However, if you don't stick it all the way down, you can have even more 
contrast them by having them loose. Yeah, you can yeah. let them sort of, if you just glue it down the spine, like that, then that's free as well, but yeah. either or, it's up to you. So I've got that there. Now, what I was going to do was, if I didn't have this in the background, I could just easily put that there, if I so wish. That quite cool as well, doesn't it? Um, so you can do anything, or yeah. I could have the car in, it's entirely up to you. But yeah. what I did think was, just here, I'm just going to put in a couple of trees so yeah. that it looks, because this looks really bare. Um, and I'm just keeping a couple of the trees to go in there. Now, I am not worried whether I use the inside or the outside. And by that, I mean, this is the waste, but I quite like this as yeah. trees. See, it does look really cool, doesn't it, the waist bit? Yeah. I like that they'll come out as a full piece. That looks really effective. They look like tall, skinny trees. Yeah. There's no way you look at that and think that's the waist. No, you no, actually no. think that's part of it. So I am going to put these on here because I do like. Now, this I'm using um, a tacky glue and it will dry clear, so you won't see any of that. Um, it's entirely up to you what you want to put on. Now, I could have uh, sort of hide in there. It's entire, I don't know, you start playing, see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going yeah. to have him in there, get a little bit of tree there. So, what I'm going to do now is get your pens, um, your white pen or your drawing pens or yeah. anything, and we're going to ground this, because at the moment they're all floating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you get your black pens or you get a little bit of paint, whatever you're using, and yeah. we're just going to ground it by adding a little bit of dark. Um, I'm using a purple that I then would put a little bit of, say, See, dark that pencil. that works, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It, it brings it all down now. But and then, it just brings it all together so it all just works. But I've used all the bits, the mechanical bits and the die cuts and everything, and, and you know, and, and but I've made it my own. I've, yeah. I've not left it to be just card stuck on. I've yeah. made it all my own. So yeah. now the finishing touch is really simple and all you're going to do is get, um, you can get a, like a little ball, ball tool, you yeah. can get a tiny paintbrush, whatever you want and you can just sort of put some little dots in the sky. You might not be able to see them. Oh no we can. And just... Yeah, that's all snowy and lovely. And then if you want to just some on one side like that. You don't want a lot because otherwise it'll overpower everything. Beautiful. And you just put some little bits now and again, especially on the die cuts, and it just yeah. brings it. If you don't want it as bright, just smudge it in. A bit. Smudge it in. Because it's got um, a texture on the paper, you're going to get the texture, which is quite nice. I'll see, I prefer yeah. that. Yeah, I like that. How much time have we got, gang? Right, I better just give a quick thing. While you're just Done. finishing off our looks, I've only got a few minutes. Yeah. Okay, um, it is really, really busy. Half the stock has gone on the complete collection. You have got beautiful stamps, you've got dies, um, you've got papers, you've got die cuts. I mean, this is huge. Um, £108.27. Let me show you some of the beautiful cards that have been made by the gang. Uh, the saving is massive. Please be part of a Chanda Freedom. A Chanda Freedom members, um, you're actually saving. It's really, really 60 odd quid. I mean, it's a huge saving, £64.83. So please be an Achanda Freedom member. Today, your first purchase to get hold of everything is only um, £32 and something. And that is it. The whole collection is going to be delivered to your door. You have not to miss out on this one. It is a time-limited offer. You have only got till the end of today to be able to get hold of this at that fantastic saving. And remember, there's, it's a win to collection you know like Lou said it isn't um, just Christmas I mean there's no way that's just Christmas that is lovely that is magical I love that we've got Bernard Bernard. Bernard. And remember, that's using the stamps that our Lou's been using. It's using the dies as well there, um, which look absolutely fantastic. The actual, sorry, I'm reaching. The die that our Lou's been using there, which looks absolutely exquisite. Remember, you've got those doors. You've got the beautiful windows as well. I mean, how different is that? That is so cool. 
I really like that die with the embossing folder. There's so many different things you can do. You just need to get hold of it, experiment and play, and you have got the best saving. Um, 676-425, there she is. <laughs> That's your item number. Uh, do not miss out on this one. Right, we've got one minute. Let's see what you did. I'd like to show you that. Oh, that's beautiful. And then this is mine. Look, look, look. Can I show? Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, that's brilliant. Did you do that, Arlo? No, that's Rachel, but I that's did one Rachel. similar. But yeah, but I'm finished with mine now. I'm happy oh, with mine. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm I really love that, Lou. There we go. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Um, so you're going to be back at 12 then, Arlo? Yeah. Um, please do not miss out on any of these Me shows. Me and Bob. Me and Bob. Hey? You and Bob. Me and Bob. You and Bob Marley. <laughs> Am I up back at 12 as well? And me! We're Yay! together! Oh, we like the buses. I do know what I'm doing. We like the buses. We are, aren't we? Yeah, all you all don't all see. Yeah, and then three at once. All at once. One of them. And I'll get in. Like <laughs> <laughs> um, now, uh, please obviously check your baskets out. Time limited offer um, and an incredible offer from Studio Light. I'll be back with you with our Lou at 12 o'clock. Woo! See you later. Bye-bye. Coming up next, um, it is indeed the indigo blue. It looks gorgeous over there. All that colour. We've then got Tula Pink, fabulous um, homemade fabric, and then B Monica with B Crafty. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers, and I'm here to talk to you about the Stitched Up Ruler System. Stitched Up Ruler System was uh, born in America and I saw how um, unique it was and wanted to bring it to the viewers on a chanda. So what we've done is we've been designing these rulers and they are specific depth to work with the specific foot that you need but this enables you to be able to use this on a domestic sewing machine at home. We now design and manufacture the rulers and the feet here in Yorkshire. We've got lots of new designs and uh, new shapes coming to you and we can't wait to bring them to you at home. So make sure you don't miss the Stitched Up Ruler System with me on a chanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, newsletters, competitions and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy and we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. 
We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family run company from the Midlands and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Well, hello everybody, a warm welcome. I absolutely love indigo blue. Uh, and I don't get to work with Kay often enough. How are you doing, Kay? Hi. Jen, it's went through a period where we didn't work together for ages. I know, I I've know. genuinely missed you. Oh, you know, I missed you too. You gave me some artwork when I first started here. Yes. Uh, and it's still in my kitchen. Really? In our kitchen, Because yeah. you don't tidy up very often. That's it, that's pretty much it, <laughs> yes. No, it's just a beautiful piece of art. Uh, speaking of which, we've got uh, some new stamps for you. They are brand new today. And am I right in saying, I'm hesitant to say this, but an exclusive at the moment? They are, yes. Yeah? Okay, yes. great. So do take advantage by a brand new uh, designer for you, and she's incredible. She is, so this is amazing. I know it says it's written, uh, you can see it there, Asia, but it's pronounced Asha. It is, Asha. yes. And she's incredible. She is, isn't she? Brilliant. It's really lovely to work with her. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted with um, with her first launch. We really, really pleased. You can see she's got a very distinctive style. Uh, I've got yes. to tell you, we've literally just started the show and 10% of the stock's already gone. Wow. That, to me, is a massive indicator we're going to have a big one, uh, busy one. Uh, another indicator we're going to be busy is Leonie was walking past. Uh, I heard her say, oh, I like those. Yeah, she, she did. Is, she's got her eye on them already, and Leonie has got a good eye. If Leonie likes them, trust me, you are going to love them. Just want to show you, uh, for the benefit, I know 99% of you will be aware of the quality you get with Indigo Blue, but for those that aren't, we are talking red rubber, foam mounted, beautiful, beautiful stamps. Because if you're going to bring stamps, you always try and bring us the very best, don't you? Absolutely, yes, because um, we make them in-house um, by ourselves, um, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, Alfie's worked really, really hard to make sure that we get the technique right to get um, ultra-fine lines, which you can see in Asia's work, Asha's work here. Mm. Um, and they're deep etched as well and red rubber is fantastic to use because they last such a long time yeah. if you look after them they they can last a lifetime so just showing you all the stamps that you're getting actually what i will do very quickly i'm just going to turn these all around just so we can see uh the amount of stamps that you're getting here i mean two flexi payments of 2148 but when you consider all of these stamps for 42.96, I think that's for red rubber foam mounted pre-cut stamps. That is really it is good going. It is a really, really good price. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We're delighted to be able to do that for our Hachanda fans. And um, as you can see, they're already cut out for you, already um, to go. Uh, keep the packaging oh, like because those. you can use that for yeah. uh, storage. And you just need to peel them off and put them onto a, a, an acrylic block, and away you go. I love these, Kay. I can't wait to see them in action. I'll just show you a couple of inspirations just to wet your whistle. Oh, now that. That is from Carolyn Lakin. That's stunning. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's really nice. Textures and look, layers are something that we all advocate, and I know it's a fundamental of your crafting, especially mixed media, to build up those layers of detail. And the stamps are just beautiful. So they have a very distinctive style, which is important. Now, I really like this flower because it's elegant, 
you don't have to do a lot with it. Just create a background, stamp on, done. This is another piece on, that was uh, Kerry. I'm sorry, I haven't been reading out names, so I will try to read out names here. Uh, this is Jill. And we are going to, I think we are going to also, just at the bottom of your screen, scroll all the design teams there. Big thank you, because your design team are awesome. They are awesome, yeah. absolutely. I'm really, really lucky to have um, some really um, amazing designers and yeah. uh, well-known designers as well in yeah. our team. So thank you all ever, ever so much. There's Carolyn in here. These are beautiful. They are, aren't they? They're lovely. No name on this one, but it just goes to show uh, the potential of what you can achieve with these fabulous stamps and we will be playing around uh, with these stamps obviously in a few moments time, so do bear with us. This is cute. This is another it's one from gorgeous, Carolyn. Isn't Caroline, it? this is lovely. Carolyn, sorry. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely oh, nice. little book. Beautiful. Ooh. But just showing you and where I think this is brilliant, just using that frame and just a portion of it within the book and this wall frame, stunning. Like it's that a lot. Yeah. 42.96 is your price for our brand new bundle. Uh, it is an exclusive. Ooh, ooh. A third of the stock's already gone. Wow. We are busy. <laughs> That's less than five minutes into the show. It gives you an indication of how many people are going for this option. If you do want to place it into your basket, 650-701 is your item number. We're going to move on. Okay, we need to speak. <laughs> Am I right in saying, and please correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first time you've brought us papers. It is, it is. Um, I mean, we've had, uh, we have had papers in the past, but these are the first that um, I have actually created um, from scratch um, and painted them and laid them up. So this is basically, um, and the 12 months in the making, <laughs> I keep saying I should bring those papers out. I should finish them off. But um, They are incredible works of art. Now, two things to point out. Kay deliberately made sure to pick uh, the lightest paper to put the designs because she wanted to get, the, they feel like decoupage papers, yes, they're very that's right. light, yeah. so what that means is if you want to fuse them into a project or layer them up, you've got a lot of flexibility with these. You have and they won't add um, bulk to it and even after a few layers you can still stamp over them and get great impressions with them and uh, that's why I've put the slap it on mat on with them. But yes, um, these are basically a piece of artwork that I've created and it's the way I build up all the layers um, of the papers and stenciling and texture paste and stuff like that before I actually go into putting the focal image on. So if, if you are just dipping your toe into mixed media or, or you're you want to go and create something but you haven't got much time or you're faced with a blank piece of paper and you don't know where to start, mm -hmm. this is perfect because this yeah. is all the background work done for you Look already. So I've got to just give you uh, some details. So $9.99 your price, you're saving £3. New today, case a lot of people have been asking when we'd finally have these. So you've got two different options, you've got your cool and your warm. Uh, I think that's the warm. Yes. And then let's just show you the cool. And these, I say each one it's a work of art. You can see that. Now this is your call, cool, but they are stunning, stunning pieces. I mean, look at that. Okay, these. Are yeah, there's a lot of um, a lot of fun gone into them. Actually, I've really enjoyed doing them because um, I've just done exactly what I want to do. Um, just had a good play and built up layers, um, and then you know, save them. As I say, I've been doing these on and off for the past 12 months just whenever I've had time to have a play the spare five minutes or so um, so um, so yeah I'm really really delighted with them there's six designs and there's two of each design and they are single-sided so that Ooh. you can do those nice thin layers um, that are so in inherent with mixed media. Yeah. I think these are going to be busy. If you want to add a little bit of indigo blue magic to a project, if you're new to mixed media, if you're starting out or you just want to start uh, a project and uh, build on from a firm foundation of quality, $9.99 is your price. Instant artwork, but what you've got is the potential then to take it that step further, add your own artistic merits in your own artistic style to the papers but you've got such a solid foundation so think about your texture paste adding more stamps more stencils uh, just using a little bit of the paper onto say an MDF project a mixed media board 999 is your price 
whether you're going for the cool or the warm or both, and they are both busy, 004204, your item number there. Okay, uh, very quickly, we do have some slapper on. Now, what you'll notice is that K, uh, and this is already popular, use a slapper on, go to medium, uh, as the name suggests, you're just slapping it on, it's extremely versatile. You've got here the slapper on matte duo, and you're getting the foam brush applicator in the mix as well. For $9.99, both of those generous pots, so 200 mil pots of Slap It On, uh, your matte medium, so we can use that in so many different uh, guises. It's just great stuff, and you'll see it being used. So if you haven't, if you're not familiar with Slap It On, stay tuned because I know that Kay's going to be using this. 433 644, your item number, and this is just uh, an indication of where you could be using your sla uh, Slap On. Dries clear, so you will not see it. Uh, finally, we have some beautiful fabric paints for you as well. These are options. We've got three different options. I uh, just want to show you when we talk about fabric paints and the quality of the fabric paints that K brings. Look at these. So, this is your indigo blue. You're getting four mixed media matte paint sets with your paint. So, we're getting the paint matte with them as well, K? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. So, uh, already very, very busy for these. The quality <coughs> are incredible. This is your first option. $9.99 for all, all four of those. So, this is your Winbury Pie, your Burning Bonfire, great names, Postbox Red, and Townhouse Teal. Four options. Love those already. So you've, with those four options, you've already got me. Uh, this is another option for you. Uh, this is your porcelain, your medium beige, worn tan, and your rouge. So nice earthy tones coming through there, neutral tones. And then finally, we have our marshmallow, banana custard, oh, olive, olive waistcoat, yes. whisk coat. Waistcoat. Oh, it is waistcoat. <laughs> <laughs> it's misspelled on. So Ross, my producer, was reading it to me. It's misspelled on our website. He was like, "No, no, it's whist coat. It's definitely whist coat." I can just see him going out on a night out with his whist coat. Uh, so there we go. Nine ninety nine is your price there. Three nine six one three two. Your item number. Uh, do go to the website and you get to see all the colours. So you can see all the different options there. Uh, and then you, you get to see the whist coat uh, on there too. You, you've been vindicated, Ross. It's not your fault. All right, we're going to have some fun now. And this is what Ho Chanda's all about. Uh, it's given a platform for some of the most talented crafters in the world. Uh, and I definitely would put Kay into that back at So uh, if you've got any questions for Kay, please get in touch. Studio at hochanda.com. Got to tell you, with our new bundle of stamps, we are 80% of the stock. 11 minutes into the show, that gives you an indication of the following that Indigo Blue have. Uh, I'm going to just be open with you. We are making calls as it stands to see if we can get hold of some more stock. So we are speaking back to base and talking to Indigo Blue K, and hopefully we can get some hold of more stock because I think it's going to go. Right, what are we going to do, Kay? Okay, so I'm going to show you, we're going to use some of the papers to begin with because they're so super easy to, um, to play with. Um, and I'm going to use our um, slap it on mat. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it comes with a flat top, so actually sand it with a flat top so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, shaking it to get it out. Yeah. Now, the good thing about this slap it on is that it, it's what, it, we call in the trade a good flow rate, which means mm -hmm. that when you've used it, um, you don't see any lines of your paintbrush or foam brush at all. Mm -hmm. And um, the thing to do with um, Slap It On is you put it on the base that you're going to use, and you also put it on the, whoops, far too much there, okay. And you also put it on the paper as well. So right. just. Okay, so we're just going to cover mm -hmm. all of that, and as okay. I say, it's nice and thin, so it's very, very easy just to to layer up Lovely. like and this. We're just using the new papers designed by Kay, 12 years, uh, 12 years, 12, 12 months, years. No, 12 years, <laughs> Sorry, 12 years, that's a long time, 12 months, I thought that sounded longer than a bit, uh, 12 months in the making for those. Speaking of popular, by the way, we've got to give you a little big update, um, the stamps. They have sold out. I'm sorry, they have gone. We are just trying to clarify uh, if we can get hold of some more stock. And the minute we get an answer to that, we will get back to you. But as it stands, if you've got them in your basket, please check out. You'll have them on immediate dispatch. And uh, hopefully I can bring you some more news on the stamps very shortly. 
Right, so um, they're also really good for paper piecing and layering as well. So what I always have is on the corner of my desk when I'm actually playing, I end up with little tiny pieces of paper all over the place. And uh, I do like to use these up and I do um, in a lot of my work. So I'm just going to get all these bits and bats that we end up with because, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> typical crafter, I don't want to leave them. Um, and not use them. So I'm just going to put a bit of matte medium on there, slap it on matte. Now the good thing about the slap it on matte is that it does actually come uh, finish, give you a, a matte finish completely. Yeah. And the unusual thing about our matte medium is the fact that it um, it gives you a very very clear, crystal yeah. clear finish to your work. And that that can be quite difficult to give you a matte colour. Um, a matte finish with very very little uh, yeah, this, colour to it. It's crystal clear this when you're finished. This awesome, though. Laying up, no, no, the, the, with the papers, you deliberately wanted to go for a lighter sort of decoupage fill paper to That's allow right. these kind of effects. Uh, we have had news on the stamps, and it is good news. So a brand new collection, the uh, design, and this is an exclusive at the moment for Ho Chanda, designed by an incredible designer. Uh, Asha, these are back now on extended delivery, so they're going to be dispatched on the 21st. Well, that's not long. No, a couple of days, isn't couple it? Couple of days. Yeah, that's that's fine. We've got so they will look. They're going to be dispatched on Monday. Uh, we've got to actually say a huge thank you to Indigo Blue because they saw how popular these are. The fact that they're bringing them back only two days extended is incredible. So on Monday, these will be dispatched. You do not have long uh, to wait for those at all. And the restock is already proven busy, so do not miss out. It just it just gives us a chance to actually make them. Yeah. You know? Fair enough. <laughs> um, but the staff are doing really well. We uh -oh. are on a, a small... Uh, uh, number of staff but um, they're doing great okay. and um, yeah really really happy with them so what I'm doing is I'm actually concentrating this round about the center of this mm. paper so you've got this lovely soft watercolor effect going yes. on with this paper it's it's one of the plainest papers in the blue pack in the mm. warm pack I should say um, and I'm just snipping off bits of paper. I'm using just squares and oblongs because I just find it easier to to use these. And you can see that because they're nice and thin, they're so easy just to um, you know, layer yeah. up. Um, and I did actually test them and they're great when you just want to stamp over the top mm -hmm. as well. You don't get all those lumps and bumps coming through. So um, okay. And there's no real rhyme or reason here. I'm just sort of right. making up as I go along, really, um, with these little scraps. Now, I'm just going just. To, I'm sorry to be that presenter that keeps on giving That's updates. All right. That's uh, okay. But with regard to the restock, so it's back on extended delivery, and a third of that extended delivery stock has now gone. Uh, so we've only just brought it back to you. Just, you can tell, and it's funny because. Say so between shows, Leonie walked past Leonie and Lou, and she they were did. looking at these. And Leonie was saying, I "Absolutely love these," uh, and you can see how busy we are. And as a presenter, we know when you bring a stamp set that just captures everyone's imagination. That's right. These are popular. They are, aren't they? They're they're brilliant, and I'm so pleased for Asha as well that they are popular. Um, she'll be watching. So hi, hi, darling. I'm really pleased for you. This is yeah. brilliant. Well, and just the sheer, well, we're looking at these red rubber, foam mounted, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, stamps brought to you by, look, the fact that if they're brought to you by Indigo Blue, you know the quality that you're getting. But then when you consider the design, uh, so brand new designs from uh, Asher, and then you've also got the price on there as well. And I don't want to be Look, I don't want to get always focus on price because obviously you have to love something and you want to buy quality. But that price for all, everything you're getting here, I think, is incredible. Can I just show very quickly one example? Where, uh, this is from Carolyn. Mm -hmm. I just think this is so clever. It's a, a nice, delicate little piece using that wonderful flower, but also the frames. And this is one thing I do want to point out. Those frames, whether you're just stamping together and layering up so great for your sentiments for your little albums your card making the flower flourish that's in the set as well and then look at this do this technique isn't that a lovely composition that's beautiful, isn't it? 
isn't it? Really beautiful. I think jelly plates. Get the stamps onto your jelly plates and you have a lot of fun. Right, sorry, did it, what, what did we miss? You didn't miss anything okay. at all. I just, uh, I was just getting my uh, luscious out cool. um, and ready to stamp one of those, in fact, one of your favorite flowers out of the set, right, actually. Nice. So, um, so as you can see, um, this might, um, it's not wrinkling at the moment, but you might find that depending on what you put it on, I'm using the pink frog watercolour card, yeah. which is superb for this job because it will take all the abuse of all the different layers mm. and re-wetting it and re-wetting it. But you might find that it will crinkle up a little bit, mm. but don't worry because when it's dry, as you can see, it flattens out. Okay, so I'm just going to put those to one side for the moment okay. and I'm just going to stamp this lovely flower. I'm going to be using um, the Vespine Claire, which are my favourites, and I'm so pleased that Hachanda have actually brought them to you. I saw there was a show on last yeah. week um, with, um, with the Versafine Claire. Um, mm -hmm. So you'll find these on the website now. Perfect. Um, but Ooh, I've used nice. two colours. I've used um, Paradise. Yeah. and warm breeze okay mm -hmm. and I've used a paradise on the bottom bit and the warm breeze on the top yeah. bit so you get slight different color to it I've also um, got some embossing powder here it's just our indigo blue one mm -hmm. and you can emboss that Nice. And I, I love embossing because yeah. it gives you that lovely, beautiful edge. And all you do is you heat that up, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that just now because I've already done one for you. Okay. Okay. And then um, this is lovely to colour in. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my Luscious, which are on the show as well. They're all back in stock, so grab them quickly while, while we've got them. Just before you, you start colouring, could you just show a pot of the Luscious? Have you got yes, any Yes, absolutely. And I think this is important. Because Have I got a pot? Well, <laughs> I've only that. got one or two. But if we could just lift one of the pots out. There you go. Because typically with, uh, with powders, you would get, say, um, a five mil, so the, the, the size, size of the, of the cap. Lid. Yeah. And I think a lot of crafters, we, we can associate with that, right? Look at that, it's 25 mil. Am I right in saying 25 mil? Yes, it is. Yeah, 25 yeah. mil in total. And you're getting three of those for 14.97. Uh, and I would say the best thing to do is go onto the website, see all the colours, but they are incredible. We're going to be using those uh, in a moment, but do go onto the website and have a look at all the uh, variants that we have there. But the Luscious are, I can't say enough about them, I think they're fantastic. They are brilliant and they're incredibly popular, yeah. um, which is why we just, we just keep on extending our range, mm. um, because people just absolutely love them, and so do I, and with them being a powder, there's so much more you can do with them. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use them as watercolour. Um, yes. I've put them in these palettes because once you use them as a watercolour you can reconstitute them. Oh, okay. okay so um, that's what I've done here that's and you can actually mix the them. colours. Um, you can get these from indigoblue.com because unfortunately Hachanda um, can't stock these okay. um, so I'm allowed to say that. Yeah. Um, so what I do to make a watercolour is get a brush which is wet and then dip it into the powder, mm -hmm. the pigment powder, and then put that into the palette yeah. and just mix it in very slowly. It takes a couple of seconds for the um, water and the they look powder to so mix. So luxurious. It is, it is. So the yeah. way w these are different um, from um, other pigment powders is this is. Oh, look, it matches my nail colour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can actually use it as, uh, mixed in with nail colour, actually. You can wow. actually mix the powder with uh, gloss nails, oh, wow. um, nail polish. and um, <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> it is, yeah. So we, we use a really good quality pigment, yeah. and then we add mica powder to it as well. So the mica powder is probably what you've used in the past, mm. and um, that's... Uh, that gives it that lovely sort of shine as well. So what else have we got in here? Let's um, pick out something like a silver. Do I remember Let's you, you were explaining, and this is from us doing a show a long, long time ago with the Luscious. I want to get this right. Is it the binder or the filler? There's something with the Luscious. Have That's right. That right. Yes, we've got a binder as well in there. Yeah. So that enables it to actually stick to... Um, 
there's whatever no you're putting on. That there's no it. filler. That's no, it. absolutely not. We don't put fillers in any of our yeah. uh, products at all. Um, we, we do believe in just giving you the best possible quality. Now I'm just wetting this down because mm -hmm. this is on a Pink Frog watercolour card and mm. it is on the show today so um, they always do a good price for mm. us on our show so that's great. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of that peacock. Okay and I'm just going to look at that. let that run. Okay and it will find its own, own space. Mm. And, and it will separate from the embossing that I've done as well. Do you know what I like about the luscious too? They look great on dark, on black cardstock. Oh, absolutely, yes. Yeah. So if I um, take that, good cue that, thank you. So you can see, look at that. It's just that's on black card. That that's on black card. Media, look, colours yeah. just don't work like that on black cardstock. Look at that, you can see yeah. it moving, it's just incredible, isn't it? Wow. And that's just one tiny little bit. Yeah. You know, it's just lovely, isn't it? Yeah, we like those. Yeah, we like. Beautiful. We like, yeah. So, okay. so I've put some peacock on there, mm -hmm. and I need another colour to go with it. So I think I might just do um, something like silver, okay? So silver and blue go together quite nicely. So. When I've got um, them in my palette and they've dried out, all I've done is I've just sprayed them with water okay. just to reconstitute them. And then I'm just going to come in with the silver and then I'm going to just touch the other colour. Mm. And what's going to happen is that's going to run okay, and blend into it. And I'm just going to let that run nice. a little bit into there. I might just put a tiny bit more in. And it's lovely to watch it move. Yes, when it, the light catches it as well, it just comes to life. It does, doesn't it? It's like, it's it's like the, it's fizzing. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to mix that in a little bit round mm -hmm. here. Okay, if you could just tilt that up where it is now, yeah. we could just tilt it up and just so then it, the light catches it and you really get to see it. That's there we go. it. So I know it's still wet, so. Oh, but it's nice because then it's going to run into that silver as well. So if I can oh. let that just run. That's lovely. It's really gorgeous, isn't it? Something so Great shot simple. Great from the team, Jimmy. Loving that. Yeah, it's yeah. lovely. <laughs> He's good, Jimmy, isn't He's he? He's good. <laughs> Jimmy and Ross, they're good guys. Yeah. Ross, our producer. Definitely. We haven't worked together for ages. We were just saying that this morning. So it's really, really simple just mm -hmm. to give these flowers a little bit of colour and it gives them that wow factor when you're using the Luscious. The Luscious yeah. are not just um, to be used um, as paints. You yeah. can actually use them in many different ways as well. The so Luscious are very busy. Kay, yes. could, could I ask something? Of, of course, absolutely. You, you've got, you know that black cardstock? Yes. Could we just, uh, no technique, literally just paint out a few more colours just to see some of the uh, colours with our Luscious? Absolutely. Luscious. So um, I think this one is raspberry uh -huh. here. So this is raspberry. Oh, Look yeah. at that. It's a, Raspberry is a real... It's the, the reddest red you can get, oh. but I think it's uh, more of a crushed raspberry look. Okay, that's on black That's cardstock. black, and that's just, and it's with water, obviously, so it's been watered down. And it looks just as good. The thing with Luscious is we're sewing with that flower. It looks just as good on white cardstock, so your lighter cardstock, as yes. it does on the black. But yeah, typically, a lot of mediums, especially colours, when we do put them onto black, they're totally lost. Yes, you that's right, they disappear. Yeah. But we've got loads of pigment in this, you see. Mm. Um, so that helps as well. Um, and this that. is... Um, Wonderful. It's this like is Fizzy Pop. Oh, Fizzy Pop, great yeah. name. You yeah. know, like the orange aid yeah, we used to have as a kid. Yeah. So that's Fizzy Pop. Have you got Unicorn? Would that show you? Um, I have... Don't, don't worry, no, I know... Oh, here's, here's, here's a good one to try, yeah. actually. I'm just trying to clean my brush. Okay. okay, so 
Also, uh, one tip for you. Mm -hmm. oh, I've got a dirty brush and I'm putting it in the whites, but never mind. Uh, one tip for you. Always start with uh, clean water because if you use um, a water that you've used for your paints, yeah. um, it will actually mask that lovely shimmer and uh, shine. So make sure you do use. So that is water. the porcelain white. Ooh. And I have actually got a dirty brush. So That's right. you giving it an see. iridescence. Look to at it. That. Thank you for showing those, Kay. Uh, it's only because we are extremely busy for our lashes. Uh, all I would point out is to do go onto our website and you'll be able to see all the uh, options. But typically, um, it's the size of the pot. So when we're looking at these, Kay, could you just show one of the pots again? Just yes, to, absolutely. Um, so that everyone at home can see. So you're getting 25 mil, but have you ever gone to your local craft shop and the, the cap, that black cap, is typically the size that you would buy powders of this kind of quality. So what Kay's done is giving you 25 uh, grams as opposed to five, but it's the quality that you get with these as well. They are exceptional. Uh, do go onto the website and find the option that speaks to you, but I cannot speak highly enough about the Luscious. Speaking of popular, really busy here as well. Uh, so it's sold out, it's back on extended delivery. Uh, details are on your screen for the stamps. I just whipped them around to show you what you were getting. But look at the, it's red rubber, foam mounted, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stamps that you're seeing here. Brand new designer, Asha, who I know is watching. I have to say, Asha, I'm a huge fan of these and obviously <laughs> how busy we are, uh, a lot of people are big fans. Uh, two, I went two thirds of the extended delivery. I think has gone. It will be dispatched. You are not waiting long. So it's going to be dispatched on the on Monday, so the 21st. You're waiting two days. And we do need to say a big thank you to Indigo Blue for bringing them back so quickly because they didn't want to disappoint anyone. So if you do want to get hold of these, you're only waiting two days. But the quality uh, that you are going to get to play around with and the artistic merits here, something that's different, it's quirky, it's fun, it screams for color. Uh, you can't I love this one. Just that little, see that little stamp there? How cool is that? All uh, right, so 42.96 is your price, saving five pounds, 650-701, your item number there. And you've got two flexi payments as well, 21.48. As it currently stands, these are a Hochanda exclusive, so do get your hands on them. Uh, I think we're going to just have a quick look at the pages and then we're going to, uh, papers rather, and then we're going to head back to K. So these are brand new today. The warm over half the stock, so warm's here, half the stock's gone with the warm, and then you've got cool, 40% uh, of the stock for the cool. They are beautiful, beautiful papers. So, uh, just showing you the warm, and I've got the cool here. What I'll do, let's see if we can show them a little bit better this time. So you'll be able, I mean, that in itself, is just a beautiful work of art by Kay. Kay, did, did you do all of these designs? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, all of so, them. Yeah. Look at that. So if you just wanted to have a little bit of Kay's artistic flair into a project, we're looking at the cools at the moment, how would you be using that? We showed how easy they are with the slap it on to layer up. Kay deliberately put these on a lightweight paper uh, so they feel more like a decoupage paper. So you're not going to get any of the bulk, but equally we can do those techniques. We can layer up. Oh, that's a beautiful one. It's actually one where we started. So there we go. You're getting, uh, if I pop those down, six designs, two of each, 12 in total. So that is your cool, and then you've got your warm here as well. I'll just show you those here. Probably be easier as we go through. So oh, that is a beautiful one, Kay. Love that. So your backgrounds, it's a starting point. Kay really wanted to bring you something, uh, and this is like a foundation you're going to build on. So get your textures on there. But I mean, it already looks so good. So really, you can't go wrong. Whatever you make, starting from here, you're starting from a point of quality. There we go, and we've seen all the designs coming through. Okay, so that's the papers. Do go for whichever option speaks to you, whether it is the warm or the cool. I don't think you can go wrong there. Nine ninety nine your price, saving three pounds zero zero four two zero four your item number. We're going to head back to uh, K, which is going to jump onto the website. Do have a little look. Like the website's great for the stamps, also for the luscious. Uh, please go onto the website and see all the uh, different options. We got slap it on the show, so the two uh, pots of slap it on with the little uh, foam brush. We've also got. 
the texture paste in there as well. The mixed media paints, uh, sorry, the uh, yeah, they're very popular. So for fabrics too, and there are all the dinky stencils too. So we got our dinky stencils. Uh, there are the luscious pigments, five star, well, four and a half star reviews. Lots and lots to discover. So do have a little look. Gesso as well, good quality gesso. Okay, sorry to uh, disappear. Not Back at all, not at all. So all I've done is I'm going to use this little square also from the flower head, heads pack. Okay, so we've always u already used this beautiful blossom head yeah. and I'm now going to use this one here. Um, so it's a beautiful square and I really, really love this. So I'm just going to add a, a few little highlights on here. Just to, and you can see how I can stamp perfectly. It's not breaking up at the edges of these papers, and that is why I wanted really thin papers to work on. Mm -hmm. So you can see there's no break because there's no great big bulk because these papers are so ultra, ultra thin. So we saw in the, the design team using these frames, and these are brilliant. You've got large frames, smaller frames. Absolutely. I'd, I'd be reaching for those all the time. Yeah, they're fantastic. And what I love about these is if you stamp them onto the Pink Frog watercolour card, mm -hmm. um, you can actually do a really lovely technique again with these. So if I get that peacock again and just put a little bit of peacock and let that run. Okay, we'll run in a minute. Um, you can get some lovely techniques and the other thing I really wanted to do for probably 12 months is also a colour chart. So yep. I've actually this works beautifully oh, as a, a colour chart. Idea, yeah. There we go. So look, so you can stamp an embo a clear emboss and you can do all of your colours okay. and those are oh, some of the... that's a nice wiggle. Those are some of the um, luscious that we've got. I love, the, I love these frames. <laughs> yeah, they're fabulous, no, aren't they? No, they really they? are. Yeah. I can see why the stamps are so busy. And that's just one stamp out of the collection that you're getting there. But that idea, Kay, is genius. Because yeah. you can't have enough colour swatches. No, you can't. No. Absolutely not. Especially with not. the mediums, having those. Yeah, and you can make a, a lovely little... I've got a notebook with lots of swatches in. But yeah. I like the fact that I can actually do this with, um, with a nice frame as well. Mm. So that is lovely. I think that might actually go on there as well. So I'll give that a second to dry. Okay. Okay, and um, I think I might actually just use um, this set. I love, love, love that this set. This is called Bordering on the Ridiculous. Board. Great name. <laughs> Uh, now, I've got to tell you, we names. are 80% of the stock of the extended delivery. Uh, so it will be dispatched on the uh, 21st, so Monday. You do not have to wait long. 80% of the stock, though, gone here. Uh, oh, we might have to get back on the phone to uh, Indigo Blue. Okay, so this is the sort of squiggly wiggly one. Glad you picked okay, this one. Okay, I love this. And I'm just going to stamp off and then do a little border a here. Border. So I don't want it really in your face. Yep. I want just a hint a of colour. Okay. Do you know what and this so reminds me of? It, it gives the impression of a seam, a crack in the wall, but it's got doodle detail in it as well. It has. Yeah, it's it's fabulous, isn't it? I really love it. It's it's really my sort of stamp, this. Nice. We are limited stock. You can see on your screens for the brand new bundle by Asher. Uh, 21 48 is your price, your flexi payment. Limited stock, though, it will sell out for a second time. Question is, are you going to get hold of yours? 650-701, your item number. As it stands, you're only having to wait two extra days for delivery on these. If, and it is a massive if, we are, oh, it has gone. So please make sure to check out. We're going to make another call to Indigo Blue Base. But if we, are, if we are able to bring it back and there is nothing guaranteed there, it's going to be on a further extended delivery. So uh, you have been warned. If it is in your basket and you want it, now's the time to check out. Now, just a little point. On this um, set, Flower Heads, I've actually um, done some words to go with Ashes Stamps. So this Flower Bloom Glow, Grow Flourish Unfold Botany Perfume Radiant is great for tiny little words, but this actually fits inside 
these petals here oh. so you can actually stamp into the petals and I was going to stamp into That's this clever. petal but I've gone and put blooming foam pads on the back while okay. you were talking without remembering and I don't know whether I'll be able to get an image but I could try okay. I could try um, it, it might not come out perfectly because I say I've got foam pads on the back yeah. but that that should go on to there there you go you can see a little bit of it yeah, that's nice. Also, actually, that's a good point. Can you see I've got a transfer of some of the Lushes onto my stamp there? Mm. That shows that the Lushes hadn't completely dried, dried. Okay. as well. So you, you really need to leave it to dry before beforehand, but yeah. I'm just impatient. Okay, so I've just got some foam pads on there. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we have got some more news this is look this is actually very good news I'm, I'm surprised uh, we're not having to wait too long for these so we're bringing the um, the stamps back uh, for a third time and it, there's only so many times we can bring it back so if you really want to get a hold of this now it's going to be dispatched on the 23rd which when you think about it is that Wednesday look, it's only next Wednesday that's going to be dispatched you're not having to wait too long considering that is uh, the second time we brought it back on extended delivery for you two flex payments of 40, uh, 21 48 now you can buy any of the options individually the only one you can't get individually is the leaf here that think, I'm afraid is sold out I think the leaf you might be able to get on end of call but okay. I'm not sure um, right. not not absolutely positive Perfect. okay, okay so um, I think I'm just going to go with... This is looking beautiful. Shall we go with this here or here? Let's go, let's go with it there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. do you know, I, I did this at the weekend when I was teaching, and I even check, well, but because I'm you, dyslexic. Why so don't you create a corner? So do no, it I'm, go I'm just going to... Well, you can make a little corner with it. Make a little corner so with it. So you know where, where we've gone that way? Yeah. So then go that way with the blossom heading in. So we're creating a little... So just to the left, it's so like this. So we're going that way with the blossom. Oh, I see. Yeah, there. Okay, and have it facing like in. There. Yeah. So it looked like it's deliberate. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I think that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with that. Well done you. Here to help. Here to help. <laughs> We are blossoming with our craft. We are, we are. There's there we go. There's always a solution. Look at that. Well done. And I was just going to put a piece of card over the top, yeah. but no, I like that. I go. like. Well done. Thank you for that. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just swiping um, some more Versafine Claire yeah. over the edges just to give it an edge. Now what you can do is you can actually dip that into the clear embossing powder and then emboss it. But I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, that looks um, great. Let's get. Um, a clean sheet of Can I say I think your your papers are beautiful thank you the designs I, are works of art they really are lovely thank you I'm really really chuffed to bits with mm -hmm. them actually um, yeah really it was about time really <laughs> actually <laughs> taking that long well, so I that's your journal away. page okay and um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do a really quick card for you okay, as great. well so if you give me just a minute yep. just to clear up right. that would be uh, great thank we're you we're going to tell you a little bit about flexi order here at Ho-Chanda you can get flexi payments uh, with our brand new bundle but if you're not familiar with what that means here's a video to explain it a little bit more Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. So there we go, a little bit about Flexi Order. I'm going to be quick, uh, just to show uh, what we've got on the uh, hour. 
only for the benefit of anyone who might have tuned in, and then I promise we'll get straight back to Kay. Brand, brand new stamps from a new designer, and she is incredible. So we are introducing Asha to you, uh, and I know Asha is watching right now. She has brought some stunning, stunning stamps and designs. The frames, I have to say, I've fallen in love with these frames, the way we're going to be using these, so thinking about your cards, your journals, even to create a swatch. So because it's indigo blue, you know you're getting exceptional quality, red rubber, foam mounted, made in the UK. So I mean, all the best stuff there, we like that. So you're getting some beautiful designs coming through. There are your frames, but then as we carry on going, you've got these wonderful floral flowers, so that could be your floral spray. You, now these have been really cleverly designed because you could also make a wreath out of those, I think, uh, stamping around. And then we've got more uh, fantastic borders for you as well. Bordering, the names group brilliant. Bordering on ridiculous, that center one, I thought, but even here, you've got that sort of uh, uh, intricate doodle detail to it. So then just showing you some examples. And then finally, we have the leaf in the mix as well, and it is a beautiful statement uh, leaf. Twenty-one forty-eight is your price if you want to take advantage of flexi payments or forty-two ninety-six. There you are saving five pounds. These are brand brand new today, and as it stands, they are a Hochanda exclusive at the moment. Uh, Six five zero seven zero one, your item number. Look at that, that's using uh, one of the stamps from the Bordering Ridiculous uh, as a background. How stunning does that look? That. It does something a little bit similar, but I think that's gorgeous, well, you really can see gorgeous. All the designs here are beautiful. There's another one here. We can just take a look using the flowers. Everything about this, and you can see that where Asher, I think, is so good is she's able to inject her own personality and style into the collection. Uh, Six five zero seven zero one, your item number. Sold out twice. It is back for a third time on extended delivery. It will be dispatched on the 23rd. And again, that is a huge compliment to Indigo Blue. They're going to be working overtime to try and get these out to you, but they will get those out to you on the 23rd as it stands. Right, we're going to talk about papers. So these have been a year in development. Uh, Kay's designs, what you're able to do with these paper, instantly you've got a little bit of Kay's unique uh, design work. So that's this is uh, designs that Kay has uh, created for you. This is the Cool collection. Sixty percent of the stock for the Cool. Now, can you imagine using that in the mix? The textures, the layers, the details, the colours that Kay affords you. That is just such a wonderful starting point. And what about here? Layers of interest. Kay really does know what she's doing. So if you just want to use these as a little bit of a guidance, a learning point, or a quick start. And we've all wanted to do projects where if you're a little bit intimidated by that white space, you're lacking some inspiration, and we've all been there, we can relate. What a great thing to do as a starting point to build up, use your stamps, use your stencils. That's a, that's a nice one. Okay, so that's your calls. You're getting six designs, two of each, and then we've also got the warm. Over 80% of the stock for the warm has gone. A lot of you are really connecting with these beautiful warm colors. You've got uh, lovely purples and pinks. Oh, sorry. It's me messing. <laughs> Dropping everything. Look at that. Oh, th that one is... I mean, you shouldn't have a favorite, but my goodness. I think that would be the first one I start with. I like even a splash of musical notes in there too. They're yeah, really nice. I can see why these have been so popular. I'll just show you. There we go. Just two more. Bob up, and then that one there. Okay, so we're going to head back to K. Oh no, I think we're going down the counter. Sorry, uh, we will be getting back to K in just a moment. Uh, those are your papers. Nine ninety nine. <laughs> you are choosing options. Whether it is the warm, which is here, or you're going to go for the cool here. Uh, warm is now limited stock, and that has been the theme for the hour. I think uh, everything's been incredibly popular. Zero zero four two zero four. Your item number there. <laughs> All right, we've got more for you. Let's move on. Uh, right. Having a look at our slap it on, so you're getting two parts of the matte slap it on, and you are getting the applicator as well, that foam applicator in the mix. Nine ninety nine your price. You saw K. Okay, I mean, it, using the slap it on, it really is just a go to medium. So it affords you such versatility. It's just a really good medium there. Oh, you are getting that. Just dropped it. 
433-644, your item number. Finally, last but certainly not least, we have got these beautiful mixed media paints. They are stunning for fabric. Now, have a look at this cushion and this gives you an indication of uh, the kind of finish that you get such a vivid intense color palette really really nice we have got options these are your first option so in this we are getting we'll go through them so you've got your Wimbry pie your burning bonfire your post box reds are really good bread and then you've got your townhouse teal that's your first option then down here, I mean, each option, $9.99 for four is incredible. So we've got our rouge, which you can see there. You've got your warm tan, your medium beige, and then your porcelain. I think I've got those wrong, but that's okay. You can see them. And then finally, we've got a marshmallow, banana custard, olive waistcoat, and your... Uh, Park Lane. Oh, Park Lane. Very posh. $9.99. I, I miss Wistcoat. Uh, $9.99 is your price. 396-132, your item number there. Uh, we're going to jump onto the website as we head back to K. What is tickling your fancy? What have you got your eye on? Are you looking for uh, some more of the Slap It On, always popular? Uh, don't forget the Luscious pigments too. They've been uh, very busy this hour. And we've also got the Dinky stencils too. Lots to enjoy on the website. But now back to K. Thanks for that. That's okay. lovely. So I'm going to be using um, a piece out of the warm section of the papers. So this is a really lovely, and you can see how nice and thin it is as mm. well. Um, so what I've done is I've used the slap it on mat just to um, mat and layer it onto um, a card here. Okay. Um, so really, really simple because you saw me do that earlier. And I really love these flowers. I've, I've had so much fun with these. I've stamped them out so many times. Mm. I think they're absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to stamp and clear emboss this. I'm using a black Versafine. So um, just straight onto here, flat of your hand, and that gives you a really nice impression. And then... I love um, that as a starting point. And do you know, it gives you such a nice scope to introduce colour as well. You don't have to, you can just create a background. But if you want to get on there with your alcohol markers or your watercolours... Or any, anything that mm. you've got, your sakuras look yeah. good on there as well. And then I'm um, just mm -hmm. going to heat emboss yeah. that, but I've already done one and that and works. cut it out for you just let so. you know speaking of colors uh, the papers the warm option has sold out it is back on extended delivery and it will be dispatched on the 23rd the cool though is not far behind that is now limited so your cool option is uh, limited on immediate dispatch warm option back on extended delivery the 23rd Okay, so um, the lovely thing about these flowers is that I've actually used them as mushrooms and I think Jill has as well. So oh, you can yeah. actually turn, them, turn them round and use them as mushrooms, Clever. which I'm going to show you at the, on the two o'clock. Okay. They also look great as lanterns oh, that as like. well, which is really, really nice as well, or chandeliers. I really like that. Um, I, I, I know, they're gorgeous. Or you can use them as butterflies. Now, I think it's Jill that actually made them into butterflies. So you can see that this oh, yeah, could be one of the wings. Oh, you have? Yeah. Excellent. Good. So just putting two of those uh, together, you can make... But now, that's incredible. Make your butterflies, your mushrooms, and I'd really like them hanging down, too, so the uh, lanterns. Got, and that's just one of the stamps. Uh, that's why the stamps are so popular. Remember, they are back for a third time, so they've sold out twice. They will be dispatched on the 23rd. That is not long to wait, considering they've sold out uh, twice before this hour, uh, or during this hour, sorry, and we brought them back for a third time. But my goodness, Kay, it's been a busy hour. It has, hasn't it? It's been lovely. Thank you, everybody, for supporting us. Mm. I'm really pleased that you like them. Um, yeah, warms our heart, actually, oh. so thank you so much. Mm. So I'm using Buttercup on this one. Okay. Um, and this is going on dry, but just doing a, a tiny... See, it's so easy to colour in when you actually clear emboss yeah. them. And our embossing powder is on the website. It's super fine, so mm -hmm. it's, it's really good for filling in. Um, just really small lines, these quite thick, but... And the emboss is acting as a resist, so we can just wipe that away. That's right, absolutely, yeah. 
um, and then I'm, I'm sort of matching up the colours to the papers here so we've got buttercup even though these were actually made with the paints on the show at the moment so this was banana custard here oh, yeah. um, and this one was the post box red okay. um, this was actually the mulberry bush from the translucent set um, but um, I think what we'll do is we might use a little bit of, um, you've seen Fizzy Pop already, so I might use a bit of this, this orange, okay, here. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of orange on Lovely. and just let that, that like run that. into each other. And the good thing about these is you can reconstitute them. So if you want to blend, mm -hmm. you can actually do that just by using a, a damp brush and just let those blend in like beautifully that. yeah okay and mm -hmm. then what I've done is I've actually done some here as well so I've used the peacock and I've used cherry lips mm. um, on here I've used cherry lips and um, the orange as well so I've mixed different colors and, and there's some raspberry in there as well mm -hmm. okay so the next thing I'm going to do minute, is yeah. use um, the big, lovely big frame, frame here. i will be going to this all the time. Um, and I think actually... It's got 45 seconds. That's all right. <laughs> Look, count, counting me down. But I know that I can do it in time. Lovely. Because that's going to go on there. That's going to go in the centre there, and we're just going to put Flourish on there. Done. Really, really simple card. There you Love go. it. Uh, okay, we'll be returning at 2 o'clock, yes. and I really hope uh, you can join us. Kay, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Oh, I love See working with you, Kay, and I hope you enjoyed the hour. If you have just tuned in and you do want to catch up, remember you can do that two ways. You can either go onto our website, hochanda.com, or you can use the Hochanda app. So we have got Chula Pink homemade fabrics coming up next. Do not miss it. It's going to be a fabulous hour. After that, we've got Bee Monarchy uh, with Bee Crafty. And then Studio Lights Winter Charms Returns. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly. And we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning. And we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years, and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Matte Plate is our flagship product. 
uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a chamber. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Huchanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm Natasha McCarty, you've got myself this hour and, and, and the very talented, very, very lovely Jen Jackson. Hello. Whee! Hello, Hi. how are you? I'm fine, thank you, how are you? I'm good, it's so lovely to see your face. Same here, it's been ages. It has too long. been way too long. Now, Jenny, for those that don't know you, your absolute love is... English paper piecing. Yes, it <laughs> is. And you have made some stunning sewing patterns for us today. Yes. Yes. I have. Yes. The first one's not English paper piece, though. <laughs> but the quilt is... <laughs> the quilt is. The quilt is, and it is a stunner. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that an absolute stunner? That is English paper pieced. Now, for those of you that know what English paper piecing is you will probably be bowing to Jenny right now, going, total respect for English paper piecing that. It's just gorgeous. And if you look at it, you've got those gorgeous hexagons in, and then every now and then you've got a little one thrown in out of triangles. I like that. I like that. I know everyone's looking at it now, going, oh, yeah. Yeah, the triangles are hidden away. They are. <laughs> now, the fabric that we've used for these, Tula Pink. So for those of you that don't know who Tula Pink is, she's an American designer. She is larger than life. She's such a big personality. Oh, she's amazing. She? she is amazing. And of course, her love is colour. Look at that. Can't be not denied, can it? I mean, it, there it is. Absolutely stunning. So if you would like to get your hands on a layer cake of Tula Pink's latest collection, which is the homemade. Now that is, what is a layer cake? It has cake in the title, so that's always a winner for me. Um, but this is, and you get multiples of these. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three. So 42 pieces in total, and they are 10 inch squares. Now these will all be, all the fabric on the show is dispatched from the 1st of October. And that, to it, oh God. Right, okay, well, that's, that's, you know, I mean, it may just well be Christmas. Um, so we've got these, and they are absolutely beautiful. Now, if you look closely to them, they've got all um, sewing knickknackery in it. Yes. Yeah, 
Yep, I like yep. that word. Um, paraphernalia, what's the other word that you can use for it? Notions. Notions <laughs> is, well, I mean, that, that's the normal word that's for the real it. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bits um, and bobs. No. Bits, sewing bits and bobs. But obviously with the with the Tula work to it. So you've got your tape measure in there, but you've got sort of filigrees bending their way around there. Absolutely stunning. And of course you've got those in different colourways. And I know oh hang on, someone's folded these beautifully. And I'm <sighs> so you've got it in all of these spectacular colourways. And this one, I love this one, because um Tula Pink is renowned for sort of hiding things. And if you look really carefully, there's a face. But you've also got that hand with the heart because it's handmade. And of course, we make things for those that we love. Oh, quarter of the stock already gone. Wow. OK, so you've got these on two flexi pays, should you wish to use that, of just 19.98. Um, layer cakes are not always readily available, so it's really lovely to see it. We've got safety pins. We've got, well, let me show you this one. This one has got all your, I'm going to go with Jenny's, like, notions rather than my knickknackery. So you've got your rotary cutters, you've got your pins, you've got your scissors. You've got everything in there, your little snips, your buttons. I don't know about you, I've thoroughly enjoyed working with this when I have my hands on it. It's just absolutely glorious to work with. The quality is there with the fabric as well. The um, manufacturers of the fabric is Free Spirit, so we know that we are in good, safe hands there. And look, you've got your little sewing machine in there as well but of course any kind of offcuts that you have are going to be perfect for English paper piecing I mean imagine just using that little piece there or just the foot pedal I've never seen such an attractive foot pedal it's we normally cute, ignore them don't we it's normally just the sewing it. machine but no 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 not Tula all hail the foot pedal there <laughs> it's great so good. Oh, there we go. A, a super close up just to enjoy that foot pedal. And then you've got the stars and everything in the background. The thing with this is that it is wonderful quality fabric, which is why you can get that detail in there. I like the little um, hundreds and thousands in rainbow down there. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So that's $39.95, usual price, $42.95, I love a saving, 675163, that is your code, come with me here, now, ooh, now, so often we buy fabric and then go, but I'm just going to stroke it because I don't know what to make with it, well why don't you make this? Now we'll give you the, um, all of the details for this bag later, but this is Jenny's design, I love her use of colour here, just so exquisite how she's gone with the deeper shades, then your mid-tones, then your lights, and really mixed it up, and that lovely clash of pink and orange, it's just so refreshing. Do you remember, um, I want to say they were the sherbet sweets, refreshers, it's like, it's like yes. a bag of refreshers. It is. It is. It's, I mean, this is a happy bag. It's such a happy bag. And then you've got your plain fabric on the inside. Let's have a look at the fabrics now. So your Tula Pink six-piece fat quarter bundle, which is how you are going to make this bag. Ooh. Do you want to have a look? Are they American cut fat quarters? So 20 by 18. That's uh, because it's... You go, well, what, why, what, why? Um, so normally a fat quarter is done a metre deep and then cut into fours from there. So you've got your... your but this is of course it's American one so it's done by the yard so that's why there's a slight difference but you know I was saying how Tula Pink likes to hide things in there can you see the butterflies with the eyes which do you see first the butterflies or the eyes it looks a bit like an owl it does doesn't it I think I thought it was an owl the whole time I was using it and yet, now you've said butterfly I'm just oh oh but that's <laughs> yeah. the magic of that yeah. is the magic of I think Tula I just Pink, assumed it? it was an owl but, okay, so can we just, if you just take a moment to look at the detail on the owl fly, as I'm now going to call it, or the flutter owl, if you can see the detail in that printing, you can only get that with a high quality fabric. If you've got a really loosely woven fabric, you aren't getting that detail. So that instantly is an indicator to me that this is going to be a lovely quality fabric and I've worked with Tula Pink's fabrics a lot and they never disappoint they are absolutely stunning look at the waves 
Aren't they fab? Aren't they fun? Just fantastic. And of course, being a Brighton girl, yes. you're by the seaside, aren't you? I am indeed. Yeah. And then you've got your uh, your trophy there. And then you've got... I, you see, I was never quite sure what they, they were, but I really like them. I just... I don't know. I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. And then up here, you've got all sorts of little things in, in here. You've got to really look. You know when you um, you start looking at uh, at water out of the ocean under a magnifying glass and you see all sorts of little yeah. bits and bobs? That's kind of what this reminds me of. So you've got seahorses, you've got anchors, you've got starfish, you've got all sorts going on in there. And it's that, so it's a ditzy print, but with a difference. And I, I enjoy that. But this is probably one of my favourites. I love all of those colours. That's your refresher pack, isn't it? Uh -oh. Yeah. But in a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, design. So they are your fat quarters, and you can get all of those today for twenty-four ninety-five. Say five pounds, yes, please. Why not? Now this is your chance to pick a mix. So if you've seen a fabric that you absolutely love, and you say, ah, well, you know, ten inches is not enough. I need the full half meter. Then why don't you pick a mix? Any two for thirteen ninety nine. You're going to save four pounds, um, but you've got that choice. So whether you're going for this, I mean that is real standout fabric, isn't it? Um, this is your tools of the trade. But then, hang on, let me show you this. So this is the one with the face. It almost looks like a mask, doesn't it? I think it's really beautiful round the scissors. There's so much detail in here. And of course, you've got that in different shades. Just gorgeous. Um, and I'm making a right old mess of this. I really don't care. Um, and again, you've got these in all your different colorways. And then you've got your safety pins there. I like to call it hundreds and thousands. I don't think that's what it's actually called. Um, it's called what? Seed stitch. Yeah, that would make more sense than hundreds of thousands. I don't know if they have hundreds of thousands in the States. I don't know. Um, and then cut once. Nice. And then busy hands. A bit like Jenny's when she was uh, stitching that entire quilt by hand. Yeah, that's me. They would be very busy hands. Keeps you out of trouble. It does. It's a very good idea. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> So I've known Jenny for a long time, I'm, I'm allowed to say that. Uh, right, okay. Now, 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 let's have a look at more pick and mix by the half metre, because these are your half metre pick and mix planes. Now these are by Moda, uh, they're the Herbe Herbella solids. Oh, well, I, I, Moda's male or female, I think it is a, just a manufacturer. But the Bella solids are fabulous. Sometimes it's a shame, isn't it, to go for a lesser quality fabric on the inside. What you've got here is Moda solids, which are just as great in terms of quality. That was the one that Jenny used on the inside of her bag. So maybe look at whichever colours you want and then pick whichever one you want. You've got lovely neutral tones here, that lovely shock of pink, gorgeous purple there, and a Dakagi Chili affair there. Now just an idea to give you how to use these beautiful colors if you're doing your pick and mix then what we've got there is your busy hands in there you've got your cut once and then on the outside you've got the masked woman which I don't know what it's called so there we go that is again that's from your pick and mix and here are the patterns this is your all squares tote bag. So if you want to make that glorious tote bag that we've just looked at. And look, I mean, this is the detail. This is Jenny all over. Look how this is beautifully, beautifully put together. And you've got full instructions, step by step in there. Everything that you need, all your cutting instructions, really in depth with photos as well. So that you're really going to understand how to do this, be able to do it how to do the handles, everything. It's really well. Jenny is thorough, let me tell you. She's not going to just leave you part way through because she's got bored and can't be bothered to finish them <laughs> off properly. They are thorough all the way through. I think anybody that has the patience to sit and make an entire quilt by hand, you know is going to be someone who has that attention to detail, and that's Jenny. Now, talking of the quilt, here it is. This is the hexangle quilt. 
Now, if you would like it with all of those English paper pieces, pieces, piece of pieces, there they are. And Jenny's business is called Hashtag Sew. So that's, that's her company. Look out for it. They're fab. And you can get it with two packs of 80 pieces of English paper pieces. And you can reuse those. I know you, you reuse yours a lot, yeah, don't you? Like so, so much. So if you would like them, and there's a lot of pieces there, and then you're good to go with the instructions. Again, full instructions, so detailed, so clear. It's all in there. And these will be distra uh, dispatched straight away. Put my teeth back in. There you go. You know I was saying that, that every now and then you get the little triangles thrown in. That shows you exactly how it is. I love that detailing in there. Just fabulous. If you'd like just the pattern by itself, we've got that option. If you want to, you know, if you want to make, or if you've already got some English paper pieces, pieces, then it's $12.99. And that's 292677. What you're paying for there is Jenny's expertise, her training, her knowledge, all in there. Um, 292677. Right. So, busy on the phones. There we go. So, head to the website. That is your quick away. Very, very busy this hour. Half of the stock of the layer cake gone. Oh, have we just had it confirmed no more? When it's gone, it's gone. Oh. Well, you'd, you'd yeah. better be quick then, hadn't you? We have also got... Um, so the second bag that I showed you was a Debbie Shaw design. And what you get there is the pattern and the bosal, which is the, the stabiliser. And that's all cut to size. So there's none of that trimming anything. It's all there, cut to size, and you just sew around it. We've got a, an Anna Maria Warner charm pack in there, if you want those five-inch squares. We've got the lot, lots of Debbie Shaw patterns and bag pieces there. And, of course, then... We've got, oh, and of course, don't forget the machine. Oh, we're going to look at that <laughs> machine. And all of the creative grids that we had on my 7 o'clock show this morning. Because, you know, Jenny, you're a fan of creative grids. I love you? them. Yeah. yeah. Now, you see, that's just it. Jenny and I have very, very similar tastes. <laughs> we do indeed. We have the same sewing machine. We use the same rulers. We love the same fabric. <laughs> I just don't have the patience that you do to do entire quilts. <laughs> So the bag that you've made actually is an English paper you, piece. No, it's, it's not. Patchwork. It is. Um, I just used the, uh, you said earlier, I used the fat quarters. If you get those fat quarters, you can, and a couple of the solids, you can actually, or two or three solids, you can actually make two bags. Nice. Out of the fat quarters is enough. As you can see, in the first one, I haven't got any solids on the outside. Yeah. But I just added a couple of solids to it. And I made it again. So is that out of the... The fat the quarters. Nice. Yeah. And then I just used... You need, like, um, half a metre of one of the solids for the... Um, for the lining. For the lining. Very nice. Yeah. So I was quite impressed that I managed to get two out of it. I'm impressed as well, so. because that's a good size bag yeah, as so well. Yeah, so I've made the, uh, the boxed corners really large, so you can really fit a lot in the bag nice because sometimes you get tote bags that aren't actually boxed at all so you can't really slip anything you can fit a magazine in yeah and a twix and then it goes and a funny that's about it. yeah 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 i mean apparently other chocolate bars are available but i don't know what I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so um it's it's a really simple make as well and nice and quick so what level are we looking at oh beginners could do this okay yeah because the outside of the quilt is Literally four, well, 16 squares, five inch squares for the front, 16 for the back, sewn together in rows of four. Nice. And that's it. Nice. And then uh, just layered on top of some wadding and quilted. Okay. And then sewn together. And you can make that quilting as fancy, schmancy, oh, yeah. or basic as you want. If you just want to sew, quilt it in a straight line, do it. Yeah. I've just done straight line, um, just echoed the, uh, the squares. Nice. But... It and it needed. works a treat. Yeah. And the beauty of it being having that wadding in is that it gives it that body, means it's going to stand up. Yeah. And my tip is when you're sewing uh, the front together, the front and back together, you can always sew twice. Sew the seam allowance twice, and it just strengthens those stitches, especially if you have a habit of just stuffing everything in your bag. I don't know why you're looking at me when you keep saying <laughs> that, Jenny. I mean, we all, I am a self confessed bag over filler, we know it, and that yeah. is a really top tip. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do the same thing. <laughs> Hence the box bottom. Exactly, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. I always take too much stuff with me whenever I come here. I don't know what I think I'm going to do for well, a couple of hours, but I'm just. 
I'll be leaving the house. I'll be like, actually, I'll just take that, and it's yeah. another pouch yeah. full of stuff yeah. that I don't touch once I get yeah, no, 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 it happens. You're not alone. <laughs> um, I thought I would just show you in this hour how to make the lining and attach the lining and one of the straps because the lining is um, constructed exactly the same way as the nice. outer. Nice. So I thought I'd get the outer done so we had time to actually do some bits. Nice. Thank yeah. you. That's yeah. all right. So I'm going to start with one of the straps. I've made one. They're, um, again, I've used wadding in them to give them that little bit of cushioning on your shoulder. Because once we've got a box bottom and we're overfilling our bags and we need a bit of cushioning cushion on your we shoulder. We need a bit of cushioning, yeah. <laughs> So uh, they're really simple to make. Um, I've got all the measurements in the pattern. You just um, cut one strip and then fold it in half and you would just um, press that to get a nice seam line and then fold. So you can see the seam line actually in the middle still. Then you just fold the two edges in like that. And you do that on your outer piece and your lining piece. So then on your outer piece, just open those up and you're just going to layer your wadding in. I usually cut it a bit longer and then trim it down afterwards. Now when you say you've cut these, have you used your stripology ruler to cut all these? Um, yeah. 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 Yep. You just know, don't you, that it's then, it's going to be right? Yeah, exactly. I've got so the, we've got the, the, big... the mini stripology back in stock. Um, but we, d we still can't get the big ones yet. Oh, love the big one. Yeah, I know, but start with the little one, get yeah. used to it. What, si what size is the mini one? I don't the know mini one is great for trimming back your blocks. Oh, brilliant. So I think it's like six and a half inches across or something. Oh, that's great. So you just put your wadding in and then actually when you fold your uh, pieces back over, because it just kind of sticks to the wadding. It's so great, isn't it? <laughs> it's handy. And actually, that's really handy to have because your offcuts from your wadding, from your, your quilts, just save them. For, oh, everything, for yeah, because I use it for pouches for yeah. all of the straps and stuff. Nothing gets thrown away. No, I remember having this conversation with you before. Yeah, I Always think we being are thrifty. fellow hoarders. <laughs> we are. <laughs> I feel like I need to buy another flat just for my fabric scraps. I like to think our homes are just well insulated with all Same our fabric. Here. You see? And wadding thrown everywhere. We're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're actually just, um, you know, getting a bit of... What's that? What's the rating that they give houses for how well insulated they are? Oh, I don't know. We're just increasing that. Exactly. Single-handedly with our fabric. <laughs> Do one of those overhead cameras, you know, that shows the heat in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is exactly it. That is exactly what it would be. Like, oh, cosy in there. <laughs> Then they realise it's just a ton of quilts. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just place your uh, outer strap on the inner, uh, the lining strap with the uh, folds in. So they're right sides together. So you're not seeing any raw edges, that's nice. No. And, um, and you can just use one piece and just fold it more, but I just feel like it gives, makes it a bit more substantial using the two pieces. And pretty. And pretty. Exactly. I think on that one I used the prints on the lining of the straps. Yeah, I did. Goes to show how much you can get out of um, fat quarters. Doesn't it just? Yeah. Doesn't it just? Um, quarter of the stock of the fat quarter bundle has already gone. This is meant to be um, enough for two shows, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm doing the, uh, <laughs> doing the layer cakes later. Oh, well. We'll just uh, we'll gloss over that for now. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to have some fun time sewing later. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, so you can just pin this down so it's not going to move when you sew. And I also tend to, um, you could just sew one strip down each way, uh, down each side, but if you sew more, again, it makes it feel even more substantial. Yeah. Gives it that extra strength. So, it's Because otherwise you can pay quite a lot of money to buy ready-made handles, can't you? Yeah, you can, but then they're usually leather or something, aren't they? And you want them to match the bag. Of course. <laughs> of course. Absolutely. Right, so I just use a slightly larger stitch because it is top stitching yeah. for this one. So I tend to use about 3.8 when I'm top stitching because I like it nice and large. <clears throat> 
Right, just checking I've got it set up correctly before we go. Um, you could use your walking foot to do this, but because um, this machine's so... Mm, <laughs> how can you even describe it? You know what I mean. It, it, it takes it's, layers so well. Yeah. When it's something like this, you, you don't even need the walking foot. And it's got a walking foot built in this it machine. It has, but yeah. how many times have you used it? Constantly. Do you? The walking I've never foot, found no, I've I do it. for the uh, for my quilts. Do you? I just yeah, I just because um, of the setting. Because you know when you're when you baste a quilt, yeah. No matter how well you baste it, oh, the it seams of the fronts can shift. Yeah. But this machine has um, a setting that you can get the bottom um, feet to move quicker than the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, so it takes the bottom. When you're using the walking foot, that works really well. It takes the bottom layer through, and then you never get the seams overlapping on the front, or you never get the creases at the back. It's incredibly clever. It's basically the magic quilting it machine. Is. It is. It really is. <laughs> so I'm just going to sew down one edge, and then I'll sew down the other edge before I do any inside stitching. Now remember, Jenny's managed to get out of the fat quarters and half a metre of fabric two of these bags. And we've got her, um, her design for this, her pattern for this on the show as well. I started off patchworking with bags like this. Yeah, do you know what? It's just one of those designs that's just handy. I, It's a great... Um, bag to make over and over again using scraps because yeah. you don't have to use fat quarters you can just use diff all different proper patchwork well the thing is <coughs> does the quilt use up every single layer cake yes oh does it yes okay i was going to say any that you had left over you could chop into four and of yeah. course you've then got four five inch squares no you you went yeah use it i was like, i'm using all of this up of course you do <laughs> But yeah, this bag's great for making for presents and stuff. Perfect. Because it's quick. Yeah. So, you know, at Christmas time when you think, oh, I want to make everyone gifts for Christmas, then you realise it's like the 15th of December and you haven't started. Well, you could make two of these in a day easily. That's the thing, isn't it? Once you've made the first one, I then you'll be on I think that's the same with anything, isn't it? Yeah. So often we buy the fabric just for one thing, and then you go, oh, I'd, I'd have loved to have made that again. Yeah. Whereas now, if you've got the fat quarters and you've got half meat, you can make it twice. And it does always go together so much quicker the second time. Oh, yeah. Always, always. I guess that's why with dressmaking, you would make a twirl first. Because then you, yeah. you make it first out of your fabric that's not precious. Yeah. If I ever did dressmaking. I really want to. You will but get the But the time, the time... Says the lady that hand stitches quilts. Well, that's yeah. why I've not got any time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So after I've done the first two uh, lines just going down the edge, I'll just do maybe another one a quarter inch. And you can just... The feed is so lovely on this machine, you can just go mad. It goes very fast. Good. got my, my uh, second. What do you have your second um, presser foot set to? It depends if I've been using it to demo anything. Right. It depends what I last had it set up for. Um, but when if I've got guests in for my shows on, on my own little channel that I do on Mondays and Tuesdays, yeah. I, tend to, I don't tend to load it with anything because if they haven't used the machine, uh, then they yeah. suddenly find that they've cut the thread and lifted the foot and they, they look a bit scared. So I just made it stick. <laughs> like true. when it's your machine that you just use only for you, yeah. then you, you set it up exactly how exactly. you want it. If you I... have to share it ever. Yeah. If I know that I haven't got anybody else using it, then I'll, I'll always set it up to cut the thread and lift the foot. Your mind's always lifting the foot. I just find it actually saves time. You wouldn't think that little tiny thing would save time, would you? But it really does without That's having fine. to just go and lift. How do you even... Oh. Oh, yeah, it's there. <laughs> so you go to show, I've always had it like this. So there's just one strap made, so it's really Easy. quick. You can obviously take your time. And then I'm just going to trim. As I said to you, I always cut the wadding slightly longer. 
Are Lacrobus you a left to Lucy? I am indeed. Oh, That's why that. I always bring my own rotary cutter so we don't have the, oh, how do you change this one to left-handed? Yeah, that's, that, there has been that panic before, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah, definitely numerous times. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's your two straps and you've got your outer. So the lining of the bag, just going to bring it over here, move those there. Oh, nice. So you've gone for the, like, the, the grey, chalky, neutral yeah, colour. Yeah, I thought I'd see what it looked like. Fabulous. And I ran out of the other colours. Cool, what? Uh, well, yeah, what colour is it? Oh, moonbeam. Oh, Not okay. what I thought you said at all, first thing. <laughs> moonbeam. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because the moon's grey. Yeah. Yeah, it took a while. <laughs> <laughs> It's an early get-up to get here. It is. It I was up at four. Yeah. yeah. Um, for the lining, you just need to cut two um, two pieces. The <laughs> measurements are in the pattern, and then cut two squares oh, so at you the bottom cut them first. Yeah. Oh. Do you cut them after? So I I sew around all sides and then and then chop them off. Ah no, I do not do this. So, yeah, you lay them together. If, if you're using a print, you would want to lie them um, right sides together. And then you're going to sew a quarter of an inch down this side, this side, and along the bottom, leaving a nice gap to turn later. When you're sewing this one together, the outer piece, you sew all the way across the bottom. Yeah, because you don't, you don't need stop. that yeah. uh, turning bit. So I am going to not pin this, just for time's sake. Well, tell you what, while you sew those sides, yep. I'm going to take a little mooch at All these fabrics. All righty. Uh, it's a half of the stock of the layer cake has already gone. This was meant to last us for two shows. So if you've managed to get hold of it, well done. Um, it is 42 10-inch pieces. They are gorgeous. Let me just show you. So Tula Pink is renowned for her colour. She's renowned for her quirkiness and for just the detail and hiding little bits and bobs in there which is why this is perfect for things like your English paper piecing and things like that because you can use all those different elements you've got the spools there you could have just focused in on one of those you've got of course the face hidden in there but then you've also got this uh, the safety pins hanging off there but you've got your hearts there you've got your hand with the heart in there you could just go for an eye Ooh. Um, so it's really stunning and a little bit different. That's what I like about Tula Pink. The colour and the quality is there. And then there's just a bit of character coming through. And I do enjoy that a huge amount. Um, then we've got... So this gives you an idea on the board here. This is all of the different colourways. But obviously you do get multiples of these as I'm finding, as I'm unfolding and they're flowing everywhere. So here we go. So this one, just look at the detailing like that. I love that lemony, limey colour and all those blues. I think it's posh name is Chartreuse. Yeah, which is the same colour as tennis balls, don't you know? Uh, well, you know, have me on your pub quiz. I'll let you know all these really <laughs> random facts. Um, here we go. So this is your 42 10-inch square uh, the layer cake dispatched from the 1st of October. Now, let's have a look. Oh, hang on. We found this. Do you, did you want to talk about that? Okay, so this was... I'll, I'll show you this in a minute, Jenny. I'll pass it across. This is the Stripology Mini. So, of course, you can still do your strips. Uh, and this is actually great to work with fat quarters. So the slightly smaller cuts of fabric work an absolute treat. But what it's fantastic at is trimming back your blocks. And you can see all of those markings there so that you can line up your quarter triangles, your half square triangles, all of those are there to then just trim down. Uh, it just, it, you can see all of these embedded non-slip grips in there, which means that when your fabric is under there, it ain't going anywhere. It's staying nice and firm. That's why we love Creative Grids. I'm going to place that there and then Jenny can have a little look at it. Now, this is your fat quarter bundle. This is what Jenny has managed to make two bags out of, that plus a plane. So we've got um, this lovely, lovely yellow, orange and pink bundle, which is just fantastic. And don't they just go together beautifully? I do love that. Let's search happy colours. Happy bag. I, I would like to rename it the happy bag. 
is brilliant. Uh, so that is your Tudor Pink six piece fat quarter bundle. These are US fat quarters, so they're 20 inches by 18 inches, and it's 24.95. Save five pounds, why don't you? Treat yourself. Half of that's, is that half of that's gone? Oh, half meter pick and mixes. Oh, fab. So which are you going to go for? Are you going to go for completely different colorways? Are you going to go for something really woo? Um, or are you going to go for the pinks and the purples? Or the uh, refresher tones, as I like to call them? Um, we've got these in this different colorway as well. You've got your safety pins there. You've got your seed stitch there. Um, cut once and then busy hands down there so these are all quilting well cottons they're 44 inches salvage to salvage and if you're buying more than one half meter they are pre-cut to half meter so please don't think that you'll get it at any meter length they are pre-cut to half meters just in case you know i'd hate for you to buy it thinking you're going to make a dress out of it and then go oh but if you're quilting with it you're going to cut it up anyway so it's all good all right now then let's have a look at these um these are your Moda Bella Planes. So these are your Bella Solids, half a metre. You pick two for just $9.99. So again, 44 inches salvage to salvage. Fabulous quality fabrics. Here they all are. And you pick whichever ones you want. This is the um, Moonbeam. I want to call it Luna for some reason. I don't know why. I guess it's Moon, isn't it, Luna? Um, and that one's Mink. Minky, nice. And then if you want some other ideas as to how to use that fabric, then why not grab yourself some of those half meters and then the patterns are all on the website for you. That one was made out of a Debbie Shaw one. This here, this is the all squares tote bag by the very, very talented Jenny Jackson. It's 10 99 And then if you would like the quilt pattern, so that's, oh, 013471, I think. And then if you would like, here we go. Your hashtag so hexangle quilt, and that comes with basically 160 paper pieces. Then there it is. If you would like to get hold of that pattern, really detailed, very thorough, that's what you're going to be making with all of those pre cut paper pieces as well. Look at that 26 99 Love it. We're going to look at that in detail in the next hour. Is that right? Yeah. And of course, we've got your seven day saver. Ooh. Now, the colours are going to vary, but look at that. 10 reels of Natesh rayon thread. Look at the luster on those. Ooh. Have you ever used rayon for hand piecing? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Oh, it's nice. Does so it work nicely? Yeah. I've I've used those, I've, I like to use silk threads as well when I hand piece. Oh, okay. Just, I don't know why I think I bought some by accident and actually it then worked really nicely. That's the thing, like, isn't it? I you often find, find things, things I, I get the wrong thing and then I'll just be like, well, I'm going to use it up. I'm not going to waste it. And then I'm like, oh, actually, now I'm addicted to that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry yeah. on using that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Right, so we've sewed three sides, yes. leaving a turning through there. We have indeed. And then we're going to do the boxed bottom. So you're going to just take your corners and open them out so you can see the seams meet. So you want one seam to face one way and one seam to face the other way. So then they go fit nicely in together. So I do pin this bit so that it doesn't move while I'm taking it to the machine. Just pin the other side. There we go. And then we're just, it's as simple as sewing a quarter of an inch along here. And I always backstitch to the two edges just to, uh, to give it that bit of strength so the stitching doesn't come undone. We're back to that reinforcing. Yeah, aren't reinforce we? the bags. It is amazing how much you can fit in a bag of this size, though. It really is. Yeah. So much stuff. And who knew we needed it all? Oh, we do. So yeah, as Jenny said earlier, this off. is the exact same way that you make the outer of the bag as well? Yep, exactly the same way. It's 
So you've just done one and then you're going to do exactly the same on the other bottom. Just going to pull your two pieces open like this. And then I always check that seam. So that seam is fa the bottom seam is facing that way. So I would like ideally that one to face that way as, as well. It doesn't matter. It's not really going to make much bulk if you do get a twist in that seam. It's just a little thing though, isn't it, that can make a difference? And yeah. whilst it's not the end of the world, it's the next step up in your bag yeah. making or anything like that, that little attention to detail. Definitely. So I'm just going to go across again, quarter of an inch. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and I've come undone. Right, so the... Bella solids, the Modabella solids that Jenny's using for the for the lining there, they're all on the pick and mix. And then we've also got for you, shall I go and have a look at those? Oh, no, we're not going anywhere. We're going to stay here and look at these. Um, here we go. Down the bottom of the screen, you've got the Stripology Ruler um, Mini there, which was fabulous. We used that at seven o'clock. And then also you've got your layer cakes here, which we're going to be paying attention to next hour, which is one o'clock. And this is what Jenny used to make the quilt out of. But of course, a layer cake, it's 42 10 inch squares. You can use it for multiple, multiple things, um, which is just fabulous. Now, can I do a big reveal on the pattern? Because it's so beautifully put together. Can I shimmy that down? I might never get this little sleeve it. on. Take it Are you we sure? Can take it off. Yeah, it's fine. I bet you um, you wrap presents beautifully. I you know when you just don't. go, yeah, it's got to be, isn't it? So here we go, very detailed. You've got your notes there, your cutting instructions, everything is there. This one is for the bag, and then photos, step by step. Again, lovely and clear. And we've talked through how to do those um, bag handles today. And then here we are. Look, we've got to almost this stage. Almost. Almost there. Yeah. There we go. Now, Jenny, angel policy on this. Um, can people make these to sell? Yeah. Or just to gift? They can make them to sell as well. That's absolutely okay. fine. But not manufacture or anything like that. You don't and photocopy it and give it to people or anything like that. Yeah, or send the bag into like mass manufacturing. No, or anything nothing like that, no. like that. But if you've got, if you go to the like market stores and stuff at Christmas and yeah, just you know like small little market yeah. stores, yeah. no like mass. Stuff. Yeah, that's fine. And gifting is the best. Make yeah. them for gifts galore. Absolutely. And post them online when you've done it. I love seeing people's versions of my patterns. It's my favourite thing. It, yeah, because all of a sudden, you know that people have loved them. They've made yeah. them. They've made them their own. And especially if you put a little twist to it or a different yeah. colourway or something like that, I find it inspires me yeah. to do different things. And it just lovely. Yeah, I just love mm. seeing that people are enjoying making my patterns. It just makes me really happy. <laughs> That's why we do them, isn't it? There's no exactly. point in us creating these things to just sit there. Exactly. So no, when, what are we doing here? Uh, attaching the straps before you put the lining on. So you just measure in from the edge. I think it's four inches on this pattern. If it's not, it will have it. In, it has it written in the <laughs> if pattern. It's not, it is you know now. when you just you, you you make so many patterns, it's remembering which is which. So you're just going to put uh, right sides together. Make sure you don't twist the handle while you're adding the second one. And it's, I just put one pin in because I'm going to take those out when I add the lining. It doesn't matter how many times I fit a handle, I still have to flip it and check that it's not twisted. Really? Yeah, because there's nothing worse than sewing all around the top of your bag to then yeah, discover you that you've twisted to. the you've handle. Yeah, you don't want to. you twisted a handle. Yeah. So, again, you can just use the uh, ruler to measure um, however many inches in it is. I'm just going to copy this one by placing it like that. Nice. Now, you see, the handles would have been perfect to have cut with your stripology rulers, and we are busy on the phones again for those. So do make sure if you want it. We sold out in the first hour, didn't we? Yeah. But we've managed to get more. We've had a quick chat with Rachel. We've managed to get some more. So if you'd like them, 
then do, but we still can't get hold of the big ones. Start with the little one, see how you're getting on. That just brings back memories of sewing with you previously. With my strippers, <laughs> trashy strippers. Well, you know, we all know I'm a stripper. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> In the best fabric No, when you sense. told me to use one and I used one and I cut it all completely wonky. Oh, yeah. Because I wasn't oh, concentrating. Yeah, you put me under pressure. You were like, here's the stripology ruler, use it. And I was like, okay, sure. And I did it. And I was like, I think it's wonky. <laughs> and then yeah. you lost it, though. Yeah, I did lose it, yeah. But right. it was a great ruler. It was great. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> so you're going to keep your uh, lining bag the wrong, uh, like, inside out. And you are just going to pop the whole of your bag, including the straps, inside your lining like so so we're right sides together yep and then what you want to do is what you you want to pin it loads i'm not going to have time to pin it loads but you want to make sure you match up the two um two side seams is that where you pin first? I always pin the side yeah, seams too. first, so then I know I've got it central. There's nothing worse then otherwise, is it, of, of sort of pinning around one side and then finding that you haven't quite yeah, matched it? Yeah, because you're going to use the if, lining slightly yeah, more. Yeah, because you're going to want to use a lot of pins to get it perfect. So I take the pin out that I and hold onto the strap. If you were worried about that, could you have basted that strap in first? Yeah, or you could. Yeah, you could just do a little. Um, just a little tacking stitch, but um, less than quarter of a. See, I've I've made a mess there. So sort of an now. eighth of an inch. Just yeah, because it'll be within just your a little seam bit. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna try and wing this as quick as I can. Because I um, back stitch across all the handles as well. It's again, it's reinforcing, yeah. isn't it? And do you top stitch around the I top? I do. Once so it's... once I've pulled it through, I tend to, um, what do you call it? I tend to um, just press once I've put the uh, lining inside and then, um, yeah, top stitch around the edge to keep that lining nice and straight inside the bag. So if I know that I've got a bag like this that I'm going to overfill. Yeah. What I often do is, you know the triple stitch, the one on your machine that's got the three dashes? Yeah. It's lovely. I might put in like a, a feature coloured thread because it, it's like a straight stitch, but it goes back and forth over it three times. So it okay. reinforces, but it, obviously you're getting that little bit more thread. So if you are using a contrast thread, it looks really lovely. Looks really, I often do it for my handles as well. It reinforces it. Um, and also, it just means that my handles are not coming out. They're not. They're not. No. No, no one needs their handles coming out. <laughs> I've <laughs> not pinned this very well. Because I'm trying to rush to do it. So I think there might be a bit, a little bit of an overlap, but that's fine. So I'm going to just take my um, table off my machine. Now you can see everything that I've shoved underneath. <laughs> Do you do that? Yeah. I store everything underneath the, the table because then you can just grab it quickly. But while you're sewing, it doesn't get in the way until you have to go on live TV and <laughs> take it off. <laughs> so what I'll do is, because I don't know how much time I'm going to have. My handles keep moving because I haven't pinned it enough. Quarter of the stock of the pattern gone. Wow. Good job. Oh. Suddenly very busy for that pattern. I think everyone's realised what a lovely make and how actually when Jenny says, because it's very easy, isn't it, for you know people who sew regularly to go, oh, a beginner could do this, but you know, actually they can, they can. a beginner could do yeah, this. Yeah, that's why I've done like really detailed step-by-step -step instructions so that it's just the little things that sometimes you get confused because yeah. I, I like pictures. Yeah, me too. So I, I'm a really visual learner. So sometimes I can read the same sentence like 20 times I've can't figure it. I see a picture of that. Oh, that yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, when I'm doing my handles, I decided to start on a handle because I'm not sure how long we'll have. Okay. I will go across the handle because you can feel it. And the Juki loves bulk. It doesn't have a problem with it either. No, no, no. So you can just you can just layer a few more on and it's still going to be fine. And then I'm just going to backstitch, but I'm going to backstitch at a slight angle so you can move Ooh. it. 
and then I'll go forward again and then I'll back stitch again so this is all oh, no I won't because I've got my foot down on there as well <laughs> And then so basically with this, you're just sewing into your seam allowance. Are you sort of zigzagging into it? Almost, but I'm just back stitching going back. So it does end up looking like a zigzag like that. But into the seam allowance, never into, into the, the seam, bag. Not into the bag, into the seam allowance. And yeah. you're just really reinforcing those straps. They've got about four, they'll have four uh, lines of stitching on them. I've just realised I've not changed my stitch length. So we've got a big old stitch length going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. But you're going to top stitch it so it's fine. It'll yeah. all hold in place. And I have not pinned this well. So we are having a bit of a mare. That's all right. Should have made an extra one already pinned, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jenny no. managed to make 16 bags out of all of her fabric. <laughs> One for every single step. <laughs> what I'm going to do for this bag is I'm not going to keep, um, I'm not going to do all the back stitching over all the handles just so we can get round the bag. Yeah. I would also go round the top of the bag twice. Right. So reinforcing everything. <laughs> just because I love to fill my bag. No, up I know. I'm, I'm giggling because I know it, that's exactly why you do it. Yeah. But there is nothing worse. I mean, could you imagine, you know, you're out around town with this gorgeous bag and you just keep stuffing all your shopping in because once again you've forgotten your 5p bags. And, um, yeah. Well, that's the thing, goes, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. One of these bags is great. You can use it as your handbag, but then it can also be your bag for when you go in um, to pick up one, one bit from the shop, but you end up with, like... Bit. Yeah, 50 quid shop later that you only went out to get some milk. Yeah. I don't know how that happens. How does that happen? I, I, I don't have know why no I'm looking idea. at the floor manager. Uh, uh, is that something that happens to you? No. 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 It is. no. It's an odd thing, Tash. <laughs> it's like the rare occasion that my dad ever does the weekly shop. And he's like, I don't know why it costs you so much. Because we buy nice stuff. And all the stuff. All the stuff. And nice stuff. <laughs> There we go. I didn't uh, go round all the um, all the what, their straps. Didn't reinforce them, and I didn't pin it well. So then, all you've got to do is get your little opening and pull your whole bag through. She says, "It's that case of finding that one bit that you pull, and then it all comes through really easily." Do you know, my, my, someone gave me a tip the other day, and it's so, so true. Put your hand in and go to the furthest point and pull it from there. Ah. It's so much easier. And you know when you go, why have I always struggled with this and not realised that? I can't remember who it was to give them credit, so I'm really sorry. If it was you, um, thanks. thanks. I, again, I'm really rubbish with names and I can never ever remember and it's nothing personal. I forget my own on a daily basis. Same here. Right, so once you've got this in, it's looking good, like this, I Jen. tend to use the edge of my um, ironing board, you know the point, and I just slip it on the ironing board. Oh, okay. And sew along like that. Right. Uh, not sew along, uh, uh, iron it like that because it's quite hard. You know, just yeah. so you get that really lovely edge. So you, you will literally just fold your lining in nicely, she says. It's looking good. And then I always tend to, I love using a different coloured thread for the top stitching. What colour are you going for? Um, well, I haven't really brought many colours with me. So I think for this one, we're just going to go with white, which actually matches the, which is actually, you can see it a lot on the, uh, the nice. pink but a nice, often pick out nice. one of the colours that's not yeah. used much. Yeah, yeah. I love that duckingy, tealy colour. Oh, it's same here. Called, what's its official colour? Do we know? Because I keep calling them duckingy, tealy colour. All the colours. That is teal. Oh, there we go. I love the there dark purple, the plummy. What's the dark purple plummy colour called? Because on, on called screen what, it might look dark. Prune. Prune. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, that's, hang on, that's normally the colour of your hair. No, 
my head's never that dark. I mean, we don't need to notice that it's washed out a little bit right now, but... But I love the fact you normally have... Like, <laughs> yeah, it's usually brighter than this. Hey, look, I, I've tried to dye my own hair. It, it's not as easy as you think. But that's because you're blonde. It's really hard. It's, it's, it's risky business when you're blonde yeah. to dye hair yourself. Yeah. When I just uh, mine got naturally, back. um naturally quite a dark brown. Someone did ask me not long ago, um, they were like, I really love your hair colour. It's natural, right? I was like, the, the, the purple I'm pink. just not sure oh. anybody's born with this colour. <laughs> <laughs> not on this planet. But it's a lovely thought. <laughs> Yeah, it is a lovely. I'd be thought. totally out for being born with this. I've had this hair colour for years now. That's because it's your favourite colour. Exactly. <laughs> so I've just because I've not ironed it, I'm pinning it in. But even when I iron it in, I often pin it as well. Do you? Yeah, just so that when you're going round, it doesn't come out. And then with your gap in the lining, just you can even machine sew that closed. Or you can, um, I, I usually hand stitch it, ladder stitch. That's because you've oh, missed fantastic some of the handle on that one, see? Hand stitcher. Um, we are going to be back at one o'clock. We've got a minute and a half left. We're going to be back at one o'clock. Um, and talking of hand stitching, that will be mainly what we're looking at, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, because we're going to be looking at these layer cakes here and that gorgeous quilt over there, um, which is just sublime. So if you fancy something to keep you occupied, because it's, oh, we've been very busy on the layer cakes, don't wait till one o'clock to buy it, is what I'm being told in my ear. So, yeah, don't do that. Um, buy it now, and then you can sit back and relax with a cup of, or it'll be one o'clock, so you can have your lunch with us, and that will be fabulous. Very busy on the patterns. Um, well, of course, the, the quilt is absolutely stunning, so we're going to look at those techniques as well. Um, oh, I can't wait. I know. I can't wait. Jenny, it's so it's lovely to fun. see you. Me too. And, um... So we've done the bag? Yes. We'll do the quilt? Yes. Get your fabric so that you, uh, you know that you've got them. That's important. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll show you anything that we have left at one o'clock. And we will go through that fabulous quilt at one. Of course, have a look on the web. Have a look at the creative grids. Have a look at the sewing machine because it's the yes. dream. Do um, it. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason that we both have it. Yeah, isn't it? it's yeah. just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one. Right, you lovely people will be back at one o'clock. I believe I'm going to leave you in Yanis's very capable of hands. There you go. We've got B Monarchy with B Crafty and then Studio Light Winter Charms. That's up. And then we've got Studio Light Winter Charms later on again. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echander Shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light Shows on Echanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. 
That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others, and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, Groovy, and Percomano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Huchanda. Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome. So we've got a fabulous owl, Bee Crafty. We are talking bee monarchy. But before I do that, anything, I'd like to introduce you to one half of our crafting monarchy. It is this is a lovely bed. It is one third, because well, well, mother is the well, queen bee. Oh, well, okay, sorry. But in I, fairness, you haven't had that privilege. I haven't yet. met the mother yet, so I apologize. <laughs> but we've also got Sam uh, in the studio. She's across the studio watching. Judging us. Now I've noticed something, Go on. Bev. Every time we work together, where I'm in, yeah. Sam doesn't want to come on air. Well, what's going on here? In fairness, Sa Sa Sam is here in a, a merely supervisory capacity oh, okay. for, the, for the moment, in our current situation. There was some speculation that the minute I start growing my hair, she didn't want <laughs> she didn't want to come on air with me. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying what <laughs> anyone's opinion on your hair is. Okay, all right, well, thank no, you. I'm, not, I'm uh, not taking part. I've got to talk to you, <laughs> because... Okay. We were busy. Now, this concept, you're getting the stamps and you're getting the dies, and yes. this is very, very new for Be Crafty. So last yeah. time... We brought you this concept. It was the birds and the bees. The birds and butterflies. Sorry, birds and butterflies. No, that's fine. Sorry, yeah. Um, with and the dyes, and that was our yeah. very first dye launch. And we did that show, and it just it got a bit. It sold out. Yes. In six minutes. Six minutes, yeah. Can I just ask, how if these go, do we? Then we say goodbye and thank you very much. Absolutely, no more that's extended. That's it. That, no, that's it. That's a little bit yeah. worrying because a quarter of the stock's already gone, and we're only two minutes into the show. So that really is, we cannot sell out of this in six minutes because we do not have the ability to fill the rest of the hour. Oh, I'm sure we'll, you do, we'll do right? something. We'll do something. Yeah, we, we've got plans, but thank you very much. And I'm really glad you like them because they are absolutely beautiful. And the dyes have made the bee stamps so much easier to use. Because yeah. when I fussy cut, for example, yeah. those antennas are gone. Oh, every I time. don't cut around them. Every you know, time. They're, they're just lopped off. Look. It's gone. Um, 
this is why you want the dies and the stamps because when you start layering up special things happen I really like the stamps I love the fact that we have got the ability to use our dies in conjunction so it's the perfect playmates coming through because then it just adds so much more scope to your projects actually I've got that the wrong way around sorry there we go here is, here is the that. funny thing though this year is 18 years of be crafty 18 years. Yeah, this is our, this is our, our first proper bee stamp set. What? But you're 22. What's going on? I know. I wasn't involved from the beginning. What <laughs> can I say? It was Sam. <laughs> Sam started it. Sam started it with you're mother. You're a child. You're no, a child I was prodigy. Just, yes, absolutely. But seriously, 18 years be crafty. 18 years, yeah. And in fairness, that's easy enough to tell because it was started when Sam was pregnant with her eldest son, ah. and he was 18 this ah. month. So, yeah. There you go. And yeah, you... she looks old enough. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sent out of this, but what I am going to tell you is half the stock has gone uh, for our brand new today, and that's in three minutes. So okay, thank you very much, everyone. It's a little bit worrying. Uh, let me just whip it's okay. this. Let me just see. Uh, just going to show you. There are the stamps that you're getting there, and you're also uh, that's all the uh, yeah. That's stamps the backing back. card. Yeah. I just like to put the stamps separately so you can really see yeah. what's on the set. Because sometimes you're like, is it the same as the backing card? Now, as you can see there, we do try to keep your exactly backing card, which is also a storage card, because all yeah. of our stamps are on laminated backings. And what that mm. means is, for example, if you lose your printed acetate sheet or anything like that, yeah. you can stick them straight onto your laminated card, so they work as a storage Perfect. item as well. We're just having a look at the detail on there. I love the fact we've got the crowns uh, in the mix too because it works in keeping exactly. with the theme. Oh, right. 80% of the stock. I'm going to stop talking here. Uh, 18 98 your price for both. Uh, 999 124 your item number. We cannot get hold of any more. It is limited stock. We're only we're not even 4 minutes into the show. Bev jokingly and it was a joke. It she was a to, real joke, I promise. She turned to our producer, Ross, and said, look, these sold out in six me, minutes Me last and Yanis did six yeah. minutes last time. If anything, anything more than that, and you failed. And you failed. Well, it's... And well, I was joking, I absolutely yeah. promise. We are into single figures on this. Uh, it's not even six minutes left. They're literally single figures. It's about to go, and it's gone. Four minutes, 22 seconds. That you can't keep. Thank, up. thank you Next so time we much. come in, we can't beat four minutes. Uh, no, I was going to say mm. no. But thank you so much, everyone. But we've got lots of lovely other things to show you as well, so we'll be absolutely fine. She says, Good. going. And we will play. We will incorporate the stamps into the absolutely. into the mix as well. Okay, so they are technically sold out. If any bounce back, of course I'll let you know. But as it stands, all our stock is either sold or allocated. Eighteen ninety eight your price. If you really, really want it. Please press check out because if it jumps out of your basket, someone else will nab it. There's a very good chance that will happen. 999-124, your item number there. Uh, okay, now we're going to look at our inkables. Love, love, love the inkables. And now you're giving us some nice textures and shapes to play with. Here. Well, this is the thing, and I was looking for something that would go beautifully with the bees. So, and I will say, the inkables design is usually left to mother. It's yeah. usually left to the queen bee because she loves it. She loves sitting down putting the inkables designs together. Yeah. But the new honeycomb one, the honeycomb multi, which has got all the different size hexagons on, right. and that's actually one of mine. Um, so that was quite fun because I haven't that's, got yeah I haven't had cool. the chance to design one for ages. I love it. Um, so I absolutely love it. So it's got all those different sizes on there. So if you are art journaling or yeah. anything like that, it will work really well. This yeah. one is actually called dripping paint, dripping. but Mum very much you know. Shall we say she put her foot down and mm. used her authority and said, "No, it's dripping honey when it's oh. with bees." So it that's why be, that has come in. Do you know, it could be dripping honey. It could be chocolate. Uh, it could be chocolate. It could be under the sea if you wanted uh, some texture, a bit of seaweed under yeah. the sea. Equally, it could just be for a spring meadow as well. Absolutely, and I think that's the thing. The more you look at it, the more you can see. Yeah. Dangling down, if you just wanted some vines dangling down, you know, in a cave. Absolutely. Is it the stalactites or the stalagmites that go down? The so stalactite, I think, goes down and the, the mite goes up. The mite goes up. But I, they could be either. Yeah, really so it's could, fine. yeah. Um, so you've got those there. And then we've also got the easy frames. Now, our easy frames are one of our most popular inkables. They are the frames that you use so you can do a coloured centre, for example, mm -hmm. but keep the rest of your card clean. Yes. So, so, so you've got the mask and the template in there as well. So you can either create a white centre and a coloured outside, uh -huh. or a coloured inside and a, and a clean outside. So we're getting Or do you mix and these? match? So you get all of those, wow. all of those in there. Now, the hexagon is it's a new, it's a, one of the newer shapes for us. So again, I wanted to include that with this Inkables bundle so that you've got everything wow. you need almost to create 
honeycomb hexagon loveliness. Oh, now, okay. I've got two words for you, Bev. What do you think's playing on my mind? I don't know. Jelly plates. <laughs> Jelly plates, exactly. Yeah, now, okay. Let's just stop and think about this, because I did a show uh, with Jelly Plates, uh, it was last oh, week. Oh, were you with Lou? I was with Lou. The lovely Lou. Love Lou. Oh, I, I love fun. Lou. But do you know what I would be doing here? Look at these beautiful shapes and designs, but imagine, for instance, that on your Jelly Plate, and then using the masks as well and going in the frames. Brilliant, and that's a really good idea. And in fairness, Lou has used some of our Inkables big ones, yeah. because I do get people ask us, because we use the heavier weight Mylar, we mm -hmm. use 350 micron Mylar, so that when you emboss them through your machine or you emboss them with boss embossing paste, yeah. and texture paste, you get really good dimension. Uh -huh. So I have had people, how well they work with the Jelly Plate, because they are a bit thicker, but Lou Sims uses our Inkables big ones a lot yeah, so yeah. they will work really well so I will say if you've got any questions with about our inkables and the jelly plate I will go to Lou because she knows she knows her stuff. <laughs> she knows her onions at uh, 14.99 your price proving popular 467 696 your item number over half the stock has gone here now we have got another stamp I apologize we kind of jumped straight to the uh, dinkables there and we didn't uh, have a look at the inkable sorry and we didn't look at these so uh, this is a beautiful stamp it's in keeping with the theme that beautiful bee theme tell us a little bit about this so this is the scripted bee now this was launched with the bee monarchy earlier this year um, now our sort of collage stamps as I call them have been really really popular from when we started doing them a couple of years ago oh, and yes. again this bee it was this came before the bee monarchy in a way mm -hmm. because I wanted to create that collage like we did with the dragonfly art and the time measure in the ledger measure in that sort of B feel so again you've got the hexagons in there mm -hmm. to really create that detail so if you just want to have one stamp where you can have because you know me I like to have a mess with my background do a stamp and then you're done yeah. with your scripted B you can do that because you've got all those little details in there but well, if you will then want to stamp it well. add on extra bits and you know cut out the hexagons and layer them up you've got that as well and because the hexagons are really easy to cut out beautiful. so basically it's just one of those beautiful collage stamps that we like to do that's really useful and i will say it works with the bee monarchy very very well well just having a look here how nice is that that it's wonderful absolutely script. lovely and as always a massive thanks to our design team yeah. they are the bestest design team in the whole wide world they are awesome, They're awesome. I'm looking, I've been looking through some of the inspirations <laughs> they are stunning right got to pop this down 15.99 your price if you'd like to get a hold of this fabulous stamp it is a great size as well that is a big stamp uh, there so 15.99 your price 026303 your item number okay so We've got some MDF for you, and this is another thing, we're in keeping with the theme, but yeah. you, you guys, I know, made in-house, and yeah. you do such a, it's a quality you bring. The quality is really important, um, because in fairness, I think you're never going to get the results if it's not the, qu the right sort of yeah. quality. So all of our MDF is FSC approved, mm -hmm. and it's cut by my dad, um, who is very meticulous, cleaning his laser cutters, as you can see. So the, the pop-outs, again, they're a new thing for us in the last few months. So yeah. these are the pop-outs. Now, these are from 2 mil MDF, so that they don't add too much weight if you want Perfect. to add them to card fronts. That's great. But obviously, they work really, really well with your MDF journals that we do on yeah. our MDF tags. On, you know, if you're decorating the outside of, say, your Dina Wakely journal mm -hmm. after you've finished it, they'll work well there. Yeah. But, you know, they take paint, ink, everything really well. But what I love about the pop-outs as well is you've got all that etching, Ooh, all yes. the laser etch detail. These are pop-outs on a card. They look great. Absolutely. So with your pop-outs, they just have a little tab that mm -hmm. holds them in the sheet. Yeah. And then you can just nick that and pop it out. Uh -huh. But w the reason we wanted to do the pop-outs as well is because then you've got the waste. So you can use that to create another mixed media project. Uh, which is really really cool so that one is made by Kaz on a canvas board and you can see she's used all those pop outs and layered them up in different mm -hmm. ways and it's just beautiful I absolutely love it Look, I have to say these are great considering the amount of uh, beautiful designs you've got to play around with 11.99 your price there two sheets in total 3304 your item number uh, and as Bev was saying once you've popped everything out then you've got uh, you can incorporate the the carrier sheet yeah. effectively into a design or use it as a stencil spray Absol through and, that, and that's the thing now I will say when I do pop these out especially the ones like the little bees that have got the legs and everything I would nick the tab that's holding them in with a knife because 
because you don't want to lose a leg yeah, okay. on the pop out. But in fairness, the bigger ones I do just press. My dad right. always says, make sure you tell everyone to use a knife. Oh, yeah, just press with the bigger ones. It's fine. Well, the bigger ones, little ones, you're right. Just uh, do give it a yeah, little Yeah, just give nick. them a little, yeah. li little go with the point of your craft knife, honestly, and mm -hmm. then it just comes straight yeah. out really okay. easily. Lovely. We shall move on. We've got more beautiful MDF for you. Take a look at these flowers. Aren't they nice? This is And gorgeous. that is a statement B. It is. Ooh. This is a fab one. Now, this is a bee wreath, we've called it. Yeah. Now, it's on that hexagon, and we've got lots of flowers in there. And you can see, for example, on this one, what Anne has done is she hasn't used all the flowers, so she can use them on another project. She's used the big bee, and she's, I think she said she triple embossed it with black embossing powder mm -hmm. to the point it looks metallic. Yeah. And it's absolutely beautiful and really, really weighty. So, again, you can see how well the MDF has taken all the mediums yeah, yeah. that our fantastic DT has thrown at it. So, this is Jane's. You can see, and Jane has a lot of different mediums. She's a collector, I think, huh? and she has thrown lots on here. But in here, you get the little vines, you get the leaves, you get the flowers. And again, like, like Anne, you can either use them all together and make a really full bee wreath, yeah. or you can use them separately like Anne did and make multiple projects. Perfect. Eleven ninety nine. your price. Uh, 666 uh, your item number there. Now, we do have news for you. Uh, the Inca Balls. Now, it's good news, bad news. Bad news is it's sold out. Good news is we have got it back, uh, the bundle, on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched on 21st. So only Monday, uh, that's not long to wait at all. Fourteen ninety nine. your price. Do you know what I really like about these sets? Uh, the hexagons, the mixed size hexagons, I would love to use uh, with a jelly plate. But equally, you've got the hexagon grid, you've got the background with the dripping honey, or it could be uh, seaweed in the sea, or it could be uh, meadow. But then you've got the shapes and the masks, so the frames too, both sizes. All five of those for fourteen ninety nine. Fantastic, it really is. Four six seven six nine six. your item number. I'm so glad we're having a busy day at Hochanda because it just shows, uh, I think this is what makes Hochanda such a special place because we really do strive hard uh, to bring a platform to incredible companies like Bee Crafting and bring you something that is a little bit different. And it is, and this is the thing, it is... You know, it's one of those things we talk about the Hachanda family, and sometimes I think it can sound a bit hokey. But you know, we are we are a small family company. There's me, my mum, mm. my sister, and my dad, and and we love creating new things to bring. And it just gives us this brilliant chance to show everyone. Do you know what I like about here as well Go is on. how guests. I mean, you were talking about Lou Sims and. Yeah. You guys get on all, yeah. you all get on so well, and you will find that guests will use something from another company and say, "Oh, I'm using it." Blah blah blah. You guys talk, use each other's Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely, it's like you were talking to Julia about the yeah. same thing, weren't you, last week? Um, Julia from JMC. Yeah. And, and, it, and it is, and it is that you know. And I watch what Lou makes, and I watch, for example, I Amazon later, and I, you yeah. know, I love her style. And like you said, we talk and we get on, and it's and it's lovely, and it does create that sort of someone's got your back yeah. sort of feeling and it and you know you can't beat it it's nice. really really re it's it, and it's and it's it's like you say it's real it's not i'm not making it up for telly basically no um you know we get on it's like well <laughs> in fairness we actually have there's several nicknames that i'm not going to use on tv for several of us but yeah. it's just it's just a coolio community it is. that we bring sad? together i know we've all had to make so many sacrifices yeah. with the current situation but for me it's sad that with obviously social distancing yeah. so now what happens guests when they come in they get their own room and there's no mixing but yeah. before all of this madness happened um, you'd find in the green room that was the place to be and all the guests oh, yeah. would sit in be Where having cool a tea or coffee and chatting telling you. Yeah. Anyway, it will, it, will, it will come back to normal. It will, it will um, be fine. Let's but, talk. Yeah. Sorry. Let's no, talk here. We've got, we got the, the jars now. Now, these are interesting. These are a little bit different. These are really cool. And this is something Mum has been working on um, for a while. And like you say, this year's obviously been a funny one and some yeah. things have had to be pushed back and other things have had to come into place and whatever. Uh -huh. So Mum's been actually working on these since earlier in the year. Oh. And because she, she just had this idea that she wanted to do these jam jars. Now, in here, you've got the six solid jam jars at the back yeah. and then you've got the three in the front but what you've also got is all these fantastic pop-out embellishments again 
Oh, wow. That you can layer up, you can use. They're laser etched with detail. And they will take, so it says six pieces, but that's six pieces of the jar. You know, all those embellishments are, are, are on top of that. So, and I have to say, again, the DT have made some absolutely beautiful samples with these. And we will make mm -hmm. sure that they're all online so you yeah. can refer to them as well. So because they're stunning. As you were just saying, with each of those, you're getting the solid, which yeah. is just behind, and then you've got the detail there. So you can use them separately, we can layer up, you can pop out. We've just got a few beautiful these samples are nice they're absolutely stunning and there is one i would like you to hold up that yeah. Anne has made in uh, the bottom nope come, no. come towards me this with one? the moss on it oh yeah okay gotcha. and what Anne has done here oh. is she's used the outline but still layered it up because you've got that outline so she's put a little wow. wedge in and then she's made it really natural with the mushrooms coming out and it's just stunning that i mean and how she's painted up the mdf is just beautiful but all of the M all of the design team have done a fantastic job with all yeah. of this mdf this is okay they, you the design team really has i told you they were the bestest town. in the whole wide great. world love this Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, twelve ninety nine is your price uh, there. You can see how much fun the design team have, and they really are exceptional, your yes. design team. Uh, 281049, your item number there. Right, finally, let me just pop this one back. Oh, sorry, Jimmy. I'm straight into shot there. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh, okay, last but certainly not least, we have got... This is a nice little combination. Should we start with here? Yeah, so what we've done here is we've taken, in case, for example, you're thinking, well, I like the pop-outs, but I wouldn't necessarily use two sheets. Mm -hmm. What we've done here is we've put one sheet of the pop-outs with some coordinating metal embellishments. Okay, so what? in there, you've got some brads, you've got some little um, bees, you've got the honeycomb with the bees coming off, you've got some lovely brass tones and silvery tones to use. But I will say, they take, these metal embellishments, they take alcohol ink really, really well. They take other inks really, really well, so you can paint them as well. So you can create beautiful dimension on your mixed media too. So there's just, it's just in case you were thinking, well, I love the pop-outs, but I'd like some metal too. That bundle is also a good one. But I will say, the, the bundle with the metal embellishments, again, that's, a, that's all we have job, because we counted up as much as we had, and that's all we have. Lovely. <laughs> so you've got all of these beautiful metal embellishments, and you're getting the MDF. Uh, all in one bundle for eleven ninety nine is incredible. It re uh, that is a very good buy. I love the Brads too. So uh, there we go. You're getting all of those for eleven ninety nine as a bundle. Eight three seven three six one. Your item number. That is proving to be a very popular option. Actually, we are having a busy hour now. Speaking of the lovely Lou Sims, we have had some pictures sent in by Lou herself. Uh, this is a double page art journal spread. Uh, I think we're just going to bring that to you in a moment. There we go. Oh, oh, I like that. It's lovely. There, there's a lot of bee crafty on yeah, there. There is a lot there is of bee crafty. There is a lot of bee crafty on uh, there. That's using the bee monarchy uh, stamps that sold out. So Lou, love that. Have we got any more from Lou? Yeah, we've got. That's ooh. using the scripted bee. The, that so is, you yeah. can see the big stamp there yeah. in the middle. That's using the scripted bee. Now that is lovely. There's one more picture just to show. Like that. Is that that's, that's the same one as the first one, was it? Yeah. She's, it's so lovely. Yeah, and she had them all in her yeah. journal the other day. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, Absolutely beautiful. I think there's a third one showing both together. <laughs> there we go. There we that's go. It. Uh, so there we go. You got, oh, um, now that looks phenomenal. Absolutely. And you can see, you know, using the, that is a, is that her super duper big journal? I think uh, that's her super been. duper big journal, isn't Maybe, it? Yeah. Um, but you can see in there, you know, you've got the scripted B, you've got the B monarchy, you've got other stamps um, of ours that I think yeah. are still on the Hachanda website. So you can see how you can incorporate all of that together, which is beautiful, and her jelly prints as well, I think. Love that. Lou, thank you so much for taking the time to email in. And do you know what? That is a perfect example to show that our guests do watch Hachanda. Absolutely. We didn't, we didn't plan that. We didn't ask Lou to send those in. She just happened to She's be watching. She's a very busy lady, to be fair. Yeah? So thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, now just let you know the MDF with the embellishments. It is limited stock, and once it's gone, that is it. We cannot get hold of any more, so we are limited stock there. Uh, we've had lots of sellouts this hour, so please don't miss out there. I, I, the minute I saw the price on that, uh, I knew that was going to be busy. Should we have a play? I think it's about that sort of time, Yanis. I do. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in using the small, easy frame hexagon. Mm -hmm. Um, now, like I say, the fantastic thing about these is you do get your innie and your outie. Yeah. So you can decide how you're going to use them. But what I'm going to do is we're going to... Sam, I, Sam I, I can't talk is what I can't do. I make Sam pick my colours. 
because otherwise I tend to use the same ones all the time. Mm -hmm. So Sam has picked basically lots of bee-friendly colours, oranges, yellows, and that. But I will say, a lovely lady online the other day mm. showed us this picture of a bright blue bee. Oh. It was bright blue bee. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to layer these up. Now, first of all, I'm going to go in with my carved pumpkin. Mm -hmm. I'm just working on my blending mat. I'm going to go in with our carved pumpkin and just give a light sort of coverage yeah. to get that hexagon shape, just blending in from the outside. Mm. Okay? But what you can also do... So you can see, and it just gives you a lovely clean edge yeah. so that you can it's then nice. work around it. But what you can also do is you can use them now in conjunction with your pattern yeah. templates, okay? So after you've put that plain colour down, and you could stick these down if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Funnily enough, I was watching Sarah um, from Funky Fossil last night, yeah. and she's very good and tapes down all her templates. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, she's obviously more patient than me. Um, so what we're going to do is then I'm then going to go in with my wild honey and we're just going to go over the hexagons multi and then when you lift this off you're going to have oh. the pattern within the hexagon yeah. you've already put down. We like that. So it just sort of layers up. Right. So yeah, now that looks amazing. We're going to go again. So we're going to try and put three on here. Okay. The hexagon's a nice shape to sort of marry up. It's too. a lovely, lo I have to say, it's a lovely shape, even if you're not doing bee things. Yeah. I think it's just a yeah. nice regular, I think it's because it's symmetrical as well. Mm -hmm. It just sort of, it's, got it's that just kind nice. Of, you can build up those sort of blocks that you'd see in quilting. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. If you wanted to piece these together yeah. to do a bigger sort of area, um, you know, you could, that'd be nice. And mm. You know the really big Dina Wakeley journals where yeah. you've got those massive pages? I'm going to do that. I like where your mind's at. I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to put that one there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get honeyco the honeycomb full, this one's called, for obvious reasons, because it's just a full honeycomb. I'm going to put this over the top here. Mm. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in with something slightly redder. I'm going to go with the abandoned coral. Uh-huh. Hey, look, oh... All the family are watching right now. We've had an email in from Lynette. Pretty gets See? pretty. Yeah, Lynette Jasper. The Jasper. The Jasper. The Jasper. Uh, now, she's saying hello to uh, yourself, uh, me, and also everyone behind the scenes. Lynette, lovely to hear from you. She's saying she's absolutely loving this collection far too much. She's Bless her. She's, she thinks she's turning into Blakey. She needs it all. That I have to say, Blakey, she, she has, yeah... She, she has absolutely no... Yeah. See, Sam's holding up a parcel there. What? It says Literally, Emma Blake on it. Emma Blake on it. <laughs> Honestly, um, the woman can't say no. That's all I'm saying. She just, can't. It's so nice <laughs> that you guys are all friends. You obviously speak... Uh, but the funny thing is, here. we've never met. I met Emma yeah. in July. Yeah. Obviously, from two metres away. Uh -huh. um, but... And I, I met Charmaine ages ago at shows and whatever, yeah. but everyone else we've never actually met in person because obviously oh. the current situation, we can't. No. Um, so that's something to look forward to. Yeah. When we sort of get back to however normal we're capable of being. Uh -huh. So, and then I'm going to go in here. Uh -huh. So what pattern shall I put in here? I think I'm going to go back to yeah. the honeycomb multi, but I'm going to use a different section so okay. it doesn't match up. Uh, thank you for all the messages coming in. Yes, thank you. It's so lovely. Nice. And if you have, I was going to say, if you have had the Bee Monarchy before mm -hmm. um, and you've had a chance to use it, definitely send in. We love to see yeah. what you make. We really, really do. Mm -hmm. And it's, that's one of those things people question me. Oh, I used that, but I didn't know whether I should send it in. Send it yes, in. We want to see. Definitely send it in. Um, Lynette, hopefully I'll, s I'll work with you soon. I was so happy to hear Lynette, Lynette had come back to her channel. Oh, so definitely. She's awesome. Definitely. Lynette. Cool. Um, so here we go. So you've got your three Love there. That. And you could, if you wanted to, then doodle in extra details if you wanted to, and that's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to lift that to the side a second and get me a clean one, because yeah. otherwise I'll get told off by my dad. Uh -huh. um, oh, he tells me off for using dirty templates. Well, <laughs> it's awful. Good I get habits. Yeah. The, just the before... Thing. Just before we move on, yes. can I say, because I'm conscious that you've only got one hour today. Yes. So to let everyone know that we sold out of uh, the bees, so the bee monarchy, we have got, though, the dragonflies now. So we're just going to show you. Uh, you can see here, that is your dragonfly stamp. And I've got it here just to drop in. And you'll see 
There you go. There are your dragonflies. So it is uh, a beautiful stamp set there. You're getting seven stamps in total. So you've got border stamps. You've got your large sort of collage stamp in there. Your worker stamps and art. Fifteen ninety nine your price. Seven eight three zero four two your item number. There. Sure. Okay, I apologise. No, no, that, that actually works really well because the card I'm trying to show you at the minute is based on an idea I did with the Dragonfly art ah, before. Okay. So it does sort of all work together. I will say as well, I did do that yesterday using the Dragonfly art oh, I love that. as well. So there's, they are really, really useful and I still yeah. use them. Yeah. These are <laughs> their go-to stamps. They're yeah. ones I come back to a lot because they're really easy to use. Sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for our scripted B. Uh -huh. Nice. And again, you can see I use it a lot. Yeah. It's, it's a dirty a good, stamp. It's a good size stamp. It is a good size stamp. So if you are using B Crafty Super Skinny Slims, yeah. you're going to need your big one, the biggest right. one in the set of four. Okay. okay. And then what we're going to do, we're mm -hmm. going to find where I've put my ink pad. Here we go. And I'm going to use my VersaClair. <coughs> If you tr if you got you the um, ink pad bundle that Paula was showing you how to use all the different ones for the other day, now yeah. that was a really useful show, that showing was. you all the different black inks you can use. Really, oh, she really knows good. her stuff, doesn't she, Paula? So, and the thing is, there are new people all the time, <laughs> yeah. and now there is so much, it's difficult to know where to start. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight down with our scripted B. I'm just going to go a little bit to the left because I don't want his. I want the whole B on, I don't want his wings to go off. Now, with your super skinny slims, mm -hmm. they flex. Yeah. So when you're doing big stamps like this, it means you can just give it a little flex. Uh. Okay, and we flex, we do not bend. Flex, not bend. Flex, yeah. not bend, okay? And it just means you can make sure... Uh -huh. Sounds like our Ross in the gym. <laughs> bend and flex. <laughs> um, but no, so you can just you can flex in. Now, with... When you are stamping, don't lift both hands off because yep. then it can shift. So always keep one hand on, and then when you lift off, oh, wow. you have got all the beautiful detail. That looks um, okay. So get in my basket. Look that at is that. a good one, isn't it? That is amazing. Cool beans. Beth, and this that is looks the thing. so good. And this is the thing. So with your scripted B and with your dragonfly art, because you saw the same sort of card in yeah. the same way. Or, this is another really good example of it. I'm blown away by that. It looks okay. like you spent hours laying up that stamp. Exactly! Look at it! But you haven't! It's marvellous. Because they put a lot of the work in for you. Which is ace. I love now, that. I really do. I like that so much. Because that's it was proper wowed you, that, No, it, it really has. Love because it. that's the kind of effect that we really do. I certainly try and strive to achieve. To get those multiple layers and it really looks like it's coming out of you. But when Bev was building up the background, it looked good. Then you put on the stamp, suddenly you've taken something that looked good and made it incredible. Yeah, exactly, incredible. and this is the thing. So what I'm going to do is you can see you've got a stitch in yeah. here, so you can add in some more of those. We have got the stitch borders and small words on the show as well. Yeah. And these are a fantastically useful little set because, I mean, there is, there is lots of people that actually stitch their card, and I think it looks fantastic, but I cannot do anything related to a soft craft, and sewing mm. machines hate me. Okay. It's a true thing, yeah, honestly, yeah. they do. People say they can't, it's an animal. Sewing machines hate me. They've got a grudge against They you. have. It's, it's, You've it's wronged just a sewing machine I've the wronged life. a sewing machine at some point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in a couple of stitches. And this is a lovely little touch. If you've gone for the embellishment set, so many of those uh, designs you're seeing there, you're actually getting the embellishments. Did they go, the metal embellishments? Because I know they were... They've sold out now, so, but if you've managed to get hold of those, you're seeing a lot of those. But also, uh, the designs in the MDF as well, reflected in the stamp. So Absolutely. it works really so nicely. for example, if you wanted to, I've got some of the pop-outs here. Yeah. Oh, you know, let's do you've that. got the different sizes uh -huh. of your MDF. That's cool. That will sort of go over if you wanted to. I like that. So you could take... Do you know what? With the day we're having, we're just going to do what we like, guys. Yeah. We're just going to go off on a tangent. Let's go so for you it. can take your MDF pop out. Uh huh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat emboss it. Oh, nice. Yeah, do you know what? Which it works I so never well. do live on air. But I love MDF. It always goes wrong. MDF heat emboss looks great. So I'm going to get a copper okay. embossing powder and my Versamark, which is here. 
Actually, I'm going to do this on my mat first. Okay, so we're just going to put our Versa mark. Oh. I'm going to give you a heads up. Yeah. Pop out. We've, uh, we've asked the question, and there is no more stock of the scripted B stamp, and that is now limited stock. After seeing that demonstration, look, I'm sold. I would yeah, like it. Yeah, it was just a straight uh, down, straight it, up, wasn't it? That's the thing. Limited stock. Once it's sold out, it is gone. So if you want to get hold of that and recreate the demonstration that we've just seen uh, with Bev, now's the time to put it in your basket because that will be selling out. It deserves to sell out. It's a great stamp. It's really, a, really nice stamp. And that's the thing. If you are... Oh, also, if you are batch making... Yeah. Um, to sell or anything like that, which you are perfectly allowed to do Perfect. with their stamps. I think that stamp in the Dragonfly art and yeah. in, in the ledger measure as well that we've got uh -huh. on, they're yep. so useful in that way yeah. because you can just make up some backgrounds. Mm. Easily. Stamp and go. I've got to tell you that the uh, script background has sold out. It's just another of the uh, sellouts this hour. My goodness, we're having a busy hour. We are indeed, aren't we? So, what it's we're going to do is we're going to put our uh, like I said, I've been working on my blending mat all morning. Um, do not heat onto your blending mat. It will warp. Sam will tell you that. She did it live on telly. <laughs> okay. She also once hot glued something to it, so don't do that either. <laughs> um, but the reason I always use my blending mat is because you can see colours when yeah. you're blending because it's, cause it's lighter. Okay. What I don't have is a pair of tweezers. Oh, That's it's hard okay. to That's okay. So Where what we're going to do is we're going to heat... So I've used a copper embossing powder on here, uh -huh. and we're just going to heat the MDF here. Now, you were discussing the ledger measure, measure, ledger measure? The ledger measure. We have actually got that now on the counter, so uh, the stamp, that which we'll show you a quick picture of that in a moment. Uh, but let's just watch this turn. I was going to say, Sam's having a busy day, isn't she, having she to root through what else we have? <laughs> Do you know what's funny? Uh, our floor manager, Molly, kept on going up to Sam to ask for more stock, and all I could see is Sam like, shaking her head. No, no, no. no. no don't no. even ask. No more. No. So you can see. Now, you could add on more layers of this triple emboss, like Anne yeah. did with the bee wreath, uh -huh. and she's got that absolutely beautiful, high gloss black bee on mm -hmm. her uh, uh, MDF wreath. Can Which is you, just so beautiful. Can I give you a heads up? We're 33 okay. minutes into the show. We've sold out of a lot, so you might have to have a little play with the Dragonfly or the Legend. Yeah, no, okay? that's absolutely fine. We can do that next. I just wanted cool. to show you. So oh, that's yeah. with the copper. Look at that. Okay. That so that's really well, pretty. It's so effective on the MDF. Absolutely. But so you know you what know, you could do? On there, is get some mediums inside if you wanted to pour something because you've got Absolutely. that relief around. Like your resins or glossy yeah. accents or things like that. I will say, just because everybody that obviously purchased the bee moniker didn't get a chance to see it used yeah. Oh, yeah. in the dyes, I have got some here that Sam cut for me. So, yeah, let's have so a just device. a quick look. Of course. So you can see these here. So, for example, on here, sorry, Yanis, I'm just going to grab sorry, that. Okay. So you could add some of your bees and you just need to round the leaves off and I love you can even add the crowns onto the uh, exactly onto the so you know you can take your little bees and you could add them in different places they'd be good for an alternative wedding card you got your yeah. uh, you know and you could add on your little crowns kings queens there. so it will all go together and mm. that's what we wanted we wanted to really cohesive show. Ah, I like that it. That was good, wasn't I like it? it? You like that? <laughs> right, so you can just see, it's just because obviously I didn't get to show you guys, um, and thank you so much, um, but so I just wanted to show you that that was, that was sort of the plan. Yeah. At the very beginning. Nice. Well, yeah. it's a beautiful demonstration. <laughs> uh, I've got to thank Bev, because she really is crafting uh, on the fly at the moment, so thank you, Bev. You're uh, what well. we're going to do is take a moment to regroup, have a breath. Uh, we're going to show you a little bit about freedom. Do make sure to check out your baskets, and we'll be back in a second. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, newsletters, competitions and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. 
Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Well, there we go. A little bit about Freedom. And uh, we are so proud to be able to offer you Freedom membership at the lowest price we have ever, ever offered it. So £5.97. It's well worth it. Considering, look, standard PMP is £3.95. So a couple extra pounds and two pence. And you're a Freedom member for a month and you get unlimited standard delivery. Now, I've got to give you a little update. So uh, the bundle, the B Monarchy uh, bundle with the stamps and dice sold out, that has gone. We have a small, and I do stress, a small amount of just the dies. And I know uh, the individual option with the stamps was popular. So if you just want to go for the dies, uh, 11 99 your price, and they work perfectly, obviously, with that set. You know the, the larger uh, B there, would that work on the, um, the B? It is slightly different. Okay. It is All slightly right. different. But just give me a second, I am okay. sorry. No, sorry. Right. So eleven ninety nine your price there, nine dies in total, seven four four, five six one your item number. We do not have a lot of stock. Now we were talking about the ledger, uh, and we have got that down here. Oh, there are uh, just down there, we're gonna show you our ledger. So the ledger stamp, it is your uh, fantastic oof already half the stock's gone here. That's a little bit awkward. So just showing you that. So you've got your leisure measure, two stamps in total, fifteen ninety nine at your price, eight two zero seven four six your item number. Uh, we have got, I think, have we got pictures of? Oh, it's the dragonflies, I think it's dragonflies. So that's a ledger measure. It was very, very popular. Uh, we brought it to you in the past. Fifteen ninety nine your price, eight two zero seven four six your item number. Then we have the dragonfly. This is where we have got some pictures for you. Uh, so. The Dragonfly for you, fantastic stamp set. It's very similar in principle to uh, the B script in the sense that you've just got a wonderful collage design, which I will show you here. Now look at this. Oh, do you know the first time I showed this, I think I had it back to front. Look at that. So you're able to see, that is just a beautiful image. The layers, the ink splodge in there, that wonderful detail within the wings. And then you've got your worker stamps, your border stamps, your filler stamps, and your sentiment in there too. That is just a lovely set. $15.99 your price there. 783-042 item number. We have got some pictures just to show you. This one's, uh, first one's from Tracy. Love that. That's beautiful. That's, oh, and she's saying it's fantastic CB Crafty back uh, with these new products are beautiful. Thank you, Tracy. And that is a stunning inspiration. And thank you so much for taking time to send it in. Uh, next two are from Dawn. Wow. Look at those. Love and that. you can see, you can, the, I think the beautiful thing with the dragonfly art as well, mm -hmm. the, the colours you can use yeah. can really vary and you can just make it your own mm -hmm. with, with whatever background you want to put. I think Dawn's got another picture to show. Dawn, beautiful colours as see, well. There you go, see oranges right from the pinks and it looks wicked. Oh, love I love it. these. Uh, everybody who's got in touch, thank you so much. We always love seeing your inspiration, so never be shy. We're family here. Well, I mean it. We're all friends. So uh, do get your pictures in, studio at hochanda.com. Could we? I know you're getting set. I'm going to move on and just talk about the ink balls, but yeah. could we have a look at the dragonfly in a bit? Can yeah, we just absolutely. See That's on? what I'm going to do next. Amazing. Right. Uh, just going to talk to you about your ink balls. So you can see here. Uh, now, these did sell out. They are back on extended delivery the 21st. But what you are getting, five sets in total. So the three that you're seeing here, this was designed by Bev herself. Love that, the different size of hexagons. Then you've got that uniform hexagon background, which is stunning. And then you've got the dripping honey, or it could be dripping paint. It could be sea anemones, or it could be maybe fields. I'm thinking like if a whimsical forest with toadstools coming through. So much uh, flexibility there. Now I'm just going to pick up here. You're getting your mask. These are excellent. They really are, because you're able to mask off your frame and then your center work. So anything you're doing within that frame. So think about the stamps that you have. If you wanted to create a beautiful halo border uh, around and then you mask that off and inside you could put your feature stamps coming through whatever you like. You're building up your scenes but you've got the mask in there. So two different sizes and then just showing you here. There we go and that's a smaller size in the mix too. So all of those, all five sets 
for fourteen ninety nine, and we're just looking at some of the inspirations uh, that you can work on here. Do you love the fact that it's sold out, but being back on extended delivery, we're not saying two weeks, uh, we're not saying a month. It's only uh, what for a few days. So it's uh, on twenty first Monday. It's not long to wait at all. Uh, right, we've got some MDF for you. Just going to show you here. Is it fifty percent? Sorry, 60% of the stock has gone here. So they pop out beautiful MDF, 11.99 your price. And it's deliberately made 2 mil MDF. So it's light to go on uh, to your projects. But you've got all those designs with the stamps, just to add that further layer of detail. With the intricate designs, so the smaller uh, pop outs, do use a knife just to nick the little pip that's holding it and securing it into place. But that's a great example that we were just seeing there. Isn't that a nice example? It's light, but looks so effective. And that's just the laser detail on the NDF. 11.99 your price there, 330458 your item number. Do take advantage, uh, or everything we've got, there's only one live owl with uh, Be Crafty and Bev today, so uh, do take advantage. Now, this did, actually, this literally just sold out. It is back on extended delivery the 22nd of uh, September, so five days here. 11.99, your price, 666-030, your item number, if you do want to get hold of this uh, beautiful bee wreath in there and just showing it's large, it's impactful, we like it and it, it actually corresponds uh, and suits my top very nicely. Uh, there we go. Uh, we've got one more to share with you, and this is the jam jars. Now, with the jam jars, you're getting the detail, and you're also, with each one, getting the solid in the background. I've just revealed one, so that was hidden behind here. So you're getting the solid, and you're getting the detail on each, and there's some really nice examples. I will, I know we featured it earlier on. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at these. So you just look at the top here, some of the examples from the design team, which are exceptional. Yeah, I love all of these. But then, have a look at this one. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm actually growing some mushrooms at the moment from the uh, the Espresso Mushroom. Did, did you watch that show? Espresso I Mushroom? Ah, so I think I saw David, though, had yeah. some. You, on wait, his that's right. Facebook. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm growing them now. I'll, I will post. All right. Uh, $12.99, your price there. 281049, your item number. Now, the B Monarchy. We have had some bounce back, uh, not a lot, but we have had a few bounce back, and I told you I would say, so if you want to get hold of the B Monarchy, we're going to have a look here, 1898 your price, there is good news, uh, a few, but not many have bounced back, so if you want to get a hold of it, got to be quick, it's going to be fast as fingers first, it is still available, I will tell you when that changes. Right, what are we going to do? Okay, so what we're going to do is we are, we're going to use our dragonfly, I think, mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go on with some blue. Mm -hmm. So I'm using broken china and my wilted violet. And we're going to spritz that. Bit of smushing. I love a bit of smushing. Yeah. So we're going to go on and I'm going to dry between layers. Mm -hmm. Okay. The reason for that is I want to basically fix this layer where it is yeah. before I add on any more. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's such and a nice technique. <coughs> it is. And it's my favorite. And, yeah. and like I say, the reason I use, because I have... Because um, we also do like the brand nonstick craft sheets, mm -hmm. um, but what I do with those is I stick them to boards, or I've got one stuck to a clipboard that I use for paint yeah. or for heating on. Um, yeah. But then I always use my blending mat for doing ink because it's paler, so you can see the colours as you put them down. Nice. So it's so it's much easier. But don't heat on it because it will bend. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. So you can see, you just get all that beautiful texture from just smooshing the inks. And the nice thing is you can make them as loose and watery as you want or you can still keep them quite thick. And mm -hmm. I've used the oxides, but you can use your regular Distress ink as well. Have, um, you, ever, have you ever done, I've done this technique and then using uh, a little pit pen, sort of a detail pen, yep. you try and find little shapes. Like there I'm seeing a little flower rose that you could draw in. Absolutely. It's sort of like freehand watercolour. Yeah. And you can do that. So you could come under there and make sort of like a lily. Yeah coming up there and it's a really really nice technique mm -hmm. um, and it's a quick background as well if you're not sure of your yeah. blending mm -hmm. which is excellent now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add a little your dad will my, be proud. yeah I'm gonna get told off for that one later I can tell you right so I'm gonna add in a little of the honeycomb just to add in a little bit of texture in the corners okay. so I'm gonna go in with I think I'm gonna go with a broken china yeah 
and we're going to add in a little bit there and then just sort of fade it out and then the same down here mm -hmm. I'm not re-inking my brush because I don't want it that dense I just want nice. a little okay just add those in there and then we're going to do exactly the same with our dragonfly art that we did with the scripted bait. Oh, I'm looking forward to We're going to stamp it up. I'm going to use my biggest one. Now this one, in fairness, your dragonfly art will almost fit on the next size mm -hmm. down, but why worry about it? I would just put it on the big one if you've got the set of four. Okay, so the other thing is, with your... This is something I was saying yesterday, funnily enough. Let me just put that to the side. I'll put the lid on, because we don't want the ink to evaporate. If you've got your... Acetate. Acetate. You can always place it... This is a good and idea. ...and decide yeah. whereabouts on your card, you know, or do I want mm -hmm. it that way round? Yeah. Before you decide. Mm. And that way, that gives you that little bit of time. Okay. So we're just going to ink up again without Versafine. I like to use Versafine with these stamps because there is a lot of detail yeah. and we want to make sure it all comes out. Now with a stamp this big, turn your project yeah. and then go that way. That way you're not turning yourself inside out uh -huh. trying to get it in the right place. And again, we're just going to flex where we're thinking, well, I'm not sure if that detail will come out because there's quite a lot there. Then yeah. put your fingers on it and just flex. Okay, Remember, we flex, corners. we don't bend. We flex, we don't bend. Oh. And then you've got... I love it. ...your dragonfly. These collages oh, no. are fantastic. They are awesome. Yeah. Now, from here, I'm going to use... Where's my border? Now, oh, there it is. So this is my border block. And I have to say, in terms of my Beecraft Super Skinny Slims, this one gets the most use. Mm. Because I'll put accent stamps on the end and go around. And because mm. they're slimmer, and in fairness, this is a tip Lou, Lou Sims gave me, so I'm not going to try. With your Beecraft ones, if you're stamping into a journal, you can get right into the centre. Mm. Whereas, obviously, with a bigger block, you struggle. Yeah, that's true. But like I say, that's Lou that told me that. I didn't. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> what we're going to do, yeah. I was going to put, I'm actually going to put both of my brushes on. Are you part of... Um is it crafting with all brands? Yeah, crafting yeah. together with all brands. And this is the nice thing. We do we do play with each other's brands quite yeah, a lot. It's nice. And it's um and it's lovely. It really, really good. like it. Mm -hmm. I did a really good um I say that sounds big headed. <laughs> I did a card I was very happy with yeah. um with Julia's Clara Clog. Oh, uh, right. last week. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp these two brushes here. Love those. And then I can't do two because that's just a bit odd. So I'm gonna put another one right there we've got our three brushes oh and then God. i'm going to use this is looking so good it is i'll tell you what i am going to show you actually yeah. because okay. this lace stamp here uh -huh. let me just show you on the acetate there's a lot of detail in that and there are those shall we say they say well you can't get all that detail come out mm. on a clear polymer stamp okay Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yeah, we can. And yes, we're going to. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, again, reverse clear, and I tap all the way along. And just point out, I mean, quality-wise, these are very, very good quality clear polymer stamps. Absolutely. They are the clear polymer. They're not bendy silicon. They're not anything like that. They're yeah. clear polymer, so they can take, they can take quite a lot in yeah. terms of you doing technique. I've stamped into, um, you know, UT with them. Yeah. and all sorts of things but i will say if you're doing anything with our stamps and you're like i'm not sure if that's going to work or if it's going to wreck it yeah send me a message uh-huh i will do it first right and we'll see what happens okay okay you don't have to risk yours if there's a technique you want to try and you're thinking i want yeah. to try that but i'm really worried it's going to destroy my stamp or it's going to wreck it yeah. give me a ring send me a message i'll do it it's I'll fine i'll do it i'll risk it it's fine i love that <laughs> the bev's like yeah, well, we'll try we'll oh, try wow, it no, absolutely can. so you can see on that. there we like that. All of that lace detail comes out. Because if it didn't, there'd be no point putting it on the picture. That looks, considering what Bev's done and how quickly, she, Bev had not planned this inspiration. No, uh, Bev had not. Bev, is it okay? <laughs> if, can we just pick that up and we'll just show camera one? Is that okay? Yeah, sure. We're going to have a closer look. Closer look. So now you really appreciate the detail yeah. that you're getting there. Bev, I love this. Because it's really important to us that the detail comes out how you want. So now I'd be tempted with the dragonfly, keep everything else monochromatic, but yep. with dragonfly, think about if you have any metallic watercolours just Definitely. going in and giving that pop of colour. Absolutely, or you know you could use um, shimmer sprays to yeah. paint it up. But I will say you can always take 
I've still lost. Honestly, anybody that follows me on Facebook, um, mm -hmm. on the Bee Crafter page, will know that about a week ago, yeah. I lost my favourite small brush. Oh, no. And I have done nothing but moan about it since. Well, how did this happen? I don't know. It's in my craft room somewhere, but in fairness, <laughs> it could be anything in there. Yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to watercolour. Yeah. Now, I am a knocker over of water pots and whatever. So I use an old mister bottle that my husband melted with boiling okay. water. Um, and I just hold it in my hand. And then I've got my water always on hand. Nice. For when I'm painting. So you can add that in. But like you say, if you had um, a shimmer pen, yeah. or you could paint it like this and then go over it with, say, glossy accents, mm. or even something like crackle accents, I think would look really, really nice. Yeah. And then you can just add in that little bit of detail. I'm going to go in with some broken china too. Oh, nice. Yeah, it needs that. But the Dragonfly art, it's, it's a really... I don't know, it's just a really fun stamp to play with because if you are playing backgrounds mm -hmm. but you want to create a finished project, like the script to be, you can put this on Wait and then it's finished. Layer, you know, you're getting multiple layers of detail there. Yeah. So we're just going to go on and I'm going to paint these brushes as well. See, and this is why Sam picks my colours. Because uh -huh. like you say, this wasn't a planned project. Yeah. Which means as soon as I had to think on the fly, I picked up purple and light blue. <laughs> it works, though. It works. <laughs> because it's what I do. So Sam tends to pick my colours for me, um, because otherwise I tend to stick to the same. Like that. You can go there. on with that. Great right. stamp set. I love the Absolutely. fact you have got the brushes, the paint brushes in there, the dragonfly collage. Uh, there's clocks. There's so many elements going on. Paint splodges going through that wonderful border detail. So the border is separate. You've got the collage stamp. Then you've got the uh, paint brushes. And you've got the little, it looks like a postage frank. Is it a, yeah. what's that circle one? It looks like a postage it's frank. A, it's, it's part of a ledger. Yeah, okay. Um, and that sort of thing. So you've got the stars as well, and you've got the splats, things you wouldn't normally se expect to see. Yeah. I actually had to tell my I was building, when I was building the script to be, and I put stars in it, my mum my mom said to me, she went, well, I'm not sure about the stars. And I said, well, they're in two others. <laughs> and she hadn't seen them. Well, there's, you're always going to be discovering exactly, uh, new and that's things the thing. Then. What so, are we doing now? You've got so like got about a minute or so. A minute, right. So what I'm going to do, to finish this off, when it's finished, it is gonna, just going to go on a white card like yeah. that because I think it helps really show off the colour. Mm. Okay? But before that, I'm going to go with my stitch borders again because they just work so well with all the stamps we've brought to you today. Mm. I'm going to use these five here. They're just little sort of texture circles on the top of this border. Yeah. And then I'm going to pick up another one of my stitches. I think I'm going to go with this one this time. And yeah, so I and what I like about these stitches is they've got sort they've got loose threads, mm -hmm. which is in fairness exactly what it would look like if I actually tried to use a sewing machine. Huh. So here we go. Have to make sure I put all my lids on today just because Charmaine was doing a live yesterday. Seconds. I didn't put her lids on. It drove uh, me mad. Happens. There we go. Done. And then I'll lay that up. Oh, and you even got a round of applause. Yay, thanks, uh, Mark. Well, Beth, when are you and Sam back? We are back in October yeah. with some new journaling girls. Ooh, okay. So do make sure to tune back in then and follow Be Crafty on social media as well. Make sure to follow Hochanda too because we've always got competitions on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, all the usual suspects on social media. Thank you so much. Beth. Thank you. Really and thank you very that. much, everybody. Uh, you I kept hope, me working on the hook again. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, so plenty more still to come here at Hochanda. Uh, you've got just enough time to grab yourself a brew. We'll see you back here in two. So we've got the wonderful Lou Withers coming up next. Studio Lights, the Winter Charms, uh, our one-day special. Uh, oh, I think it's going to be a double hour of that. And then we've got Indigo Blue following on. So lots to enjoy. See you in a moment. Hi there. I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. 
Over time, I want Craft Escape products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils, which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. Uh, this is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hello and welcome. You are indeed tuned into the Hachanda and we have got your one day special. Um, it is the mighty studio lights and we've got a humongous uh, complete collection. The complete collection is definitely the way to shop. I mean, it says, it says £25.83 saving. Uh-uh. Uh, you're actually saving, it's about £65, yeah, £64.83. I mean, it's a massive, massive saving. You've got stamps, you've got, um, you've got embossing folders. Look at all that! 
that. Um, you've got beautiful, beautiful dies. You've got papers. You've got die cut. I mean, there is literally something for everybody. And it is, um, it's funny actually, because first hour this morning I said Christmas, but I Lou said, no, it's a winter collection. And it is. It's a winter collection. It's, it is what a beautiful season, isn't it? It's a magical season, um, whether you're into to Christmas celebrations or not. I think, you know, as soon as uh, you see the frost on the leaves, you know, you feel that fantastic nip in the air. I just adore winter, and that's what this is celebrating. Now, I'm not on my own. Ovs. Partner in crimes in the building. Get him. Hey, Lulu. Lulu. Um, lovely to be with you again. Oh, I'm happy to be here. It's, it's fab, isn't it? It's like going, going home. Home from home. Home from home. Uh, well, it feels like it when you're here. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? You know, we were it, we were used to like, you know, you're, you're here nearly every week and it was lovely and it was like home from home and then <laughs> everything changed. <laughs> like, hey, what's happened? Absolutely. What's happened? Absolutely. <laughs> but no, it's really good. It is, and it's nice to see people because don't forget that, you know, we're like everyone at home. It's, I've not seen Kay for ages because she's had to be in her bubble and you and we've got Bev and Sam. They've, they've had to yeah. sort of stick to their areas and stuff. So so it, it's it's been really hard seeing people, but it's yeah. really good when you get here. Yeah. Catch up, even if it's only for a couple of minutes. Yeah, absolutely. A couple of minutes and a good goss. Yes. Yeah, it's amazing what gossip you can fit into a couple of minutes. Oh, it's it's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. The videos we've been sharing, amazing. And they all should be after <laughs> nine o'clock at night. <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I'm taking the fifth or whatever that means. <laughs> Indeed, I'm whatever not, that means. I'm, it means I don't say anything. <laughs> taking the fifth amendment. Or taking something. the fifth. Mm. I've been watching too much telly. In, <laughs> during this period of time, I've been sort of watching all these binge <laughs> box sets, and I've, I know I know everything now. I think my other half thinks I'm going to uh, what cook up some weirdness in, in, yeah, a, and, and in a garage. <laughs> tell it, you know, he's told he's told people that if he goes missing. <laughs> Where to look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forensic. Now you're sorted. <laughs> I know how to. Um, yeah, he thinks I'm trying to get away with perfect crime. <laughs> Say nothing. Ticked all the boxes. <laughs> I've got a list there. And I've done it all. <laughs> well, if he critiques your shows too badly, we know what's going to occur. <laughs> Um, anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. It's like we're at home, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just chat, chat, chat. I better show you what's on. Cam, it took me 20 minutes last time. It's going to take me about 30 <laughs> minutes, time, isn't it? <laughs> um, right, it is an amazing collection. Um, when you look at it, okay, your first bit. Now, this is your one-day special, and you've got two different options. When you look at your full bundle, you're actually not paying for one of these options. I mean, 25 pounds off. Um, that is, yeah, that is one of these bundles, and these are gorgeous. Both of them. Uh, the first one, you've got that wonderful little Christmas tree. Now, it doesn't have to be a Christmas tree, obviously. It's a fir tree, but then you've got all the little extras that you can decorate. What I love about this one, those at the bottom, those um, that can be, you know, to decorate the tree with lights, they actually look like foliage. So I think they will be beautiful. You know, you could put them in the little, um, the little pan that's obviously the little bucket that's obviously put the tree in. But you could put those in there with loads of other foliage, and that could be a completely different look. I think that's what I adore about this uh, collection. There's so many options. So you've got the fir tree. Um, you've got some beautiful sentiments there. You've then got the the fabulous um, doggy or Bernard. Any Bernard. Bernard is. A Bernard with Brandy. Oh, he's Bernard. <laughs> um, he's ace, isn't he? He is. He's our Bernard. Isn't that a great name for a dog, Bernard? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. Great name. It's a great name for anybody, Bernard. It is. Great name. Um, just call me Bernard. Um, you've got, of course, the sleigh. You've got the little birdie there as well, which is just beautiful. And you see, again, winter sentiments. Not just Christmas sentiments, but winter sentiments. The snow is sparkling like a million little suns. I love that. Um, and of course, you do have a Christmassy one. Hugs and kisses at Christmas wishes and Christmas wishes. Um, you've then got within this collection two lots of dies. Now, not two lots of dies, obviously. Um, you've actually got within the collection here six different dies. I mean, these are beautiful. I really like these. They're a good size as well. They're not small dies. Um, really nice and filigree. All of these. I mean, you can make the most gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, 
Well, it could be wreaths with these, but you put them flowers with these and they don't need to look uh, wintry at all. Really like them. Now, that's your first collection, 24 9, 6, saving £8 there. Your second collection, which is just down there, and again, equally beautiful. That's why it's so nice that you can get the big bundle and get everything. Um, the little, uh, oh, the little burner there, the wood burner. And again, there's loads of little baubles. What I love about this, every time you look at it, Arlu, you do see something different, don't you? You do, and I've been, I've, I've been stood here looking at it, and I think, oh, I can do that. Oh, I could do yeah. that, I could do that, I could do that. And it's like, before I get to do it, I've forgotten. Yeah. So write them down, because yeah. there are so many different things, yeah. Yeah, totally. yeah. Um, I love the one. So we've got the one with the beautiful little stars. The lovely thing about this as well is when you look at that, it's all the extra sort of little berries and all the little decorations that you can use. I mean, they're fabulous. The jars, obviously, they've got the candle in, but we've got a beautiful card where rather than the candle, um, uh, she's put some of the gorgeous berries. Really, really like that one. Again, really different. Um, the dyes in this one, you're getting the snowflake. Now, the snowflakes, again, good size dies. And these are really nice and filigree, aren't they, Lou? The, yeah. di the dies there. And I've cut some out, and I was thinking, out, you know, how, what did they cut? I've cut them out of the paper pad, and they are absolutely stunning. Yeah. So detailed and embossed. You'd be surprised really? when you look at them, you really get to see detail on them. But yeah, yeah. beautiful. But they are beautiful. And then the last one, so you are getting four dies in this collection as well. The last one is the, um, the lovely little. Now, not stalagmites are the icicles that's one don't nice stalactites um and that's lovely really really pretty yeah i get mixed up with stalactites and stalagmites tights come down lights go up <laughs> that's a really good way of remembering <laughs> that <laughs> tights down lights tights up. down lights up yeah <laughs> Oh, it might be light, it might be tights up, lights down, but no, I think it, either way. <laughs> yeah, no other way. <laughs> <laughs> Shouting these ob obscene things across the <laughs> tights down, lights up, tights up, lights down. That's a, that's a different channel. Oh, I'm losing my pants oh, here. Different channel on different days, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Right, yesterday, was it only yesterday, I was selling silicone and I wanted to say, the word I wanted to say was personal massager, came out utterly wrong. It came out with the word that I was trying to avoid. Yes, because yes. you're thinking of it. Yes, yes. And instead I just said exactly the word I absolutely didn't want to say. 100% me. Telling people what to make and I actually did. Oh. <laughs> make yourself one of them. <laughs> can make it rainbow colours. Oh, 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 oh. Gonna, you know what's going to happen now? Everyone's going to go and watch it now. I am so watching it now. Oh, I am 11 so. o'clock yesterday. We didn't share the photo. The company had sent a photo of the one they made, but we didn't share that. <laughs> Funnily enough, we didn't have it on air. Oh. I haven't had it, got it at home. They didn't send it. I'm over. Oh. Right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just thought when I said it, I haven't, I haven't got it. I so this is your one day special. £24.96. <laughs> you know what you think? Oh, I didn't show it, Leone. Oh. That's your one day special. Uh, let me show you some pretty cards. So let's do that. Thought, oh my let's, gosh. Let's just get not getting in any more trouble. <laughs> so you've got the beautiful window. Now this is coming up later, but in this one you've got those wonderful snowflakes. And you can see they're a really good size. You've got the stamps there in the background. I, I really like, there's so many different feels to this set, isn't there, Lou? You know, there's so many different looks in this collection. Actually, I was just talking to Molly. Um, Aye. And Molly was saying about the papers and everything, how the Scandi feel and all that, and they're yeah. saying that she was saying that they, they go with their decor, not Christmas eh? yes. just decor. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. Because I mean that one, I love that. But that, so you could obviously it looks kind of Christmassy because of the colours. Yeah. You could do that just in white, and then it'd just be really um, icy. But if you just did it in white, it'd be really wedding-y. Yeah, and you could no. do anniversary with colours. Yeah. You could do autumnal. All depends on the colour you use. Yeah. It will change the actual feel of it. Absolutely. Won't it? And you Absolutely. could do simple things without being rude. You could do simple things. Yeah. Because people might be over and awed when they see some of them and think, I can't yeah. do that, but you can. I really like that. I do, and I, I, I like so it for that pretty. reason. 
And I think that is really quite, um, I don't know, it's one of those, it's got a really chilled out feel to it, it's yeah. got a really, you know, you could put quite a, a spiritual saying on there, I think. I anything. think it's just got yeah. a really... It's got no meaning and a lot of... Yeah. A yeah. lot of meaning, but no meaning. It all depends on the person who's receiving yes. it as well, what they perceive. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a really nice treat. And obviously, you've got all your beautiful papers, you've got the stamps on there, and you've got the snowflakes. Right, I will be a bit quicker because we're already on 11 minutes past. I'm still only showing you the one day special. Okay, that's your one day special. Those savings, they are carried forward. You've already got, with those two bundles, you've already got um, um, a £16 saving. I mean, the savings are phenomenal. Next bundle that we've got for you, and again, this is beautiful. Um, our Lou was using these in the last hour. So you've got the little label, first of all. Now, that one, you've got a die on the outside. You've then got that's a separate die. That's a separate die. So it allows you to decide how you want to use that. You might not want to use it as a tag. You might want to use a circle in this rectangle. You might want to use a little circle in there. So you can really change that set. That is such a good set of dies. It's a really handy handy set of dies. You've then got, oh, and I do love these, the delicacy of these when they're caught is incredible. And like his little legs, honestly, when they are cut, they are so fine. I mean, they look beautiful. Just cut them out of black, they'll look fabulous. And I love that card because that is a proper beetle, isn't it? It's just like, yeah, that's a beetle. You could chop the top off, because if you can see it line, you could just have the car, you don't need the tree. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It could be um, a convertible beetle. And there's a dude driving it. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, there is. Uh, and you even get, you've got even the die, the die cut holes over the wheels. It's so clever yeah, when yeah, you get yeah. them close up, yeah. you see what goes into it. They're really, I mean, they are very clever. They're they very are. detailed as well. And um, then in this one, you're getting all your die cuts. Now, this has got 300 elements in here. Brilliant for your collage. There's all sorts in there. You're getting two of each sheet, um, and they're gorgeous. So you've got sentiments, you've got little, like, they look like metal metal charms, you're getting uh, quite big um, quite big embellishments in there as well, really pretty and cute ones, you know, very, very cute indeed, but look at his little big nose, um, really, really sweet, now that's a fabulous bundle, look at your price, I mean £17.97, pence. the prices of each individual bundle are amazing, and I love that because if you are literally just wanting to go for one or two bundles, it's really affordable. You mean you might just have favourites. I really like that with a little tree. Oh, I thought it was going to snow. Oh, so <laughs> it's all uh, it's all iced up as the road, so there's no snow. It's just ice. Um, I love that though. That is so so pretty. Um, Okay, if you do want to go for that bundle, £17.97. Absolutely incredible prices here. Next we've got for you. Now, this is the beginning of the really clever um, dies and embossing folders. So that embossing folder is obviously going to emboss all that detail that you can see there, including the little, um, the little trees at the side. But then it actually die cuts the door. So it'll die cut the top. And it'll die cut the door, but so it opens. So look at this. I really like this one, Lou. It's just ridiculously cute, isn't it? It's, it this, it, you could do that as a garden. Yeah. You could do it the other yeah. way, so you're looking indoors or outdoors. Yes. I, I don't know. It's just magical because I think a fairy story. I, I love right. I love stories. Yeah, me too. And yeah. I think that as you could do your own little child's book. Yeah. Yeah, it could be how the pretty would book. that be? And it'd be great, and it, it's, a, it's a learning aid as well, a yeah. teaching aid, it'd be really yeah. clever. And um, Mr B said in my edge you could do like a really nice advent calendar and have loads behind the door. We said that last door. night, what a great advent yeah. calendar it would make. Because obviously you can cut the, you know, the edges down. I mean, there's so much you can do with that one. Absolutely. Um, you've also got the beautiful papers. I really like that. I just think they're really cute. Will that fit on um, the front of a matchbox as well? I now, think so. When you so. open up the little matchbox, probably will, won't it? Which would be quite cute. Oh, you could make boxes. I really like the papers, though. I mean, it's a big bundle. You've got some really natural um, looks in there. Beautiful, beautiful. As, as Lou was saying, that Scandi feel you know, with the colour palette that's going on. Um, 
And yeah, really nice. 36 sheets of paper. So you've got your 36 sheets of paper. You've got your embossing folder with the die. You've then got, and this is the one I alluded before. So it's got the lovely Christmas trees at the side and then your card. So it's almost like a gateful card, but Christmas trees. But obviously you can decorate it in so many different ways. The trees, they cut at the side, but then you've got the separate tree panels. So it allows you to create these separately as well. So you can layer and layer and layer. I mean, it's a beautiful die, is that? That's one of these, Lou, that you just play with, isn't it? That die, it's cracking. Well, I've made loads with that. Yeah. I like the I like the dies on its own, the dies together. I put them on cards and I've had lots of fun. And I think that's the thing. If you could do more than one thing with it, it sold it to me straight away because yeah. the idea is yeah. you want to be able to do lots of it, yeah. lots of different techniques and things with it, don't you? Absolutely. Not just one thing. And I think it's one of them you start and it just keeps everything. It just makes your mind work. I'll tell you it? what happens while you're working and using in them you yeah. think of more while you and then while you're doing it you go oh I could do that and yeah. I could do that and that's a sign of a good kit because it's not just one one sort of flavor you could yeah. do all sorts with it couldn't you? all the flavors all of it and all the flavors like scrapbooking yeah. and yeah. decoupage and yeah. everything all oh, your journals so, oh, look at me getting all uh, getting excited yeah. um only 17.97 another amazing price that five pound saving is carried forward for your big bundle uh nine six nine six four one all those savings that you're seeing here are all carried forward so you're saving all those and then that extra saving that we'll talk about the next bundle for you and again absolutely gorgeous the papers here are beautiful it's another really really nice sort of scandy feel 36 papers in this one as well and they've got such i mean look at that it's almost like um the shabby sheet look with um with fibers with a really beautiful natural look as well and you've got multiples of each design that's i think our favorite i mean frosty leaves just just one of the best things ever isn't it just beautiful oh, inside yeah. and warm yeah, or when it's a really cold day, but you're that wrapped up that yeah. it just doesn't matter. Especially when the end of your nose is a bit, yeah. a bit watery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're all wrapped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you and you've got shoes that you're not scared about falling on. And, yeah, and yeah. you're walking along the path and you can eat crunching. Oh, yeah, that's always good. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, of yeah. ice and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not of glass and that. Um, <laughs> You know, in Manchester, we're not all like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you get that crunch and it's that yeah. firmness and you, you're the yeah. only one out and it's really early. Yeah, oh, that's lovely. I've already said a story now and that's, yeah. that's what it does. So yeah, it evokes yeah. things like that. Yeah, when it? you walk in dog and you want to be the first one to get in the snow. Yeah, and you can see yeah, You never prints. grow out of that, do you? Oh, never. It's like, you yeah, my. I oh, think oh, I'll oh, give up the little... day I can grow out of that, the day I'll <laughs> give up, I think. <laughs> You do. No, you never grow that. No, um, never. You've then got the beautiful window. Now, this is another one. So you've got the embossing around it. The window, however, will open. I really like this. Have a look at that. Proper frosty window. Look. E, I remember when I was a kid, you get that on the front of your window. I like the inside of it. I used to let alone the outside. Hey, when I were young. When I were a kid. Oh, we didn't have central eating. Oh, we oh, used to have Jack Frost on the inside of the pen. Oh, Jack Frost, eh? Oh, Jack Frost. Jack I'm going to find out why they called it Jack Frost. Yeah, yeah, Jack Frost. Yeah, I but can't... it was nice. I mean, yeah, it was I, nice. It wasn't as stingy as it is today, central eating. Oh, and you I could, know. Central you eating could... just made it all boring. Yeah, you could I mean, sort of scratch the ice off but... your windows, couldn't you? I know. And I your mean, car. It was great fun, but I don't want to go back there. Oh, no, no. no it's yeah. nice to remember not to be yeah. there. Yeah, we're grateful for central heating. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Thank you, the gods of central heating. Um, so we've also got in this one, <laughs> yeah, the gods of central heating. Um, we've also got um, the beautiful die here as well. <laughs> That's what they are, aren't they? I mean, um, and that one, you've got that massive die there, and then you've got your layers coming in. That is just showing. <laughs> <laughs> that is just showing you what it looks like and these are beautiful let me show you this because this is really really pretty um who did this one Lou who did that book I love oh that. that's Liz that's really pretty it's, so it's the dice from the first from the one day special of course you've got the the beautiful some of the little toppers there the papers and of course yeah, I've got, uh, yeah, I've got the wonderful trees there. So, yeah, so they're giving, giving the radiator, the gods of radiators, 
the, the gift of snow to watch it melt. <laughs> Don't you think that's a really great idea for a kiddies book though? Yeah, yeah, it's You know, beautiful. as a keepsake for winter, yeah. you could have one for each season. Yeah, and like your little tags. Yeah, it's really pretty. And you could put anything. You could put your, you know, loads of photographs. And again, memories like we've been chatting about. Yeah, it's you like know? if you're a child or, or you've got a grandchild coming or a child yourself, whatever, yeah. you could put like all the different things, especially yeah. this time of year, if they were born then, all the different things. Yes, yes, that like make it special. Pictures make that, special. of the day, what was going on, and then, yeah, all, yeah I think that would suit I do, and it is really pretty. What a gift that would be to someone. Yeah. And I like it because it's all recycled, doesn't it? I, I, do you know what? Lovely. Absolutely. All the girls are doing that really well now. I'm so yeah. pleased with it's that. It's a thing, isn't it? It's yeah, a thing. absolutely. Um, another really good prize. So you're getting those gorgeous dies. You're getting that embossing folder with the opening windows. Really like that as well. I mean, if you're doing your advent calendar, you can have some windows and some doors. Beautiful. And then, of course, you've got the paper pad. Only 17.97. That £5 is carried forward. That £5 saving is carried forward. Remember, all those savings carried forward. So if you're going for the big bundle, all of those savings are in that um, a thought about it taken care of. Now, these are my favourite favourites out of the bundles. The stamps are just beautiful. You have got the one that our Lou used before. So you've got the gorgeous mountain range. You've then got the wonderful fir trees with the deers. I love it. One's a solid and one's an outline. So you can overprint or, of course, you can get a completely different look. I really like that. And then I really love this. You've got the beautiful, beautiful scent sentiments on well no they're, they're more of your, your Christmas songs they're just lovely and I really like just the the you know the musical uh, the sheet music at the top and then the musical notes I really like that that will make some fantastic backgrounds they are amazing and look at your price for all them for nine stamps 13 pounds and 98 pence it is really really good value for money spend it right together with you so nine five seven three three five. Love that, and they're the deers from um, the other one as well. Love, love, love that, and of course that's the um, the beautiful icicles. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Lights go down. Stalactite lights. Stalactite lights. No, tights go up, don't they? Oh, no, your tights go down. I know, I can't suss out what's happening to me tights. <sighs> my tights are... St OK. So, I mean, I just don't know if I want to think too much about hanging down tight. Ah, uh, right, so 957. Just... I'm not digging myself. 957335. Really good price. That's a four pound saving there. Four pound that is carried forward. Um, okay, so if you're getting your papers on the own, in this bundle you get eight of each. If you are buying them in the complete collection, you're getting four of each. Um, and again, really beautiful papers. They're all double sided. And you've got those wonderful frosty leaves. You've got those really nice textures as well, which are just exquisite. I mean, they are really pretty. And they've got that lovely, lovely colour palette as well very natural I mean I love that I think that is really gorgeous and look at the deer see that's just beautiful isn't it really like that image and you've then you've got your 12 by 12s as well so all your wonderful winter selection you've got um, the little stars there which look gorgeous and you can see the stars really gentle in the background I mean the papers are all really gentle and I love that because it is that wonderful sort of frostiness that we've got going on there. You know, that's carried on throughout the whole collection. And then last but not least, love that. Then on the other side, you've got the wonderful Hessian. Um, okay, again, a great price, 10.92. Um, obviously, all part, oh, let me show you that, because it's the deer. I love that. I just think that is such a beautiful image. And when you think about it, that's a big piece of paper. Just a teeny little bit of that paper uses. So you've got all the rest of the paper. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Right, OK. Now, if you want the papers, that's 373-838. However, the complete collection. It is everything we've just seen. 
you have got dies, you have got embossing folders, you have got beautiful paper pads, uh, you've got your 12 by 12 papers, you've got your beautiful stamps, and you've got so many stamps. I mean, it doesn't tell you how many of each product we've got on that, but seriously, you have got so many products in this, and the prices are amazing. Now, each same Freedom members, you're saving 25.83. You are actually saving 64.83 because of all those savings that are carried forward. I mean, 64.83. Where are you going to make that saving? And you don't even need to pay for it all together right away. You can spread those payments interest-free over three months, £32.48. So you don't even need to pay for it all together. And you don't need to pay postage. I mean, honestly, you've got so much here. Whether you're creating something cute, whether you're creating something um, just for the season, whether you are creating your Christmas cards, um, literally there's something for everybody here. And I like the fact you've got cute, but then you've got really, um, I don't know, atmospheric. You know, you've got a real mixture within the whole collection. There's literally something for everybody. The full collection, 676 Five. Right then, our Lou, yep. all throughout that, has been busy in a way, like a little busy bee. What have you been up to, our Lou? Well, I was looking at all the bits and, and I was going to do something and then I changed my mind when I heard you say recycling. Yeah. Because there's so many, the girls have sent so much like to me in lovely packaging. And I thought, right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, instead of that, I'm just going to do a simple card using what we've got and recycling. Yeah. So I've got a bit of box. <laughs> I've got an old card, I've got yeah. a bit of box that was going somewhere, I've got a piece of card that I wanted to use, bits of paper, and I found this, it's like a loofah but it's not, it's some <laughs> fabric, Nice. but you can use it as a, a stencil and I'll show you, but this is um, fanning, but you can use this in lots of ways, you can stitch on it and everything like that, and a lot of people will get these in gift boxes yeah. at this time of year, yeah, or they'll yeah, get it yeah. in packages, or you'll get it in natural deco stuff, so, deco, sorry, so this is a, re a really good way of using these up, don't throw them away, so when, you know, those parcels that we get, we say, keep that, yeah, Do, yeah, yeah. keep some of it, don't keep it all, like me, keep some of it, <laughs> so what I've done is, I've got a big card, these are available from Clarity, Yep, yeah, they're great. I love them. Beautiful. Yeah, I love that card. And it's a big card for me, but it means I can do a lot of work on it. Yeah. Or keep it simple. And I was looking at a bit of a mix between these. I've got one by Karen and one by Pate. And I just Aww. love the idea of I'm going to do something simple like that on one and then something like that on the other. But I just thought you, you, you've got either or. Both yeah. ends there. If you yeah. want to make a simple card, either way, or a watercolour card. Anyway, so I want to show you. So I've got that. I also had the die cut. Uh, that's that's got to be my favourite. I can't use I that, that paper. I can't yeah, use it. Yeah. It's stunning. Yeah, it is stunning. It's absolutely... That's the kind of paper you just want to pop that on a card and then just put a sentiment on it. Job done. I'd put that in a frame. Yeah, yeah. You know, you could even go over it with a pen and yeah. just doodle. So anyway, what I have got is one of the icicles. Icicles. Uh, they're not, what? Snowflakes. Snowflakes. You can hardly see it. But what I've done is I've gone through the pad and I've chosen the page that's... I really like. It's an off-white and it'll go with these colours, I yeah. think. And that snowflake there, you were talking about stenciling, but you can definitely stencil through the, the die cut that you've Absolutely. cut out, aren't you? Well, that's what I'm going to do, because <laughs> I just think it'll bring it all together. You didn't know yeah, that, though, did I you? I didn't know that. No, no, you re she really didn't, honestly. <laughs> she and didn't. Um, she really didn't know that, but <laughs> great minds, you see, great minds. Hey. So I've All got, them differ. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a very, very, a very small very. piece of cleave. Good grief, you have, kid. That's you make my cut and dry look white. I know. Yeah, you're worse than me. I know. I've got it all in a big bag, but I've, I've got no tools. I've got a tool here, but it's got not got the sticky stuff on oh. it, so it's pointless using it, innit? Yeah. So I'll just, oh, I'll use this bit. Yeah, that's a bit. I'll use that bit. It's a bit. I'd, I'd give up the will if I had to use that thing. <laughs> right. So use a light one, very lightly, and I really, really. You need a, you do need a piece of scrap. That's not scrap. Bloody neck, that's good stuff. Get some out of the bin. Here we are. Sorry. Right. So get a piece. Always keep a bit and just see. 
if that's what you want. Yeah, yeah. Because I've the amount of times I've gone bang straight on, and yeah. it's like, oh, what are you doing that for? Yeah. And yeah. I think there might be a little bit too much there. So all I'm going to do is just introduce, because I am going to have in the um, centre a piece of card. So I'm just going to see. Yeah, it will. I think. What I would do is, if I'm doing this as a stencil, I think what I would do is put a little bit of glue up on it, let it dry, yeah. to st strengthen or it. Or cut through card. Cut through card, yeah, that would be even simpler. But if you do paint these, what you can do is leave it to dry. Yeah. And it, it becomes quite, it comes stronger, the paper, for some reason, it sort of builds it up. Of course, yeah. Right, a little tiny bit you can just see. I'm not yeah. going to do a lot because you would lose... The will to watch. <laughs> so I'm just going to do little bits and then, because I want to bring what I'm using together with the stamps, um, but I don't want it to be obvious. I want it to be part of it, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I don't want it to be yeah. the... Right, so we've got two there. I'm really happy with that. Then these are... Oh, these are... Yeah. I was looking at these and I was thinking, do you know what? I'm using them for everything now. Because the right... Let me show you right in. It's so these small. These are beautiful. It's um, so small that you could use it anywhere. No one would know what you were right, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it, it were Christmas. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't sort of shout out, oh, yeah, Christmas. Oh, <laughs> look what I've done, guys. She yeah. shamed me. <laughs> she shamed me. <laughs> if you watched So it, clean. Look at that. I scrubbed that. Wow. I scrubbed it. It's amazing. I scrubbed it that much that I broke me, um, me doodah look. Oh, my gosh. Oh. But it's all right, it'll go in with a bit of glue. But, <laughs> but yeah, because I was trying to show you where I was stamping this morning, wasn't I? and it was like, oh, you're joking, man. Uh, you're joking, you can't see, see that. You can't see that. Oh, it was, it was pretty bad, I must it, admit. It was a man, which is something. Yeah, it was, it was. Right, I just wanted to show you what they look like. I'm using Distress, so it won't look... Look at that. It's got really snowflakes on Can it. Can I get in closer? I, I can't actually see look it. Look at that. Snowflakes. Can we hold it up to number one, our Lulu? Yeah, of course we so can. So I can actually see it, because that's the problem from overhead. I can't see night. Ah, oh, yeah, that is really pretty, isn't it? From upside down, but can you see snowflakes on it? Yeah, yeah, on that's it? beautiful. So, you, you know, if yeah, you wanted to use it, you could use that. Yeah, gorgeous. So I'm going to use a little bit of that, but um, it'll all be... And I wanted to show you these. I'll do these all at once, so you're not sort of hanging on. Um, I just want to show you how small the, the writing is. Lovely. Can you see how tiny that yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you could use that in the background anywhere. Yeah, yeah. And the same the same with the other lettering as well. So I'm going to use both styles of lettering and Beautiful. I'm just going to use it as a second generation. So the ink that's already on there now, I'm quite happy with. Yeah. I don't want any more. Just check that I've got it the right way. But oh, yeah. Well, because one will be upside down, one a bit right way, won't it? Oh, yeah, it's that way. Right, now it's clean, I can see it. I wouldn't have done that before. <laughs> and I'm just going to pop a little bit on there. Not a lot. I don't want it overpowering. Just, can you just, it's hardly see up. Yeah, but, yeah. But don't forget, just so you know, I've got that there. So yes. I'm not bothering about the inside, but you can see how the ink sort of complements the colour of the And you want to, I mean, this is all about layering, isn't it? It's all about yeah. your background, so it's just layering. Um, let me tell everybody, that main collection, over 60% of the stock has gone. So you've got the stamps, you've got the beautiful dies, you've got the papers, the die cuts. I mean, it is massive. It's massive. I love the stamps Lou's working with. Um, there's so many stamps in this. It's just sensational. And of course, that saving, not 20, it is 25.83, but that's already on top of a huge saving. Um, in total, 64.83. That's how much you're saving. Uh, but the time is ticking. There's only one more show after this, so please do not miss out. Um, sorry, our Lou. No, 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 I'm glad because you, the people need to know, don't they? Need to I've know. I've got um, the tiny little stars off our Bernard. Bernadia. Oh, yeah. Because I those little stars are gorgeous for yeah. backgrounds. Yeah, I'm going to put it on here just because I want second generation. So. Yeah, I like them. They don't, you can have, and that's the teeny weeny one. I would suggest trying to keep them safe because I'd lose these. Yes. Um, and I don't want to because I think they're really under. These are great for stitching as well. These would be great, you know, when you're stitching embroidery. 
look great. Yeah, yeah, they'll look really pretty. Really cool. So, anyway, I've got... What I'm trying to show people is the fact that, yes, I'm known for grungy and layers and stuff, yeah. but I can make a card and I can make... Use all the elements of this, make it my own. Yeah. But make it still sort of like a card. Yes. But, you know, people yes. just ain't going to get... You're going to get grungy stuff with me. Well... You can do, but you can yeah. do either or with it, can't and you? And I think with that, I mean, when you look at that background, literally, as soon as you change the colours, like whether it's a blue yeah. or whether you do red, it's going to be completely different. It might be gold ink you're using in background. Perfect. You know, you'll change it every single time. And and this is the idea. Once you get that into your head and you, you, you sort of come away from the idea of it feeling like just one element yeah. for winter or anything, you, it opens up so many different ideas yeah i'm going to use um the the, the crisp uh, sorry the um, music and i've just done it in quite a dark one because i want it to be a little bit different so i'll just use another piece of paper again um see i don't want it to be too dark but what i want to do is just give this a little bit of a, a texture so if i show you that now you can just see how... Oh, yeah, 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 I like that. It's picked it up a little bit, yeah. so you could sort of bring in all the elements yeah. that you've got from here. And it's interesting, because something like that, yeah. even though it's filigree, you can still see that it's got now that, that extra bit of texture on it, can't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. With the and ink. You, you can, you, it's little elements like that that make a difference because it looks like you, you've made the paper. But what you could do is stamp all the paper first and then die cut it. Yeah, yeah. So we've got this here, and I'm like working backwards and thinking, right, what we could have put on here now? And I love cardboard. I just think it's got such a nice feel to it. But cardboard on its own looks really tacky. Yeah, yeah. Ta you know, yeah. just cardboard piled on. It's just like, why, why, why have you stuck that on there? I know yeah, people yeah, yeah. say it. Yeah, yeah, they are. Why is that doing. stuck on there? Yeah. You're like, what, what's the point of that? <laughs> yeah. So the point of it is really is just texture. And the way I yeah. do it is I don't keep this. I'm not that bad yet. Um, but I don't like to just take all of it. I like to take areas. So people have asked me this. These are the tools from uh, Groovy. Um, so just take some off, not all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to do that, I just go in with my... Me uh, sort of pokey tool or me uh, embossing tools and just pull away, and it's as much as you want or as little. And the, the reason for that is that I don't want it all to look um, the same. I yeah. want some of the I back love showing it. it. I absolutely adore it. It is funny, in it? How many of us are like, oh, that's so nice. It, it just, is nice. Just a bit of cardboard, but that texture is fabulous. It is, and if you have a couple of textures or you look at what you you know what yeah. you what what it's going with. Oh, see, doesn't it, it look pretty? But, and as soon with that snowflake, you see, I think that snowflake, literally, if you're doing really nice, easy cards, snowflake on that would look good, and that's it. That's, well... It's you, just, sometimes that's uh, the beauty of a, a collection like this, isn't it? That's you could exactly make so right. many different looking cards with this, with just a few elements. You don't need much, and that's the, that's the good thing. You can make it your own with as few or as many as you want. I want to tie this up a little bit, although I like the card, I want to sort of get a feel of the background coming into the card. And the, I want to make this different to this, because if you put that on there, there's not a lot of difference. It just looks like yeah. a torn piece of card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I add some paint to it now, what I am going to do is make it look intentional. Yeah. And so all I'm going to do is got a bit of kitchen sponge, like you do. Yeah. I don't use it for cleaning anyway. Um, uh -huh. And all I'm going to do again, take this is um, white paint. You can use gesso, and I'm just going to rub it on top of the surface because what I want it to do is I want it to not go into the the nooks and crannies. I want to accentuate them. Yeah, yeah. I just want to bring the white up. Now I'll show you on the brown again. Yeah, no, totally it different out. now. Yeah, and if yeah. you put it with that totally different again but yeah. i want to do the same with this so i'm going to get another stamp now or you could use the same one but the fact that it doesn't really matter with these is even better you yeah. don't need to sort of because they're not readable you know what i mean you can put yeah. anything on so i'm just going to put that on oh, i like that and that on and you can just That's just pretty. about it almost it. makes it look like wood 
Yeah, you can almost Doesn't just it? see it there, can't you? Just yeah. a tiny bit of it showing. Oh, I love that. But it's took the edge of the whiteness off, yeah. hasn't it? So That's really cool. It's just really simple. So I like the idea of this here. I love the idea of the brown. I love the idea of that. Yeah. This, I'm going to do what you said because I think sometimes things can look really much better if you just do them. But I want something on this card. And I think the thing that will do it, I can't believe this is the biggest block in the world for a tiniest stamp ever. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, oh, really? <laughs> hey, I've got another one in there, but that's not clean either. So, <laughs> right, I've got a tiny bit of white on it. And again, I don't want heavy registration so I might just tap it off and just say that's it Lovely. so all I'm doing is just you might even not you might even not notice what it is but it's the fact that you're just bringing it in a little bit and you're bringing all the elements to together yeah. they sit together I might do that again and that's the beauty of this because if you do mess it up a bit you can go in again like that ah, that's it right I'm going to put a couple of them that are quite clear. And if that's background as well. I mean, the, just the papers would look good on there. Yeah. You know, I think the papers as well within the kit, you've got some really natural looking papers, haven't you? Yep, that's You know, it. there's so many elements of this kit that will work those same, uh, work really well with it. Well, I was looking at these papers and the one that really came to mind when I was looking at them was, you could use a green there, but there's a lovely... Um, it's not in that way. I think it was the other one. There's a wooden one which should go. I think it's this yeah. one. And it was the one I took the flower. Uh, the, the, there it is. I took the. Um, oh, there it is. That one. So That's the one I took the. Ah, the snowflake from. So what I would do then is you can't even rip it or cut it. Yeah. It's just, if you want to, I think that might be nice there. That's pretty. I, you don't need a lot. Um, and I think sometimes I've oh I, I've you tried to layer I've tried to layer and when I've done it it's been oh why didn't I just cut it all after yeah yeah, yeah you know yeah. when I get my measurements right because sometimes I cut it and when it don't layer right I don't know if it's just me but I don't get it right so I tend to just cut later but you'd use your guillotine so I've got this got this got this. It's all going to match because it's the same paper. Oh, I really like that. Look so then, paper. that's beautiful, isn't it? Just that. Now, what you can do, we might need some definition there, just there. But what you could do, I've got my little, even if you wanted him on it. Oh, oh it looks a bit lost there, doesn't it? Oh, that's pretty. So. Yeah. You could use that. I, I've got me the bits from my trees, which look nice. Do you know, it's funny, isn't it? I mean, All the, those bits. There's so many different ways the the, the composition of that. Absolutely. You can change it. In, there's so many different ways of mixing it up, isn't there? I think what I would do, if I had time and another one, I'd do another one of these and just... Oh, I know what I've got, which would look good as well. You don't have to have this, obviously. This is the background, but you could almost have some of them. No, oh, it's lost yeah. a bit on that. But you could have them there, but I quite like that. I just... And then I'd have something like... Do you know what? Oh, we faff got... now. We've got a faff. we got... Well, you're faff, and we've got loads of people emailing in about Stelling Nights and Tights. Oh! So the Nights and the Tights. So what, what, what? So right, get this. The Tights go down. Tights down. I said Tights down and lights up, didn't I? Yeah. You did say that. I did. She did say that. Tights down, lights up. Yeah, she did. It was me that kept getting it wrong. So your tights are going down. Yeah, you did say that. It was me that got caught it wrong because I I was keeping my tights up. No, you keep tight. Tights come but down. But your tights have to go down. You but the lights but go up. But the lights up. go up. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm not saying yeah, what, yeah, 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 I'm not yeah. saying how else. Lights now. are going up. Say it. <laughs> We don't know either. This this has subtitles. It carries a government health warning when we're, we're together. Uh, uh, and Dasha is wondering what she walked into. She's like, what have I walked into? No, don't tights write down, that. tights down. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's funny. It's that. that kind of short, Natasha. Shush. I know it's. it's... Well, this is nearly dinner time now, so it's all right. <laughs> I've been up since five o'clock, so it's like the middle of the night to me. 
So I'm so, just so, <laughs> we're on about stalactites, stalactites. And so, I said so tights it, down. So stalactites, tights down, lights down, up, lights up. Tights down, Not lights that. up. Boom. Nice. <laughs> Everyone at home's joining. <laughs> 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 Stella, my, I can't say any of them now Stella because it's tight, all gone wrong in my head. Right, We've well, said it too often that it's now a mash in my head. Uh, and now all I can go is... Oh, seeing even that looks beautiful. Could have that. I, I, I do want this, but what I think I might do I is... Love, it's just it's just faff now, isn't it? It's faff. What I think I might... Yeah, it is faff, and I love faff. I love faff. Uh, but I have to stop myself. I do have to stop myself I because do. I get... Yeah. I get over the top. Yeah. All I'm going to do is. Well, I, I spent three hours, and that, then I go. Oh, actually, I actually don't really like it. And I go. I go back to original one, <laughs> yeah. which is annoying. What I've done is oh, I've like just that, changed. Ah, that's better. I've just changed some of the snowflake. Now, not. I'm, I'm not. How oh, does that the one used? I don't know. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just use it. Just use it. Just use it, kid. Um, I'm just darkening areas because I love the stamping. I love the paper. I love, love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, um, love it. <laughs> but it. it's love lost. It. It's so, pop. It's lost on there. So if I put that on, but I think if you've got like, um, there's a bow in here and there's a, a little yeah. um, name tag or anything, I think one centre point in there, it could just be a button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. a button would be lovely. Yeah. Um, anything. And I think, just that put it on to is, show you. I, yeah, I must have. A tag, made, yeah. Yeah, the tag is fabulous. And I think, personally, pull it over a little bit. No, I quite like yeah. it like that. And that just shows you, you've got a really neutral. I yeah, mean, it's yeah. not, I think you need something in the middle. You need a sentiment. It does. It could have. Um, just your little sentiment. Oh, in we've got one, haven't we? Winter. Oh, winter. Oh, winter, love. Oh, what's yeah. that one say? A bit of love in the middle. Lots of love. Uh, let there be Oh, there's love. a really nice one on that, isn't there? Love. Right. Love. Love. So you got on my finger. Oh yeah, let there be, let there be joy, let there be love, oh, uh, let there be lots of love. Oh, that's really lovely, isn't it? I put love on that and it looks so rubbish. I like that. Let there be winter. <laughs> right, <laughs> lots of love and let there be, let there be joy and stuff. But I put that there. But you could put it on a little piece of. Right, let's go for it. I've got this bit that I've got left. This is a bit about like when you get scrap. At home, my my house looks like no, it don't. It doesn't look <laughs> like it. My my um, room looks tends to look like this, and then yeah. I, I sort of migrate all over the house. But um, I try to keep this now in one place. But I've got a piece of the card, a tiny scrap of paper. I'm just going oh, to put that on there. That is such a nice little stamp in it. It is, and do you know what? You can fit, when you on it first. Looking at the stamps, you miss these. Yeah, you do. These are second that looks. let there be, I missed, and I really like that. Because that could be used for anything and everything. Absolutely. See, anything when you put everything. let there be winter, it reminds me of thingy, doesn't it? Winter's coming. So, you know. I've got that, but if you wanted to, don't forget you've got the card it comes off. Uh, the paper, sorry, that it's yeah. the front and back of. And then cut that bit. So, this is all the bits that we've got lying around and I, and I do agree because I know you're a great one for the sentiments aren't you I love my words and I've noticed that and I do like that I do I think it's a real oh, oh see, see? That was just finished it and tip yeah yeah oh look at that that's see I would have thought nice. about that I'm so that's why when you're with your mates or you're crafting yeah. together look at that yeah that's really pretty even I like that no <laughs> oh, I don't like any of this but I like that I and I think really I might like put a, a little brown like you know yeah, where yeah. <gasps> like a brad or something or or what's your pinching off no the no I was gonna pinch one of them and put that would look yeah yeah it would actually just that there you know yeah. that that there yeah look. you were going to steal it off somebody else's card i was going to steal that there yeah i actually you were actually going to do that no no i wasn't i wasn't you were actually going to paint the gem off somebody else's finished card i was but it didn't come off properly <laughs> I know you, you weren't subtle enough i know i'm not subtle i'm like a brick <laughs> on the head but you could put or oh you could put embossing powder in it yeah you could you could do that oh, oh so many options but you could emboss all this and have it yeah, all different could. colors you've got yeah. glitter all over your head <laughs> i've got glitter on me i don't know but you have <laughs> you've got great like that like, it's like a disco <laughs> disco is where we used to go dancing yeah yeah hey them days 
You don't know what this goes <laughs> are. Anyway, just no, to show you, beautiful, it is quite nice, that, mm, isn't it? Really like it. It's and beautiful. And for, for Kath, my lovely mother-in-law, it's not Bob Marley, Kath. <laughs> It's not, not Bob. It's not Bob. That's not Bob. <laughs> it's not Bob. That, that ain't what Bob looks like. Well, yeah. Oh, it's me, it's me, 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 me lovely mother-in-law. She's 80 tomorrow. Oh. And she done look a day over, over 55. And she said, I thought this was Bob Marley at first glance. <laughs> so, anyway, I just wanted to show you that that <laughs> is totally different. But yeah. my inspiration was these two, believe it or not. Yeah. And that's just... So surreal, isn't it? To think yeah, that these yeah. two were my inspiration for that card, and it's like, what? Yeah, man. And I yeah. got that from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was co it was it was composition, yeah. and it was colours and tones, and it was just so. Isn't it funny? It's yeah, so you funny. won't get that. Would that's, you? that's a lovely thing, though, isn't it? Mm. Um, right, I'll let you get settled for another. Yes. Let's see where she's going. This. Oh, we've only got four minutes. Wow. Oh, it went that quick. Um, okay, okay. Um, you need to get hold of this. Look at what you can make. See, I love this—a shaker box. Okay. Oh, it has. Look, we. You'd spend hours. Yeah, that is beautiful. Next, using that gorgeous paper. It's using the dies. It's using the style uh, uh, tights. Style tights. Tights yes. down. Tights down, girls. Tights, tights down. down. <laughs> um, absolutely gorgeous. You've then got within this collection. <laughs> you've then got the beautiful door. I love that I can shout tights down, girls. Oh, I'm telling what it's okay. Oh, they're doing. Of course, I've got. Um, them. You've got the wonderful door with the embossing, and um, that's absolutely. What? They're all shouting at me. Put your what, stickers what? on. What's she on about? What's she on about? Put oh, your she's... stickers in the middle of that. What am I doing? For stickers in the middle of that. Um, you've got that one where you had. You know the candles and the bottles but that's been changed that is one of my favorite favorites i love that for some reason it reminds me of glastonbury because it, it just all looks a little bit magical does that one um you have got the beautiful tree remember all those gorgeous gorgeous die cuts in there as well not just dies but your die cuts all those embellishments all those toppers i love that one how cute is that with the snowflakes i mean the snowflakes itself make incredible backgrounds absolutely exquisite and of course don't forget bernard bernard um oh bernard oh, of course i just call him yeah just bernie because then it's for you ah, bernie. um i love that as well the beautiful beautiful snow fox um arctic, is it the arctic fox or is that oh, a wolf do we think no it's, it's arctic wolf, fox isn't it arctic fox stunning stunning creature um it's your one day special folks um it's up to you your one day special is amazing but the complete collection is absolutely where you've got the main saving i mean when you you look at your saving okay 25 pounds is phenomenal it's one of these sets um for nothing but when you think 65 pounds it's both of those sets for nothing and then it's another one besides, isn't it? Um, I mean, the saving is phenomenal, but that saving, um, it's gonna go up at the end of today. Well, you've got one more live show, and then obviously another hour, but look at it. Stamps, embossing folders, dies, beautiful papers, so many papers, and them gorgeous die cuts. I mean, there is literally um, a feast of gorgeousness uh, that you're gonna be crafting with. Uh, for Christmas and of course for winter um, what just to sum it up Luke, yep. why have you adored working with this incredible kit why because I'll be honest with you it's made me think um, I, 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 I get a lot of stuff and mm. I just think automatically do that but this I've had to think like then and I think I've got far more inspired by looking at other people's work and then doing my own. That's what's yeah. made me think. Yeah. Whereas sometimes it's it's really easy to just grab stuff and just put it together. And I think when, when you get a kit that makes you think, but then you think beyond it. Yeah. Yeah. And I like this because I'm going to do, I want to do watercolour now. Yes. And here's me thinking I had more time and I haven't. I know, in it? A signal, I thought you had more time. Are we all together later? No, my friend, that's oh. me. But it's Miss P. It's, oh. it's all right, oh. we are Miss P. Hey. Um, Excellent. Uh, yeah, she will have to have a little box. Um, yeah, I adore it. I, I just think there's so many elements. I mean, when you look at those two, 
They're completely different cards. That one, I mean, I must admit, a reef card is always one of my favourites. Uh, but there's so many favourites. Look at that. Beautiful. Look what you can do with the papers. Literally just frame them and that looks sensational. Um, right, we've only seconds left. Thank you, oh, Lou. I've had been, a right lovely time. It's been so much so brilliant. Knickers to down, girls. Knickers. knickers. No! Tights down, lights up, not pants or any knickers are out, what she just said. No. No. Leave them where they are. I had an accident with that. This has not been a good two days. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Ho Chanda. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Headaches. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. 
We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. There's still hilarity in the studio. I have to say, there's just ripples of giggles from people as they're going away. Hello, welcome to Hochanda. I'm Natasha McCarthy. You've got me this hour, and I'm joined by the very fabulous Jenny Jackson. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Good, yes. good, good, good. Now, last hour. Yes. You bought us, I've renamed it the Happy Bag. Yes. Because it came in such fabulous colours. Here it is. And you demoed this. Yes, I did. I think it works really well with denim, by the way, just, you know, yeah. if anybody was asking, you know. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, Look how much you could fit in there. I know! <laughs> it's not funny. And the fact that you padded the shoulder straps, you've thought of everything. Uh, so it's super comfy and um, voluminous in there. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, well, good word. Oh, good, good, good word. Good From word. My, yeah, I, you know, occasionally I use words. Um, <laughs> so that's what we did last hour. That makes sense, was the rest that, of the yeah. sentence, yeah. And this hour, we are still with Tula Pink, but Jenny is going to demo her incredible quilt. Can we have a moment? Can we have a moment with the quilt? Where, where is it? It's that whopping great big thing on the wall over there. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I heart that very much. Oh, I love it too. I think I'm going to put it on my bedroom wall. Is it going to go on your bedroom wall? Oh, do you know, I was going to say that needs to be on a wall. Yeah. Because you need to see it, you need to appreciate all that colour. Absolutely stunning. This is what happens when you mix um, two talents. So you have obviously Tula Pink with her incredible talent with colour, her design, and then you throw in someone who has such a love of English paper piecing and Jenny is such a wealth of knowledge when it comes to English paper piecing. I've never seen anyone stitch as quick as this woman. <laughs> She's a demon at it and with the longest nails. I mean it, it just <laughs> defies any kind of belief. I remember the very first time I met her, I was like, how can you how sew, sew with, with long nails? nails? How? But she does and quickly. Amazing. So let's have a look. Let's start with this because that quilt is made with this. This is the Tula Pink handmade layer cake. Now, what is a layer cake? A layer cake, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that don't know and just think, mmm, cake, um, and that's okay, is um, 10, <laughs> it's, mm, cake. Is, uh, 10 inches and you're getting 42 <laughs> 10 inches. Now, our producer said to me, but Natasha, there aren't 42 pieces out there. No, 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 you get repeats. Okay, so you'll get at least two of each of these, and um, some three. And, uh, and Meg, our producer, was also saying, but there are some dark ones on the picture. Where are they? Look, they're here. Did you find them, Meg? Yeah, because they've got sort of a range. I like to say hundreds and thousands. Um, Tula Pink says, uh, what, oh, hang on, what, what? Oh, I can't remember. Um, it was a something stitch. What kind of a stitch was I it? I can't remember. He said it an hour ago. Oh, seed <laughs> stitch. Yeah. Boom, there it is. Seed stitch. I love it in the grey, actually. Yeah, I It's love beautiful in the grey. But I use that to line with some um, navy P, uh, PU. Yeah. And I'm, I used it to line a pouch. It looked phenomenal because you opened it up and ah, all this lovely colour. Um, it didn't come with that sound effect. You'll all be pleased to know. Should I be. love this one. I really like And again, I've used this time and time and time again because it's got that little hint of a bit of craftiness to it. But you've also got that, I'm going to call it a filigree. I don't know if it is, but it kind of is sort of sweeping around. There's a wild element to it. I really yeah, love, I love it. it. There's movement. There's stunning colour. There's detail. Yeah, it's, oh, it's the colour. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, and it's in three different colourways because you get it in that colourway, you get it in the yellow and the turquoise and the red, and then you get it in, um, in this very grown up colourway. Very grown up. Yes. Yeah. Sophisticated. Yeah. Sophisticated. 
Um, ooh, this is the tutti frutti colours that I was saying about earlier. And I didn't call them tutti frutti, it's called the refreshers. refreshers. But now I think tutti frutti. I'm changing my uh, 1980s sweet <laughs> descriptions. <laughs> You can do. There's lo There is loads in there. So actually, just the way that this is cut, because you look at that one, and you, and your your focus is sort of on the bobbin in the middle, and but you can see that there are eyes and faces. Whereas this one, because it's cut on the fabric in a slightly different place, you see more of the art, the eyes. But then you've also got suddenly you see the heart there. It's so intricate. There's so much going on. It's just beautiful. Um, it's 60% gone. Oh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Um, yeah, so you might need to get this sooner rather than later would be my my best advice to you. Mm. Ah. Now, these will all, all the fabric would be dispatched on the 1st of October. Yeah. I mean, that it's still January in my head, so I'm really yeah, confused by all of that. Uh, but yeah, so the 1st of October, and then, but Jenny's stuff, so Jenny's patterns will be extracted straight away, as soon as she gets home, bish bash bosh, runs to the post, oh, and I, I won't make you run there. Yeah. Yeah. She'll stagger yeah. to the post office, like Father Christmas with a great big sack, sack of goodies, <laughs> and, uh, and get them all out to you um, ASAP. Okay, right, so that's 675-163. Let's go this way because we've got the bag that we demoed last hour. Beautiful. Uh, did you choose these colorways or were they sent to you? They were sent to me. They were sent. So I just did Someone what I did, did with well. them. Someone yeah. did well with these colors, these oranges and the pinks and the yellows. Beautiful, beautiful. I remember doing an interview with Keith and, and just before we went on, I was like, oh, can I wear my orange shoe with a pink top? And he just went, Pink is orange. Oh, okay, fair enough. Sure. I'll take that. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I, and since then I've had a real thing for pink and orange. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And yeah, I used to, why did I avoid it for so many years? No, I've, done, I've used pink know. and orange in one of my tote bags before, my, one of my EPP ones. Oh, it's scrummy. Yeah. And warm and happy and just gorgeous. And if there's anything we need right now, it's scrummy, happy gorgeousness in the world. And here it is in fabric form. So whoever said money can't buy you happiness. No, but it can buy you these fabrics and they make us happy, right? Yeah. So it kind of does. They're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. I love this one. Nearly 40% gone, but then I love this one. I love the white one. With that one down the bottom. Oh, this one? No. Oh, this one? Yeah, with the aluminous pink. Yeah, and it's just got all these little bits of interest in yeah. there. It's fab. Really like it. Really, really, really like it. Oh yeah, and here it is on your bag there. It's um, it's a ditzy with a difference. Yeah, yeah. I like a ditzy with a difference. Now, if um, fat quarters, now they're twenty four ninety five. You're saving five pounds like that. One eight two two four seven. That is your code there. They're new today. Now, if a fat quarter just quite frankly isn't enough for you, that's okay. I've got half meters too. There they are. Pick and mix. Oh, yes. So uh, you can have all of your notions on that one. I love that striking colorway. But then, oh, yeah, now, you see, if you loved the face that we were looking at a minute ago. Yeah, there it is. It's really fat. I've fussy cut that face on so many things. Yeah, I love yeah. it. So pretty. It's called what? Yeah, no, I can't hear that properly. Getting snippy. You, know, if I miss here and get it horribly wrong, that's why I will listen to you say it about six times. I'm like, is it? Is that it? It's getting snippy. It's like me when I'm hangry. I get a bit snippy. Um, here's snippy in another colourway. It's called what? Brunch. Brunch getting snippy. So you see, me saying when I get hungry, I get snippy. Oh, no, okay. no, perfect. 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 <laughs> 
when we do long journeys, my husband puts snacks in the uh, in the glove box so that I Good don't man. get angry. He knows. Tools of the trade. There we go. There's your tools of the trade. I don't know what the safety pin one's called. Pins and needles. Okay. Uh, this is your uh, seed stitch. There you go. And then this is cut, cut, cut once. I wanted to say measure twice, cut once, because that's how the saying goes, isn't it? Yep. My gra I remember my grandma always saying that. Measure twice, cut once. And then this is busy fingers. There we go. I'm loving those. I've really enjoyed working with them as well because I know we've both we've both had yeah, shows with them. Yeah, the quality is so good. It, it is. You just can't go wrong with them. And you can see that it must be good quality. I know it's really hard for you at home because you can't feel them. So I was going to say we'll, we'll be your we'll be your hands for you almost. Uh, I think that when you see the detail, I mean, take this one for example here, and I said this on the earlier show. If you see the detail in there whether you see owl or butterfly or whatever you see, if you look at the detail, you go in really close and you see the detail, that can only happen on a good quality substrate. And that's what you have here, is a top quality, tightly woven substrate. So the substrate is the base cloth that then has everything happen to it. But if it's loosely woven, you're just not going to get that. It's just not going to look as good, is it? No. Nope. Jenny's going there. No. Just no. Um, now we've also got Moda solids, which I'm really thrilled about. Um, these have been um, so busy. Having a solid that is going to match the quality of your main fabric for me is a must. I, I don't want to go to all of that effort and then let myself down um, with a cheap wonky solid. Just not okay for me. So being able to bring you Moda Bella solids is really important. So we have got uh, Mink, we have got Moonbeam, we, is it what? Sangria, Prune and Teal. Ah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And of course, you know, you've got that hit of colour there that's going to go beautifully with all of these. Uh, which would I go for? Um, this one? This, because actually these, but I know they're not the most exciting of colours, but they're your workhorses, and they are going to go with so many different things. But then I absolutely love the teal, because that's one of my favourite colours. So, well, no, I'd save the prune for Jenny, because I know that's her favourite. Yep. And I'd just have the rest. I think that's great <laughs> sharing, right? No well, one said what ratio. I have the pink as well? I'll go halves this with you on the pink. Okay. Cool. Deal. <laughs> Go on, you can have the pink. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Do you want to go halfsies on the pink and the teal? Or yeah, go Just go, on go then. halfsies on the whole lot. Oh yeah. Have a fat quarter each. Yeah. All right. Sorted. Uh, sorry, just, just <laughs> decide divvy up the fabrics between us. Um, now, if you want to be able to create a little something like that, then we've got the patterns down there with the with the foam ready cut for you. These are Debbie Shaw, so you know, a name that everybody knows. Uh, Debbie Shaw Designs with your bosal in there, which is the type of wadding. It's real hardcore wadding, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all cut for you, so you don't have to worry about any of those. So look on the web for those. Um, now, We've also got, this is the bag that we made last hour. This is a beginner's bag. This is how I started patch making, patchworking, was making things like this bag where it wasn't too daunting. If you're thinking about doing a patchwork quilt, but the thought of doing an entire quilt is just a bit much, then actually this is the way to learn. In my, in my humble opinion, because it's not, it's not too much. You get to, you get to work out the idea of your quilting, because it's all quilted, it's all beautifully put together, you get to practice your piecing and all of that. And then you actually get something that hasn't taken you months and months and months to make, and you can go out and look fabulous with. Yeah, we've got Paola in and she's got her Tula pink skirt on. Was that an accident? Uh, or no, was no, it? I saw it? You saw it? it nice. Because we both sort of looked and went, 
Mm, Paola's got her monkey wrench on, uh, which was the name of the fabric if people are going, what is she talking about? Right. <laughs> so it's all making sense to me. Yeah. Now this is Jenny's quilt pattern. You have two options with this. If you want to get it with 180 pre-cut English paper piece pieces, then here it is. By the way, you can't go into another shop and get these sizes. These are specifically cut for Jenny's quilt, okay? So um, you've got all of your step-by-step -step instruction. I'm not, it just looks so pretty, I don't wanna. And then it's all step-by-step -step color instructions. Jenny, like me, is a visual learner, so that you know when you get one of her instructions, you're gonna get, and you get a coloring sheet in here as well, so that you can decide what colorways you want to do it in. Because maybe you want to do it in your Tula, maybe you have other fa shock horror other fabrics. <laughs> is that your colouring sheet? That one. Yeah, that nice. is. Nice. Yeah. Is it beginner friendly? Yeah, I would say so. Because if um, if you get the templates and you want to make more, the full size templates are printed in the back of the pattern. Nice. So then you can photocopy those and make more templates as well. There you go. So if you're going for the one that doesn't have the templates pre-cut for you and you want to cut your own templates, then that's down the bottom there. I'll be honest, right? I would buy that and have every intention of making my own and then never get around to making my own and wish that I'd just gone and, and just bought the one with, with them the pre-cut. Yeah, because yeah. you can reuse the templates that oh, I make. Can. The card that I use is you can use it a good few times. Absolutely, and also, what I think once you've made that, wouldn't it be amazing to have a cushion to go with it? Just saying. Totally. <laughs> Jenny's like, totally. That's what I'm going to totally. do with my demo stuff. I was oh, already thinking, yes. once, once I finish my demo, whatever I do today will be made into a matching cushion. Yes. Check out the website. Um, have a good rummage around there. We've got all sorts of goodies <laughs> on there. Um, I've got to remember not to come too close. I love this, so I'm, I wanted my you nose wanted that. to go straight in yeah. there and have a good look. I've got to remember to stay here. But do take a look. All of the items on the show are there on the website for you to peruse at your leisure. Enjoy. Oh, there's your creative grids we had on earlier. Do take a look at those as well. That was a seven yeah. o'clock this morning show. So a bit early for some. I was driving. <laughs> you probably still will be at seven o'clock tonight as well. <laughs> you have my slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I was just going to say, I actually used the um, uh, prune as the binding for that quilt. It looks darker. It does, but it's not. It's yeah. nice. It's so it went nice. really well because I was going to match the pink with it, but I thought it was too much. So I went darker instead, and it oh, Sorry, worked. pink was too much. Yeah, no, it, it, I mean, it's never too much, but I thought, oh, I can't come back from that. I feel like I've sworn. Say that in front of Kaif, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> there was just too much colour. Never. Too much pink. Never. It's okay, we'll let you off. Okay. Um, so, no, it is stunning. And I love, actually, the fact that the darker border just gives it a full stop. Yeah. 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 How do we do it though, Jen? Right, so I used the layer cake and there was hardly anything left over. So I thought I'd show you the best way to um, plan cutting all your pieces out okay. first, if you're going to use the layer cake. So you didn't it. fussy cut it? No, okay. I didn't fussy cut it. Um, but, I mean, if you're going to use your scraps to make it, that's fine. Fat quarters, you know, you can just go along as you please. But with the... Um, with the layer cakes, I figured out that you could get four of the large hexagons and two triangles per 10 inch oh, square. Oh, nice. Yeah. So what and I is did... is that the sort of ratio you need? Or? Well, what I did was <laughs> I made sure, because there's actually 136 hexagons in it, I made sure that I drew all those hexagons along with doing a triangle each time, two yeah. triangles each time first. And then one side got... But I kind of mixed and matched the fabrics up so nice. one of each first then I went yeah. on to the doubles and stuff so I had a nice range and then whatever fabric I had left then I did the half hexagons the edge pieces and the rest of the triangles 
Is this all part of the fun of it for you? Yeah. The, the planning of the how colours much, and the going... How big a quilt yeah. can I make out of a layer cake? A, quite a big quite one. Quite a big one. It's quite 48 a big one. inch by 44. Is it really? Yeah. Just from a layer cake. It's pretty it's, bad. It? Yeah. So um, what I always do is I draw my shapes onto um, a piece first. So just adding your quarter inch around your shape. Now the ruler that you use is traditionally used for foundation yeah. for piecing for adding a half inch seam allowance, but actually works really nicely for so this, So good it? because it has the, um, the has a nip. little yeah nip on the end, and it, you can just feel your card when you get to it. So what I did, I just want to show you so that if you are going to use the layer cake, you know how to get the most out of your fabrics because it really if you is just important folded it in half and cut through both layers um you want to get the triangles as well in so i'm not sure how that would work because i wasn't being that quick and i just didn't think about that where are the triangles going so there? the try you can fit one that triangle is a bit small you don't get the th here oh if you place it so you've got approximately quarter of an inch there oh nice and then you can just draw here and match that line up there match that line up there That's and then quite satisfying you'll get i cut this this isn't actually one of those <laughs> this is a half meter bit that i had left over and i didn't cut it to 10 square like a 10 a 10 inch square because i was just like oh quick but before on a i 10 went inch square, you so would. on a 10 inch square you can then literally repeat this up here and your triangle will be there and you'll get a gap about that big in between that's no waste at all no waste nice. it's good not to waste yeah. get all your fabric use all your fabric so yeah i was thinking to show you how to base one of the big hexagons and then sew together one of the triangle hexes oh yes and then see how much time because i've um i'm just going to cut these out with my scissors quickly I thought I might as well use one that I drew. I always seem to cut out with my scissors when I'm doing English paper piece. <laughs> Unless it's really straight, like squares or something. There we go. There we go. So I've done a few, just because they're so pretty. I was like, I'm just going to do a couple to show the different hexagons and, and also to show off the different prints. Yeah, and then I got are. carried away and I made quite a few. Always the way. Yeah, it's just so eye-catching, aren't, aren't they? they? And the beauty of this is, I don't know how you feel about it, but no two quilts, the likelihood is, the probability of two quilts being exactly yeah. the same is like... <laughs> Yeah, because you're going to place them wherever you want to place them. And to be, I did not even think about my placements because they all go together so well. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And do you know what I really want to do? I really want to do a solids version. Ooh. All solids with, but like one, t one colour solid. So all different tones of purple, or all different tones of pink with maybe some white or cream. Would you ombre with it? The yeah, possibly with the, tri with the triangle hexy. Oh so many possibilities with this one but that's the thing isn't it when you get a great design like that yeah. every single one is going to be and different that's exactly the reason why and i do the coloring the page as well so you can photocopy that coloring page find colors that match your fabrics that you're thinking you want to use nice. and you can just lay it all out before you cut into those fabrics it's the dream yeah because there's nothing worse than just cutting and then being like oh actually shouldn't have cut that one and you've run Whoops. out there we go. Right, so when I'm, um, I always glue base, but you can thread based shapes together. But the bigger the shape, I would say it's easier to glue base because you have, when you're thread basting with the larger shapes, you've got more possibility of pulling the shape and slightly distorting it, I would say. But I use a really nice thick um, card as well. So, yeah, you do, because some people yeah. use like a 180 GSO. I can say that here and people will know exactly what kind of weight that is. Yeah, the mine's 170. Yeah. And it's all recycled yeah. as well. So it's it's just, it's really nice and you can use them, I don't know, five times? Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, oh, those lids never stay on. So I uh, 
glue onto the fabric just a tiny bit you probably oh no you can see a little bit and then fold it over you get a really crisp edge when you use the glue pens and then just go around the hexagon so like does it matter if you glue the um, card as opposed to the fabric it doesn't but I've noticed myself that if I glue the fabric the card lasts longer I'm oh, assuming okay. that's because you get more glue on the fabric than on the card and less on the card yeah because I'm just in the habit of gluing, gluing the, on the card. card yeah it's just what I've always done because then I just I think a around. lot of people do I just, I just like to be different don't no, I? Well, no no but it's, a, it's an interesting point is it because yeah. I'd hate for people to think oh I've done it wrong no, um, no, there's no right or wrong way. I've just found that this is my easiest way because it doesn't leave residue on the fabric, so I'm not going to. So if you can see there, the, the edges are absolutely perfect on the so it crisp. It is so crisp and so good. So when you're doing, um, when you're using thread, it is harder to get that crisp edge because you're holding and wrapping it round. It's one of those things. I think the thread basting is a very traditional way. Yeah. And 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 you get those people who that's how they've always done it, and for years yeah. and years and years that's how they've done it, and they're just as quick as we are with the glue because yeah. that's how they've always done it. Yeah. But for anybody starting out, do you know the glue is so much easier. So I would. I mean, I, I made I mean, my I daughter an entire. Yeah. Tiny, t I did an inch, inch and a half yeah. pexies for a whole quilt for her, and I did it while I was pregnant. And um, and I wouldn't have done that if I'd have had to have thread basted them all. Yeah. I, I started have. off thread basting many years ago, and wow, absolutely. Then I was just like, no, <laughs> get me the glue. <laughs> Give me the glue. Get Give me, me the that glue. glue now. So yeah, the um, the quilt is literally just set up from these shapes. Your half inches, because I decided to instead of doing it and then squaring the quilt off using full hexes. I did, really didn't want to waste this fabric, so I made the half shapes. I get upset, so I'm so glad you did that, because I get upset when I've sewn everything together, yep. and then I have to cut half yeah. of it off. I'm like, what? So why? I did, I've done edge su shapes oh, well as well. Good, good. And you need, to, you only need, oh, I don't have any with me, but you only need two corner shapes, because of the way it lays out, yeah. it's going to go flat at one end. So you've, I've, I've done two little corner pieces as well. I just <laughs> don't want to waste any there. fabric. So these are the um, what turned the quilt into the hexangle quilt. Ah, nice. Little play on words there. Six triangles sewn together to make the exact same size as your hexagon. So you could add more of those if you wanted. Mm. Instead of doing, you know, you could add some more um, triangles instead i think there's 20 in the pattern i'm wondering doesn't look now, like 20 but there is they're hidden in there you see for me looking at it the way that some of them sit i just see them as little diamonds yeah it, it's such a lovely play in color yeah. but then i'd also quite like to ombre and maybe just a black through to grays and whites yeah. so you've got all that hit of color and then you just have a little ombre of yeah. Of shade, so many. Oh, it's just too many designs. I did actually, time. yeah, I did actually say to my mum the other day. I said, Do you know what? I might get you to make one, just so we can see what it's like. Because <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to have time. Does your mum mind? <laughs> no, she loves sewing. She oh. loves English paper piecing. So is it her fault? Keep then, that her you're busy. Here? No, no, no. I got she her into oh, did she? paper the other piecing. Way yeah. Well, they did um, a quilt many years ago. My mum and dad made a hexagon quilt. I found it in the loft. It's not been finished, and I will finish it one day for them. It's using really retro fabrics. And, yeah, so they actually did that together. That's beautiful. Isn't it just? They're so cute. So, yeah, oh. I found that. Um, so that. Obviously, my mum had done it in the past, but when I started doing it, that's when she really got into it. I don't think my husband even knows how to thread a needle, I'll be honest. <laughs> She's never needed to. No. So we've got no. all of these. Now, let's talk dog ears for a minute, shall yes. we? Because obviously when you when you do the triangles, you end up with dog ears. And they're the little flippy they're bits. They're these bits here. Yeah, they go, the Jennifer. camera comes, I can show you. I've got one. These are these little bits here. Don't. When do you chop them off? You don't chop them off. Oh. There's no need to chop them off. They're going to be sewn within the pattern. So I'm going to lean forward now, because then I can show the camera better. So when you start sewing them together, you can see two of nice. the dog ears have disappeared there. 
when this is sewn on here, dog ears have disappeared. So you do not need to cut them. If you end up cutting slightly wonky and you end up with massive dog ears. Like my Maud. <laughs> my Maud then, has massive dog ears. There you go, this one. I would say never cut them lower than that because you don't want to risk making a hole in the point of the fabric. Okay. Because you, re you really don't know it need to because unless, like I said, and the only reason why if they're longer they might produce a bit of bulk. Right. But once you've sewn it all together, the whole quilt, and you press it, those will flatten down nicely. Okay. okay. So to make the six together, I thought we should do some sewing. Just, well, this is the English paper piece and technique that you use throughout the whole quilt. So when you're sewing the hexagons together as well. Just right sides together. I use a clip. I've told you about my clip thing before. It's yeah. so anyone who's got a bad wrist, clip the end and then you don't put any pressure on your wrist that you're holding it with because you don't have to worry about your shapes moving. Yeah, I, I don't think I even realised how much I was gripping. I was. I was getting pains shooting up there. Yeah, so as soon as I started clipping, because you are, you're holding it, oh, I don't want that to move. So you end up, as you see, my fingers go white. So there oh, you oh. go. Clip it on. It's nice relaxing it's not gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Quilter's Clips. Right, so you're just going to um, knot um, the bottom of your cotton, just a single knot is fine. And if your dog ears are getting in the way, you just fold them back like this while you're just going to put that first stitch in. So you're going to get through a tiny bit of the fabric here. You don't go through the card. You're just going to catch a few fibres of the fabric and go along in a little whip stitch. It is like literally this. like two fibres, isn't it? Yeah, Else you tiny, and you can feel the card anyway yeah. with the needle, so you know not to go through it. I tend to um, do quite small stitches, and I've got a knot, of course I have. But actually, I'm kind of pleased that you have, because if you get a knot, because let's face it, over the course of that quilt, knots are going to happen, yeah. right? What do you do? Um, so long as you don't pull it, Put your needle, I just did it then, put your needle through the middle of the loop of the uh, knot and pull it and it should come undone. I mm. use um, thread magic. Me too! That cut <laughs> so down on it got a little bit massively. Of it here. Yeah, this one. And I just run my thread through it before I, um, yeah. before I uh, sew and it just, it really does, st it stops a lot of um, yeah. knots but even when you get them they glide out. But it yeah. stops your um, thread from fraying as well. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. But just don't use it as a lip balm. It doesn't. Yeah, really definitely. No, no. You've done that, haven't you? Yeah. Accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. just saying. So if you just do nice small whip stitches, I will do them slightly larger. It's going to keep happening today, isn't it? There we go. I'm going to do mine slightly larger so I can get along. Now you like to use, I want to say, Milner's needles. Is that right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I thought I'd remember. Yeah. For any particular reason? Uh, they're so sharp and they um, are really thin so they uh, they just don't make much of a hole and they're a nice size they're not too short so you ha can get a really nice grip on them. Right. I absolutely love them. Well done for remembering this. Well do you know what <laughs> up here for thinking down there for dancing. <laughs> We're coming out with all the phrases. It's a slightly safer <laughs> one than the Leonies from, uh, it from last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're working with these, and they are just a beautiful array. This is from Tula Pink. If you've never heard of her before, she's an American designer. She's renowned for colour, quirky designs, big, bold, beautiful, with quirky things hidden in. Um, which is just, in fact, this doesn't have as many as normal, does it? Quirky, quirky hidden things. Because she's gone for, you know, she's brought in all the things that we love, all the notions. Yeah, it's all sewing related. She's yeah. not brought any animals into it this time. You've got the eyes, though. You yeah. have the eyes. Oh, okay. Meg said it could have been an elephant. With two trunks. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, can you oh, hang on, yes. Where? How are you? Yes. Seeing? How? Because you see the uh, the leafy bit near the eye that's coming up the sides. That could be the ears. The needles coming out the top of the scissors. 
could just be the head. And then, yes, the trunk would be almost split in two, but the, the points of the scissors could be a trunk. Yeah, I'm with her. I get it. Now that she's said it, I get it. I was yeah. that kid that used to stand in the 90s outside those shops, you know, where they had that you had to sort of cross your eyes a bit to look at the magic dots and see what was in there. Yeah. You can do it. Here we go. Never. I've got some here. Come on, show, show me. Where look. is this elephant? Is top of the elephant's head, the eyes and the trunk, although it's split oh, into two. Oh, I thought, I, I get it now. I thought you had like a body in there or something. I was like, how are you getting an no, elephant? Just put an elephant head. And I, I hope she's that. seen it the same way that I've seen it. Now I see it. Oh, where were you in the 90s? About 96, looking at, oh, you're too young. Um, it's 10. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, who, who's, that? Who, who's that voice? Ah, there we go. There you go. Kay knows what I mean. Thank you, Kay, for <laughs> being a fellow. Could you see them? Oh, you Half mean the magic the eye things? Yeah, oh, the magic I remember them. We had those. I was later than then. I had them in a books. Okay. Had them in books. All right then. Um, but that's <laughs> what. Anyway, we digress. That's what they remind. That's what they remind me of. And he said, "Oh yeah, I remember that." Um, but I did. A, I did an entire project with one of these, and it was full of squirrels. Never saw it. <laughs> Never saw it until afterwards, and then I realised I'd sewn all the squirrels upside down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've just seen it as a lovely pattern. I was like, this is a great pattern. And then all my squirrels were upside down. Oh dear. What are you going to do with a gravity defying squirrel? They're quite acrobatic. It's fine. 1998. You can get this in two payments. Now remember, they're getting 42 10 inch squares with this. 39.95. Why don't you save yourself three pounds? Go on, treat yourself. 675163. Let's have another little look then down here. Uh, what's gone? Nearly 7% of the layer cake gone. Ooh. Do you know you're going to love it when it arrives? Because when you look down the side of it, it looks kind of like a rainbow, yeah. doesn't it? And then you open it up. I and love it's like, opening ah. them. They never look the same again. No. Yeah, stroke it for a bit first and then it's open like it. It's like jelly up. rolls. Once you open the jelly roll, it's never going back never into a roll again. Back. Never going back. Um, right, fat quarters. Uh, six of these. Yeah, you see, this is it, isn't it? I saw. I saw butterfly, you, you saw owl. It's definitely a butterfly. <laughs> but that's the beauty of, of Tula Pink, you see. Yeah. You, you stitched that entire bag seeing an owl. Oh, yeah, that's true. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Whatever. If you love the designs, just enjoy them, whether they're butterflies, owls, owl flies, or anything else. I mean, waves. I think we can all agree waves. Yeah, they're yeah. waves. Or maybe big scoops of ice cream. Uh, <laughs> it's lunchtime. Um, I'm going to give you a trophy for that. And then, <laughs> yeah, quite retro, that one. Yeah. Maybe you could use that as the binding on the retro quilt that your parents did. Maybe so. Maybe, maybe. Oh, that's a lovely thing. I'm the one, aren't you? Yeah. Um, and then this, I like to think, if you ever take kids pond dipping, have you ever taken your son down Cook Mare Haven pond dipping? <laughs> I haven't been to Cook Mare, no. All right, you want to no. take him down Cook Mare Haven pond dipping? Yeah. Because then you get your magnifying glass out and it's like you see all the little creatures. Yeah, and rock and pooling and stuff. Yeah, rock yeah, pooling, yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah. And that's what that reminds me of, when you start to see all the little things in there. It's quite interesting. Did see where the difference. And then the, I love, hang on, let's just appreciate this, can we, for a moment? Because up close, I mean, this is why this is perfect for your English paper piecing, because you've got all those different colours and, and things. But then, as an entire shape and design, from afar, does it look different? Love it. Love it. It's like you've got multiple fabrics in one. Oh, she's so clever. Right. Or what about oh so one eight two two four seven if you want to grab those twenty four ninety five save five pounds go on now pick and mix right so pick any two for thirteen ninety nine Jenny which would you go for oh um like not to pick them on the spot. I don't think I can pick two you can't pick two okay. can I pick four yeah you can pick four the green ones with the notions green one this this one yeah 
Yep. The purple one next to it. Yep. The orange and pink one next to that. Yep. The white one. That one. And also we're having five because we're picking the one right at the end. The that one. Yes. Okay, just all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where you get to, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You see, I, I, I do love the now elephant one, as I'm going to call it, but it's actually snippy, <laughs> snippy, dippy, snippy something. <laughs> Snippy brunch. What's this one? Snippy. Snippy night. Snippy night. Snitty. Snit. <laughs> Can't even say it. Can't even say it. So look, this one's. They've got all the names on the website, so I don't have to. <coughs> yeah, I know it's a complete cop out. Sorry, Meg, but uh, you know, <coughs> snippy McSnippy, snippy stuff. Uh, tools of the trade. Uh, pins and needles, um, seed stitch, measure once. Uh, oh, is it cut once? Measure twice, <laughs> cut once. <That's laughs> oh, it's like the conveyor belt. And then this one's stitchy fingers. Busy fingers. <laughs> oh, it could have been stitchy fingers. They're stitching and stuff. Oh, man. So close. So and yet so far, <laughs> no cigar. Good job I don't smoke. Right, over <laughs> uh, seven five nine one seven five. That's your item number for that. Uh, you won't get tested on the names. Goodness. Teal, prune. I don't think that's a great name for that. Like it's prunes plum. just aren't. Yeah, plum. Um, this one is what. Oh, sangria. Yeah, you see, I always want to call it magenta, so Same. I get confused. Um, and then this is moonbeam. And then this one up here is mink. Minky. <laughs> Love it. And this is the bag that Jenny made. Love it. And then this is the pattern to make the bag that Jenny made. <laughs> Sounds like a nursery rhyme, doesn't it? That wriggled and tiggled and wriggled inside. It's like that one, isn't it? Um, and that is 10.99. One, uh, no, zero one three seven four one. Now, if you would like the quilt, and it is a stunner, and if you want it with 180 pre-cut pieces, so you don't have to worry, you've got everything that you need. Oh, was it 160? What did I say? Oh no, 160. Um, then that's 26.99. Now, if you just want the pattern on its own and you want to cut out all of those for yourself, yeah, twelve ninety nine. It's up to you. Uh, two nine two six seven seven. Um, super busy. Phone lines are busy. Do bear with us. Now, your creative quiz. So this sold out earlier. We gave Rachel a quick call. She's like, "Yeah, I've got some more. You can have them." So these are back in stock. This is the mini one. This is the little mini one. This is really, really handy when you're working with fat quarters, when you're trimming back blocks, and things like that. Um, Thirty-seven ninety-five. Dispatch from the twenty-sixth of September. Now another one that we found is the oh this is really handy too this is your eight and a half by twelve and a half inch ruler so this is going to be your day to day i call them bread and butter rulers yeah they're not as exciting as some of the ones that make whizzy whizzy patterns but my golly do you need this one first yeah that is a good size yeah 1895 um eight one two five eight two back to you jenny brill so i was just going to show you how to add one more triangle on so you don't need to, when you've come down to the point, you don't need to break your cotton off because you can just add this one like this. Again, the dog ears are going in there. So if you just line it all up, clip the end, and you just go straight through. Like I said before, if the dog is in the way, just peel it back slightly and pick those fibres up in the corner. And for the triangle ones, you're just going to carry on like that. Once you get to this end, you'll need to break your cotton off. Just knot it at the end. I sort of, start again. I put my needle through the loop. Yeah, I wrap the way. cotton around my needle. Yeah, I'm rubbish at doing that, so I just... <laughs> I want to do it. I see all these skills, and it never quite happens. So How I do end you up do with, it? I don't... Well, wrong, obviously. There's no wrong way. If you're not insecure, your thread, it's not oh, the wrong oh, way. Oh, when is I it? try and do it your way, I do it wrong. So that's why I just. So what, you see, hang on. Go. Don't finish off that stitch. 
pull it part way through. No, go through, go through, go through. And then instead of pulling it up. Oh. Yeah, go, 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 do you just go stitch. through that one? Go another, go another stitch. Yeah. And I'll show you what I do. So now push the needle through. Now don't pull it all the way through. Go back through there. Loop through there. Ah, uh, okay. Well, That's how I do it. So I do it like this because I can show I don't need to go to the end of this. I put my thread, my needle halfway through, wrap it round twice. Oh, so like, um... Just take it through. Like a French knot? Well, yeah, pretty much. It knots it off and I always take a stitch backwards just because I do. <laughs> <laughs> I so mean, I was going to show you... You don't uh, need another excuse. Exactly. Uh, the great thing about using these templates more than once is when you've sewn all around, all the way around one shape, take the shape out. Yeah. Because then you can just keep using it. The only shapes I tend to keep in are the edge pieces, then I press them. But you don't need to press it during, during um, while you're sewing it. So if I was to sew this hexagon on here, I could take this one out and I'll show you how easy it is. I think we've got time for me to sew this on, haven't we? Yeah. You've got about 10 minutes. You're doing Good all right. Good stuff. Yeah. I'm I am... Um, going to knot my cotton at the end. Before <laughs> I take mine out, I spray them with a little bit of best press. Ah, uh, do you? And then press them. And I find that really... Just because I'm paranoid, it's all going to come undone. Yeah. Not if you've done your knots properly. All right. All right. <laughs> So again, when you're sewing the shapes <laughs> together, <I've> been told <laughs> you're just gonna do the same stitch. It's always a whip stitch. I am doing it slightly larger than I would, just so that we can get across. In my pattern, I've I've actually done it line to line. So the first line, what you need to sew together. The second line, what you need to sew together. So if you are a beginner. I'm going off on a tangent now, aren't I? No, that's all right. Whilst you find that in the pattern, the layer is 80% gone. Oh, nice. So you've got the first line. I don't know if they can see it. Yeah. Yeah, you've got the first line, and then I've shown you what to add to the next line so you don't get all confused. And then, so when you've done, when you're on the third line, you can take all the second line out. Yeah. And reuse those um, hexagons. So it's basically as soon as all sides <laughs> are covered. Yep. With another with another round or something, you're safe to take the others you out. You are indeed. It's quite satisfying. It is. I and the glue's really easy to take out as well. Do you um, do you paper piece all over the place? Like if you're on a bus or something. <laughs> yeah, trains. Trains, yeah. things like that. In the car when I'm waiting for Dylan. When we used to have clubs. Back in the day. Back in the day. Back in when the there were school clubs and stuff. Um, I always keep a few in my glove box. Yeah. Just have a little. Um, I can't sit and do nothing. Oh, this is me in the evenings. Right. I will sew all evening, hand sew, because I can't just sit and watch Netflix. I've got to do something with my hands or I um, just feel like I'm wasting my time. You could always watch her chanda. <laughs> 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 this is true, it is on in the evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, well, yeah, yeah. there we are. What's the difference? So, um. I can't remember. 10. Yeah, 10 o'clock. So, I'm just going to knot this off so that I can show you how to remove the paper pieces. Yeah, I just. Uh, what I tend to do is figure my day out. If I've got machine work to do, I always do that in the day. And then if I've got um, hand sewing to do, it's just relaxing. Yeah, thing. unless I need to photograph it for patterns. I'll hand sew during the day as well so that I can get it done before it goes dark. But in general, yeah, hand sewing in the evenings. Right, so this shape's got all three sides sewn around it. So yeah. you're just going to remove the fabric and it comes off really easily. If you haven't got nails, use your needle or a pin just to lift it. And this has been used probably about four times. That one? It, it, yeah. And yeah. it's absolutely fine, yeah, yeah. so I used them all to make that. I wasn't going to make more. Because you put good quality ones in, Jenny, and that's what makes all the difference. Yeah, it is. It is the, um, yeah, it is the quality of the card. Because the thinner the card, the less it's going to... But it's not too thick that you can't fold it. Because obviously in some shapes, you're gonna you, need you've to. got to fold. Can we talk about that? Because this is where people get the fear. Okay, so this piece, for example, yeah. this is one of the edge pieces. I will need to fold that. So, and it's oh. okay to do it. That's why it's paper. Yeah, it's and fine. It's fine. Yeah, it just might mean that if you do fold them, they might 
I still laughed a good few times because I didn't cut any extra edge pieces out after I've made that. These are the... The same ones? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you are going to... Um, for even when you're holding it like this, you're folding it in your hands. But also, that's the other good thing about removing them as you go once they're sewn around, is it makes it so much easier to handle Less bold, than if you've it? got loads of card. If you're doing a big quilt, it can get quite heavy with all the card in as well. So if you... Gosh, I'm getting everything caught up today, aren't I? But that happens. Do you find oh, yeah. that you have days where it just goes smoothly? Oh, oh, yeah. And then other days where you're like, gosh. What is going on? Yeah. So I've got another knot here now as well, haven't I? There we go, got rid of that. I found, because um, the biggest quilt that I've done with this was while I was pregnant with my daughter. Yeah. Because, um, you know, you're meant to rest, aren't you? And I'm not very good at that. So I sat and stitched. And I would take it to my hospital appointments yeah. and everything. And actually the number of people that spoke to me because yeah. I was hand stitching. Yeah. They'd spend the first half hour looking at you. Looking and sort of surreptitiously looking. You'd look up and they'd do that glancing away thing. And it's like, yeah, I've just seen you <coughs> looking at me. Um, but I kind of, and I didn't, I was always really happy to talk about it. Oh, yeah. Unless you do it, you don't know what it is. I've had some great conversations yeah. on the train with people. And it's often people you wouldn't expect that want to know about it. Yeah. No, it's great. It's a real nice icebreaker. I love it. I think yeah. it's great. Even if I'm going for picnics or just going to the beach, like because I know that Dylan's going to want to go and do his thing playing. Oh, he's going to just sit here in EPP then. But that's fine yeah. though, isn't it? You yeah. know, and that is absolutely fine. Oh, layer cake's gone. Limited stock. Well done if you've got the uh, got that. There we go. So I've just managed to get to this end. Nearly. So you're going to just go straight up to the point. Trick do these stitches so big. And then, so this one you will have to fold. You'll, be end, you'll end up folding the hexagon slightly, but you don't need to crease it or anything. You can literally just fold it. This is when the pins come handy as well. Uh, pins, uh, the clips here. Clip that so the points are meeting, and then you can just, this has come unstuck because it's traveling with me. There you go. If you just fold it like that, you can see it's bent. There's not too much of a crease going in there. And you just pick up those corners. Because I always try and work it out so that I don't have to knock my cotton off loads. Oh, me I'll too. Like, <laughs> All right, how much can I sew? If I sew at this, if I start at this point, how far can I go without having to knock my cotton off? <laughs> I thought it was just me. No, I used and to I mean plan. it doesn't even take long to do it. To no, I know, but I used off, to plan all sorts of, of weird and wonderful routes through yes, my quilt so yes, that I didn't I have mean. to undo it. And in the end, what would happen? Well, I'd get halfway down a side of stitching and then run out of thread, so I'd have to stop and knot off anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. No, 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 not at all. So we're just going along here. Again, with the dog ears on the uh, edge pieces, don't worry, because once you've basted your quilt and uh, you're cutting off the excess batting and uh, the backing, you just lob those uh, ears off. Jenny, did you tell me you didn't hand quilt it as well as No, hand I used my Juki. I can't hand quilt. When you've got a Juki, why are you going to hand quilt? Because it's I mean, so much easier to get through because the throat is so wide on this machine. Yeah, no, it's great. It's it? just the biggest of quilts. I said I um, just recently quilted a 86 by 86 inch quilt on it. Was that the butterfly? Was that the flight one by Stephen Wilson? No, no, it was one of my designs for a magazine. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. I didn't plan for it to be that big, but I got carried away and I really I made the rosettes. So it's EPP applique. I made the rosettes. I cut the templates out because I, I designed on my computer. For, they are huge, but they look really nice. So I sewed one rosette together and I was like, mmm, now each square is going to be at least 23 inches and I need at least nine squares. And before I knew it, I had like an 86 odd inch quilt. <laughs> it's 
It's all right. But it went that's through like right. a dream. That's the beauty. If you're going to do big quilts, you've got to that's have it. That's the one. Yeah. Now, if you would like uh, the homemade 42-piece layer cake, it is 42 10-inch squares in here. You get multiples, that's why. So just, you know, if you're thinking, going, oh, they haven't put it all out. Oh, look how that rainbow goes through there. Oh, sold out? Oh, Aww. man. Oh, I can't show you. Well done. Well done, well done those ones uh, now the quilt pattern of course also available for you today in two different varieties so you can either get it with all of your uh, paper pieces pre-cut ready for you because you can't buy those sizes in the shop uh, 26.99 you even get the little corner details because that's Jenny attention to detail um, or you can get just the quilt pattern for 12.99 below Jenny thank you thank you thank it's you so pleasure. much it's been so good to see you come back soon I am the end of the month fabulous thank you thank you Oh, fabulous show still to come. Indigo Blue is next. And then, oh, hang on. Something or another. No one said how to do French. And then Studio Winter. Hi, I'm Donna, and this is my brother Simon, and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting, and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps, and we've got a great range of inks, which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Pachanda. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexibuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. 
picture of this was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me, they're made in the UK, most important to us a picture this, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. It is as is the well, this beautiful sounds from Indigo Blue, and of course, you know what uh, Indigo Blue means. Uh, it means that we have got fabulous demonstrator here in the house, but of course, we have got Kay. Hello, hi, everybody. Yeah, hi. Kay, you are the you're not just like when I say demonstrator, you are an amazing artist, but also you are one of the driving forces, the owners of uh, Indigo Blue, aren't you? Yes, yeah, well, um, myself, my husband, Alfie. Um, so yes, it's a small company, but um, yeah, we love it. And, and you also work with a different artists, don't you? We have. We started to uh, work in the last couple of years with other artists as well. So we've brought capsule um, stamp ranges for them. And um, our latest one is uh, Asha, who's done, uh, we commissioned her to do these uh, stamps for us. And this is the first collection that yes. Asha is doing for That's you right. as well. So she will do the drawings and I might alter them slightly by the sizes and stuff like that and put maybe a few words with them. But it's really lovely to, to work with her. It is yeah. absolutely stunning. As soon as I came to the studio, I walked through and I was like, I was drawn to these images. Well, and I think many of you, well, many, 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 of you have uh, because in the previous show it did sell out not once but twice we still have it in a talk but of course it will be extended delivery dispatch from the 23rd of September so it's only about six days is it uh, so so it's not long to wait at all but look at the glorious luscious leaves from Asha and you can see why they sold out because is I love there is kind of a um, soft geometry element with some of the elements and and then you have got the beautiful soft lines from the flowers. It's a perfect marriage. It is, and I love the, uh, the line work that she's done as well. So even the very, very tiniest lines and dots can be picked up with the red rubber stamps that we, we manufacture ourselves. And they're all mounted and hand cut as well for you. Um, I'm going to so sh yeah, show, show as well, because I think that's a very good imp important point. Uh, as a busy crafter myself, when red rubber comes already clean from mounted, already trimmed to size, saves so much time. Time. and it's just fabulous you do actually I just um, I love them all, all cut out and um, keep the packaging because that's your storage as well because they'll cling to the packaging and all you have to do is just peel them off put them on an acrylic stamp um, bit of ink and away you go so really easy to use and they'll look after them and they'll last you years and years and they are beautiful. Now I have to say that the collector's edition, that's the, on, the only way to get it is with the full bundle, isn't it? It is, yes. Right, yes. so it, this is one of those ones that it will be, of course, part of the bundle, so you are getting it as well, but it's the only way to get it is uh, through the bigger bundle. You can see the uh, beautiful artwork. I love it, and I just love, I'm going to show you, you can see the, the, the collector's edition here as well as the other elements. Now, the design a team and members are at the bottom of the screen, including, of course, Helen Pritchard. Uh, big thank you to all of you, Rachel, of course, as well. So thank you so much for these beautiful, beautiful projects in here. Uh, Indigo Bluebirds, I like that. <laughs> they, you know, you know, Kay, um, 
I am a very clean and simple sort of crafter. Yes. And I absolutely adore, for instance, this one by Joe, the simplicity and it's delivered by that beautiful artwork as well. I know, and I love the way she's um, uh, decoupaged it up so you've got three layers there. It looks so lovely and delicate and I, I really like it. I find it very hard to do uh, plain and simple. Um, but I love that piece. But then, I, I, you know, I always say uh, when you look at the stamps and if you can do something like this, really art, artsy and as well as plain and simple, shows uh, shows the uh, versatility. Is this the flower turned outside It back? is. It is to make them into mushrooms. That I know. is so clever. But yeah. again, size-wise, versatility in here as well. Now, uh, I have to tell you that, of course, it did sell out at twice early, so it's, we are busy for this item. There is a, as well the flexible option to spread the cost in two interest-free payments of £21 and £48. But we are already 20% off of the uh, extended, extended uh, delivery stock. Um, uh, so if you want it, please uh, do check out your baskets for it. Remember, you are getting this beautiful uh, brand new Air Ash, uh, uh, designed by Asha Stamps by Indy. Blue 650701 is your item number, right? So, we also have got brand new papers now. These ones sold out earlier by uh, as well, and they are artwork by Kay by yourself, yes. So, these are basically pieces of artwork that I've actually made up to the stage of layering all the backgrounds, and it's just before I put the focal point on um, that I've actually stopped. And so, um, it's, it's actually taken me about 12 months to put them together because um, I keep doing the odd one when I've got a spare few minutes, but that doesn't happen very often. So, um, it's really nice to be able to offer these um, out to people who, um, if you just want to go to your craft room and you just don't know where to start maybe you're frightened of that blank space in front of you these are perfect just layer them up back them onto card and away you go i've actually made them a really nice thin uh, paper so it's like a decoupage paper so it will actually bend around 3d objects uh, you will be able to layer up without have adding bulk and um, yeah, to make a quick card, look at these, they're beautiful, aren't Absolutely they? Absolutely beautiful. Now, we have got two options. We have got the warm option, which is the one that has got the yellow. That's the warm. The yellows, yeah. pinks, so reds, that, yes. that one is the one that I just showed you. That's the warm option. And then we have got the cool one uh, option, which are here. Do How many sheets do you get, Kate? So there's six designs, yeah. and there's two of each design. So you get 12 sheets in total. Perfect. So and they're single-sided. So I'm sure... I'm showing you one of each but you are yes. getting two of you each. Are, yes. I adore, adore. That's my favourite. <laughs> <It's, laughs> you know because immediately sometimes I love to create little backgrounds, I do, but it takes so much time. It can do, yes. yes. And although it is a joy, it's a joy that sometimes you don't have time for. Mm -hmm and having the papers ready to make and especially in this thin paper that you can mold it. So imagine like Imagine create, you cannot recreate these techniques into thin paper from a scratch and then in time and then mold them around like say shape boxes. Yes. Having them already printed, it means that you will have the thin nature of the paper without having to tear, it hasn't warped or it hasn't, and then you can mold it and this is a brilliant idea, I love it, I love it. Seven, it's at 70 GSM so it gives you that flexibility but it's still mad. So yes. if I wanted to add stamping on top of it yes. I could still do that absolutely yes yeah yeah it's designed to do that as well so um, it's perfect or if you've got you know a, a flower die or something that you want to play with and you've got no backing paper this is super because it's all ready for you with all those multiple layers on I love that uh, remember you have got the choice of warm which is the one in the screen with the, where the yellow tones as well as some cooler tones in there and then you have got the cool one which is uh, this one now both of those ones did sell out early and they are now back on extended delivery dispatch day the 21st of September. Uh, it's just Monday, not that long at all. 004204. And it's a nice thing because you know you can, you know, you have got the weekend and then on Monday you know that they are being dispatched to you. Right, and then we have got one of the, I think, is iconic products from uh, Indigo Blue. I remember you very kindly 
I think years ago when I just I had kind of came out uh, re, you know at the time recently and you gave me a little bit of it and then <laughs> I kind of went like I need the full bottle so I bought the full <laughs> bottle it, slap it on can you tell us a little bit about it okay so um, the, the there's a duo there and there's a little foam brush as well yeah so the slap it on is iconic it's a, a medium that can be used as a varnish as a glaze as a protective coating uh, but also as a glue and this is what we call a great flow rate which means that it's perfect for layering up papers because it leaves you with a completely flat finish um, and um, you don't actually see any lines in it that are made by the brushes at all and um, you just get a, a really great look for all your mixed media. Can I say I love that the nozzle? The nozzle, yes. Because I'm, I mean, you know, I know I'm so, so one of these crafters that I hate having to take lids out, having to be careful, or having to pierce it. So having something like this that I kind of just flick it off. It's really easy, it's, isn't it? it? Yeah, it and also it's designed to be stood upside down. <gasps> oh. So when you're actually using it as well, there's no trying to shake it to the to the top as well so I actually keep mine upside down on the table like that so it's always ready to flow out of the nozzle as well so, um, but um, it is, it's just a, a fantastic iconic product yes. that's used for many many different things well, and also the matte of it um, when it dries it's completely crystal clear so you don't get any of that milkiness that you do with a lot of matte yeah. um, mediums. I also have used it um, for um, well I use it a lot for as a glue kind mm -hmm. of you're saying but some Sometimes you have got, like for instance, when you are doing uh, stamping layers and you want to protect one layer, I would dab, let it dry, make it sure, then dab it on and then put it on uh, stamping on the top. That's so right. they kind of, kind of have got clean layers, basically. That's exactly right. Yes, it's like a, it acts like a clear gesso. Exactly. Yes. It, it, that's exactly it. A mm -hmm. clear gesso. And because, like, you're right, it dries so much compared to other mediums mm -hmm. that I have tried. This is the one that I would use a lot. And the fluidity also makes it, because I'm, so I use a large um, medium from Golden, but that's a very thick one. It is, yeah. So I need to have like the thick one, but also something that is a little bit more spreadable. That's and this right, is the and one. that's that flow rate we exactly. were talking about, that it will give you that really thin layer. Um, it comes out in a, in a blob, but when you start um, pasting it on with your foam brush it actually creates a really thin layer exactly and does well. 9.99 for both of them including of course the foam brush uh, 200 mil in total I uh, believe not to yeah in total because it's a hundred mil in each uh, 433 644 is your item number then we have got the mixed media of paint sets here now uh, this one you're also getting do you get uh, a pa paint mat as you well? do you do, actually. Do we have it in there? Well, well, well okay, fine, Zed. I'm, I'm going to tell you what you're getting. And now, the, here we have got different options in here. So you are getting all four of here. Uh, so you here we have got Wimbury uh, Pipe, uh, Burning Bonfire, I think, Post Box Red, and Townhouse Teal. Uh, yeah, a kind of uh, 9.99 is the price, so that would be the kind of the first option. Then we have got the bottom option here, so that we have got marshmallow, which uh, I'm not sure which one it is, but uh, uh, so, sorry, this one is porcelain, which medium beige, warm tan, and rouge. That's definitely it. And then we go into here that we do have got marshmallow, banana custards olive waistcoat and and park lane right so 9.99 are for the sets of four remember it's an option off and you can say how do you know what i'm going to put them like this because then you can see them slightly better and while i do that i'm going to give you the item number 396132 i can oh like here there with it. Now, if you wanted some, uh, to, uh, remember, 9.99. They are on extended delivery as well. Those ones, uh, oh, they are not. So the uh, immediate dispatch for that. Now, we do have got also the inky stencils. Now, these ones are really, really fabulous because they are detailed. Are they? What was the um, the inky, the inky? Uh, what was the? Um, the thought process for the smaller um, but versatile uh, stencils? Well, um, our stamps, we have um, dinky stamps. Yeah. Um, and I'd always call them dinky. And um, 
the stencils were the same sort of size and so we, we decided to call them the same thing or inky dink stamps whichever um, but I like I love the six by six inch ones but sometimes I just want to shove a few stencils in a bag with my essentials just to take with me and these are perfect because they're so small and you can have a stack of them and you've got lots and lots of different uh, textures to put into your work well, so the, I like that because, and also for instance, for your collector's editions that are smaller uh, yes. as well, that would work really well as a combination. I love, and, it's, and if you're like me, a clean and simple um, kind of sort of crafter, these smaller ones kind of allow you to just add a little bit of layers in there. 1196 for all four of them. They're three by three inches, 779815 is your item number. But why not jump ahead to the website to see exactly where we have seen. Remember that you can go for the individuals but unfortunately the collector's edition on its own it's only available it's gone on its own but you can get it in the bigger bundle and most of you are going for that now remember uh, look at the reviews five star reviews for that beautiful texture paste as well and oh those luscious pigments Oof, I love they were very busy earlier and there is different options it's a tree of uh, I have got some of them as well highly pigmented with a beautiful 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 quality that you can mix it with for instance another thing that I have done is with this slap it on and mix it with that and create your own sort of pearlescent uh, paste as well yes it works beautiful. really really well with love that. that color combo orange pink and purple oh that one well you know what they are all beautiful well they you are. select which one you want you add it to your basket and then you can check out and remember of course to check out your baskets once that you have made your selection you don't want to miss out all uh, right okay are you ready for the demonstration i am i am. Okay. can't wait can't Perfect. wait so um first of all i just want to show you um how to uh, put your pay papers onto a backing card if you're um starting out so the whole idea is that these are our layers so you need to choose a backing card I go with the uh, pink frog because it's a watercolor card and yep. it will take an awful lot of abuse um, so it, you can wet it re-wet it dry it wet it again and it will continue to to work well for you so I'm putting some of the matte slap it on on that paper I'm also going to put it onto our artist quality pay artist papers okay. as well and you can see how lovely and thin that is it's just like um, a decoupage paper and if you yeah. put the um, the slap it on on both uh, pieces of paper you've got a little bit of time for slippage okay. as I call it so it will slide into position and then I actually go over the top again with it so that you are wetting both sides of this paper so it cuts out um, you don't get any wrinkles then unless you you want wrinkles and you want to um, to put it in but it flattens out really quite simply like that and you end up with a crystal clear surface Absolutely. matte surface to to work on so really really easy and then you can start building on that now you have said something that I think is such an important thing working the paper from both top mm -hmm. and bottom that's what helps not to wrinkle it does because if I want this to stop bending now I would turn it over and just wet the back and then allow it to dry naturally but to be honest um, I would just put yeah. that to one side and it'll uh, it'll flatten out when it's yeah. dry anyway so in fact I've done one here and I haven't yes. wet the um, the watercolor side, and it's and it's flat. It's a little yeah. bit, so just yeah. flatten it out. That's absolutely fine. But that's the only way um, watercolor card uh, or any card will actually uh, cockle is because one side is wet, one side is dry. Obviously, one side. It's like when your hair's wet. It's stretchy, isn't it? Yeah. So if you have one side that's stretchy and one side that's rigid, obviously it's going to curl. Absolutely. So, um, and then I'm going to use, um, so this is from the Cool Pack, and then I'm going to use one of those lovely stencils, and uh, what colour did it, where did that, there it is, right in front of me. <laughs> this is one of our matte paints, and this is called Olive Waistcoat. It's a beautiful olive colour. Okay, you can just about see that. All right. Yeah. Did I say Olive Waistcoat? Yeah. 
<laughs> did. Because earlier today we called it a wish coat. And you are using the palette that you that uh, that you that comes with it. Yes, that's right. So this palette has got a shiny side and a rough side. Okay. You use the shiny side because um, this is the, the side that uh, won't allow anything to stick on it. And it's an actual um, byproduct of our manufacturing process. Because it keeps the rubber from sticking to each other ah. in transit, I thought, that must be an amazing, yeah, you know... Yeah, non-stick. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. So, so what I did was, uh, I tested it out, and um, it's absolutely superb because it won't let anything stick to it. Um, so I've used it for clay, um, also uh, polymer clay, paper clay, and also, um, what's it called? Oh, resin, our resin. Yeah. So it looks, it's really good for resin and also making skins as well. You know, out of your thick slap it on. You can right, actually put a skin on there yeah. and then when it's dry, you can peel it off and um, you get it's just fantastic and then it, all your paints they just wash off and reuse it the one thing I've found that does won't easily come off is um, our gesso um, <laughs> so it just shows how good our gesso exactly, is exactly yeah so um, that you have to sort of give it a bit yeah. of a, a scrape off the gesso by the way if you need a uh, good quality gesso we have got indigo blues uh, gesso uh, and it comes uh, black and white and the details are coming on the screen and uh, 120 mil from each one of, of them 9.99 the price uh, i'm just going over this because um i'd forgotten that i'd cleaned my sponge and it was wet so <laughs> i've just gone over the top of that to give me more definition there we go. So I just wanted a little bit of texture going in there, just putting that in water. Okay. But really, it didn't need that much going on for it. Yeah. Um, it just adds a little bit more texture to it, should you like. And I quite like this way around, actually. Yeah, that yeah, I like, I like yeah. that way around. So you've got those in, in the sky there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just put that to one side. Okay, and I'm just going to stamp out these flowers from the flower head stamp. Absolutely adore these. Okay, so I'm just going to choose um, a black, a normal black. Okay, and this is Versafine. I'm going to heat emboss it with our um, clear, super fine embossing powder. Okay. Okay. Look at that, it stamps beautifully, doesn't yes. it? Just well, bl black and white looks fantastic, I, I it really does. Th yeah. it's, you know. But that's, I always think that the most beautiful stamps, they just black, stamping black into white card. That's just great, isn't it? Yeah. They stamp so beautifully. So on the next thing, what I want to do is I just want to show you that not only do these look great as flowers, but I've also you could have them coming in like yes, so. Yes, definitely. Three up like that. I've also done them so that you can have them looking like lanterns coming oh, yeah. down. Um, and also, let me just move that off to one side. I've done them as mushrooms. Oh, I love you that. See? Like so. And could you do two of them together so they are kind of a full circle? Uh, yes, you can. So you can put them together. Let me find one of those. Yeah. Or but oh, uh, I have and a then butterfly. Jill has actually made them into butterflies as well. Oh, that's so, so cool. So if I just take a little one there, let me take this side. Yeah. So you can make a little oh, butterfly there. Let me put it beautiful. down, and then you can see. So you can make it a little butterfly. I'd probably yeah. cut into this a little bit more. Yeah. So if you just yeah. Just come up like that. Someone saying jellyfish in my ear. I can't see that at the moment. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, there you go. Yeah, yeah it is like a cartoon yeah. jelly, the same in my ear. Yeah. So you've got butterflies there as well. So there's many, many different things you can do with them. Okay. Yeah. Now on this one, I have actually coloured them in with the Luscious, which I did this morning. But if you missed the show, I'll just quickly do want to show you what um, what happened with that. Okay, so what I've done is your your luscious come like this, yeah, in a big tub, and normally you get um, in 
um, pigment powders, you get a, t uh, a tub which is about five mil, which is about the size of a lid there, okay? Yep. Um, but I've actually given you 25 mil. Wow. And what you've got in here is really good quality pigment. You've got mica and you've also got a binder. Look at that. Yep. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely. And we actually mix up maybe a few colours. So you might get a duo tone, depending on which colours you go for. Some are duo tones, some have got triple tones in them. You know, that's lovely, isn't it? It, it is proper. And this particular colour is called Dragon's Eye. It's okay. a beautiful, beautiful blue. Okay, so in order to use, make this into a watercolour, I've used um, a wet brush, dip it into the powder, and then I'm going to go into a palette or on your, on your paint mat. Palettes are good or an old plate because once it's dried out, you can reconstitute it. Okay. So you yeah. will become like a watercolour paint afterwards. That's right, that's right. But it does have a binder in it, so you don't have to worry about it coming off at all. Okay. And as you see me mixing it there, you might see um, some of the gold coming out yeah, as well. Yeah, we can see. Because we've put, um, this is a duo tone, so we've just put gold in this as well. And then you mix it until you've got the consistency of single cream. Wow. So you just add clean water. And yep. can, isn't it lovely? You can see it moving Absolutely. and just more colour. Mm. And you can see where, you know, you, these have dried out because I've just obviously stored them. And all you need to do to reactivate them is just add water and let that water soak in. And then you can reactivate them. And then the reason why I heat emboss my flowers or mushrooms as these are going to be is so that I don't have to be that accurate with yep. my painting ah. and it will just and they are really um, reject that area there you can see that the pigment in there that is quite um, opaque well I would say it's that it opaque, has, yes yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I did some swatches well not swatches actually we just um, uh, did these this morning okay. because um, wow wanted to see it on black card. Wow! And I just painted those on. Wow! And they're lovely, aren't they? The way that I they mean, work the shimmer, so well. The shimmer, the, the luster, as it's well gorgeous. as the, uh, the, the st how it stands out, the, the colour yes, on top of it does. black. Yeah, and this one's peacock, if you're wondering. This one's raspberry. This one is fizzy pot, and this one is porcelain. They're gorgeous. Yeah, so they work really nicely, don't they? Mm -hmm. So I've just got some of this lovely green, which is um, going to come to me in a minute because I didn't label it. Um, I think this is Mermaid's Tail. There we okay. go. And you can see that it just mixes beautifully. Okay. So when I go over the top completely, it will reconstitute that blue underneath and it will yeah. mix really nicely. I'm just going to, and then you can just add more layers if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Now that blue, that dragon's eye, is just a little bit thin. So I'm just going to add a tiny, tiny bit more. And then I'm just going to put another little layer on there. Uh, and you can see how it pulls yeah. away from the black lines there. Because you have a uh, heat embossed them, right? Yes, that that's way? right. Yeah. That's right. And I could use the same colour on this one, like this. Yeah. And then I'm going to come in with a darker colour. Should we go with a bit of this olive yeah. waistcoat? Yeah. Oh, Here. Oh no, olive waistcoat was the um, the paint. This yeah. is um, Look at that. olive grove. Yeah. I yeah. have to say that I love. Um, I, l I love uh, the, the idea of making a uh, gorgeous, um, how you call it, uh, jellyfish. Because uh, my, my sister is an oceanographer, and so it's her husband. And of oh, course, right. the, 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 I mean, although she's a physicist, she's not a marine biologist. Uh, they always, in the center where they are, uh, they work. Uh, they obviously they talk about a lot about um, the different jellyfish and how important many of their species are to the seas. So yes. I think I, whenever I see jellyfish, I see the beauty in them rather than, you know, I the must admit, I, I, I like jellyfish as well. Yeah. I do. They're kind um, of magic, 
magical. That like kind of fairies of the uh, the the uh, fairies of the sea. I kind of call it. But you don't want to upset them. That's the whole. No, way. no, that's right. You don't want to sting from them, do you? <laughs> so what I've done here is I've just actually stuck them on, um, and I'll, all I'm going to do is just what I've done is I've actually taken uh, the other part of the sheet, and I've just used a tiny little hole punch on just to give us a little bit of dimension, so that you can just add some circles here there and everywhere and it just gives you that some have got two pads on some have got one pad on and they're not really thick pads so you know it's not going to bulk out too much but this is going to go in oh. my journal okay yeah. um oh by the way um I know I, I forgot to tell the production team and anyone this morning. So, uh, <laughs> but don't worry. Um, um, what I'm going to do is, um, anybody who buys anything from the show, um, I will obviously go in whilst they're packing all them up and I'll just slip in a couple of um, uh, cards or finished projects that I've done into oh, cool. the odd package. So yeah. you never know, you might end up opening your package going, oh, what's mm. this? And it'll be just a little card yeah. from... For me, so, now. I feel like it might be a journal page or yeah. something. Oh, so, cool. I mean, and that yeah. will be from K. Obviously, that will be from me. Has yes. not, nothing to do with it. Uh, no. But uh, will be. But imagine you at home. You may be one of the lucky ones. But we will. You will not know until you open that box. That's right. Yes. Because <laughs> I sent. Uh, I sent a little. Um, box off to um, to someone, and um, they'd actually ordered something at the same time from. Uh, from us and they were like oh this isn't my order but it was actually a present oh, so. yeah. Yeah. well it's right so what I've done is I've also taken my ink pad I think I'd probably use this one which is the Versa Claire that's fine Claire paradise and I've literally just wiped it down the edge okay. of the, the page there and then I'm just going to take a pen you could use this is um, a, a drawing pen but you could use any sort of black pen, Socorro's. This is a Jane Davenport one. Bought it because I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just very pretty, isn't I it? I know, it is, it is. So I'm just going to do some wobbly lines coming out of the mushrooms here. So I don't want them completely perfect. I don't want great big, you know... Mm. The other thing that they look like as well, I think I have I have to say it, thanks to our director, is do you know those Jap Japanese or Chinese beautiful umbrellas? Oh yeah, you the, know the, they're kind of so, uh, kind of you know yeah parasol. the parasols yeah parasol yeah it's kind of uh, I just like it. So the more wobbly your hand, I, I suppose, the better really. Yeah. So I quite quite like the fact that they're not they're not true to form they're stylized well that's what I'm sticking yeah. to anyway <laughs> oh, and it's a them. nice sort of just do them with any any pen or you can just stick oh, I love you know, that. pieces of uh, black card on if you wanted to like that and I was going to do some more but I actually quite like the way it is at the moment no more fuss and bother over that. You could put uh, some words on or whatever, but I'm just going to leave it like yeah, that because I want beautiful. to show you lots more techniques. Of course, actually. shall I let you re uh, reset yeah, that'd and then be great. Perfect. Thank you so very much. Thank well, you. <laughs> well, Kay uh, resets for her next demonstration. Let's remind everybody of this beautiful, uh, this brand new stamps today. They did sell out twice early on the previous show. They are now back on ex an extended uh, stock. This patch from the 23rd of September. Not so you won't have to wait long at all. Look at those beautiful, I love the frames. I love the spe uh, speckles as well. I love the beautiful organic uh, leaves in there, hand drawn by Asha Marquette. And I love the way that everything works together. I love their background, that can, you can create backgrounds with this. You, I love the way that you can bring them to life by cutting and layering with beautiful papers. 
One of the things that when, when as a stamper uh, you, would, you will know is that you want um, beautiful images, but beautiful images that they have been deeply hand cut uh, into the rock, well hand etched, or no, no hand etched, no, that, let's rephrase it. They have been hand drawn, then deeply etched into red rubber, then trimmed to perfection. That's how I should be, that's the right order, Paula. Uh, right, so, and this is what Indigo Blue do, beautiful imagery beautiful stamps the quality of them i absolutely adore this piece this one is by kerry uh, thank you so much to the whole design team uh, the indigo bluebirds because they are extraordinarily talented designers and you can see it here those butterflies how the main flowers can be Yes, they can be uh, mushrooms, but they can be as well butterflies. And look at the background. Those stamps, you also are getting them in here. So this is the versatility of this stamp set. You can also come, come and do what about doing a tile, a ceramic tile. This, I think, a varnish, I'm putting that in the kitchen and is absolutely perfect. You also are getting in this bundle the uh, collector's edition. Uh, now, this uh, stamp is sold out individually, so if you want it, the only way to go is for the with the book, big bundle. Now, you have got a flexibly option uh, to payments of £21.48 with a saving of £5 or one of payment of £42.96, again with a saving of £5. 650 one is your item number and of course you have got this beautiful inspiration and remember you might be one of the when you open your parcel you might have got an original K that K will or, organize it now of course we have got in here those gorgeous beautiful papers that K herself did Re they have been incredibly busy uh, they did sell out but now they are now back on extended uh, dispatch day from the 21st so basically Monday uh, right you have got two options you have got the warm which I'm gonna show you now and is the one that features the I'll put it horizontally so you have got the gorgeous uh, pinks and yellows in here now you have got six designs you are gonna get two of each so 12 in total 70 GSM which means that it's the perfect thickness when you want to attach it to other car stock when you want to mount and layer when do you, you want to decoupage it when do you want to mold it over the box and you know when you don't want thick papers for that you want that thin paper with the vibrancy of the colors with that kind of hand element hand finished kind of element but of course really printed so in a thin paper now this is a cool option so you remember again you are going to get six designs two of each i love that you're getting two of each because otherwise i can't ever decide to use any right uh so you remember 12 sheets in total for 9.99 with a saving of three pence i love this one this is my favorite but i like this one as well because again you have got the c side here and i and then you have got a gorgeous one and you have got the base elements. I love that layering collage. Remember, this is reproductions of Kay's original artwork that has taken her a long time to put them together for you. So you can have them. And of course, they will be dispatched from Monday. 004204 is your item number. Remember, warm and cold uh, cool are your uh, options there. For you now slap it on maybe is a perfect uh, item to put in with the papers because that it will give you the perfect matte surface to first apply to the card or paper of box that you're doing then put the, pa the paper on top and then give it a final coating with this now this will be completely and utterly matte and this is one of the products what I love from indigo blue that I have got always in my stash because it's truly completely matte it has got that fluid eat it into the body uh, so it means that the spreading into thin coat is very possible and very doable you are getting two bottles of 100 ml so you are getting 200 ml in total with that fine nozzle that means that you have got a nozzle that but you also have got have got an upside down this you know you know feature in here as well so ready always to flow it comes as well with a foam brush uh, so that means that you can spread it uh, nice and thinly 9.99 is the price for the trio because it's a duo of the of course matte uh, slap it on and then the foam brush in there 9.99 is a price 433644 is your item number now i'm going to go downstairs to pick up something that i just dropped so apologies for that 
It's just I dropped something. Oh, how rare. How is rare? I'm upstairs now. Yeah. I need to go up the stairs so you can see my face. Otherwise, I'm just like there. Anyway, uh, right. So we have got here the amazing, uh, you know, um, well, the mixed media matte paints, beautiful colors, intense colors. Also, the fact that they will go on to fabric. Look at the intensity of them. Look at the beautiful nature of those colors. Now, you have got three different options. In all these options, you are going to get included the uh, mat that, of course, uh, the, the, you know, the paint mat that Kay was, was, uh, was talking about. The colors here, the first option is wind, wind, windry, windberry pie, uh, then burning bonfire, postbox rest, and town hill steel. That's the one. Then we have got the second option, uh, then we have got rouge. This one I know that there's rouge. I know that the, then is porcelain. Then we have got ta medium ta medium beige, and then fine and warm tan. Yeah, this is definitely a tan one. And then we have got bubble gum, I believe. Uh, I'm a marshmallow. I mean, marshmallow, banana custard, olive coat, waistcoat, and then a park lane. Uh, I just I don't know, mix them up a little bit, but you know, you can see the colors. And if I put them like this, it's more important also sometimes to see actually the beautiful the colors that you are getting there. 999 is the price, 396132. And of course, you can check out everything on the website, including those stencils, the dinky stencils, the three by three inches, that you can see them there. Now, you're getting four of them, you're getting, of course, the gorgeous uh, airmail, bubble rub, coats, and tire. Uh, and of course, do check out those luscious pigments. Remember, yeah, you're getting three parts, but there is a lot of different options. And remember that these ones have got mica pigment as well as a binder. So when you wet them, then they will become like proper watercolor paints that you can mix. And it will have that beautiful mica pearlescent nature as well as the high pigmentation. Don't forget about the gesso. You are getting two two pots there, the 120 ml of the black, 120 ml of the white, and look at those beautiful uh, reviews in there as well. And if you want to slap a sum of paint frog crafts, well, you know, you have got a beautiful watercolor card, super smooth as well as true black. All works so well with uh, case products and including the mixed media uh, paints, right? Are you ready? I am, yes. I've jumped ahead a little bit because I want to show you lots and lots of different ideas Perfect. okay so i've got some pink frog watercolor card and i've got the lovely flower um, stem stamp from the um bordering on the ridiculous yes it's this one bordering on okay. the ridiculous yeah. this one i love it yeah they really love it so i've got two colors here i've got first fine claire purple delight and i've also got summertime okay. and i'm just putting this stamp in the oh, two colors love that now I know that you have these thank goodness finally we've got these on her channel yes um, <laughs> been dying for these for yeah. ages um, because I absolutely love these they ink pads. are amazing I aren't really, they? really do and um, the colors are superb yeah um, and I, I just think they work really beautifully and, and this is it's one of those things that look when you're sampling like this just having that perfect marriage of color and definition from the ink but then mm. the beautiful artwork from your stamps is just again it's just perfect to create quickly and easily backgrounds it or is for, just for really really simple and i'm not worried about um uh, color transfer at all because um these are quite sturdy and you know you will you will just yeah. um, get the most beautiful colours coming through. Okay. Now, that is so simple, isn't it? Um, on this one, I've actually just yeah. embossed it as well. So you can <gasps> see. Oh, that's beautiful. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at yeah. that. It's so Ooh. simple, isn't it? So simple, yet it looks fantastic. Absolutely. So you've got two ink pads. I always say if you're stuck, stick to two or three colours max, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, this is the frame from our flower heads here. This is this big frame. Yeah. And so I've actually stamped that with the same ink pads onto the same paper. Okay. okay? Really, really simple. 
and then enlarged this shape because this shape came to me quite small. Yeah. So I've enlarged this shape so it fits these beautifully. They fit nice. in there superbly. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. So you can imagine that in there or this one. Mm, yeah. But what I planned is you have same colour inks embossed and that will fit in there beautifully <gasps> as well. And then Love all it needs that. is a word. And that that's the cleanest and simplest <laughs> you're going to get from me. Very simple. I love it. I absolutely love it. But it's really, really lovely, isn't it? Just really easy to do. And just a little... Uh, I did have one print, uh, printed out, but anyway. Um, so that's one idea, OK? This is um, a favourite paper of mine. Oh, it's my okay. one of mine too. I mean, it's just, yeah. that's the artwork as it is. It doesn't need much more than that. Mm. Um, you may want to put, you know, the odd yeah. thing in here, just off to one side. <gasps> and, and I think that's, that's superb. Yeah. And you can just colour this, maybe. Yeah. Colour it in that sort of colour to match the background. Yeah. And you've got a really, really simple, beautiful art journal page or a card or a piece of canvas or whatever you want and I think that is just simply beautiful if you wanted to inject a little bit extra glint and glisten you know you could actually print up oh, one I of see. these yeah. squares and place this on here it might go it fits beautifully in there as well That's so it might gorgeous. go in there put it in straight yeah. or it might just go off to one side with a word in it so again, really, really simple and easy. Okay, so that's another one. And then um, I showed this this morning. I love that square stamp. Yeah. That one comes on the flower head stamp right. here. You yep. can see it's here. Yep. And um, I've always wanted to do a stamp that does uh, colour swatches, and I think this is perfect. And especially if you do it on watercolour card, because then you can actually paint it with all your different colours. There we go. So. Yep. Oh, there it is. There That's we are. It. I'll just turn it around so you can see yeah. that. There we go. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you can make up a little book um, with all of your uh, paint samples and your luscious samples Definitely. so you know exactly what you've got. Um, okay, so that's another idea for you. And then I have, bear with, so this was the one that, how long have I got? Them. Oh, we've got 10 minutes, got loads of time. I could do a full project then. Yes. Okay, so this is the one that I did earlier with the slap it on, and you can see that it's, it's, it's not terribly wiggly, is it? You know, it's yeah. quite flat. It's not quite dry, but, you know, it's good enough. Now, I've got to show you the bordering on the ridiculous. I love this stamp. Well, I love all of these, actually. Yeah. I just put all my favourites on on because uh, Asha did send me lots and lots of drawings and I just went through all them going I love this I love this I love this right I'm gonna have all my favorites um, all on one so this is a fantastic stamp I really love it so again let's go with um, different colors so yeah. this is warm breeze oh that's a be I, one of my favorites do you like warm breeze I it is mine breeze. yeah I love that tealy color this is the medieval blue and then I've got a final blue, which is Paradise. Okay, so there we go. So isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> Love that. <laughs> it's just Love beautiful. That. Okay, but the great thing is about this, again, carry on stamping, okay, with your three colours, like so. And then, if you, yeah, great shot that. So you're going over the top, and you're going to leave a little break. I'm just going to tip this up, yeah, ever so slightly, so that you're going over the top, and you're right. just leaving a little gap. I'm yes. just exaggerating it there, so mm -hmm. you can Perfect. see. Yeah. Okay. So you're leaving a little bit of a gap, and then you can see that you get okay. a continuation. You don't want it butting up completely. Yeah. Okay. I love that one. Yeah, this one, I, I know what we always say, but this, this is a perfect example of, of a stamp for, for a background, but also for cars for men. Yes, absolutely. I, I just love it. And I think as a block like this, yeah. I think it looks absolutely superb. 
and hopefully I can find the piece that I actually have cut out. I'm going to go this way round, like so. Yeah. And that is just gorgeous, isn't it? So let me just find the final piece. Um, I did one here in black, so you can see in black. And all I've done is, in the gaps, I've just put maybe a yeah. few lines just to really make it pop. And then in this one, I've actually cut them all up, like so. And then this one, you can do lots of different things with. OK, so we can go borders, like this, which gives you a beautiful border. Yeah. A All frame, right. a perfect frame. Beautiful frame. And this will go in at the same time, like oh, so. Look okay. Look at that. Or these can actually, a smaller square, I have got one somewhere, and you can interlock these. I've cut them out so you've just got yeah. little mm -hmm. sticks sticking out there. And you can bring them in closer. Whoops like so okay and then you can come in with your flowers which will fit beautifully in there as well so because this is the plainest piece of paper you're going to get in the yep. in the pack but if you wanted because I wanted you to really show this yep. pattern here um, you could obviously use um, a patterned paper on the back and then when you put it onto black card as well, that's going to really make it pop. But also, what I love is the fact that you can actually colour this as well. So we can go with our normal paints. Should I um, pop some orange in here? Okay. okay. Yep. So let's get my paint mat out. So everybody's got um, the paints ordered. You get a paint mat in with your order. Yeah, okay. which, is, which can be also for ink pads. Would we be able yes. to blend them in? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Just don't um, don't heat it up because okay. it'll melt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but if we were to buy this separately, it cost a fortune yeah. actually. But because it comes with the rubber, it's it's fantastic. Yeah. We just um, you know just costs us for, to employ one to cut it up and pack Absolutely. it and everything. So I've got literally, did you see, about a grain of rice yeah. from the um, burning bonfire, okay. which is a lovely bright orange. And I've put quite a lot of water with it um, because we've got such strong pigments in here. And again, it's so really, really easy just to paint because I've actually clear embossed this and it it pushes the water away from it. So you would just do your odd colours here and there. And I know, I think Carolyn did a fantastic card uh, with all of this coloured, all in oh. one big piece, oh. actually, rather than a border. Okay. And it'll look fantastic. It's actually at the front on, the, on your far left. Oh, my far uh, left. Here, at this one. Yeah. 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 Uh, which looks fantastic. Here we go. Yeah, that's the Isn't gorgeous. Isn't that brilliant? Absolutely. So she, I think she's actually stamped it onto a patterned paper and then she's actually coloured in some. Lots of work gone into that. I think that's gorgeous. Beautiful. I love that. It looks like a tapestry as well. Sorry? It looks like a tapestry. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's gorgeous. So you can have lots of... I love... I'm into colouring in at the moment. It just... It's true what they say, you know, it does calm the mind. You know, when you're yeah. having a, a rough day and you think, oh, do you know what? I just uh, I just want to switch off. I want to get off the roundabout. That's my favourite saying. Stop the roundabout, <laughs> I want to get off. Yeah. Um, this is just so nice just to sit and just colour with your pens or your paints. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just really lovely. So you can imagine this coming to life and coming together onto here. Oh. Um, also, you can use them as stems as yeah. well. So you can actually, let me take these off again. You could tell I've had a lot of playing with these. Yeah, I've had so much do. fun yeah. with this. And I, in actual fact, we have, um, I've actually used them on, um, 
on our dirty weekends. We had our first one back this weekend, actually, and um, we. Uh, Oh, obviously, COVID safe yeah. and all that. We all were wearing visors. I saw that. Oh, I yeah. um, we all wearing visors yeah. and everything. It was really good fun. It was lovely. Um, yeah. Small class sizes, loads of space. It's great. <laughs> you could spread out. <laughs> so got two meters. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fantastic. Aww. So these, actually, that looks like a animals yeah head, doesn't it don't you think yeah, to eyes it looks like a llama stylized llama or a cat or a cat <laughs> i can't always see a cat obviously <laughs> uh, <you know>. but <laughs> so you can obviously make them into nice stylized flowers which is one of the projects i was going to do but run out of time mm -hmm. um but that's also a nice thing to uh, to do and these cut down quite thin as well actually i'm just going to do this one because this one's really nice mm -hmm. as well so oh, look at that. I love that. I so love there's the loads you can do. Oh, it's so versatile. Yeah. As soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, there's loads of things I can do with that. There you go. There's yeah. one that's a bit more oh, in yeah. keeping that, that, yeah. with that one. Yeah. So you can see there's so much you can do with this. You can cut these down to small borders. I still think that looks like a llama. <laughs> yeah, it um. does. <laughs> I know what you mean exactly. Yeah, I it know. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, just put a little. Little eye yeah. there. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I see a cat, but then I'm obsessed with cats. So, <laughs> Right, so that's. Uh, I'm going to hand back over to you because we've only got yeah. a minute left. Okay, but that's some it. ideas that you can Thank play you with. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, okay, that you have been so inspirational. <laughs> and, of course, it all starts with uh, the beautiful uh, artwork from Asha, but for Indigo Blue. Now, you can get yours. Remember, it did sell out twice earlier, but it's back on extended delivery. This uh, this patch day from the 23rd of September, which is a long to at all to work it's next wednesday so not even a full week to wait for uh, the dispatch day now remember you have got the flexi buy option which means that you can spread the cost in interest free payments now okay when are you back oh beginning of october with a really big fantastic amazing one day special oh so we you will have to tune in for that i think it's around about the second of october Second, third of October. Well, do you stay tuned? Check the the website for more details. And thank you so much for joining us for this hour. And stay tuned and here at our channel. Well, after the break, we had Anshant Don Login, uh, a studio light winter charm as a, a one day special. Final look at that, and then from rags to riches at five. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda.
Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on the channel? heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, newsletters, competitions and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hello and good afternoon. Well, it's going to be a very, very exciting hour because we have a brand new supplier with us, not in the studio. In fact, we are going to join Christelle Goose, hopefully I've pronounced her name correctly, uh, live yeah. via Skype, and she's in France. Hello, Christelle, are you there? <laughs> Hello Alex, hello from France. I'm so happy to be here with you. Oh, bless you. Um, yes, uh, first uh, I want to apologize in advance uh, for my mistakes uh, and my typical French accent. Uh, my English is not uh, very good and I'm a little bit nervous. So. Uh, but I have a secret uh, that I will share with you. My uh, English teacher uh, is with me today and, uh, <laughs> to help me and she can translate Hello. for me. <laughs> well, first off, Christelle, can I just say I think your English is fantastic. I cannot speak any French, even though I took it as an exam however many years ago. It's, I've <laughs> lost it. Um, <laughs> what is your English teacher's name? Oh, Christelle also. Oh, we've got two Christelles. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is lovely. So, Christelle, can you tell us a little bit about your crafting background? Yes, sure, sure. Um, I just uh, would like to speak about the beginning. And uh, I started to embroider when I was a child with my grandmother. And uh, she showed me how to sew a button. Uh, to embroider very simple stitches like a stem stitch, lazy daisy stitch, uh, to decorate a pocket, a bag, and uh, later I couldn't find kits uh, which design that I liked, so I started uh, creating them, and a few years later I created my company uh, 15 years ago. And how... And, um, Oh, Sorry? And how do you pronounce the name of your company? Because I won't do it justice. <laughs> yes. It's typical French. It's un chat dans l'aiguille. It's a word joke, un chat, the cat. 
uh, and un chat dans l'aiguille, it means uh, a cat in the, the eye of the needle, you understand? Yes. In French, the name is a chat. So it's a joke name. <laughs> oh, I like that very, very much indeed. Um, so you have brought to us some beautiful, beautiful kits that we're going to show everybody at home. Um, the first one we're going to start with is our lovely glasses case. And we do have two different color options for you, which is the rose or the blue. Um, can you tell yeah. us uh, a little bit about them, what we'll find in the kit? Yes, sure. In uh, all kits, uh, you have uh, uh, the printed fabric. Uh, it's uh, allow It's uh, um, all is made in uh, French. I work with the uh, four collaborators, and uh, all is uh, is made with the uh, French supplies also. Uh, so in this kit, you have the printed fabric. Uh, you have the needle. You have the trait. And uh, all is explained in French and English with the full instructions. So you have all steps for each stitches. And I give you the color. I give you the name of the stitch mm -hmm. and how to do with picture and explanation. And uh, uh, if you have some sew, uh, like for this model, I, I explain also how you do it. Excellent. Hey, I tell you what, Christelle, it's re very nice that the instructions are in both English and French because it might help yeah. us remember our French. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but at, uh, at the beginning, everything was only in French, but uh, we sell uh, now all over the world, so uh, we, uh, we need to uh, translate all explanation. Uh, that's why now it's in English. It's a mix of French and English. So I keep the name of the stitch in French, yeah. but, um, but you have the translation of everything. And um, what sort of stitches will we find in this kit? Alors, in this kit, uh, you, can, uh, you, you have a stem stitch. I'm going to show you one after. A stem stitch, shen stitch, lazy daisy stitch. It's a so beautiful word. I love lazy daisy stitch in English. In French is point de bouclette. <laughs> and uh, we have spider web stitch. Uh, what else? Some uh, feather stitch uh, and, uh, and some more. Um, a button wheel stitching also. Uh, and so what sort of um, experience level do you feel uh, you need to be? Could a beginner do this? Yes, yes. This one is for beginners. Yes. Um, it's, uh, it's very easy to do it. I'm going to show you, to explain you some stitches. And um, uh, you, you just need to follow the instruction and uh, to understand how it's happened. And uh, it's very easy to do it. Yes, it's a beginner level, but you have some work to do. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, what I'll do is I'll give the details for our viewers. Um, now, everything is going to be dispatched from the 24th of September. You can choose between the lovely rose or the blue. The rose is currently in the lead at the moment. That's everybody's favourite uh, for now. It's twenty-three pounds and ninety-nine pence. Item number is seven four seven one two two. Then we've got another case, uh, a lovely embroidered case, different shape, and I see you've done a different fastening for us. Closure. Oh. Are you there, Christelle? Did you ask me something? Oh, no, I did. Sorry? Did, did the sound cut out then for you? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yes, yes, I'm okay. I didn't understand. You asked me something. Sorry. Oh, no, that's <laughs> okay. Uh, I was just okay. saying this has a different way to close the actual uh, case. Actually, you have the good technique. Uh, I do like you, as you, the same, uh, with a, a small ribbon, and you turn around the, uh, the button, and everything in this is uh, providing the kit also, the small, uh, the small button yes. uh, with the small cordon. 
Wonderful. I very much like the, the squares. The, I very much like the design on this. Oh, thank you very much. But uh, in fact, uh, you can see that the stitches are very simple here also. Yep. Uh, but the mix of colors and the mix of uh, um, a design, uh, um, uh, uh, it gives you a, a good result. <laughs> it does indeed. And again, what you've done for us is, is you've put the a pattern already on the beautiful fabric. Uh, you've basically given us everything that we need in the kit. Yes, you have everything inside the kit, yes. Uh, in fact, uh, you just have to find a, a, a seat or a sofa and to sit and start your kit. <laughs> Excellent. Now, um, out of interest, what type of fabric is this? It's a mix of cotton and linen. Um, ah. And it, uh, it's provide, you say provide, provided uh, uh, from a French manufactory or so. Lovely. Well, I tell you what, Christelle, um, everybody's liking it out there. We're already approaching a quarter of the yeah. stock gone on this beautiful little case. It's £22.99. pence. Triple one zero three nine is the item number. Uh, then we've also got some pouches. Uh, again, we've got two color choices. This one is the rose, and this one is uh, the blue. And um, I think these would make very nice makeup bags. What do you think, Christelle? Yes, sure. <laughs> yes, we have enough place to make your makeup inside, sure. And now, you can put also your mask or a lot of things. So you, you can put also your words and you, uh, uh, your accessories you need to embroider if you want. Now, um, would you say you need to be a little bit more experienced with this one because you have to put a zip in? That's right. You need to, uh, you need to, uh, uh, to know how to uh, sew the zip, but it's not very difficult. You can do by... Uh, how do you say ma uh, machine a coudre? Uh, sewing, machine. sewing machine, or you can sew by hand also if you prefer. Excellent. Does it give detailed instructions of how to put the zip in? Yes, sure, sure. In English also. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so, if you would like to go for this at home, it's twenty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence. Again, you're choosing between the beautiful rose and the blue. Item number is nine six seven seven one eight. Uh, Christelle, what we're going to do now is just give you a moment to set up because I know you're going to change the camera angle and I'll just okay. poodle down and oh I have one question though to, to ask you before you go um, when we get to the lovely doll cases how do I pronounce the name of the dolls? Ah, the name in French is Matryoshka <laughs> Matryoshka Okay, I'll try my best, yes. I'll try my best. <laughs> Thank you, Christelle. Uh, so we will come back to you shortly. Uh, just give us a thumbs up when you're ready to go. Okie dokie. So um, uh, moving on to, isn't she adorable? She's so lovely. Um, uh, so she is joining us live via Skype. Um, now we've got this lovely little kit. Um, it's the cat kit. You do get the hoop also. Isn't it so sweet? Look at this with the little whiskers. It's a nice thing to do, sat of an evening, you know, in front of the telly. Let me just open this out so you can see. You do get the needle. You do get the needle and uh, that lovely little pattern on there. This is a good one if you're uh, traveling as well. I mean, I know not everybody's going by public transport but if you're a passenger in a car something like that it's portable it's very portable and um, also you've got the threads uh, by the way these are DMC quality threads in all of the kits and you do get the cute little hoop um, you can either showcase it in the hoop hasn't that been finished off so nicely also lovely you can either showcase it in the hoop or of course um, you could frame it and use the hoop for your other projects but anyway you do get that hoop um, look the little flowers it's absolutely adorable little 
little bugs flying around. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence. 494624 is the item number. Again, another reminder, everything's going to be dispatched from the 24th of September. Then moving along, we've got a really nice needle bookcase. Now, I have to say, I, I adore this shade of pink. You're getting some felt in with it, but this is a very nice shade of pink indeed. Have a little look at, again, the fabric. Don't want to lose the needle. Um, but oh, no, don't put it down, Alex, because <laughs> uh, I will lose it. But have a look at that detail. Have I got this the right way around? Mm. Oh, it sort of goes in all sorts of different ways. You've got your sewing machines. There's phrases on there. That's really nice. You've got a little measuring guide. It's very pretty, isn't it? Now, let's have a little flick through the actual case. All right, already uh, nearly a quarter of the stock gone on this kit. There you go. You'll even get the ribbon look. Um, but isn't this so sweet? Look at this little scissors little safety pin really cute there you go look at this very nice you've got the thread uh, not the thread the uh, well you will get the thread you've got the felt there's an adorable pocket isn't that so gorgeous for the kit then it's 26.99 item number is 528432 Oh, now, Meg's just said, can you remember the doll? Okay, M Matryoshka, hopefully, ish. Right, you've got three colour choices, turquoise, beige, or the pink. Um, you've been shopping ahead for the beige, actually. Let's see. Uh, again, you, you'll need to put the zip in, but full instructions are there. Um, yeah, I think we all need to get over our zip phobia. Not saying everybody has one, but some people go, oh, zips, no, don't worry. I'm sure you'll be able to do this. Uh, oh, now Meg's just said, I like that, these would be nice scented. Yeah, maybe put some lavender in. Let's look at, oh, it's got a little bit of tissue paper in, but um, just so you can see the capacity. But it's really sweet, isn't it? Look at their eyes. Look at the little print on the eyes. Look, isn't she adorable? In fact, let me pick this up because it really stands out on the fabric. Look, that's been printed on. Isn't that so sweet? They are gorgeous. So once more, you get absolutely everything that you need. You just need to decide, do you want to go for the turquoise, the beige, or the pink, or all three? It's £27.99, 182397. Now, if you do want to ask Christelle any questions, because as I said, this is her first time on her channel, a brand new supplier, uh, or just literally say a uh, crafty hi, then send your questions to studio at hachanda.com or pop them on our Facebook page. Now, <clears throat> right then, I think, uh, Christelle, are you ready to go? Yes, I'm ready uh, to, to show you some stitches. Lovely. First off, uh, are you working from the cat kit? Is that right? That's right. I'm going to I'm going to show you two stitches, the stem stitch and the shen stitch. Righty ho, we'll pass over to you. Okay. Yes, you can you can start the stitches. Okay, okay, sorry. So, uh, before uh, starting, um, I need to show you how we use the hoop because we need a hoop of 10 centimeters. It's very important to use it and give you the good tension. Uh, you uh, take this part, yes, this part uh, behind the fabric. I'm going to show you. Up. And uh, uh, the one with the metal part in front. And you screw to fix the fabric. And the good tension is when the fabric is a little bit loose. Okay? Yes, I see. So, okay, so now uh, we are going to see uh, this uh, sweet uh, Felix au jardin. Uh, in English, he's uh, the cat uh, in the garden. Uh, so, uh, we need uh, to check in the kit which part and which stitch. Uh, uh, which color we are going to use. So first, uh, we are going to see the 
contour du chat. Uh, in English, it's outline of cat. And the, the name of the stitch is stem stitch. And the color is nine to six. So uh, you need now to, uh, to check the good color, to find the good color. You take your chat color and you have the color here. You can see this is the blue one. So now I'm going to show you how to start without any note. Okay? Excellent, yes. Okay, so um, you have in the kit, you have six uh, threads in one big one. So you take just one like that and you fold you fold the two extremities you you fold the threads and you pass the two extremities inside the needle eye wonderful why well, it's better no note huh? yes yes voila okay so now um Yes, um, I'm going, because of the light, I can do it directly on the model. If we have time, we will see after. So I'm going to embroider on this fabric, okay? Yes. So, you emerge your needle, and you go back a few millimeters after you turn your hoop, and look, this is magical. You pass under the loop and you can start now. So we are going to start the stem stitch. You emerge your needle. It's working from left to right. Huh? Right. So uh, you emerge your needle and very important, you hold the thread under the left a thumb. It gives you the good direction and the good tension. Then you go down at two or three millimeters and you emerge your needle half away of the stitch. This is the first stitch. Then now for the next stitch, you go down, taking the same distance. I don't know if you can see the distance between the thread over there? Yes, absolutely the perfectly. You can see. Yes. Oh, perfect. So you re-emerge in the last hole and you can do more stitches. Alors, in fact, it, each stitch should be the same length and begin half way along the previous stitch. I'm going to show you now how to make a perfect angle. So you just have to make the last stitch. Yes. Okay, you go down. You pass under the preview stitches on the back. And you emerge your needle at the end of the first line. I see. And you go on and you can do the next line. So I'm going to finish this line. Is it okay for it's, you? Uh, Christelle, seriously, this is absolutely perfect for your first time on air. You are doing a, an amazing job. So perfect, thank you very much. <laughs> so let's, let's see now how to stop the stitch. Uh, it's very important to finish a perfect uh, uh, work without any knot in the back. So you go with your needle on the back at the end of the line, you turn your work and you pass under stitches, previous stitches. The best is uh, do it, uh, I don't know if you say that in English, three times? You yes. say three times? Yes. <laughs> okay. And now you can cut it. This is a stem stitch. So in this, uh, in this 
small project with the CAT. Uh, we have a lot of steam stitch. Uh, we have all the outline of the CAT. Yes. Okay. And um, you can start where, when do you want, uh, when do you, where do you want, sorry. And uh, you can see here we have the ingle, so you can use the technique I just show you. Wonderful. This is for the stem stitch, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um, Christelle, what we'll do, if that's okay, is we'll just pause there so that I can do a recap of the kits for anybody that's just joining us, and then we'll rejoin you for the next, uh, the next stitch you're going to show us, if that's okay. Okay, okay. Perfect, thank you. Wonderful, we'll be back with you in a moment. Um, right, so for our lovely cat, isn't she adorable? Right, for our lovely uh, cat kit, we are a third of the stock gone. Uh, you, again, you're gonna get everything that you need. Uh, you've got the beautiful fabric. It's a lovely little mini project, isn't it? You've got the beautiful fabric with the um, uh, pattern printed on. You're also going to get the threads, and then you're going to get the hoop, Obviously the needle and then full instructions, but as I say a third of the stock has gone. It's really gorgeous If um, if you're a beginner, this would be absolutely fine. It's 1999 item number is 494624 Right something else that's been very busy is our needle book half the stock has already gone and we're only 24 minutes in I mean just look at this you will even get that delicious color ribbon uh, I'm going to call it a rose madder that's what I've decided um, <laughs> and then you've got all of these beautiful stitches I love the old-fashioned sewing machine there's a little bobbin on there or a little thread um, uh, then you've got your scissors safety pin how adorable and then opening it up there's a little pocket you're going to get the felt that piece of felt and then there's another pocket here and then at the back gorgeous look at that and there's the felt also uh, 26 pounds and 99 pence five two eight four three two is the item number our dolls are doing very well these are very very busy okay the beige where has it oh, the beige option has sold out it's gone that quick um, so but bye I did not realize that was happening good grief um, we'll we'll sort this out in a moment but we have still got some aqua have we excellent still got the old oh, turquoise that's what I meant um, but nearly a quarter of the stock has gone here don't you just love their little faces there you go again just so you can see the capacity obviously we pop some stuff in there just to pad it out but it's um, a very very nice doll bag so a quarter of the stock of our turquoise has gone and then nearly a quarter of the pink has gone so look at the detail that we've got she's holding a little heart we've got the love oh yeah we've got the love there's all of those lovely little stitches all the way around she's got hair um, you know that's been stitched a little lip she's got rosy lips Isn't she gorgeous and of course if you've got your own materials once you've got the pattern you could make some more but go for the kits themselves they are very very nice indeed you've got the zip you've got the threads oh there's even bit, a bit of metallic in here you know I'd go for that <laughs> I love my metallics each option is 27 pounds and 99 pence 182397 uh, you can give us a call to place your order 01733602000 or you can check out on the website at hachanda.com. Right, uh, Christelle, are you ready for the next part? Yes, sure, I'm ready. <laughs> Lovely. So now I'm, I'm going to show you uh, the chain stitch. Uh, this is the same word in French. Uh, le point, ah, not really, le point de chaînette. Okay? Yes. Okay. So would you like uh, I show you in the kit or would you like I start to embroider now, just now? Um, in the kit would be fantastic if, if that's okay. All right. No problem. With pleasure. So now we are going to do the le point de chaînette. Ici, point de chaînette. And the color is 3733. So 373. Three, three. It's the pink color. It, it's the pink color. So we are going to uh, 
to start with the threads, uh, you do exactly the same. You fold your uh, threads in two parts. You pass the two extremities in the needle, and uh, we are going to start the, the chain stitch. So the chain stitch, so sorry, I'm going to fix my, my thread. It's a very difficult word for me to say threads, threads. <laughs> no, you're doing a grand so, job. <laughs> so I'm, I pass under the loop and I start the chain stitch. So this stitch, uh, chain stitch is worked from top to bottom. You bring the thread to the front. You keep the thread under the left thumb. Um, something very important. If you need to remember one thing of this lesson, it's this one. To keep the threads under your finger give you the tension and the direction you need to go. It's very important. So you are going to take the needle uh, on the last hole, on the same hole, and you emerge at few millimeters after. And the next, this is the first stitch. Now for the second one, you do exactly the same. So you take the needle to the back inside the loop, throw the same hole, and you continue like that. Is it okay? Can you see it? Yes? Oh, yes, we can see, definitely. Uh, perfect. So this is a very simple stitch. Um, at the beginning, uh, the stitch can be um, uh, have a different size, but with the practice, uh, it will be the same. So don't worry, just practice a little bit. Yes. Okay, so we are going, uh, we arrived, sorry, at the end of the line. Okay. Okay, so when you are, okay, one more. Oops. And for the last one, it's very easy to stop. Uh, you just make a small stitches outside the loop. You turn your hoop. Just slide between, between, sorry, the previous stitches three times. One, two, three, and you can cut it. So let me show you now uh, the steam, uh, the steam, st uh, sorry, the chain stitch on the little Felix in the garden. Uh huh. Here, but you have in each kit on this one also. You can see in the blue, uh, the blue, uh, the blue one here. Yes. Can you? See? Yes. Yeah. And uh, um, I love this stitch. It's very simple to do it. Uh, that's okay for the chain stitch. Perfect. Thank you, Christelle. Um, so again, we'll just take a quick pause while you get ready for the next stitch to show us. Um, yes. Marvellous. All right, we'll be back with you shortly. Uh, again, just to show you this lovely little kit if you are just joining us, uh, because I've, we've got our little cat here. So, so, so we've seen the chain stitch now, and then on here, as Christelle was pointing out, uh, it, I tell you what, this has been finished off beautifully. Let me show you the back. I mean, this is a thing of beauty, this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Full instructions, you will get the hoop which I always like. Uh, you've got all of those lovely DMC quality threads, uh, plus you get the needle with it. You've got everything raring to go. 19 pounds and 99 pence, 494.624. Then uh, our pouch kits, because we've not seen these for a little bit. Our pouch kits, you've got the rose or the blue. Uh, rose is still in the lead. Uh, it, you do get the zip to put in um, and as Christelle said earlier on you can either machine stitch the zip in or just hand stitch it in and there you go let me show you the blue one uh, now in the blue you do actually have a little bit of a metallic thread nice little bit of a ah, look at that lovely pink I like that that's really pretty isn't it so there's some little hints and again take a look on this side it's very pretty. 
Um, so it could be a little makeup bag or for your toiletries or you could even keep threads in there, any threads that have been left over from the kits. Uh, uh, just a reminder again, it's going to be dispatched from the 24th of September, any of the kits. And it's 26.99. Go for either the pink or the blue. Item number is 967718. Then we've got our embroidered glasses case. Um, I mean, it could be anything really, but again, you can see. I love that she even gives us a little label on there. That's sweet. Uh, and it's got the little button. You get the ribbon, and you can do it up like so. But again, take a look at the absolutely glorious stitches that you've got on here. And the other side, it's very, very pretty indeed. You get everything you need. Um, the instructions, they're in uh, English and French, so you might want to practice your French. <laughs> uh, £22.99, pence, triple one, zero, three, nine. And 40% of the stock has gone. And then we've also got our... Uh, mandala case. The fabric is gorgeous. Shall I, I'll open up the blue. Look at the... Oh, have I got the needle catching it? Oh, hang on. Uh, let's open this up. So, there you go. And it'll be really nice and easy to put together. I do like the design. It's very pleasing, isn't it? Um, let me pop the needle back in. Don't want to lose it. Oh, she says, now I'm not going to be able, I'll, I'll pick it up later. Um, <laughs> but here are the designs. Isn't that good? And they've got the nice drawstring, so you just pull it closed. See, uh, this I need for my sunglasses. That would be really pretty. I do have a favourite. Guess what one it is? Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, then, now, let's show you the drawstring on the blue one, because I did it on the pink one earlier. And there you go. Nice and easy. Uh, each option is £23.99, 747122. Um, now, we're, go we're going to come back to you, Christelle, but I just wanted to tell you that we've had some really, really lovely compliments coming in from our viewers. Um, Liz and Colette have both <laughs> said you're doing an amazing job and your English is brilliant and they love your design. So there you go. You had nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. So, thank you so much. Oh, are you yes, there? I, I can speak, oh, sorry. Oh, yes, of course, yes. Um, I, 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 I'm so happy, thank you for everything. Yes, yes, I'm so happy. And uh, I'm very enjoyed that uh, uh, all kids, how is it Good. That everybody like the kids, I appreciate. Thank you very much. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, not at all. You are welcome. Uh, so we're going to come back to you live via Skype. What stitch would you like to show us next? Uh, so we are going to see now the fly stitch and the spider web stitch, and um, that stitch is you can uh, see on the uh, pink pouch and the matryoshka also. So I'm going to. Uh, to show them on the white fabric, uh, and uh, I will show you the results on the on the models. Okay? Yes, perfect. Hello, let's go. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, good. Okay, so uh, in the um, in the uh, the pink push, you can see the fly stitch just over there. Uh, this is a, a, a light, uh, the color is light uh, green. Uh, so uh, just to have a look on the technical uh, sheet, uh, we can see here, point de plume, en ligne, 772. So if you don't know how to do le point de plume, you just have to check in instructions and you can see the same for all stitches in French, in English, and you have also uh, the picture we explain you everything. So now about the color, you take your color chart and you can see the color 772, it's this color. So let's start. I take my needle um, and uh, we are going to start. So. Just uh, the first things you need to do is to fix the threads 
on the back on the back sorry of your uh, fabric uh, i hope you can see because the fabric is white and the thread is very light if you can't see i can change just tell me okay um will do we're just asking our director Okay. Um, he, yes, would you mind, our director has asked if possible, would you mind changing the colour of the thread? Yes, just let me, uh, five seconds please. <laughs> Not a problem, I'll, I'll, we'll just have a look at these beautiful pouches here in the studio and uh, uh, give us a thumbs up when you're ready to go. Okay. And so this is our beautiful pink option. Again, you can see all those beautiful... In fact, that's the bit um, that Christelle is going to start working on in a second. There we are. And then we turn it around. I love all these different flowers. Makes me so happy, makes me smile. And then here's our wonderful blue option, like so. Uh, and this one's got a bit of a metallic thread in. You will get the zip. Uh, you've got the beautiful material uh, with the pattern on and you've got the threads and you get the needle. Uh, just while we're waiting for Christelle, let's have a little look through the instructions. There you go. There you go. Yeah, there you are. Okay, so uh, we think Christelle is ready. Uh, are you, oh yes, I can see you're ready. Ta uh, uh, feel free yes. to carry on. <laughs> okay, so we are going to fix the threads. Up on the back of the fabric. So now you just have to bring the threads to the front. You keep the threads under the left thrums and you take it to the back on the other extremities, okay? And you emerge the needle to the front again on the intersection. So you pull the threads towards you. It just covers the design. And now you take the needle to the back here at the end of the small stitch you can see. This is your first fly stitch. Perfect. So you can, you can do one by one but you can continue also. Let's go. You emerge on the left side. You bring your needle to the back and you emerge on the same all of the straight stitch. Like that. Yes. And you can do the last stitch to fix the fly stitch. So you are going to do three more. In fact, you can see, you can continue stitches one after the other. So you can, I'm going to show you example after, but you can do smaller or bigger according to the draw. It's a beautiful stitch you can use inside the leaves to make the veins. You say the veins inside the leaves, I think, huh? the veins? Oh, the veins, <laughs> yes. Yes, so this is the, the last one of the draw. And I'm going to show you how to stop. You can see it's very quick to do. Huh? Yes. So you finish the stitch, you go to the back, and you pass under previous stitches, one, two, and three times. And now you can just cut it. Yes, voila. So what I want to show you, uh, in fact, on the uh, uh, in the pink pouch, you can see them huh? on the uh, inside the leaves. Yes. But I would like to show you us, uh, also on the matryoshka. It's the same stitch here. But the, it's a little bit different, but the technique is the same. And on the needle, uh, not needle, uh, on the, uh, how do you say? Glasses. Glasses case, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Here, you have also the same stitch. Yes. Fly stitch. Okay? Perfect. 
Um, are you happy to go straight onto the spider stitch? Yes, just right now, if you want. So I'm if that's going okay. to start. Okay. Up. I just uh, place my hoop. I love this spider web stitch. It's so uh, so cute. So um, I'm going to take my thread. Up. Alors, I'm going to fix the thread. So let me show you. Um, this is a, a stitch which allow you to fill the circles. Okay. So we are going to emerge the needle here just to fix up the threads on the back of the fabric. And we are, um, we are, how do you say, making, we are uh, preparing the base of the stitch. So the base is five thread stitches. So you go outside, you, uh, sorry, you emerge your needle outside and you go down on the center. And um, for this stitch, you need a odd straight stitches. Do you understand what I say? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a uh, odd, odd five or seven. Here right. it's only five. Right. So, yes, this is the base. So now you need to bring to the front the needle between two straight stitches. I just made it as close as possible to the center. Mm -hmm. And we are working in a counterclockwise direction. So you pass the needle over one stitch and under the next one. You turn your hoop and you pass your needle over, under, over, under, and you turn your hoop. And as we have an odd number, each round is different. So let me just make about, I think, uh, perhaps three rounds more and you will have the result of this stitch. Uh, so be careful for the tension. Don't pull too strong. And you need to turn until the circle is filled. Yes. Ali. Okay, so probably, uh, let me see, probably two or three more. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I love these stitches, it's so pretty. Up. Alors, in French, the name uh -huh. is Le Point d'Araignée. Uh, it's a spider, Araignée, spider. Ah. This is uh, the name in French. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Spider web. Okay, so you can see now when mm -hmm. all stitches are covered, the, uh, the previous stitches. Okay, one more, and it will be ready. I'm ready. Uh, I will be ready. Okay, so to stop it, you just have to take the needle, go to the back. Yeah. And you turn, and always you need to pass under three previous stitches. Mm -hmm. And you just have to cut the thread. And I'm going to show you some more stitches in Matryoshka, if you, you want to uh, to see. Perfect. Uh, again, yeah. what I will do is uh, I'll just do a very, very quick recap while you get the doll ready, and we'll be back with you. And when we come back to you, you'll probably just have about five-ish minutes, if that's okay. Okay. No well, problem. Okay. Wonderful. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, so on here you can see, look at that, those lovely little stitches. That's quite a pleasing stitch, isn't it, when, when it comes together. Uh, it's very, very nice indeed. Again, you're looking at the pink option of the lovely little pouch. I'll just turn it around. Uh, or you can go for that lovely blue option. 
you get everything you need, even the zip, full instructions, and even the needle. It's £26.99, 967718 is the item number. Some more things for you to add to your basket. Uh, the um, embroidered glasses case has now gone limited. Yes, green's on the screen, as Yanis likes to say. Uh, £22.99, pence, triple one zero three nine. And then another quick reminder of the needle book. And it's really nice. You, and you also get the felt. Uh, it's £26.99. pence. Look at that. I love the design on these um, needle books. 528432 is the item number. Uh, just while we're um, letting Christelle get set, we've got some seven day savers. First off, we've got some threads. Some of them, it basically, it'll, it'll be an assortment of colours. Some will be sort of your, your solid colours and some will be variegated. Ten ninety nine, and you've got an £11 saving. 016747. And then, uh, hasn't this hour absolutely flown? We're going to finish with a doll. Remember, we've already sold out of the beige doll, but we do still have this turquoise one. Oh, so they're different. I've just realised the turquoise one is holding flowers and the, um, the lovely pink one is holding a heart. Ah, oh, cute. £27.99, 182397. Uh, right, we think Christelle is ready. Are you, are you ready to go, Christelle? Yeah, so I'm going to show you some spider web stitch on the Matryoshka. You see, uh, we have uh, some stitch uh, spider web over there, over there. Uh, you can use it for the center of flower also on this uh, model. Um, um, on this model, Travo de Dame, uh, you can see here also in the pink, uh, with the pink color. And you can small sometimes the same stitch but smaller you see yes so uh, it's a very simple stitches huh? you can do okay it's okay yeah all good oh, yeah. okay so uh would you like to see another stitch now or it's okay uh yes another stitch would be great okay perfect so uh, i'm going to show you now the lazy daisy stitch uh, this is uh, um, this is uh, um, le point de bouclet. So you uh, to start, you need just to emerge your needle and fix your threads on the back. You pass on the loop, and we are going to do the fly stitch. So uh, the lazy daisy stitch. Sorry. So uh, you need uh, to, uh, to keep the threads under your thumb. You bring uh, the thread to the front and you, you take the needle to the back, throw the same hole, you see, and emerge at few millimeters after. And you just have to pull very uh, sweet, how do you say, doucement, very sweetie towards slowly towards you sorry and make a small stitch so you can do one and you repeat from the center to outside so you go on the same hole you emerge your needle at the end and you fix it with a small stitch outside the loop. It's a beautiful stitch, very easy to do it, and you can make some little flower. So I'm going to make the third one, like that. Up. I fix this one, and I go back on the center and I made the last one. This is the lazy daisy stitch. I'm going to fix it. You go on the back. You pass always three times. 
and you cut it. So you can see it's very accessible. Um, it looks like tiny when you, you, you see uh, the model, but uh, in fact, when you do it, uh, um, it's, uh, you can see it's very, you have a, a very good effect uh, with a very simple stitches. Um, you can see here the small flowers. Oh. Uh, you can do, yes. Beautiful. You can do bigger also. Look at this flower, so beautiful. We saw all stitches. Mm -hmm. This is a spider web stitch we saw. Yeah. Around the spider, a chain stitch. Yeah. And around the uh, the um, the lazy daisy stitch. Yeah. Sorry. And stem stitch and lazy daisy stitch. So with a very few. Uh, stitches you can do a very beautiful accessories wonderful do you know what Christelle we've only got about a minute left uh, well two minutes and we'd love to actually see you to say goodbye are you okay to yes run round and yes yes, let, yes. yes see you in one minute <laughs> <laughs> bless you uh, so we're just looking at the um, lovely mandala case uh, oh let, let me put the blue into shot as well so you can have a little look here uh, so, £23.99, pence. you get everything you need. It's got a really nice little drawstring uh, also. Let me pull this. Very nice and easy to do. What a lovely set of kits. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, all dispatched from the 24th of September. Um, hasn't it been such a lovely hour it's been so lovely if you do want to place your orders uh, give us a call 01733 602000 or of course you can go to the website at hachanda.com I've loved seeing all of these stitches it's wonderful um, so Chris Christelle Christelle thank you so yes. much for joining us live via Skype thank you so much Yes, thank you so much. I'm so happy and I hope you have enjoyed and understood uh, everything. And uh, I also hope uh, you want to try and test my kids. Uh, maybe we will see uh, each other here on Ochanda and hopefully in UK first uh, when it will be possible. Wonderful. Um, take care of yourself and thank, thank you, you very much for all. Oh, bless you. Thank you. And the other Christelle. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, no, wasn't that wonderful? She was <laughs> joining us live via Skype. More after this. Uh, coming up next, we have got the Studio Light Winter Charms One Day Special with the lovely Lou and Paula, followed by Rags to Stitches, then Clever Prints One Day Special Launch. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. 
We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. Over time, I want Craftoscope products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanda. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I'd like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Well, hello, how are you doing now? Of course, uh, this is the hour for the final look at the one day special. However, we have got some very, can I say the word sexy? Uh, sexy, yep. happy hours, because they're very sexy. And uh, I know you're saying, well, paper and card, is this sexy? Yes, it is indeed, because it's the foundations, and this one is pearlescent. Now, it's, you know, I'm gonna be honest, you want something sophisticated, luster, this is the car for you. It has got the most subtle, and you can see it just gently there. Um, pearlescent shame. It really is the most, uh, you know, subtle pearlescent um, I know, you are saying, Paula, I cannot see it through the screen. Well, trust me, uh, there, oh, there it is. There it is, there it is. And and you know what? We have got somebody in the studio. And so we say hello to Lou. Lou, you do like this car, don't you? I love this. I had to borrow of it. Yeah, you did. I've got it to use, actually, because I thought, I want to see what it's like to use, because I just think it's got such a lovely soft sheen to it. It is, and mm. it's the ice gold. It's from Jelly Bean Crafts. Now, 300 GSM, and you are getting 100 sheets in total. Now, let's look at what is a happy hour deal. That means that this deal, look, well, rather, this one, uh, 22 pounds saving, you are only paying 13 pounds and 99 pence. Now that saving, that 22 pounds saving will be only here until the end of the hour. So make sure you check out your baskets for them because that will make sure that you will get this bargain and it is bargain galore. So there you have it, 58 minutes. You have to check out your baskets for the happy hour deals. So make sure that you do that. Now I have seen this one before and uh, you know what? 
it was much more than this at the price you are paying. You are only paying 14 pounds and 99 pence. You are saving 18 pounds, which means that you ha you are paying less than the, the money you are spending. No, you're paying less than you are saving. So that's the way. So better than half price. Look at that. Now you're getting 12 by 12 double sided. I believe this is printed on soy ink, which is a true representation of the colors. Of course, it is more uh, ecological. The papers are actually card because they're 200 GSM. And you are getting 144 sheets. Now I'm going to show you here this one, for instance. Can you see it has got encapsulated glitter? Now you can see that one has got, not all of them have got it. Some of them are printed on pearlescent paper. And you can see that if I put it there, you can see the shimmer in here. And also you have got some of them that are printed onto canvas. But not only you are getting a 12 by 12, you are also getting the uh, 8 by 8s, the same patterns but reduced in size. And then finally, you are getting the uh, 6 by 6, 6 inches by 6 inches. Now, 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price. You are saving 18 pounds. But remember that saving of 18 pounds, it's only here for this hour. 034251 is your item number. Then, we have got stamp sets. Now, we have got here uh, 99 stamp sets. Now, they are by personal impressions, and they are a fabulous company that have got the most gorgeous, uh, you know, well, I have worked many times with uh, personal impressions, and they work with different designers. For instance, Lindsay Mason, who is a lovely lady, who is a very talented and also, what I love about these stamps is they are photopolymer, so made in the UK, designers uh, from the UK as well. So you have got Lindsay Mason's designs in here. You have got also um, beautiful, I, lo I love this one, look at that. Look at the little, uh, you know, I love the teddy bear as well. And then you have got sentiments as well in here. Sorry, just a little bit weird to hold them like this. If I do like this, probably you will be able to see them better. There it is, that's better. And then of course, you know what is coming. I'm kind of going very, you know, softly spoken because we have got, oh, look at that, the cutie. Um, right, and we have got more as well. So 10 uh, stamp sets, uh, animals and sentiments, 99 individual stamps in total, 13 pounds and 89 pence, a massive 37 pounds saving. So if you want to go for that, do you know what to do? Check out those baskets. Remember, this is a happy hour deal, which means that you have got 55 minutes to check out those baskets and get those amazing savings. Now, I, this is the first time I see this car stock and I really, really like that. Now this is 300 GSM and you are getting 80 sheets from Jelly Bean Craft. Now this is the black and white collection, 300 GSM. And remember, so it's construction card. So you can create something like this. Now I think it's gonna do the camera a little bit of a weird thing because of course the dotties and lines, the camera does not like. Uh, that's not right. Uh, anyway, so you can see the, the lines in here. You can see the uh, ginghams, and you can see there is many, many more. But I kind of just put it in the, I'm trying to look for the line. There it is. That's a slightly better, isn't it? A uh, larger dots. Uh, now you can see, of course, at home, they're not going to play with your eyes. Is the camera how it kind of grabs it? 16 pounds is the saving. You are only paying 13 pounds and 99 pounds. I remember that is a happy hour deal. The deal will finish at the end of the hour. 067166 is your item number. Now, now, super smooth card. Now that is something glue that we need, all crafters need it, don't we? Yeah. Super smooth. Super smooth. Now you are getting 300 GSM. Uh, you are getting 160 sheets in total for wow. 13 pounds and 98 pence. That is phenomenal value for money. You are saving eight pounds. And this is one of those things that I personally would uh, just stock up. Uh, 617168 yes. is your item number. And this is a board of the different techniques. Perfect for stamping, perfect for construction to create your blank cards. Perfect for, you know, watercolors, uh, alcohol markers, paintbrush, salt in. There's so many different ways of using them. And of course, we will be seeing uh, Lou using them. Now, if you want to pull prints from your um, 
you know, jelly, print, uh, jelly press and things like that, you can do that. And then, hence why it's such a good thing to go for it because you are getting 160 sheets in total and you're saving eight pounds. You're just paying 13 pounds and 98 pence. And then finally, oh, we have got, and remember, it's a happy hour deal, so the price will go up at the end of the hour, so you have got 52 minutes to check out. And then we have got the phone tape. Now, a lot of people love their phone tapes because it's, you're getting 40 meters, so a long, a lot of it, a lot of it. It's almost half price because you're saving nine pounds and you're just paying nine pounds, 99 pence. But also, it gives, it's one centimeters or 10 mil in width. And of course, having 40 meters, it means that you find it easily. And that's very important to find. Where are the phone pads? You know where they are. 893-518 uh, is your item number. And I believe that there is about two mil, mil in thickness. They look, oh, uh, three mil, three mil. Uh, well, I was uh, skimping with uh, the, the millimeters. Anyway, no, never to do that. Right. And that is the happy hours of the uh, that we have got for this hour. Remember to check out your baskets. Now, I need to, well, the one day special, right? Well, the one day special is a studio light. It's all of it. Right, so we have got different elements. Now, if we look at the whole counter, this is the complete collection. The details are now on your screen. Now, if you're a Freedom member, is under 100 pounds. You don't pay PMP. 97 pounds and 44 pence, and you have that saving of 25 pounds and 83. However, you can also flexibly it uh, if you want it. If you are a Freedom member, you would pay 32 pounds and 48 pence today, and then the, the same amount next month and the uh, third month the same amount. However, uh, that is a complete collection. That has got that saving, but however. If we break it down, it carries forward individual savings, and those ones, they carry forward. So they, in total, you are actually saving 64 and 83 pence. Right, shall we, go, let's go and individually, let's go for the smaller bundles now. Here, a Studio Light Winter Charm Collection. Now, you have got two stamp sets and two die sets. Now, we have got the first option, which is a snowy, a snowy stroll. Now that is twenty-four pounds and ninety-six pounds, and of course, because this is Studio Light and based in the Netherlands, there is a extended delivery. It will be dispatched today from the twenty-fifth of September. Now, eight pounds saving. So remember that this is a snowy stroll. Then you have got the second option: is cozy and warm. Now you can see that you're getting beautiful dyes in here and beautiful stamps. And then you can see that is, then we are going to see cozy and warm at the bottom of here. So we can see all the gorgeous stamps. They are gorgeous. I love the snow, I love the, um, the snowflakes that are coming up dyes. They're really, really, really intricate. And when you look at them and you see them, they're actually embossed as well in part. So you can see gorgeous. a lot more in it once you've got them die cut. Yeah, and these ones are either icicles or stalactites. Oh, I'm not going in with this. Tights. No, stalactites. Um, tights. Tights are coming down. So these, these are icicles, but tights are coming down, aren't they? <laughs> We are just saying, just, just watch, the, watch in the rewinds, the previous one. I'm not going to say anything because, no. uh, yeah, anyway. So <laughs> this is the one day special and you have got the two options. So if you wanted to go, say, for both or one day specials, uh, so you would have a pound saving from each of them, so a 16 pound saving. Now, remember that because, remember, in the complete collection, you will carry them forward. So remember that. Now, here is the one day special, 527348 is your item number. Then we have got the next uh, bundle in here. And these gorgeous, you have got the very, I, you know, it's a signature, these paper blocks, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, they are. They're actually uh, really, really useful, beautiful. And they're really, really good to have because you, you just think, oh, I might need this, and it's in there. Yeah, I absolutely love this one uh, because, I, you know what, a lot of us, Christmas cards, 
are something that we do literally the last day before uh, oh, final, yeah. you know, uh, posting date. There are, there are some people who are organised, but I'm not one of them. Yeah, exactly. Do they, 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 they? I have been told they exist. I haven't met one yet. I haven't yet. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, I'm lying. Uh, Julie Hickey is one of those ones. Oh, who yes. Are very organized. Julie is very uh, organized. But uh, then you are getting, of course, those gorgeous dice. Uh, now, £17.97 is your price. You are saving £5. Remember that £5 saving you had from the previous one days from the other bundles £16 saving, an additional £5 saving, so £21 saving. 765178 is your item number. And why we are talking about the savings is because if you go for the complete collection, these ones are carry forward. Now here, the next one that we have got is the winter charm, from the winter charm collection, as is everything. We have got here the winter home die set, embossing folder, and paper pad. So this one I adore. If I put it here, just so you can see the embossing folder that cuts and embosses beautifully, and then of course it opens, so it's a card, so you can send it completely flat, and then do that. Rachel Harris, you are a talent. Now then we. Have we are also getting in this one this beautiful uh, car, uh, die that you have got kind of the tree in here. I love, love, love that is. And finally, you are also getting those gorgeous uh, 36 sheets in here, beautiful papers. And also then if I kind of move it, 36 sheets in total. And you can see how you have got elements in here that you can then cut, fussy cut, as well as these ones. Love that. £17.97 and pence is a price with £5 saving uh, in here. And 969641 is your item number. So remember, we were on £21 uh, saving. Now we are that, so we have got £26 saving if we carry them forward because, of course, the complete collection. Then moving on to the next bundle here. And this one has got gorgeous dice again, all unique. So there is no you know, they are not duplicates across the bundles. So here we have got an embossing folder with a die. We have got the die set and then we have got the paper pad. Now again, you are getting 36 papers in here and they're completely different, six by six. And then you have got those beautiful winter images in here with gorgeous, delicate, you know, crackle of ice as well. 17 pounds and 97 pence is the price and you are saving five pounds and look, Oh, I love us. Look at that, what you could do as well here. This is the die you are getting. So imagine creating beautiful pages like that. Oh, it's a sizable die as well. And then if I show you the sample as well, that here, the embossing folder that cuts. Isn't that clever? Uh, right, uh, if you want to go for this one, 17, pa 17 pounds and 97 pence is the price with five pounds saving. Remember, if we added that to the pot, the complete collection, we would have, we were at 26 pounds, so five pounds, and we are 31 pounds saving that we would have. 159733 is your item number. Moving on to the next one. So we have got the gorgeous, beautiful stamps. Adore the background, adore the writing. These ones are the ones that build those collages, those images in here. So £13.98 is the price. You are saving £4 in this one. Gorgeous, clear. Oh, look at that, the text on there as well. Gorgeous, um, beautiful imagery. And perfect for just going to put them in here so you can see that the sentiment comes in here as well. Now, £13.98 is what you pay for these two stamp sets. Uh, 957335 is your item number. And now, I believe that we had until now £31 saving with on the previous the bundles that we just seen. Now, we additional a uh, £4 saving, so that means that we are on £35 saving if we were buying every single bundle individually and, of course, those are the savings. Then we have got the final item here that uh, they are papers now these I need to verbalize uh, explain very well if you go for them individually you will get 8 a4 and a 12 by 12 however in the complete collection uh, you are getting four of the a4 and I think four of the 12 by 12 just to make it clear now that means that the the saving that we can carry forward is, is half of that it's just two pounds instead of the full four pounds but 
I would say that if you wanted to add an extra papers, you could add that and flexi buy it that as well. So this is the beautiful 12 by 12 double sided papers that you have got in here. They are absolutely stunning and you can see them with the beautiful um, the elements in here and then kind of going in through them. Oh, there we have it. And then double sided there. And then I'm going to show you the, two, the four by uh, the A4 as well in here. And then just going through here. And then I'm just showing one side, and then I'm going to hopefully show you the other side as well. Right, so remember £10.92 is the price for the set of 8 A4, 8 12 by 12s, and you have got that £4 saving. But remember that in the complete collection, you are going to get four of each, and therefore you are only actually saving £2 saving. Now, if you add all this, the complete collection. So the carry forward that saving. So we are on 30, is it, is it 30, uh, 37 pounds and an additional 25 pounds and 83 pence. So you are a freedom member. You are actually saving 64 pounds, 83 pence. Uh, so that is if you're a freedom member. But if you're not a freedom member, become one. Because you are saying it's a why not deal, which means that becoming a member of a freedom member costs you five pounds and 97 pence. Yes, the price has come down to celebrate five years of a hot chanda when, or when we celebrated. So five pounds 97 per month gives you unlimited uh, standard delivery for the month. And also on freedom discounts. So in this is one of those occasions that the discount you are getting by becoming a freedom member is bigger than what it will cost you the freedom membership so why not become a member now you can also flexify it so for instance if you wanted to add extra papers you could do that and flexify the whole basket there it is everything that you are getting and if you want to go for the complete collection 676-425 is your item number right this is, of course, the Studio Light Winter Charm complete, complete set. But of course, if you want to go for in smaller bundles, of course you can. It's just that the bigger saving uh, is, of course, in the full bundle. And remember, you could get all that dispatched to you for just paying today, just 32 pounds and 48 pence if you are a Freedom member. Right, and of course, stop me blabbing on. I know it's a lot of uh, talking, but we want to see Lou, the Master Lou in action. So take it away now. <laughs> I'm going to use um, just some ordinary paper. Um, this is the bucket for watercolour, but I will be using the super smooth in a minute. But I'm just going to show you how you can make a really simple landscape using just this um, set of trees. Now, we did use something similar last night and, and something similar, but I just wanted to show you that you don't have to just think of Christmas with this. This is actually a winter thing. So you could make it into your journaling. You could make it into... Um, into winter scenes because like I was saying before there's three months to winter it's not just Christmas so you know these go for a lot a lot of other uses so we're going to use this in a watercolor way so I've got the stamp there I've also got here um, a rather scruffy cloth no I'm only joking <laughs> that's actually clean that believe it or not yeah um, I can believe that yeah and I've cleaned my, I've cleaned my block look because yeah. uh, you couldn't see it before but now you can see where I'm stamping. That is scrubbed up, by the way. So I've got my watercolour paper and I've got um, a non-juicer archival. Okay. And by, by that, I mean it's not overly juicy. It's, 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 it's been a little bit, it has been yeah, well loved. It's well loved, but it's not, I don't want to re-ink it yet because it's just perfect for what I'm going to be doing next. And this is creating an outline. So the first thing I'm going to do is think, right, well, what size of um, card do I want? So to me, that's a little bit big because it's, I don't want it that big. I, I want half that size. So I always cut roughly at first and then I cut it properly you know when I'm, I'm ready because if I, I always cut first I can guarantee I get all my measurements wrong so I just give it a quick like cut like this so about there and then when I'm ready and I've finished it all I cut it down ready then so this is what a6 yeah, yeah, yeah a6, a6 yeah I would say yeah a quarter so, of an a4 yeah so I've got the a6 Oops. I've got some watercolours, I've got some koi pens, which are on the website. 
because um, I brought these. I think um, Lou Sims has brought them as yes, well. Yes, they're, they're beautiful. Absolutely brilliant. Sakura, aren't they? Sakura, yeah. And I've got some um, Janini watercolours from mm -hmm. Studio Light as well. Yeah. So I've just sprayed them to wake them because if you don't, you want you want a nice sort of flow with your watercolours, so I always spray them to wake them, and then by the time I come to use them, they're a nice consistency. So get me block, and then when when you've got stamps like this, it also means that you can change the shape. So if I wanted to create more of a rounded shape, yeah. I can just bring the the hill line down. If I want it the way it's made, all you do is just allow it to drop onto your block if you're using a platform even better you can yeah. just let it drop onto it so the first thing we're going to do is the skyline or basically the horizon where we're going to see oh, the, right. the, the hills in the distance and because I'm using a, a well-loved as Paula said ink yeah. block I'm going to get a better line um, and it's not going to be too heavy in fact shall I use that one or that one one's a bit that's one so I'm just going to go now the rule of thirds so I'm going to go two thirds of the way. Yeah. And it doesn't matter whether this goes a bit wonky because it's, it's mountains, so it will be wonky. Oh, well, they're still yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So what you can do then is, if you wish, you can then extend this as long as you want. So if I wanted some more to come down here, all I do is that, and it just brings it down. Okay. And then the same with that. If I wanted to bring some more down here I would just put down but at the moment I'm quite happy with that I'm not any color on it next I'm going to put some of this this line in now this line is a, quite a block so you might think oh well I don't want them sort of really that heavy so this is where you start to look at using your pens so I don't want a heavy line as such on these because you wouldn't see the detail that far away you would nearer yeah so I love I love that the stamps are beautiful. They are really, really useful. So really you get useful. the outline as the solid one as well. Yeah, you can use either or. So what I can do is then put that on there or on there. Yeah. And stamp over it like that. And it, yeah. that gives you the detail of Indeed. it, which is a really nice idea. Mm. Or you can use it as is. I remember that those stamps come as well individually if you want. They're part of the complete collection. But you, if you just want to go for those stamps, the details on the screen, £13.98. And, and they come with you also the background ones, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they all come together. I'm going to use more of a, a vintage feel for this. And I want to give it a sort of change it a little bit. And I don't want it too heavy. I should have put that. I thought it was on. I don't know why I did that. That's a proper school by error, that one. You so, are life on TV. Of course I it's going to happen there. Of course. Mm -hmm. So I've just put vintage on, vintage photo. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to. And it might have a little bit of black from before perfect, yeah. but it might also yeah. have other colours. And I'm not worried because I'm quite happy about that. I'm not... <gasps> And I have to say, I like the effect of the distress on acrylic stamps because it gives you that sort of beading texture it effect. And it, it just adds like kind of the, the furriness of the trees. The furriness is not the word, but the texture. It does, yeah. and it gives you some really nice little detail. Yeah. Now, what I've done there is, if you can see, I've pressed more on the tops yeah. and left the underneath. So if you, you, you look at it in detail, you'll see that the, the bottom you know, I've not got all the detail of it. Got my little yeah. stags there, but I can. That means I can bring some other colours down. So leave that there, and it doesn't matter if you get other colours on it because we're going to put some paint on it in a minute. So take that back off. And I like this because it's like playing with your stamps. It's like build a scene, um, build a colour. Do you know? It's um, yeah. it's you. You, what you want to do with it rather than it being sort of right that has to go there that has to go there you can put these anywhere you want i'm just taking okay. the color off because i'm going to introduce a little bit of green now. yeah and i'm going to use it with my pens now that's too bright for me but it doesn't matter because yeah. i'm just going to blend it over with my finger yeah and what i am going to do though is just take the little stags off because i don't want them otherwise it'll look like you've got 900 of them everywhere Give it a little bit of a spray, yeah. place it over slightly, slightly to one side. Oh, yeah, that kind of, yeah, that kind of elements there. So yeah. now what I'll do is the same again. Go back to my archival, 
just look at the top edges of the trees and just wipe off where I don't need. Mm. You'll get used to doing this. Yeah. Um, and it is a choice. That's it, perfect. So oh, yeah. mm. what you do need to think about is, have you got anything for the front? Have you got anything at focal point that yeah. you want? If you do, if you've got a little black pen, you can add these lines further. There's a whole range of different things you can do with this now. So with it being watercolour paper, I can use my pens and my paints as well. So for the background, because of uh, the sky, I will use, it's better to use a paint because with a, with a pen yeah. um, directly to that, you may get marks in it. But with watercolour, I'm going to get more of a flow. However, you can sort of paint, and I'll show you what I mean. You can put a little bit down on your surface and that you might have another colour, say, a light blue. And then you can mix the two. And okay. just... Now, if you let it sit, it'll sink into the, wa into the watercolour paper and it'll create clouds, almost. Yeah. Like. And it's not by brushing. You're not brushing yeah. it in. You're, you're just dabbing. And then if you use your finger as well, that'll help. Oh, not with green on it. Oh, actually, it's quite nice. Though. Right, look, got green on me where I just tap yeah. my um, stamp. Right. Oh, that look at that. So you've got this nice effect. So the next thing I'm going to do is just bring a little bit of um, definition. So you can use your watercolours, you can use your pens, anything that you choose. I've got quite a lot of colour in that, but I quite like that. I might put a bit of pink in it as well. Because mm. if you look at a sky, it's, there's so much colour in the sky, like pinks and yellows. Yes. Especially yeah, at absolutely. night. Absolutely, yeah. Definitely. And even, yeah, looking at the sky, even when at night, it's not pure no. navy. It's beautiful purples in there as well. And that's, that's the thing, because once you start looking at the sky and looking at all the different colours, then when you see these um, artworks and you think, why is that sky pink? It actually is pink, yeah. you know, the sky. Mm -hmm. So because I've already got surface already wet down there, it, when I put other colours on top, like you said about the bit of the purple, it, it doesn't look as stark. It actually blends in really well. So here I'm putting a little bit of the purple. Yep. So got a little bit here. And you think, really, on a sky that would be quite scary, but... It's already down on the surface, the I water, that, so yeah, yeah. now I can just... And you know, Leo, they are watching us from far away as well, from the USA. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, lovely to have you. Yeah, exactly. I hope you're really well across oh, the yeah. pond. Across the pond. Oh, I I yeah. So I've got some pinks in here, but I want to make it one of them really nice, surreal ones, and I'm going to go for a bit, because it's... When you get this pink colour, you'll get this luscious yeah. orange and yellow with it. Oh, and yeah. it's just, it, it makes you sort of look and think there's no way that's real. And it is. Yeah. I, it's, it's just mind-blowing at night, some of the yeah. colours. It's almost like a hint of northern lights, as my producer yeah. is saying now. It to is. My ear. And when you're blending it on, it, it looks yeah. really crazy, but you start to let the water sort of do its own little thing. And, and it actually yeah. doesn't look as mad then. But because you've already got the watercolour down yeah. and the water already on the page, it doesn't look as... Are, are these the studio light watercolours? Yeah. I mean, that shows that the, the quality of the company, that they look for beautiful watercolours. So the same will apply with the stamps, the yeah. same will apply with the papers. You know, and it's the company that also makes your, your line, doesn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, it does. I'm really, I'm really, really... Uh, Fortunate and very privileged, anyway. Yeah. So. I love that skies. It's, it's nice, beautiful. and you can add your own little bits to it later. Yeah. So you've you've got like a a nice. I mean, um, Janice is great for photographs, and you see some of her skies when she's photographed yeah. them. So I'm just adding a little bit more just to bring it down here. So we've got a purple. It's almost like it's night sort of fall, falling. Uh, yeah. Now I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. Quite like that. Right. I love that. You can add white clouds if you want, but I'm not always yeah. a lover of trying to paint clouds because I think when you try and paint clouds, they, all, they always go wrong. Yeah. So I use a baby wipe and sponge them on or take the watercolour away, and that usually works better for me. 
So the, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of colour on here and I'm going to use purple again. And the purple um, really is just to give it a little bit of a, yeah. a grounding. And all I'm doing, seriously, don't work on it. You just put a line underneath it and it's almost, it's like a shadow. So that's all you need to do. And you've got this little bit of a difference between that and that. I put the same colour in between these. So now it doesn't look like I've got that start because I can't stop those lines appearing unless I wiped off all the edges of my stamps. But what I can do is disguise them by having the colour of what's in the sky in the ground. I know yeah, that sounds a bit a strange, bit, yeah. but you will have that. It's a bit like, um, you know, flowers. If you, the colour of the flower will yes. be in the leaf as well. Mm -hmm. Like a red rose, you'll get red in the green of the leaf. It looks amazing. So, again, a little bit of colour. So now I'm just going to, where this was, bra um, the ink, the yeah. distress ink, sorry. All I'm going to do is just wet one side. And that sissing what you were saying about acrylic yeah it that really helps you here because exactly. it helps you to give a little bit of shadow indeed oh, and you know, the thing is like you know with those stands that they give you the outline and the solid there's so much like for instance if you're afraid of paint uh, painting like you do um you know with inks will we, you will achieve already really oh, yeah. lovely images oh you, these these you can do anything if i was to just do these in blocks of color it wouldn't matter yeah. because um you'd still get that fantastic effect so I, you know in the same respect yeah you can be as sort of experienced or not yeah. as you want you know and that's to me because that doesn't oh that doesn't look christmas just christmas yeah. it looks you know there's all sorts of seasons in there just going to put a little bit of brown in the green trees at the front because I think that will help it just bring those colours in now because if I want colours to look like they all go like a family of colours then I have to sort of mix them together so by having a little bit of the brown into the green I'm starting to do that so yeah. that really is I love the sky it's quite yeah. nice that isn't it quite nice oh. it looks it looks out of the sky i'm thinking not only a northern not northern lights but i am also thinking turner yeah oh, you I know love that... turner. I love <laughs> turner i love turner i love all those absolutely impressionistic nights yeah uh, where they're outside and looking at color and light yeah and it's only when you really do look that you actually see these colors that you think right okay yeah She's and right. by Turner, we don't mean the actor of a very famous Cornish sort of adventures of the uh, period drama. We mean the painter Turner. Yeah, the painter. <laughs> the painter. <laughs> all I've done here is I've added the colour that was on my mat. I've just sort of blended it all together because all these colours are already on. And I've just, and it sort of softened up the edge. So now it doesn't look as, can I say, as Christmassy. Mm -hmm. So, but what you can do then is if you want, it's a really quick one, this. It's, yeah. it's not... Um, it's, it, you can take as long as you want or as little as you want. You can actually use these as hills and little divots, if you want, like yeah. trees um, and bumps in the... You know, um, on, like, hill, hillocks, are they called or something? I'm sure they're called hillocks. Oh. They're like little bumps in Yeah. So I'm just going to put... I know it looks a bit strange, yeah. but I'm pulling the stamp out. Yeah because I don't want it as pointed. And I'm just going to introduce some like lines that... That's better. Ah, oh, I see, yeah. So, and just by stretching the stamp, I'm sort of giving it less of a mountain yeah. look and more like that. And then all I'm going to do is I'll get a bit of the brown that I had and then just blend this out a little bit. And this is a really simple watercolour that with just one set of stamps using very oh. little and it's just a bit of a play so all the things that i've done already is that it's using a bit of all them really but i think right okay i like that but now this is where we cut yeah. it all down because i'm not I, I don't want all that there i just want yeah. a little bit of yeah. that and then i'll get my um my newly washed oh it's that clean i can't see it <laughs> <laughs> you're a clean acrylic block isn't it yeah wash me acrylic block so I just want a little bit, so I'm just going to take that off. Um, use a guillotine yeah. at home or anything that you're happy to okay. use. Um, 
you should be doing it when it's dry, okay. not when it's wet. Because when it's wet, it's a lot harder. So now, I could put that there. I might cut a little bit of that off. But if you start looking at the super smooth we've got, yeah, and the pearlescent. Like Our director says not to trim it further. It looks very good as it is. No, I'm not going to touch it. But all I'm going to do is just show you with the, the cards that we've got oh, on. Oh, yes. The black and then card. you've got that wonderful... Yeah. So, watercolour with the super smooth and... Yeah, that would be lovely. By the way, super smooth. Uh, of course, we have got. Thank you for that. Oh, uh, no, it's Luke. wonderful. Love we that. have got a fabulous uh, happy hour. Now, the happy hours that we have got means that a, a the price will go up at the end of the hour. Already, a third of the stock has already gone. So, if you want yours check out those baskets and check out your baskets as well for their one day special and anything from studio life because this is the final look life look at and that as well now remember this is a smooth super smooth a pink frog craft a card a4 you're getting 160 sheets in total 300 gsm and so many different techniques from stamping and of course like lou was using you could use uh, with blending you can use it with a stenciling you can use it to for jelly plates as well you can use Use icing sprays, icing masks, you can bring in the paintbrush, so many different things, including the full bleaching that you can do. And that is one of my favorite techniques. So grab yours. Remember that you are only paying 13 pounds and 98 pence, saving eight pounds. And of course, 617-168 is your item number. Now, more happy hour deals that we have got for this hour and that was our alone is of course the winter rose paper pads. Now printed on soy, uh, soy ink is more ecological and a true to nature as well. 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price. You are saving 18 pounds, so better than half price. 034251 is your item number. And then uh, of course, personal impressions. Uh, you are getting 99 stamps in total, 10 stamps sets with animals and sentiments 13 pounds and 89 pence you're saving 30 pounds 30 pounds 37 pounds sorry I didn't get that right uh, you have got 21 pounds I 21 pounds. I don't know how much you have got. And you have got 21 minutes to check out those baskets. And then with that, uh, let's head back to Lou because yep. she can continue the demo. I'm just finishing this off now just because I'm quite happy with that. I don't want to do much more to that. But I just wanted to show you that although it, we're saying winter charm, that's got quite a nice like arty feel to it. It doesn't look so wintry. It looks quite arty. Yeah. Now. So, you know, you could change it, I could change it up and I could do, when um, when it's dry, I could add some more drawing in it. So, you know, you wouldn't really think that that was coming from that pack in the same respect that we can build up a card that looks yeah. like that from the same pack. It's, it's what you make with what you get and how you use it. We all use it in different ways, don't we? We all use our stuff in different ways. So, I've got this, I'm going to show you now, I love these these pads here and I love the only problem is it takes me ages deciding right which do I like do I like that or do I like that because I like them all but you do get two different ones this one and the other one is they've got a slightly different feel one's more um, blue and one's more green so I think this is my favorite one well I can't you can't have favorites yeah, can okay. you I yeah. like them all but um yeah so this one Okay, you can yeah. see it's got a lovely feel to it and if you think about um, basket weaves and colours like that and oh no I like that mm. see I like that right all I'm going to do is build a card with what I've got all right so that people if they haven't got too much equipment yeah. or too much stuff that they can just get what they've got and use that so I've got a piece of paper and it is good quality and you can stamp and anything on this you can cut it one of the nice things that they've done sorry I shouldn't do this but I have to show you that <laughs> is this is by Rachel and I yeah. think this is super that's she, gorgeous she's done a little folding with them stamped inside it oh, and I just I think see. That's stunning. Oh, Rachel is so cool. yeah, well, she's... all the design team, but Rachel, I always kind of uh, seem to pick up her samples because it's um, very, I'm very, very, very lucky, very lucky. Mm -hmm. Right, so I've got this here. So I go to my pad, um, and I'm, I think the reason why I'm confused is because I got two of them and not one. 
So anyway, um, so you can choose all sorts of elements you've got in here. The, do, the thing you do need is maybe some like different colours of cards. So if, if it was you and I was saying I was getting this at home, I would sort of get your bits and bobs of paper and think, right, well, which goes mm -hmm. with which? That mm -hmm. goes with that. That goes with it. So, and the super smooth and that, this paper, absolutely stunning with it. Absolutely, yeah. Because you've got that sheen and it's not too much. Uh, that's not super much. That, you mean that's the ice gold? Ice gold, yeah. yeah. the ice gold. It's not so, too much. It's just enough yeah. look at that. It's stunning. And uh, that, the details for that are coming up. Uh, that is a happy hour deal. Uh, £13.99 for 100 sheets, 300 GSM, and you are getting them with a saving of £22. That is a happy hour deal, which means that that £22 saving will disappear at the end of the hour. So what I've done is, I've just got... I'm folding one in half and I'm going to make a square card yeah. so uh, this is a bit of a challenge for me because someone said I just want you to try and use what you've got and I went nothing else no just what you've got and I was like all oh, right you you don't like me then do you um, and it was quite and I was thinking no I actually like that idea because if you've not got a lot of stuff at home it, yeah. it makes sense doesn't it so I'm just going to chop this down a little bit um, because the card is so maybe that big. Oh, I can't do this. Clive on air, isn't it? Yep. So chop it the right way. If you if you're at home, you'll have a guillotine, won't you? Okay. Like yeah, here. exactly. Oh, you don't have a guillotine. Not here with me oh. now. But I'll just try and do it on here. I'm, I know Mark will be going. No, don't do that. Right, chop that bit off. Yeah. Are you <laughs> still too big? A bit more. Oh, this is where it goes. I was saying to Leona this morning, this is like when my mum used to cut my fringe. Bit more, bit more. Oh, too much. Yeah. Right. With my big stamp block. Thank you. Right, there we go. That's better. All right. So, you see, there. if you don't like shine, yeah, then some shiny stuff is too much for you. In you know, this Yes. This is not over the top, well, is it? It's a sophisticated lasser, isn't so. it? Yeah. It's very much so. So I've got this, I'm going to pick the elements uh, now. Uh, and I have to say that uh, the cameras are, well, yeah, monitors will not reflect it as well, as no. beautiful as it is. No, it's, it some, it's one of those really sophisticated, you know, those Australian pearls or something like that, that you don't, you know, you take a picture and it doesn't quite bless it. Uh, I don't have it uh, here in front of me, so I cannot pick it up to show you, but it just has got a little bit of a shame in there. Yeah, it's a stunning, stunning colour. Right, I picked up that, but I'm actually liking this here because I like this this or uh, this feel to it and it's got um the oh what they're not thistles but they're like that um what are they they're like triffids mm. i don't know what they are um so i've got that i've got spruces i've got some ornaments okay i'm stuck there and um, all i'm going to do is just going to build up a little bit of a collage with it just lopped his leg off i can't have him oh this is a nice one yeah this is a really nice one. So, oh. By the way, we have got 10 minutes till the end of the show. Oh, nice one. Okay. I love these die cuts because they have got this, like, they are beautiful images yeah. that ready-made, just pop them out. A scrapbooking, would they work as well? Oh, perfect for them because you, sometimes it's just like little tiny elements that you need, nothing yeah. too big. Um, and these are just right. Here's one. I we'll love this one. Baby, oh, it's cold outside. Yeah. And I've I've got some bits of corrugated card and some bits of brown that I'm going to tear up. So some some of the words. And it's just going to be a a collage one. I like the idea of yeah. Um, just using what we've got. It's a bit of a challenge sometimes because we could all get our stash out, but then when we're using this, it's it's like no, just only what you've got there. So this is like an ornate frame as well. Right, so mm -hmm. I've chosen them. I might choose some more, I don't know yet. And I've got, I found this little bit here. That might or might not okay. work. So what I'm going to do is assemble this now. So I like that then. I'm just going you, to chop it down. You could use a happy hour foam pads for that attaching. Oh, I could. Okay. That'd be perfect for it. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. So I've got this. I've got my... Um, text and yeah it's like sing songy stuff i don't know what it is actually i think i think it might be that song we can't sing 
that's got bells in it. Yeah. Oh. So what I've done is just yeah. put that on there and I want um what colour shall I go with? Because I've got some browns happening in here and some green. So you could go with either brown or greens. Well when I say brown I'm I'm using vintage photo and I'm just going to put real small okay. elements yeah. to build up. You can just see it in the background. Very hard to see, but there again that's what I want. So I've got some words then that can go make sure they're the right way round to keep doing this. There we go. Uh, Excuse me. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You see how that changes the paper? Yeah, absolutely. Totally. Yeah. And it has that layer, the collage effect absolutely. that we like so much. Like your shirts as well. <laughs> I love your shirt. Thank you. We had a laugh before because uh lovely uh cat thought I was wearing a shirt that had Bob Marley on it. Ah. And I was like, no, it's not Bob. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, yeah like that's this is not Bob Marley, but, mm, you know, no. nice try, Kat, nice try. But, yeah, it just made me laugh. That. Who, who said that? My mother-in-law. My mother oh, I see. Yeah, she says, oh, are you sure you can wear that? It's got Bob Marley on it. And it's just, it just cracked everybody up. We're all laughing about it. Bob Marley, are you sure? <laughs> Right, so I've got a green pad here because I feel like I can put a little bit of green on it as well because there's some green in this. So just swapping out the green for the yeah. brown. There we go, that's nice. Just that layer now has suddenly made that card very much greener. So I've got that. I'm just going to get a tiny bit of foam and I'm just going to add a bit of the green to the edge yeah. of this paper. Cause it, as soon as you do that, you make the paper more of that colour. So what do I mean by that? Well, I've introduced green here, so now the, pa the whole page looks greener. If I'd have put brown on there, it would look browner. So just this tiny bit of ink has changed the colour totally. Mm -hmm. So, And this against that lovely pearl. It does. Uh, yeah. Gold. Yeah. Suddenly warmed it up beautifully now so i've got that i've got these and i'm just going to add some layers what you can do is i have got some um some card as well like this and you can actually glue this on and then rip around it if you want or anything like this so don't just think that you have to have things square you don't you could have them ripped see i quite like that so i'm just going to make a small frame with that um if you get some of those rulers that have got wavy edges uh, right yeah that's what, oh, they'd be perfect that would so just like little things like that work um I'll, if i do another one then i've got two um and i tend to work like this i tend to have all the stuff cut cut out and then then play with it all because if I have to keep doing each thing individually i don't do it i don't it's like having stuff in cupboards if it's in cupboards i don't use it has um, to be out yeah. of the cupboards. Right, so I've got a couple of these. This is that wonderful willow. Um, a star. Yeah, it's a star or a pentagram, mm. whatever you want to call it. I quite like this um, ornate frame. Yeah. I, quite, I think this is it's quite It's a mix cool. of softness, ornate, rounded shapes and the angular star. Yeah. I quite like the idea of having, mm. you know, having a word in it fitting like that but I think it needs something inside it and that's where you can look for your other pieces yeah. of paper or a piece that you've cut off anything and just right mm -hmm. so it's about assembling now so I've got this got this got this I've got that it's a ladder and I was thinking oh. a ladder and I realize what it is now it's like um, a frame that you put your ornaments on oh i see yeah yep. you, you see what i mean that yep. person was like a ladder well i think our floor manager molly has got one of these ladders that you then you put plants on That's it one, and yeah. book cases yeah. and things like that yeah so what i'm, do, I'm going to do now i know it's a bit skew with but i don't really care when it's this sort of stamp and this sort of style I, it's yeah. all about just layers and it's rustic and it's a bit you know a bit sort of jagged around the edges yeah. and a bit rough around the edges so if I keep to the same feel of the green yeah. um, it sort of brings it all together so yeah. I've got that on there I've not got any on there yeah. I'm going to go just go over you know, we have got about three minutes left right 
So I'm just going to superimpose some of these on top yeah. of each other. So I'm building up like a... So we could have that. Yeah. I don't want to sort of hide it, but I don't want to sort of... Yeah. That looks, I like that very much. I like the idea of the collages. Yeah. Because... And it builds it up. And of course, all of that, it, all the elements, the papers, the die cuts, the stamps are included yeah. in the complete collection. Remember that the, the, it, the individual bundles have got savings that they are then carried forward and then an additional 25 pounds and 83 pence, which means that it works out if you're free the member, 64 pounds and 83 pence in saving. And remember that the price will go back to us, uh, you know, without the savings at 6 p.m. So, it, and this is the final life hour. So now is the time to check out those baskets for the complete collection. You've got little clocks in there. You've got little, um, little time pieces. You've yeah. got, you know, things that you can just hide behind and I don't know you, you just it you start to play for ages now and like you say it's entirely up to you if you look for other things in your books but yes. this is totally different to how it started off but I'd have this as a journal page now I think but you could have it as a card yeah. you could totally have it as a card so let's see now what we need perhaps to me it would need yeah. a sentiment so we could use something yeah. out of here there was one I saw at the front. Um, there we uh, go, we that's the one. Yeah. Right, so mm -hmm. I've got that there. Perhaps it just needs a little bit of white behind it. Um, you could put anything or the yeah. gold behind it or anything. Is that a bit too? Yeah, there is. Well, we are reaching the end of the show. I'll put that on there, then. We have got about, uh, about a minute uh, yeah, left, uh, something like that. Uh, now it's just, but it, but it shows how quickly and easily oh, you yeah. can put a card in there. It's not a masterpiece, but it just shows that if you've got to do something that's really quick and you know you've got to get on with it, then it's quite easily done when you're just putting them all Absolutely. together. Absolutely. Yeah, and if, if you want, all you do is you just go around with your ink, uh, your pen, your ink, whatever you've got, and just highlight near them, and it gives them a little bit of depth and colour. Um, and it grounds them a little bit, so you could do all that. Gorgeous! It's do gorgeous. it all your own, like how you want to at home. You don't, yeah. you know. But it's Absolutely. quite a simple car, but you can do anything you want with it. I love that. Thank you so much, Lou. Thank you. Uh, now, I just want to remind everybody of the diff Well, I, I will say it. Go for it. If you can, go for the complete collection. This is a massive saving. Now, the individual bundles have got savings. They carry forwards and an additional £25.83, which means that the actual real saving, if you go for the complete collection, is £64.83 if you are a Freedom member. You also have got the option to flexi buy, which means that you today you would only pay 32 pounds and 48 minutes and 48 pence as a freedom member. That, then, of course, you pay the same on, the next month on October at the same amount, and then finally in November the final instalment. Now, that is, of course, the winter winter charm collection from a Studio Life. Includes dies, stamps, paper blocks, papers, 12 by 12s, A4s, embossing folders with dies in there. Two of those ones as well. And you could be making things as beautiful, home decor as these, with the beautiful dies from the one day special, beautiful papers from the complete collection. And of course, these you can make it only if you, of course, you go for the complete collection and you check out your baskets. Thank you so much uh, for your company. Thank you, Lou. Thank you. Again. We'll see you very soon. Yes, tomorrow. Excellent. See you then. Well, from rack to riche, the stitches uh, there after the break. A clever prince one day special. Emma is getting ready as we speak, and then sentimentally yours at seven. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have 
collaring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds where you can make easy, quick, three dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, but this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hello, well, we've got a lovely sewing show for you now and some absolutely exquisite, look, see I'm stroking them already, absolutely exquisite fabrics. Um, so we have Jane in the studio. Hi, Jane. Uh, Hello, and I, I also talk about this. I love the name of your company, From Rags to Stitches. Thank you. It's very catchy. Well, uh, when a lot of people ring up, they say From Rags to Riches, but yeah. I've got such a love for fabric, it'll never be From Rags to Riches. <laughs> I just That's buy too so much fabric. Nice. Um, so, the first set of fabrics that we're going to have a look at are on a pick and mix, and they're Riley Blake, is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, milk and honey collection wonderful yeah. so when we hear that name Riley Blake it's uh, it's quality yeah. yeah it's a big name out there in the quilting world yeah yes. it is it's good quality 100% mm -hmm. cotton yeah it's a bit like anything you get what you pay for yeah and when you get Riley Blake you're getting the best wonderful yeah. uh, right then so let's go through our gorgeous options they are 
half meters and they're on a pick and mix any two so I'm going to fold this back now this is nice because the aqua bows has a little bit of foiling to it it's gorgeous isn't it that that gold yeah it's like a, a, yeah it's, it's got like a metallic in it and uh, yeah it's really pretty folds, yeah uh, then we've got the aqua flowers very nice lovely then we've got our aqua scallops so as I said they're all half meters I'll, I'll open one out in a minute because I think people like to see don't they and then we have the aqua stripes so that would make a nice sort of backing fabric wouldn't it yeah and your sashing mm. I, and I like to do borders in that or binding but put it the other way yeah horizontal instead of vertical yeah it's nice isn't it yeah very nice and then we go on to our cream bows that's pretty because you've got the nice pinks and blues running through as well it's, it's really delicate isn't that nice and again it's got that lovely gold touch to it then we've got the cream bunny friend and friends because I think there's birds and chicks and all sorts on there <laughs> uh, and again you can see that that is a, a really nice one with some gold on uh, then we've got our cream flowers. They're beautiful little bouquets, aren't they? Yeah, they, they are. They, they, they say babies to me. Yeah. They, they're right cute, aren't they? Yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, really clean and fresh looking. Mm, very much so. Could you imagine as, as well um, a, bed, a, a bed spread in that? Yeah. <coughs> that would look really nice. Then we have got our cream stripes. Lovely. Moving on then, we've got the gold scallops. That's lovely. And then... We've got the grey flowers. Uh, next. Okay, this is called main cream. <laughs> Strange name, but uh, lovely floral. Then we've got main gold. I guess it's the main backing colour, I suppose. That's what it means. And I think that colour's really on trend at the moment, isn't it? That yeah. sort of gold mustard colour as well. It goes well with greys. Yeah, lovely. And then we've got our main mint for you. Next then. Mint bunny friends. That is cute, that is, yeah. isn't it? And you could play a game with that as well, finding bunnies in it. And it, I think it's, it's quite educational, that little one as well, isn't it? It's so cute. Yeah. Finding different little animals in it. That's adorable. So what about, mate, you can make a little play mat or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's sweet. And then moving on, we've got the mint flower patch. Then we move on to our pink bows. Again, what beautiful colours. I like the pink. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a dusky pink. It's nice, isn't it? Very nice. Then we've got our pink bunny friends. Uh, next, we've got pink flower patch. Then we've got pink flowers, pink scallops. So you've got a lot to choose from. And then the pink stripes. You're choosing any two. I'll just open one out. Uh, I know people like to see. So you've got a half metre. It's, and so it's got a little bit of give to it, hasn't it? It's, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. You see, that's really nice. Sorry, there's a sticker on it. Sorry, <laughs> just ignore that. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to get any two half metres for fifteen ninety nine. Uh, lovely price. Item number is five zero six zero nine eight. So if you have a look on the website, here it is. This is how you can see all the options. Uh, Ross, what would you like to go for? Okay, Ross is going for main gold. What else? Oh, <laughs> Jimmy wants mint bunny friends. Fair enough. There you go. Okay, uh, there you go. Let's have a little look because next then, um, these are the panels. Yeah, the 60 centimetre wide panel. Lovely. Hang on, I'll open one out then. So this is great. Here we go. Ah, oh, that's adorable. It's gorgeous. There's a lot of um, gold on here. Look how that catches the light. Those squirrels, amazing. Um, so what sort of thing would you do with this um, particular panel? Because it's it, got large print on it. Yeah, it, well, you could, you could uh, it's marked as well with the lines to cut it out into squares. So it cuts up into seven inch squares. Right. So you could either put some wadding behind it and your backing fabric and then use this, the lines to quilt it to make it one big panel. Yeah. Or you could cut it up like I've done in the example behind you, the quilt behind you, because there's a free download from Riley Blake. Uh, which I have, yes. To make, uh, to make the, the quilt behind you. Wonderful. We're just having a little look at that quilt. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? There you go. So do you go onto the Riley Blake website, do you? Yeah, and 
I think it says free patterns. Mm -hmm. So you go on there, just scroll down them until you come to the one that says milk and honey panel quilt. Yeah, and it's a free download. Lovely. And then uh, it's a nice size quilt, and I have it here. So this is your download if you go to that website, uh, milk and honey panel quilt. There you go, as you can see. So that is the pink. What size are the panels? The 60 centimetres by the width of the fabric, so right. they're roughly 112 centimetres by 60. Nice. I think you'll be able to, on that mint one, I think you'll be able to see the lines a bit more, or the, or the, or the white one, you know, where you can cut it up. Yeah, hang on. If I a go bit to more it's obvious. right in the middle. There you go. And one of the other colours. Yeah. You can see those panels. We're coming in. Jimmy's coming in. Yeah, he's coming in. I know it's a bit hard to see. Yeah, it might be better on white one, because the white one, I think they're, they're done in gold on white one. So oh, is see, it? Yeah. Okay. So that's your mint panel. And then I will put this back in a second. She said, the stickers everywhere. <laughs> Let's put those there. And there you go. Ah, yes, you can really see them now, yeah, like you said. Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, isn't it so sweet? I love that the squirrels are holding little bouquets <laughs> of flowers. Lovely. Okay. Um, so each option is 10.99 for that panel, which I think is very reasonable. I'm going to try my best to pop it back, but then Jack might want to make it look more pretty, she says. <laughs> there you are. Okay, then moving along. Okay, we've got quilt kits, and these are already popular. So you can go for the cream option. So again, you've got those little bunnies on there. Um, and you've got your pink stripe, and then you've got all of those lovely pieces. So does it come sort of cut for you? Yeah, so we've pre-cut it into your seven-inch squares. Mm -hmm. So you've got enough to make that quilt yes. that's behind. And uh, there's a piece, there's a 60 centimetre piece, I think it is for, one's for your sashing, uh -huh. and then one's for your binding. Is that in the pink stripe? Or yeah, in the stripe and then ones? Your, your blue one is the border going around it. There so you go. get everything for your quilt top. You've just got to put your wadding behind it and yep. your back in. Excellent. There you go. And you can make that beautiful, beautiful quilt. So as we said, you can choose from the cream. Or is it cream? Yeah, cream. The mint. And the pink. And it's all cut for you, as Jane said. Lovely jubbly. £44.99. Or two payments of £22.50 if you're a Freedom member. 501155. Now, next then, we go on to our lovely Jane Austen fabrics. Now, with the Jane Austen fabrics, they're for personal use, aren't they? Yeah, they're licensed. Yes. Yeah, so you can't make anything to sell it. Mm -hmm. Just make it for yourself or as a gift to a family member or a friend. Yeah. Marvellous. I think you'll want to keep them for yourself yeah. anyway, to be quite honest. They're yeah. so beautiful. Um, so what I might do, let's um, roll them down and then you can have a little look-see. So look at the oh, stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, but they are beautiful. What I'll do, let's move them slightly. There you go. If I do that, is that helpful? Good. There you go. Got to label them up though, stickers are important. And here. There you go. And these. I love that brown. Isn't it gorgeous? Like a, oh, how would it's, you describe it? Like a, I don't know. It's it's not a colour I'd pick. Yeah, when you look at that, yeah. it's effective. It looks gorgeous. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then this one with the pink on is really nice. See, they're my colours. I'm I'm a beige and a red person. I'm not oh, yeah. you know I'm not your greys and your blacks. Uh -huh. I'm like, I'm like them colours and your warm colours. They are gorgeous, yeah. aren't they? Look at this. Absolutely stunning. And you cut all these pieces, don't you, for us? Yeah, yeah. we do. Amazing. Certain jobs I delegate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that to the other yeah. half? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and then let's show you, come over to here again so you can uh, feast your eyes on. So they're each half metres. Yeah. It's, it's your pick and mix, so you get two half metres. Or if you get one metre, so if you choose two or one fabric, we'll send it as one continuous piece. Now, uh, that, see, that one I'm really attracted to. Yeah. And that's quite striking. I can see shirts made in, these used for dressmaking, I oh, think they look yeah. really lovely. They're all talking about, it'd be good for Adam and Yanis for their shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got this beautiful one. They're absolutely gorgeous. Again, I really like that background shade, it's very pretty. Um, 
That's that's a nice blouse, I yeah, think. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, lovely polka dot blouse. See, now, I, I like that one. It's got like a got. It's, that's the one with garden gate and things yeah. on it, isn't it? Isn't it? Look at that beautiful fabric. That'd look lovely on a shirt. That. Yes, I agree. Really nice. And then last one. There we go. Uh, so half meters. Oh yes, I'll just open one up again, just so you can see. So do you get the fun bit and you get to play with the fabrics and then yeah. your other half get, has to cut it? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't trust but His other job, he does conveyor belts, so he does do a lot of cutting, oh. but I don't let him loose on my fabric. Oh, no, okay. No, not, not with a Stanley knife. <laughs> uh, no, ladies at shop, I delegate to them. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, wait, have a look at the website then. So you're picking any two for fifteen ninety nine. Um, there you go, you can see all the different names. Because aren't they named after people that she knew? Have, have I got Are they the right? characters from a book? Oh yes, yeah. that's right, characters from a book, that's it. Uh, what, Ross's favourite is what? Georgina. Okay, there you go. That's Ross's favourite. So you're picking any two for fifteen ninety nine. Two one seven six six two is the item number. Now, the other thing you're going to really like is the jelly roll. Oh, I love jelly rolls. It's a bespoke one. We've yeah. we cut it ourselves. So it's a bespoke jelly roll. Oh, it's wonderful. Just look at this. I mean, it's already been very, very busy. So um, it's just gorgeous. And you're going to be working with the jelly roll for your demo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, so for the jelly roll, it is £34.99. pence. So you get 36 strips in each one? Mm -hmm. Right. I th no, I think there's 38. I think, oh. I think we've put two in, but it's, it's still the same price. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, um, Ross is going to change it anyway, just so it's correct on yeah. screen. 770743 is the item number. And then you've also done a pattern for us for this beautiful uh, rug. It's... Um, is it easy to do? Very easy. Oh, good. That, that's my de-stressing project. Right. <laughs> I love making them. So uh -huh. there's lots around shop. Yes. So when, I, when I've been quite stressed and I just get a jelly roll and my wadding and yeah. just put a rug together because you don't have to think about it. There's yeah. no piecing, no getting seams absolutely perfect. They're so easy to make that you can just sit and sew. And they're very effective. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah. I really like them. So you have a shop, do you? Yeah, yeah. In, in Maltby. Yeah. yeah in, uh, near Rotherham. We're in South Yorkshire. So how long have Rags to Stitches been going then? Uh, I'm going into my seventh year now. Are you? Mm. Brilliant stuff. Yeah. Uh, so if you would like the roly-poly rug pattern, it's 9 99 Item number is 207918. And it, it's pic quite pictorial as well. Oh, shall I? I'm a person that I don't like to read. I like to look at pictures. I find it easy just to have a quick glance and think, yeah, it looks like that, so I must be right. Right. Rather than sitting and reading and thinking, I don't understand that. No, I'm with you. I'm very visual. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's there nicely for you. Uh, 999 207 918. Now, what's this little gadget we've oh, got here? That's an absolute saviour, that. Okay. It cuts the time in making a jelly roll down by a third. Really? Because when we originally started doing them, it was a case of putting your wadding in, folding, pinning, folding, pinning, so you'd got right long pieces of fabric pinned. Mm -hmm. That it eliminates all your pinning, you just feed it through and so Wonderful. It's an absolute game changer. I won't make one without it now. Okay, there you go. If you haven't got one, please pop it in your basket. Uh, £17.99. pence. Item number is 086 788 and uh, then we've actually got the tubing itself. Yeah, that's your wadding that uh, we put inside the jelly roll. Excellent. And then I'm just going to bring this over. I me meant to mention it because you're going to do this later, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I may just pop this there. Um, yeah, so isn't this beautiful? I meant to mention it and then like I said, I skipped over it. So, oh, oh they're going to bring the lights down. <laughs> It's absolutely stunning, this. Look at how you've done this. What a feature. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What's, it what's it called? Uh, it's a wreath. It so is just a wreath. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, well, it's not just a wreath. So uh, what I've done this time is I've fetched a couple of Bosel products on. So you, you, you're wadding for your jelly rolls, Bosel. Mm -hmm. And then the wreath is Bosel as well. Yeah. Uh, it's a pattern from Poor House Quilts in America that I import. Uh -huh. And 
before we used to do as wreaths, just using a bit of interfacing yeah. for strength, but then they go quite floppy. So using this product from Bozal, mm. it's uh, it's winner all the time. It stays like that all the time. You can get it out. If you just make it at Christmas, mm -hmm. if you just want a Christmas one, you get it out every year and yeah. it's still how you put it away. Wonderful. So yeah, we wanted to do a little tease, didn't yeah. we? Tune in at nine o'clock to see how this is going to be made. Um, have a look on the website then for everything else that we have got. Uh, yes, so you might get a sneak peek of those. Well, you will if you look on the website. <laughs> a sneak peek of the um, lovely items that we're going to have at 9 o'clock. So there you go. You can go for the um, pattern for the roly-poly rug. You've got the tube maker. What else do we have? Oh, yeah, the bosal. That's all there for you. Oh, yes, and do get your Freedom membership if you're not a Freedom member. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, right. The jelly roll, which we suspected would be, is very, very busy flying out the door, do check out your baskets for that lovely Jane Austen collection. Um, right then, over to you, Jane. Where would you like to start? Uh, so I'll show you how to put the, to, the rug together using yeah. uh, the fabric roll that we've cut from the Jane Austen. And what I thought I'd start at the very beginning because a lot of ladies yeah. get confused by the bias. So to start off with, to make it into one long strip, okay. we have to... Uh, we have to join them all together, going from corner to corner. So the way I, I think how to do it is we lay your bottom strip across face up and then your next strip is face down, allowing for your selvages. And then you just think to turn it clockwise and then you know which corner to sew from because if you're stitched from that corner to that corner, when you open it up, you're not going, going, going to get a continuous piece of fabric. Right. We all stitch it wrong way to start with. That's how, that's how you're learning to doing mm -hmm. it wrong. Maybe have a practice fabric first. Yeah. So, bottom fabric facing up, your top strip of fabric facing down, allow for your selvages, then just simply turn clockwise. Yeah. And then you stitch from corner to corner. If you're new to this, what you can do is pin it mm -hmm. and then draw a line down from corner to corner is a guide. Okay. And then just simply stitch down to your bottom corner. I would chain piece all these together and then as you can see you then get one continuous piece. Oh nice, okay. It's got to be done on bias because obviously we're going we're going round corners yeah. when we get going. So again pick the end so when you've done that one you're going to pick the end of that strip up that wants to be face up this one face down so you're getting like a T clockwise and then again just simply stitch from corner to corner so I guess you literally get on a roll with this don't you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. a fabric roll yes, yes. indeed <laughs> yeah. or a jelly roll yeah. Good shout. <laughs> And that's how you end up with your continuous strip. So I'd, I'd do all them, and then once you've done all those, we have to uh, we have to press it. Right. And then I've done one already, but I'll show you with this what we do. Sure. So I, I like to always set my stitches. So before we trim it, I would give it a quick press each one. Careful with that. I don't want to burn my machine. And just give this one a press. So do you end up with a massive long chain? You do, yeah. <laughs> and then what you have to do is fan fold it so that when you, you pick it back up, mm -hmm. it's not twisting. Right. Because it'll get all raggy if it starts twisting. Right, so once you've done that, we need to cut all these seams down to a quarter of an inch. So just line your ruler up from one corner to other at a quarter of an inch and then we tuck in your excess fabric off and your bunny ears like that then move down to your next one mm -hmm. would you recommend a rotary cutter or could you just do it with scissors no I like a rotary cutter. I think it's it's a lot more accurate. Mm -hmm. That off your bunny ears. Just every time you put it down, make sure you put your blade away. Yes, definitely. 
and then once you've done that you then press your seams open it's the prep on this yeah. what takes your time uh -huh. it's not uh, when it comes to actually putting it together to make it into the the rug that's easy I did that in just over an hour yesterday this whole rug in an hour yeah once oh. I've got the tube once I've got it all put together yeah it's the prepping that's that can be a bit tedious but uh, once you get start once you get going it's all right so then you simply just press each seam open So split down the middle, not to one side. Yeah, I like I like them. Yeah, pressed open. Right. There you go. And then when you've done all that, obviously you've, you you're going to have a really long piece of fabric. You can't have the cat or the dog around no, just no. sitting it. <laughs> so I I I then I fan fold it, ready to to pick back up so that when I'm working with it I've got my fabric at one side yeah and then I have my bows at the other side oh, okay so I, I would work with it like that right <clears throat> got so you fabric at, at one side on floor and then this is what's left out so I used one of them rolls last night that bows roll to make that yesterday and yeah. this is what I've still got left from it okay so you've still got a decent amount yeah so if you've got any other bits of fabric lying about you could make a little table a runner some one. table mats yeah yeah once she, yeah, because she don't get hooked on them. Right, mm -hmm. so now there's, it's the fun bit on using the little tool. Yes, so, I'm interested to see how this tool works. So what we do is we layer one on top of the other, mm -hmm. like this. So before that tool, I would have been folding that in, folding that in, folding it like that, and then pinning it. Mm -hmm. All the way down. Right. But with this little tool, it's a bit like a, it's a, bi a bias binding tool, but it's a lot fatter for you yes. to be able to get your fabric and your bows off. Well. Looks like a whistle from here. Yeah. <laughs> and what I like to do as well, a tip is sometimes it can be a bit awkward getting your two pieces of fabrics through. Right. So I take a bit of paper, these post it now, oh, fold yeah. them in That's half, one on one piece. And then one on the other, like that, and feed it in. Yep. And then it helps you to sort of pull like, both your fabrics through to get started. So we just gently ease it through. And as you can see, it's pulling the fabric and your bows all through. Mm -hmm. So then remove those. Just bring it back a little bit to the beginning. Yeah. And as you can see, it's folded it. Already, that's brilliant. So yeah, yeah. all we do then is you want to have a quarter of an inch seam. Mm -hmm. Put your, I'd recommend putting your walking foot on as well. Okay. So with this machine, I just simply have to drop it down okay. from the back yeah um, by the way I'm not I'm not meaning to be rude I'm I can, I can <laughs> yeah, only see what you're doing on doing. the monitor yeah, yeah. Well, that should have engaged that yeah pull your tube along oh then, boom look at this and then just simply fold as I say I've got it set at quarter of an inch this you need to be quite accurate so yeah what I would say is take your time mm. because you don't want to be doing it, say, half an inch or going all over the place and then this coming out, unfolding. Right. So do take your time on this bit. So when you get down to your little tool, just line them back up. Yep. Pull it down and fold. And that's all there is to it. Fabulous. What got you into sewing? Uh, I had a knitting machine and then my daughters won't wear what I knitted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. So I joined a group, uh, I did machine embroidery to start with, yeah. I joined a, a local group at Thurcroft and I turned up there, I didn't even have a machine, I just wanted to do it yeah. and then from there 
obviously once I'd made things with machine embroidery, I'd got to learn how to sew them together. Mm -hmm. I went to learn to sew as well. There you go. But I used to go back, to, I used to joke which shop that I bought my first sewing machine from. I used to say, you've sold me a dud machine, it won't sew straight. I used to, <laughs> I used to blame it on machine. <laughs> Not me, it weren't me. Because I think the hardest thing there is, is to sew a straight line. Right. You can try to hard, you can overthink things. Mm. But this is my, as I said, this is my escape project, this, because you sat here, you, this is all you're doing. Mm. It's not, I, I get my music on, yeah. and, um, and you can just, you create something so easily that looks so beautiful without having the stress of having to think about what you're doing. Yeah. So you can do this in between. If you're doing an heavy project, if you're doing a lot of quilting, this is a nice one to pick up. Yeah. I think this is a nice project to pick up, just to give you, yourself a break sometimes i know what you mean for, for me it would be my coloring a bit of coloring yeah or a you know a little bit of embroidery so you can see how easy this tool makes it mm -hmm. so before it used to be like a full evening well it were gray's anatomy That's, that <gasps> used, used to save me that. yeah i love that because program <laughs> if i would have been a jelly roll i'd put gray's anatomy on yeah other and binge available. watch it <laughs> while i were while i were folding my jelly roll but you've got to have loads of pins if you got if you don't if you're not using one of these tools yeah you need to be equipped with loads of pins or clips yeah because you've got so if there's uh how many strips is in that 38 so you've got 38 yeah. of 38 times 1.12 meters. Right. So you've got a lot of meterage. Okay. Yes, you have to be doing. Yeah. Mm. And just wind it into a big ball mm -hmm. when you've done it. Yeah. Are you going to show us how to sort of get it started? Yeah. Wonderful. Once you've done that. So yeah. So as I said, this is tool. So if I just if I just get down. That's all right. No rush. One of these strips, then uh, we've got a little bit of length then to yeah. show how it actually goes together. Um, so if you want the tool, the tube maker, uh, details are coming onto the screen. Uh, I can see how it is a game changer, definitely now. Well, and I've tried quite a few of these because there's one yeah. or two out on market now. Uh, so I have tried, uh, as I say, one or two, and this is by far the best. Wonderful. It's the strongest. Yeah. Uh, and you could use this for bag handles as well. Mm. Ah, yes, brilliant idea. Um, we, uh, you're liking it anyway. The, we are three quarters of the stock gone on the tube maker. Right, so if you want, we can leave it there. Yep. And there. Look how easy it is. Nice to do that. Yeah. And then it, it just when you get to end of it. I mean, I'll cut this, but it just simply comes off end of your end of your fabric and your wadding. Okay. So we'll just cut this. Oh, right. Okay, I'll have to show you the jelly roll, the beautiful Jane Austen jelly roll that um, Jane is now uh, using. We are three quarters of the stock gone on this one. Oh, it's so nice. You put it together so nicely. It's lovely. Uh, £34.99, 770743. Um, where have you got to then, Jane? Right, so to join your, your strips together, we're going to a zigzag. I like to do a fairly wide zigzag and then so I've got this to about five and then just separate it. I've got it 2.2. So the joining of these, I'll cut them equal, the joining of these strips together mm -hmm. is you just simply put them up to one oh. another. So when you when you're doing your rug, when you start off you've got two of the same seams together obviously to come down middle. Right. And then you work with the rolled edge against the folded edge. Okay. So it's just a simple zigzag. So I've got it set to about five. Oh. And that's how easy it is. Yeah. Joining it together. Uh huh. You can use a variegated thread as well, you know, to put a different twist oh, yeah. on it. You nice. don't necessarily have to use a plain thread. See, or you... in my head, you see, I was thinking, do you literally roll it like that? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. No. No, so that's why I was like, oh, this is a cool way to put it together. There are, there are big talking points with quilt shows I used to do, because obviously I had them all hung up behind me. Yeah. And they're a big talking point on how have you made that. Is it like yeah. the old-fashioned peg rugs, things yeah. like that? And then when I said, no, it's just, it's just your bowls all 
and you, you're two and a half strips of fabric. Mm. People are really fascinated yeah, as to how it's turned That's out right, like that. Yeah. And, and this is a beginner's project as well. Wonderful, you could, you could you do this. Think it was. No, yeah. you, you could do this as a beginner. And then it's, it's when uh, one fabric comes up against other, you're coordinating prints and you mm. get that randomness. Yeah. I've done one, uh, I also do Macauer's linen texture fabrics, that's all, all different colours down spectrum. So when we were at a show mm. not long ago, I, uh, before lockdown, I think we were at Newark, when it went quiet, I started cutting strips off each one. Yeah. And, I, and I've put that together during lockdown, and it's like a rainbow rug. Oh, So it goes from one colour to other, and we've got that on the up-in window, and that looks really effective okay. with it being all different colours. Mm. So, yeah, and that's it. Wonderful. Thank you. That's great stuff. So we use it. Um, so I know you've got another demo. Uh, we're just going to take a quick break. Uh, we are going to tell you a little bit about, uh, is it f a flexi order? Excellent. Let, let's tell you a bit about this. Here's Leonie. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order making your shopping experience with a Chanda easier. And don't forget you can buy that pattern for uh, the rug, which is uh, available, I think. We're just popping the uh, details on screen for you for the, for the, um, the pattern for the rug. It's fascinating, isn't it? It looks really, really good. So it's 9.99, I love that rug. Uh, so if you want to know the instructions, it's there. Uh, 207918 is the item number. Right then, let's come back to our pick a mix. Half metres, am I right, Ross? Yes, wonderful. Uh, so, should we go through our lovely colour options? Okay, so this is your aqua bows. Next, aqua flowers. Aqua scallop. Aqua stripe. Yep. Cream bows. Cream bunny friends. Cream flowers, if you're looking on the website. Cream stripes. Gold scallop is next. Can you see that? All right, yep. Grey flower patch. Main cream, so the main colour there is cream. Main colour is gold. Main mint. Mint bunny friends. Mint flower patch. Pink bows. Pink bunny friends, uh, pink flower patch, pink flowers, pink scallops, and pink stripes. There you go. You've got a lot of lovely ones to choose from. You're choosing any two half meters for fifteen ninety nine five zero six zero nine eight. Then we have got the panels, uh, and these are really pretty. Let me uh, open one up for you. So this obviously is the pink panel, and look at all that gold, look at all that gold there, that is wonderful. So it has got the cut lines on it for you, as we saw at the beginning. Um, and then we've got the uh, mint next, like so. And then we have got the, I'm not folding these correctly, I know, I'll, oh, sorry. And then we've got the lovely cream. Isn't that pretty? And then you can really see the lines on this one because they're in gold. Yeah, perfect. Each panel option is 10.99. Item number is 33388. A lovely. Hang on. I will, I'll come back and put these uh, <laughs> to more nicely in a moment. All right, there, but you've got those three. 
Um, uh, right, so you can also make a quilt. We've got the quilt kit. Uh, you can choose, and it's all pre-cut for you, which is amazing. So you can choose from the cream. I mean, look at all those lovely fabrics. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. So it's the cream is the main there. The mint is the main one there. And the pink is the main one there. There you go. So remember, it is Riley Blake. Look at this quilt. It's gorgeous. A bit of free motion embroidery on there as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's my retirement plan. Well, it, it was my lockdown plan if the shop didn't come through it. Yes. Uh, but it's my retirement plan now. I see. Yeah. No, that's really nice. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So each option is £44.99. Uh, but you can spread the cost on Flexi by two payments of £22.50. Item number is 501155. And. Don't forget, this is your sneak peek for nine o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've had a sellout of one of these colours. The spotty one, which is the navy. Okay. So that one has now gone. Lovely. Okay. So you've got, again, a, a pick and mix fabric pack. Uh, picking any two half metres. So right then, I'm going to do it this way. So we've got our lovely blue nice look at that oh all the names for these are on the website there you are and there i love that one i love the background um they're like color. a modern vintage aren't they yes good point with these they are stunning i'm trying to do this best way so that you can see those colors that's like warmer brown i mm. think very nice and they're lovely with the florals that's really nice there you go and then moving along, we've got this one. And this one, lovely florals. Oh, you've popped the names on. This one's Eleanor. And, ah, so the stickers were handy. <laughs> this one's Anne. <laughs> and then over here. Uh, I'm not sure of the uh, name because I folded it differently because I opened this one out. And there you go. So this one is, let me pop that on. Which one's this one? Mm. Oh, Sophia. And the next one, Marianne. And Margaret. Um, Lady Catherine. What? Yes. <laughs> um, this one, Charlotte. Very pretty. Hang on, let me move this back. Uh, Cassandra. And the last one here is Caroline. Okay, so they're all on a pick and mix. Any two half metres for fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Item number is two one seven six six two. Then don't forget our fabulous jelly roll. Yeah, these are these fabrics are all included in this beautiful jelly roll that Jane was just working with. Right, very popular. We are 80% of the stock gone on this. 34.99, you're getting 38 strips. 770743. Again, don't forget the pattern, so you'll know how to make this glorious rug, um, which is 9.99. And it is so it's and it's very tactile, isn't it? It is. My dog loves it. I've got, <laughs> I've got two little little ship holes and yeah. one of them it finds all comfort bits. Yeah. If you go onto my Facebook page, he had a ball of wool the other day in shop. <laughs> but yeah, as soon as I put my rugs down, he's like, that's mine. Oh. Yeah, he does. He's got, he's got good taste. Yeah, he <laughs> has indeed. Uh, 207918 uh, is the item number. Um, moving on, yes, good. Right, okay. So our tube maker, it has sold out, but we can get some more, but it needs to be on extended delivery. It'll be sent from the 1st of October, so a two-week wait, but it's well worth it if it's a game-changer. £17.99, 086788 is the item number. Can I just point out oh, as yes, well, yeah. uh, I wrote the pattern before... Oh, are we talking about the... Yeah, yeah. before they came out. These, oh. But the instructions, how to use that, is on the back of it. Oh, So it's excellent. not included in... The, uh, it's the original way in the pattern. So if you, you don't buy the tube maker, it shows you in the pattern how okay. to do it by pinning it. Oh, good. The old-fashioned okay. way, the, the long way. Yes. 
but if you do get one of those to go with it, then uh, the instructions are on the back of the tube maker. Got you. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. 1799086788 is the item number. And then also, we've got our... Look, it's so soft, actually. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Ooh. Bozal, it's just... It's a quality product. It just yeah. makes such a difference to, to what you're making. It adds that sort of quality look to it, and, and it stays, yeah. keeps its shape. Uh, but it has gone limited, uh, 29 uh, Go to the website at headchander.com where you'll see all of the other lovely goodies. Right, um, over to you then, Jane. Right, so uh, I'll just show how easy it is to make the, the free download, the quilt behind you using these. It's, they're 8-inch squares, they're not 7-inch. But what I did, it, it tells you in your pattern to use the 10-inch stacker. Yeah. So... Uh, Obviously, I didn't read the instructions, and I cut all my fabrics at 10 inch, and then I had to cut them all down to 8 inch. Oh, I see. So, read the instructions first. It's a bit like a recipe, isn't it? You start baking, yeah. you don't read it, and then it don't turn out. <laughs> so, lesson learnt. I then had to cut all the fabrics down to 8 inch. Mm -hmm. And I've just followed. You can you can put the, the panels together how you want, but yeah. I've, I've gone the same design as what's on the quilt, on, on the pattern. So, we want the flower one to start with, the rose... And then the multicolored one. Yeah. So it's, you've got your sashing strip. So we're sending you your fabric out in two pieces. So one of them is uh, so you've got five eighths of a yard. I think it's about sixty centimeters. Okay. And then exactly the same half a meter for your binding. So the sixty centimeters is for your sashing, which you cut into one and a half inch strips. Again, then you cut them into one and one and a half inch strips, but it tells you in your pattern to then subcut them down to eight inch. And then we're using a quarter inch seam allowance. Mm -hmm. Take the walking foot back off. So we threaded, yeah. Again, this is a, uh, an ideal beginner's project as well. Yeah, good. That's good to know. I just need to do an update because the bosal. It has sold out, however, we can again get some more, but um, it's on extended delivery. Is that from the 1st as well? Yeah, from the 1st of October also. Lovely, so there it is. Uh, 29.99. Oh, it says limited. It's back in stock. There you go. Okay, okay. lovely. Uh, over to you then, Jane. Right, so just using a quarter inch seam, attach your first one to your square, then you pick your next one up, which is your fabric and what I like to do is I always point this out there's, mm -hmm. a, there's a if you listen to your fabric it's got two different sounds you've got a stretch one way yeah and you haven't the other right so I I like to put it all together the same way because it does make a difference to your finished product mm -hmm. so when you pick your next piece of fabric obviously you're not going to do it with uh, the, the panel because they're all sort of directional but it, when you're working with your blocks from your pre-cut, pick it up and see. So that's that's the tight way. So that stretch it. It doesn't want to go that way. It wants to go with the tight way. Yeah. The same. It's, it's your uh, your weft and your warp. But I can never remember. No, I'm not. even after all these years, <laughs> which one's which. So then you pick it up and do them exactly the same. Uh, so you've got your weft going one way and your warp going other way on all your pieces because it does make a difference when it's finished when you're mm -hmm. pressing it yeah and when you put you know it's quilted so pay attention to that it's really important no matter what quilting you do so it's just nice and easy isn't it it's another one you don't have to think too much would you say and you could if you wanted i suppose make two small quilts you don't necessarily use in this panel because you have You've got one that's got some writing on it that you just uh, uh, ignore that one and just, you know, just throw that one away. But you end up with, with a, a piece that's spare as well. Mm. So if you wanted, you could break it down and, and make two smaller quilts. Okay. You don't have to do them as big as that. So your next one, we've got the bunny. Which is, right, put my sashing strip on first. Mm -hmm. What does sashing mean for anybody who doesn't sew? It's just your, your nice piece of decorative fabric oh, right, in between yeah. each panel. Oh, okay. Yeah, sort of sashing it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
because it's like when you have a, a sash, it's something that hangs into. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, so it's just oh. what's separating one piece from other. It adds it adds attention to detail. Mm -hmm. I always say. I suppose also it separates the blocks or yeah. the panels so that you can see them better. Yeah. As well. It, attention to detail. Yeah, it does it. It makes it look a lot nicer. Yeah. So how many quilts have you got in your house? Uh, I've made, well, I made my daughter a big raggy quilt. Oh, we lovely. call that a hangover quilt now. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, and do you know where I've got many? Because all that I make, I tend to hang up in shop. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I put them on display. Oh, that's, that's wonderful, though. And the next one is the bunny, isn't it? I keep saying, I never seem to, to get time to make anything for, for you. me. Mm. Yeah. I don't. I keep, I've got such a to-do list. I'll never get through it. I have lists of lists. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, I start things and then I see something else and that don't get finished. I'm terrible for that. Like get distracted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, oh, that's nice. I'm going to make that. So I start that and then I don't go back to other things. <laughs> uh, the details are on screen then. If you do want to go for the uh, Milk and Honey Quilt Kit, I like that name. Milk oh. and Honey. That's not so. As you can see, it's really easy to put together. It's coming together quickly, yeah. isn't it? Again, so, this would be a nice starter's project. Yeah, definitely. Because you've got your lines to cut it, but again, I wouldn't cut it with scissors. You know, use them lines to practice using your rotary cutter mm -hmm. and your ruler because people, are, ladies and, and gentlemen, they're really frightened of them as well. When they first come to sewing, they're like, why can't I use scissors? <laughs> no. You can use scissors in dressmaking, but we don't like to cut out with scissors or patchwork yeah. and quilting. Um, I have an update for you at home because our lovely jelly roll has gone limited. It's so nice. I would say that you want one, one to use but one to stroke. Yeah. Well, we charge 50 pence a stroking shop. Do you? Yeah, <gasps> we do. <laughs> well, the amount of times I've stroked it, I owe you 100 quid. <laughs> 34.99, item number is 770-743. Back to you then, Jane. So you can see how quick and easy this comes together. Again, your sashing strip on. Mm-hmm. So you just need to provide the, your backing fabric and yeah, your wadding. Yeah, your wadding. Yeah, if, you t if you're turning it into a quilt, uh, but I mean, you could turn it into a small play mat. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the fabrics are so cute. A bag, you could change it in, you know, make a bag yeah. out of each, use each panel. Make a bag. Or the lines where it's uh, quilted down the lines, leave it as... So cut four blocks out, so mm -hmm. it's four foot, foot front of your bag, four foot back. You could stitch down them lines or do a decorative stitch down them. You know, just, yeah. just sort of, you know, make it yours. Mm. Right, and then again, pick your next piece of fabric up and see which way it goes before you put it on. So you want your tight going the right way. That's tight, tight. Then just put it right side to right side, quarter inch seam. And I guess you don't need to pin. I'm not, you know, pin anything. Uh, as a beginner, I'd pin. Okay. But this is just a small seam. If I'd got, if I were doing a long seam, I would pin it. Mm -hmm. But because it's just a small one. And that's it. That's basically we've done a strip. Amazing. And that's, and that's yeah. That's how easy it is to do. And then what you have to do then is, I like to set my seams again. Mm -hmm. So what I would do with each stitched seam is press it first, because it, it makes it a lot easier then to press it whichever way you're going to press it. Whether you're going to press your seams open right. or to one side. It's hard to press, to press open, I think, a seam that's 
not been set. Got you. So set your stitches and then on this pattern all your seams are pressed towards your sashing. Oh. So you will press all your seams in. Yeah, I suppose because the sashing is reasonably wide and then you're not going to get any bulk. Yeah, you're not going to get anything showing through yeah. your feature fabrics. So then you get your sashing strip on that one as well mm -hmm. and your, we've got another panel then on, in your end panel and that's it, you've got one row done. Amazing. So when you've done really each good. row, yeah, you, then you, uh, you've got, you cut long uh, one and a half inch strips with the fabric that then go in between each panel yeah. and it goes together as easy as that. Fabulous. As I say, it's an ideal beginner's project to practice just putting your pieces together, mm -hmm. accuracy, pressing your seams. Yeah. Marvellous. Mm. Yeah, you're not, you're not overthinking things. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Well, we've just got a few minutes left, Jane, so mm -hmm. I'll go through some yeah. of these gorgeous fabrics. Uh, right, so you're picking any two half metres of the milk and the honey. Uh, so we've got the lovely blue bows, blue fl florals, blue scallop, blue stripes. And then we go on to our cream bows, uh, the cream bunny and friends. There's your cream floral, cream stripes, uh, gold scallops, grey flower patch. Then there's the main cream, main gold, main mint, mint bunny friends, mint flower patch. Then we go on to our pink flower, um, no, pink bows, <laughs> pink bows, uh, pink bunny and friends. Pink flower patch, pink flowers, pink scallops, and your pink stripes. So you're choosing any two half meters for fifteen ninety nine. Item number is five zero six zero nine eight. Quick mention of the jelly roll. Again, remember this one is limited stock. It's beautiful. Look at that detail. Uh, Thirty four pounds and ninety nine pence. Seven seven zero seven four three. And then let's have a look at these wonderful panels. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. <laughs> here we go. So we've got our pink panel. There's a, such a lot of gold on here, isn't there? Gorgeous. Yeah, and it really catches the light. Um, and there's the, uh, there's the lines on there for you to cut out. So that's your pink. Next then, we've got the mint. I'll open up. One second. There you go. And then we've got the cream. Each option is uh, 10.99. Item number is triple three, triple eight. And then very quickly, let's fit in the quilt kit uh, because we've got our lovely cream option. So that's like the main colour in that one cream option, and they're all pre-cut for you. You've got your minty option, and then you've got your pink option. And then, yay, let's have a look at this quilt. What sort of finished size do you reckon this might be? Uh, it's 60, I think it's 62 by 70. What have I done? I have oh, don't worry if not, we can talk yeah, about it, it later. Yeah, it says it, I've got it here on pattern. It's, quite, it's, it's a nice size. Mm -hmm. It is. Don't worry if no, you can't it find it. I can't find it. Don't worry. Anyway, we'll have to measure it. It's a nice size. Yeah, it's a good size. It <laughs> could cover you. That's cover your legs. That's all we need. That's yeah. all we need. Uh, so for any of those options, the uh, cream, the mint or the pink, it's £44.99. There is Flexi Buy on it. Two payments of £22.50. Item number is 501155. So Jane... Yes. Uh, 49 inch. 49 inch. Thank you, yes, Jane. Bless found you. It. <laughs> That's good stuff. So, a little sneak peek. Thank you very much, Jane. Oh, you're welcome. We'll be back together later, and it's this gorgeous display. You don't get the lights, though, uh, that Jane is going to um, show you how to make a little bit later on. See you after this short break. Uh, coming up next, we have got the Clever Prince One Day Special, and there are some amazing designs in there, followed by Sentimentally Yours, and then we'll be rejoining Emma at 8pm.
Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use, only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop and we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and we also have our range of laser cut uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on her channel.
and look at this beautiful project that you can maybe make it at home with the most beautiful, fresh, and of course, beautiful uh, stamps and dies from Clever Prince by Emma. Look at that gorgeous elements. Look at those beautiful hearts, the stencils, the stamps, the dies, the kind of way that you can incorporate the papers, the cards. So many, oh, I love this page. And this is, this is the thing. It is a one day special that every single element you want to use and you want to be inspired by that. It is, of course, the mindfulness girls. Now, there is a complete collection. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> anyway, welcome if you're just joining us here at Hochanda. We have got Emma here in the studio. Hi. Hello, Emma. Hi. Now, are you very excited? Just a bit. <laughs> well, <laughs> you should be. Well, I think you should be because it is an extraordinary collection. Oh, I've been added these way into last year and I've been so excited and waiting for them to come and I, it's really, really hard for me to be quiet and not say what I'm doing. So I've held it in and I was really good till last week and then I showed now, everybody it. Mindfulness goals. What is the concept? Why did you think about this name? When I drew the girls, I drew them with all the words into the dresses and I had, I had different themes for them. So one was give yourself a break, understand, take time, things like that. And then obviously they redrew them and redrew them and then eventually the words came out of the dresses and the girls turned into angels and vampires and just little girls. It did Anything I really. Just... I thought, because art journaling is all about nice. self-care, isn't it? And things like that. And it's basically downtime for people. And I thought I the mindfulness that. girls is just that thing. It is. I'm showing the boards of the stamps, now the dies, now the stencils, because you are getting so much. And I love the artwork. It's such a kind of, I think there is a joy in it. It's very uh -huh. joyous. Like your artwork is always very joyous. Yeah, I like colouring things. And when I've spoke to my design team, they've all said that they're really relaxed when playing with them. Um, no matter what they've done, they've sat and they've played with these and they said, oh, I feel better afterwards. And I thought that's where the mindfulness girls come from. I, I... You've got your wings, you've got your butterflies. I mean, even the wings with the spikes on, it's not just wings. It's been a flower, yes. it's an oyster, it's whatever you want it to be. It is, and I love that. Now, there is that fresh, I and mean, I love this, but also I wanted to show you this other sample that you done. you done that one, haven't yeah, you? That yeah, one's mine. Now, this is the thing. It's joyous, but also it can be quite, you know, seductively dark. The, for every occasion, really, because I think the look, like little girls as well, with the fairies, with the wings, both the spiky wings, if you move them on the body, they can look, like, dark and... Yeah, Halloween. I love that. But then again, I've put a halo in with the stamp so you can have a Christmas angel as well. It is, but look at this. I just love, I love that. I love the simplicity of just uh, using the die cut over mm. texture. I absolutely love the girls, how you, you know, again, that freshness all year round. Yeah. And uh, you were saying about the Christmas tree. Yes, um, one of the design team made a 3D one, but I'm not sure if she just forgot to send it. And she had them hanging on loops for the tree, loads of little angels. Uh -huh. Now, also part of the one day special, because it's 13 uh, sheets of paper and, and eight sheets of cards. Now, we were looking at these paper and cards, and I have to say, I never seen paper like this. These papers, um, when I sat down, I did all the artwork and then I decided I'd like for people at home to do more with them. So not, they're not they're either ready if you want them or you can take them even further and add more to them. So I thought that one there, this colour, it makes a great background, but you can start adding your own in with the stamps or the stencils. I, I just love them because they are different because they are real, they are from you. But yeah. also, I have to say, I love the way that they have been printed in a very different paper. That It's, it's kind it's, of more porous. It's, uh, I don't know how to... Um, the backing papers are in the usual paper. It's great for if you want to decoupage with it. Yes. Or, and it's on a cream, so it's a little bit warmer. And then you've got the other papers, which is a mixed media card. 
and I've getting them done in black and grey scale. We were going to look at them yeah. right now. I mean, you can see that how many papers are. And I'm going to show these ones because this one's all we're going to show later because I want to go into the card. Now, you have got, is it four? Uh, so you have got eight in total. So you are getting two in the color. Yeah. Look at that. And then six in the black and um, the black gray white scale this is on mixed media paper and this was so you can use it in the black and white way but if you start adding your acrylics over your gels your watercolors that one that, that artwork there took us a day and a half see <laughs> and it's funny you say that because uh -huh, now automatically i'm thinking <laughs> a spray paint uh -huh. well not no paint a spray uh, you know it could spritzers. Be whatever you want it to be it can be pretty left like that just add a little bit say light yeah. pink or lilac or go wild with I it. I mean, and, and if uh, I'm thinking dye based products onto here, so you still can see the beautiful yeah. nature of the paints, either uh, you do your artwork and then bring the colors. Now, uh, I need to tell you to check out those baskets. We are so busy. Nearly a quarter of the stock gone. We oh. are six minutes in. I'm so pleased for Emma. Oh, I'm am. so pleased because it is an extraordinary collection. You are getting 69 stamps, 26 dies, three stencils, 30 sheets, uh, 13 sheets of paper, and eight P8 sheets of card, A4 card. Now, you have got all this collection that mixes and matches beautifully. You have got, it's a, for saving a 41 pounds. I, now, that's on top of the saving. Uh, now, if you wanted to go, for instance, the stamps on their own, now that, uh, that would be £49.95. It has got a £5 saving. So already you have got that. If you're a Freedom member, you will have a £9.99 uh, saving. Now, keep that saving and then it carries forward to that additional saving that you are getting if you go for the full uh, bundle of £41. So that is a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, saving. 821376 is your item number uh, do please check out your baskets because we are crazy busy you know what uh, as presenters we, we when we see a collection that means so much to the designer and we are all very excited it's so good to see that you at home are seen and captured and you're seeing the value but also the incredible possibilities of this amazing collection eight two one three seven six is your item number now we have got happy hour and I do like a happy hour and I think we all like a happy hour because uh, now it is £10.99. pence. Look at the saving of £14. Now that is better than half price, isn't it? Now I need to tell you that please check out your baskets because we do not have a big stock. Half of the stock already is gone. So please do check out your baskets. 514063 is your item number. Now. We have got here some samples that you can see of using that beautiful uh, ribbon. Uh, not ribbon. Is it, what do you call it? Um, that is what? jute ribbon. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, jute ribbon. And in, in that one, I think there's some paper uh, ribbon as well. Sorry, sorry, Emma, but I need to tell you it is now limited stock. Check, it's now technical sellout. So if you check out your baskets, you get it. We are extraordinarily busy. So please do check out your baskets. It didn't even give me time to mention the item number. So please, <laughs> I do apologize for that. But do check out your baskets. Now, Emma, yeah. are you ready to do the first demo? I am. Oh, sorry. So you, are, you are there over there. <laughs> are I you going to do the demo or do you want to show the card first? Shall we just show the card? It's up to oh, you. Oh, the demo, I know. Oh, the demo, demo. Yeah. sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right, so take it away. So. I'm going to use the grey scale backing papers first, and I'm just going to glue that into my A4 journal. I have cut it down so that I've got a bit of a border. And what I'm going to do is the pretty gets gritty. Yep. Um, we, pretty out there gels. We do have that in the, on the show, so yes. you can find it on the website I'm as well. I'm going to paint with them. They are thick enough to go through your stencils to add dimension things, but I absolutely love to paint with them onto these because the translucent, so you can see okay. yep. straight through, so it won't <gasps> cover up any of the... Yep. how cool it is. But this stuff as well, you can leave it on a little bit thicker and leave your brush strokes in. Yeah. 
and I, I, I love to say, it. I think if you're a fine artist in these, you don't like, I like to see the dimension. Well, the thing is that, that there are artists of all sorts. Yeah. So dimension can always be something that you strive for or something that you yeah. don't. So it's up I, th to I think it came out. What I meant was, it doesn't matter what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, I, know, I know what you mean. It wasn't in a bad way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. You, you, you yeah. are not... Um, a traditionalist, a sort of yeah. fine artist. I don't get wrapped up about yeah. everything being yeah. smooth or perfect because yeah. life's not perfect. And basically Definitely. that's the mindfulness girls, yeah. isn't it? It's because life's not perfect. Yeah. So that is what I'm doing with them. And then I'm just going to put it to one side while I stamp out the girl. Yeah. Um, let that dry for a few. It doesn't take long. Especially and not when it's put on with a brush. I love that you show that because it show like this is so new about the monochrome or monochrome paper of the cars mm -hmm. that you bring those sort of suddenly shocking neon pink into them. Yeah, wait, sometimes that's all it's it takes course. is yeah. one burst of colour. Yeah. And I'm very much more is more. Yeah. I keep adding and I keep adding the journal. Yeah. I just keep adding that These beautiful journal. Have I've stopped and thought about what I want to add because it's so nice without it that I've concentrated more on what I was putting yep. on the focal image. So and that I'm is that girl stamped out and on all of the stamps have got little words and things that come with them. Yep. So I'm just, this is the one I'm working with and all I've done is stamped because obviously they all fit in, this yep. one says heart. So different size words will go in different places on the dress. And this was the idea when I first drew them with all the words and things in. Yeah. Um, does this one say forgive? I just think for cards or the cards we don't like to make and send, the nice cards that we do like to send, um, yeah. just in your art journal, if you've had a bad day, just play with these. They're not all words that it says heal, truth, move, start, new, saw, as yeah. in fly dream there's loads and loads and loads of words i don't know how many words he is I, uh, uh, yeah absolutely and i want uh, my producer had just had a beautiful idea uh, she said to uh, do them onto a shrink plastic i've got the dyes uh, on shrink plastic around me now look at that and imagine the girls you could stand uh -huh. them onto there you could, and then you? do little have a rings. little angels <sighs> little key rings i wonder if there's any um Shrink plastic out, pinch. <gasps> well, and I'll do that for tomorrow. Oh, well, if not, I can bring you some tomorrow. Would you? Yeah, yeah we'll try that. That's a good idea. But I'd... that is, uh, if there is a stock of your one day special left, because <laughs> we are exceptionally busy. A third of the stock uh, is gone. We are 12 minutes in. Please do check out your baskets. Oh, I don't know what the contingency plan is, so I can't I say. Don't think you're <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I don't know personally, so I can't say. So, but so I would say, please do check out your baskets. Not only is the words and things, I've put loads and loads of little stamps in. We've got hearts. Um, we've got spirals, little leaves, little flowers, um, little dots to decorate your wings and things with, or your dresses. It's never ending piece. I've played with this so much. I had to bring a separate case just for my samples alone. Don't know how I'm going to get everything else home. <laughs> so that's what I've done. I've cut her out. This is a different girl, but I just thought I would show yeah. the difference. And By the way, I've coloured her hair. You have got fans in the USA and in Europe. Have I? Yes, oh, they are watching. Brilliant. Hello. Uh, yeah, you're watching from uh, Spain. Hi. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Uh, so, so good. all I'm going to do is, it's just watercolour these ones. And all I'm going to do is quickly colour over the dress. Yeah. I'm not bothered about covering the hearts or the spots or dots or whatever because um, I'm not going to use a colour that's going to muddy it I'm going to use a purple over wow. and a pink oh, that is that nice and easy super easy peasy that's another thing with these as well I've tried to make them so they're easy to cut out yeah or if you want to cut out your masks and things they're easy to do that um, if you want to paper piece of the dresses in, I've tried to make it all as easy as possible so you can do as much as you can. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. There Love we that. are. I'm just going to give this a quick dry and then we'll go back to the page. 
Look at that. And of course, we want to thank everybody from the design team that has sent me. I have samples, the best it? design team. I've already put it on Facebook how much I love them. Yeah. They've been so busy. And after every launch, yeah, yeah. After, after every single launch, um, we run a thing between. So if you open an album on Emma's Happy Place yeah. Arts and Crafts and you put your makes in there, and then we'll pick a guest design team member for the, the next launch. And it's, it's been fabulous, it especially is. because most people who I end up talking to, they become friends. Yeah, it is oh. gorgeous. I just wanted to show this one by Claire. Uh, Claire, and oh, you can Claire's see. New. I love this one because Time Will Hail is just such a gorgeous sentiment as well. It's gorgeous. Yes, Claire is just a new design team member and she's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. She was ever so nice as well. I did meet her one weekend on a workshop and we kind of became Facebook friends. Yeah. And then from there, she applied for the design team and it was just... But that's the beauty instant. as well of, of companies like you and you being able to see the artwork that actually a customer that spies it, then mm -hmm. sees it, then sends it to you, yeah. then becomes part of the, of the yeah. um, it's, design team. I am very active on Facebook and I do talk to, if so if there's any questions or anything, I need to know anything, do message us. Definitely. I'm nearly always around somewhere. <laughs> the dies. The dies, the dies. So this one here yeah. is this one and I've already cut it out, but I've cut off this one, the little yeah. thingy bits, because if you don't want them on, you can't yeah. just cut it out and then paper piece back mm -hmm. in, yeah. the colours and things. Um, these ones as well. Yeah, right. Oh. And then we do have the what? This was a dragonfly when I first drew it, but when the die came back, it looks more like an angel. Oh, it does. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. And them just a shadow of angels or fairies behind. If you do your, if you like to do your nighttime living here type thing, Absolutely. the background. Yeah, I love that. that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's that. really. I, I just. You know, I have to say that when your artwork makes puts a massive smile on my face, and I think the fact that it's called Mindfulness Girls is is such a good. I think it's a perfect name because it's that That's, joy, that inner joy. I wanted to get across how much I enjoy doing it. Um, most. Right, nearly everything that's here is things I've been doing for years in my art journals and things. Yeah. Um, I go through, I keep all the art journals I've ever used and I go back through and I pick out elements and then I build from there. Um, I mean, I doodle on the train and anything. Now, is that, have you die cut those wings with the Dolly Dimples card? Yes, all this is used in the Dolly Dimples card. The mixed card. media. Yep, mixed media card. It's fabulous. It takes. Because I was looking so at much. how beautiful the uh, colour. It does. That's what I was just watercolouring on. Yeah. Oh, look, are they? They watercolouring on. It's I, and you're getting thirty sheets at four nine ninety nine. Is that all? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That was wasn't. I thought it was more yeah. than that. And it's a white, <laughs> but it's it's. Can I say it? It's not a. It's it's a. A beautiful white, it's a soft white, it's not yeah. a, a, you know, like bright white. super bright. So for your, yeah, you can see that the details are no, there. It is. It's less scary to use that than it is a bright white sheet of card, because yeah. it's not, it, it doesn't feel as, I want to say clean, but that's not what. No, it's, it feels more Natural. friendly, it feels more warm. Yes. It has got yes, that warmth that's the one. from it. Yeah, a friendly card, yeah. Yes, so these yeah. wings or off the stamps and all I've yeah. done is I stamp them, I've flooded it with watercolour and then added darker yeah. into the ends so it's bled and all I'm going to do is, this is another thing of mine, I always okay. edge around everything, I haven't around there and it's yeah. driving us crazy, I'll have to go back in later. But I get that because sometimes it, do you get into the habit of having the what I call the closure technique. Yes. That kind of... It builds, it brings it builds, everything out as you go. Exactly. So it you look, feels like you're looking into it rather than flat. Yeah. So that is them. I've got my die cuts. I'm, I'm really, really prepared. I've even put sticky on the back that I'm not going to be able to get off. Ah, oh, there. 
So these ones here are these two, and I made them so they can be hanging, or they can go up so they can be like little flowers, or they can be hanging, or there's a card somewhere, and I've actually used them coming out of the wings flower that I've made. Oh, uh, let's... Uh... I made a flower with wings. Flower. And then I use them as the flower middle bits. Okay. It's somewhere there. Somewhere there. Yeah, it's somewhere yeah we'll there. I'll find it. So maybe There's tomorrow so morning, but <laughs> so I will find it. Wings, a flower with wings, a flower with wings. Oh, I, no, uh, that's, no, no, it's a flower. I'll oh, find it. Oh, it's all right. I'll yeah, find right. It. I did put a picture on Facebook, so. And yeah, we'll find it. I'll find it for next time. But there can be the middle of your flowers as well. Oh, yeah. I can't get that off. I knew I shouldn't have done it. Okay. That ah, it. Got it. I've even done on the back of that flower as well. See? Being organised is not always good. So there, I'm going to use the darker flower as well without the... We have had an email from Claire and she's just, so, you know, from your design team yes. and she's like, she's Hi, she's just so happy that we showed her samples oh, and Claire's your work lovely. is beautiful. I've, I'll message everybody after the show, but I did put up on Facebook how lucky I, I am lucky. And not only are they lucky a fab you, design but... team, they are the bestest of friends really. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's. I talk that's to most beautiful. of them every day. Yeah. Well, do, do you do you find that um, because crafting is such a, it can be a, you know it can be something that you do on your own, but it can be something that you do as a community, and it kind of it could be an online mm. community. So it's good to have that that kind of crafting oh, community. Oh, definitely, definitely. I totally agree. I'm, I'm going to use glue because I don't know okay. what I've done with the other thing. Yeah. And all I want to do is. These wings here, you can have them yeah. coming off yeah. like that. Yeah. They feel a little less yeah. scary or Absolutely. less intimidating. Mm -hmm. But obviously, if they were glittery, you could have them coming up like that, like angel wings or uh, the scary one I did. Yeah, the, 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 the one. So yeah. I'll, I'll find her. All I want to do is I'll put glue on all three and then I can put them all down together. Yeah. So okay. I'm going to have, have it. Yeah. that one there. And then, and then that's the, that's that gorgeous. There. Thank you, Emma, for showing that because that, of course, is using the stamps, the dies, the pay, the card that comes in the one day special, including, of course, the stencils. All of that is part of this amazing uh, one day special. Why did we all come in when the producer, the director, myself came through it? Um, we kind of were you know just smiling because this is what this artwork does it's full of joy and you put them with your favorite colors it's full of elements different techniques you can do you have got dies you have got stamps you have got stencils you have got paper and card let's have a look at exactly what we are ha having here now because they are beautiful look at these words look at look at this one says give yourself a break do you know, do what you love. Things about start, move, new, soar, balance, time will heal, travel the world, enjoy, courage, believe in yourself, balance, uh, give it your everything. It's just that mindfulness words, that aspirational words, I care. You know, those are the dyes that you are getting in the one day special. Those beautiful water droplets, those hearts on a string, those intertwined hearts, those beautiful stars and hearts. Take time, relax, breathe. That I need to remember that. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Here we have got Merry Christmas as well. We have got those gorgeous scrolls, the banners, the beautiful petals. You are getting the stencils as well. Those kind of beautiful open free flowing hearts we are getting the bold beautiful flowers and there's kind of is it pebbles is it bubbles is it kind of a, you know texture for your backgrounds but that's not all you are getting paper and card and this um, you are getting 13 of the paper so let me put the paper so I'm gonna start here because we haven't seen these ones uh, you can see those beautiful papers 
Oh, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Now, it's printed on this paper that is, again, it's a kind of off-white, I would say, more of an ivory tone. So it means, that, and it's very porous within, uh, and then you have got the ink that is a little bit more, more uh, satin over the top, but it still is matte, so you can still stamp and get in those perfect results. You have got kind of wintry inspired, I wouldn't say Christmas, but more wintry inspired papers. And then, of course, then we are going, I'm gonna jump ahead, because we have seen the rest previously, so I don't want to take too much time from the demonstration while Emma gets uh, ready. You have got the card, which is, of course, we are getting eight sheets, printed two in color, and uh, the rest in monochrome. So you can bring in your dye base inks, your stencils, your maybe bring in your uh, oxides, and of course, the black will show a beautiful contrast things that you can create I like I think she's my favorite I think she's yeah I think that this could be me on a night out <laughs> oh, I mean that would be you know that I, is Julia McNeil from GMC ah, designs yeah yeah that is gorgeous look at that as well so the same is it is it the same one the same girl yeah, same girl yeah totally so, different so, I, and I had to ask, didn't yeah. I? Because um, that shows you that the same stamp gives a completely different personality by the way that you color it. Now, I want there's a sample I want to show as well, and uh, because I love this because it's um, just using the stencil, texture paste with a gr uh, kind of um, yeah. glitter or gritty in there, and then that's a, the two dies in yeah, the set. Two dies and one stencil. That's all on that. And it's beautiful, isn't it? Now the same stencil. Yep. Look at that. Totally different. I love it. I love to see how many different things that can be done with it. Now, this is by Denise. Look, I need to show you another. I'm, I like her as well. Look at that. Yes, that's Julia again. Her colouring is just... I just love, love that. She's just too clever. Well, <laughs> well like you're saying, you have got a phenomenal uh, design team. Uh -huh. And also, I want to show the angel, because you have got a stamp that is the halo. Yes, I've included a stamp with the halo, because I'm not doing a Christmas range. Um, I don't buy full Christmas ranges myself. I buy what I need, and that's it. And... Yeah, uh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Uh, view. Now, I, I need to tell you that nearly 40% uh, of the stock has already gone. And that's the stock that uh, should last uh, 24 hours because, of course, this is the one day special launch at 6 p.m. You know, today. And it should last until 6 p.m. tomorrow now. But uh, as, as I said, approaching 40% of the stock, this 24 hour stock has already gone. 821 is the item number. And remember, you have got a flexi buy option to spread the cost in three payments of 29 pounds and 96 pence and you could get all of that today now of course if you're a freedom member you don't have to pay p on p either now if you want to go the stamps on their own you can you're getting 69 stamps in total you are saving five pounds uh, 49 pounds and 95 pence is the price however if you're a freedom member you save 9.99 uh, 44 pounds and 96 pence is the price now a quarter of the stock of the stamps on their own has already gone 776-755 is the item number then we have got a textured gel from i believe pretty great G <laughs> pretty gets gritty. Uh, pretty out there acrylic texture gel collection. We, of course, um, Emma was using that shocking shouty pants. Oh, I like that. Uh, 29 pounds and 95 pence is the price, uh, saving five pounds for all five of them. Boss, the best, Neonomi, and outrageously gorgeous. <laughs> Love the names. Uh, the Ness named the, all the colours after different design team members. Ah. So Debesque is obviously Debbie or Deborah. Yeah. Um, there's another one called K-pop, and that's after a girl called Kelly. Ah. I and see. It's, it's good, isn't it? Georgia. Fabulous. Oh, so go, uh, yeah, the Georgia. So it must be Georgia or something like something that. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So I finished that one off. All I did to finish it off was I added some white highlights. And right. that was it. I added Take Time and then me two little angels. Fabulous. And I love it. It's gorgeous. I'm ready. All right, ready. I'm ready again. Really? It's never been known. So I'm going to use this. I love this paper and I love it just oh, as it is. Oh, I love that. I'm going to use that to hold it down because I've had it turned over. Gorgeous. Uh, all, I'm 
So we have had another email. This one from yeah. Lynette, Lynette Jasper from oh. Pretty Grace gets you great here. And she is uh, loving the whole collection. And she's saying, uh, what is? Oh, she says that she has got a little cr uh, crush on your crafty style. Oh, that's just cool, you She's just cool. brilliant. Love her new hair. So, and she oh, says cool. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I did have sex I have hot stuff on that picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm going to do is add just a couple of hearts. So even my hearts are a little bit different. I like oh, oh. just just to add a little bit of something. I'm just using the tattered rose. I also use the tattered rose okay. as a skin colour for the girls as well. Oh, I see. If you haven't got anything else, it matches up really well. Okay. Well, there we are. That. I just wanted a little bit something and okay. what I have done is I have Miri card. It's an ongoing joke that they're going to get me to use Miri card. So I have. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what? I don't use it. I didn't really, I'm not a big fan of Miri card, but they look fabulous on here. It's a funny thing, mirror card, mm -hmm. it took me ages to get into it, yeah. and I use it very sparingly, but I always have to have it, because I know that to add that light or, sh you know, kind of... See, I've never used it until yeah. this line, and it was a joke, it was on a Facebook Live and it was a joke, Yeah. and someone said they were going to send us some, because I didn't have any, and then I found some yeah. in a kit of other things, and I thought, I'm going to use it. So, I stamped out the wings okay onto the mirror and then i cut them out okay. and i used a stays on i haven't brought it with us yeah but the versifying will work it just takes longer to yeah dry. it does take a long time um, to dry, but it... and then what i did as well i got all my bits ready okay so i've stamped her out and colored her face and things i've stamped the um die cut the flower out in the mirror i have my wings and then in the dies as well there's loads of little stars I think it's five different dies which are little stars. And I've cut them out in the mirror as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, That's I definitely good. would recommend on a uh, stays on or archival for yep. um Americana. Well I didn't think of that, you see, at first. <laughs> and I, I was waiting for ages yeah. for it to dry. And I just I gave up on the finish and I just thought stays on. No, no, you Come use on. it, yes. Yeah. 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 I just say it because I did the, the other day the <laughs> show with the inks and I was thinking, oh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a, sometimes like when you mention it that you stamp it on originally yeah. on a stays on, I thought, yes. Right, I've, where did I put my girl stamp before? Okay. I've, I've, what are you looking for? That one. <laughs> yeah, that one there. Okay. See, I'm already unorganized. Well, you are, a pro, uh, you know, crafted that, ex excited yeah. and enjoying. <laughs> Very excited. Oh. I can't believe I was this organised for even the first demo. Yeah. The boss will be pleased. I got one. Oh, she rings every time she says, how, how do you even organise your life? Yeah. <laughs> But sometimes, do you find, like, I'm a very organised at certain things uh -huh. and incredibly untidy and unorganised in others? No, I'm just unorganised. It's complete chaos my whole life. <laughs> I'm using this paper here. This paper was a collage. Um, I don't even remember what I did to it, but it's just turned out. And I'm going to use the ribbon. Yeah. There's, like, a lace on it. I'm going to use it for along the bottom of my dress. And all I'm going to do, because it is super fast and super easy, I'm just going to cut a dress out of the paper. And it looks like she's got the best dress in the world on. I love that. I love that paper. I see Leonie in a dress like this. Yes, definitely. <laughs> that, and that's what, those are the colours. A little bit maybe brighter yellow uh, that she would go for it as well. Yeah. yeah. So that is yeah. that quick. So basically I use watercolour, yellow yeah. on a hay, a yellow ochre and... Okay. My skin colour, beige colour, mm -hmm. and super easy, super fast. Yeah. Easy is the best bit, isn't it? It doesn't. I didn't want it to blow everybody's mind. Yeah. And be stuck. I love it. Unless it's in a good way. <laughs> well, uh. That is that. Like that. And then edge it all the way around. Oh, it's just moved. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love that. that. And then I've cut our wings ah. out. 
super fast. I'm going to colour these in as well. Yeah. These match the dies. Um, I'm Love just that. going to colour it in a little bit with the blue, I think, for the teardrop shapes. Just a hint of colour. Yeah, just so they're not left plain because you might like them plain. I just don't do plain very well. Yeah. And then just, I'm not even going to do the full thing, just a tiny, tiny little bit. Just so it's a hint of a tint, just like these flowers, uh, the hearts here. And then, just going to glue her in. So again, I'll just put the glue right down ah, there, okay. and then it doesn't matter where on the wings I put them because they're going to stick. Yeah, I love that. And then we'll have yeah. them coming up this time. Uh, try not to get glue on your mirror card because this is maybe another reason I don't use it. Get smudges on. And there's that. Mm -hmm. And then I've got my mirror card flower. Ah, oh, I love that flower. This flower, um, do you know when you draw something? Yes. 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 Yeah. That well, I mean, I know when that. I draw because. I cannot draw, but you know, there are moments you when you like I've it. You've got, got some going, of yes. your dyes. Yeah, I can't. Like, I try. My father has tried many times to teach me you how can. to do Anybody well. can draw. Well, yes, anybody can draw. The question is if they can draw well. Thing is, <laughs> yeah, I can't. <laughs> it doesn't matter because any art is art. If you draw a stick man, it can be art. Yeah. So, and I'm just going to use the stars. <laughs> I have to say, I need to tell you the story that I have got in my ear because it's my producer said only the people who can draw like Emma, the only the people who can come up with <laughs> amazing kind of projects like Emma will say everybody can draw. But they uh, can, everybody can. I mean, my Daniel, my oldest child, says he can't draw, and I have a yeah. picture of him from from nursery, yeah. and he drew the best sunflowers, <sighs> honestly, and he was little, little, little. Yeah. But all I want to do is if you've got your glittery pens and things, add some in. Highlights down the dress. Them. Just all adds a little bit of something. Try not to get glue on your mirror card because it leaves a smudge. Yeah. But I'm just not very tidy. And I think well, if, if, if you do pretty glue, would you do the, uh, if it's one, it's a mistake. If it's two, you are clumsy. But if you are three, it's intentional. Um, uh, you could put on it. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's like I would, I would put more glue on it just to make sure that you, people would That's think a that it's See, it doesn't really bother me too much. Yeah. It's in my journal, it's mine. Yeah. It, and, and the thing is, it's, it's the whole experience, the whole yeah, it's joy learning, of doing it. Yeah. See, next time I won't get it on. This stamp here says, do what you love. And I've left them in banner shapes as well, so you can cut tails on the end yeah. or whatever you like and there just in the top do what okay. you love I think everybody should <sighs> yeah definitely definitely I always tell the boys if it makes you happy yeah within reason <laughs> <laughs> indeed go for it of course and then again yes yeah, she's got wings and she's flying on here if you don't want it to fly add them just a little <sighs> bit grey to the bottom just in a normal pencil yeah whatever will ground her no problem and on here you can add as much glitter, you can paper pieces in again, you can doodle in the background, do what you want. That is but that beautiful. Is. Thank you, Emma, so much for that. Uh, now, I just, I have to show you again this sample because I think the, here what you have done, Emma, is showcase the beauty and the versatility and the sheer amount of different elements that the One Day Special has got. Now, imagine to get dyes that, you know, handwriting dyes, relax. How powerful it is that? That could be for your art journal, for something that you put into your home decor. Think about painting. You are getting the dyes. You are getting stencils. You are getting stamps that you can cut around it. For instance, those flowers, 
that is the stencil and then fussy cut and my husband fussy cut them this is dies this is a stamps cut around it and I love that time will heal and indeed it does there is so many elements including that stencil that you can put it through your die cutting machine and getting that re relief over it. maybe this is actually a metal sheet imagine that imagine using the dies the hard dies to create the focal point then those dies in here as well they, of course the you know the dragon flies in there then you have got in here as well those gorgeous elements those gorgeous borders those gorgeous uh, kind of stencil of the flower that you can put texture paste highlighting making those kind of textures come into life I love the way that you can use the, the stamps to create kind of those um, how you call it ruffles into the dresses you have got in here hearts you have got beautiful banners you have got elements to create a completely a simple yet a striking beautiful uh, page uh, from an art journal maybe you want to just experiment with color experiment with texture experiment with beautiful shapes and this is what the one day special does is the ability to do something like this is the ability to take the girls the mindfulness girls and bring them into kind of uh, I think there is some exercises that they kind of thinking think about yourself think about uh, you know those things that forgive yourself when you think about these things and they, they do say that helps I don't know I mean as I like our journaling for focusing on those positive uplifting words and I think this collection delivers that that belief in yourself the more that you stamp it the more that you read it the more that I believe Believe that you, you know, feels. I don't know. It's just kind of working through those words. It's kind of a blessing. You kind of uh, travel the world as well. Now we may not be able to travel physically, but we can travel with our imagination. And imagination is what also this one day special brings here. The exploring. This is the wings creating like a pearl oyster, and with the pearl in the center, that kind of hidden gem in here. Eight two one three seven six is the item number. Eighty nine pounds on eighty nine pence is the price, saving forty one pounds you have got also a flexi buy option which means that you can spread the cost into three interest free payments of 29 pounds and 96 pence now that 41 pound 41 save it pound saving is on top of the saving that you are getting for instance if you go for the um the stamps on their own if you are a freedom member you have got a nine pounds 99 saving so now that look at that so if you just went for that if you're not a freedom member you have got a five pound saving however if you are a freedom member you have got a nine pounds 99 pence of saving that is carried forward to the bigger bundle and therefore you have got an additional saving on top of that saving and that of course I need to remind you to check out your baskets we are exceptionally busy over 40% of the stock now has gone so please do check out those baskets 8021376 is the item number and with that are you ready I am I'm just messing Marvelous. about now I've chopped and changed my mind about five times yeah but I am ready okay right, so I've got the butterfly type wings and I'm just going to stamp them but I'm going to use the words on the card um, yes, you can cut all the words out separate, and I mean a lot of these um, things is things I say really. So you've got happy birthday in there, brave, be strong. You were stronger than you know. Never grow up. It's a oh, trap. Well, that definitely <laughs> applies to me. So what I'm going to do is because actually I need to turn that wing the right way around. This is the only thing with the wings you, in, in the words. You need to get them the right way around. Yeah, of course. Oh, well, annoy you forever yeah. if your words are wonky. We had had a question, uh, is those words, could you use them, I'm trying to look for a sample, could you use them on the strips and then using them like a border, a frame? Yes, I don't see why not, yes, or if you've got a um, square die or whatever, just cut them out and then you've yeah. got the middle bit in. Yeah? Do what you lovely. want. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to have to cut these out because for some reason, yeah. I did the wings yellow for this demo. It was very late though. Okay. Um, it doesn't take too long to cut them out, they're really easy. You can cut these out of vellum, you can cut them out of, I've cut them out of netting. Yeah. Um, cut it out of hessian, also the dyes do cut through the hessian and things like that. Right. And fabric. And it's with um, double sided tape on the back, I did it. Wow. So, 
I have got a metal shim in my dye machine. Do you know yeah. metal on so, the yeah. metal, metal shim? Yeah. But they do cut through so many things. And I have to say, also for uh, funky pieces. Sorry, I just kind of <laughs> look at that. Andrew and Marcia, um, the guest DT members, and Andrew has a thing for shoes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what he said. It's a mobile phone stand. Ah, I yes. see. Yes. It's, he's very creative with his shoes. He's put um, rice paper and things on his shoes. I mean, you could put these on the rice paper, stamp them on the rice paper, then use them on there. Ah, of course. What I've done here is I've put the um, Pretty Get Squitty Gels over... I can't... This one here with the maths equations that make no sense to yeah. anybody. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and let them wait. dry, yeah. and then I'm going to die cut through that. Yeah. If me, yeah Look, I well, I, I think of many, for many of us, uh, maths don't make much sense. Um, oh, no, this really won't make any yeah. sense. This is Emma's maths. Yeah. By the way, we have got just uh, about nine minutes left. Oh, loads of time. I just need to do this yeah. and then we'll put it together. Okay. Loads of time. Well, that is how I cut out. Bah, cut that Thanks. just right, didn't it? The size of the card. I love that. <laughs> the hearts as well, the hearts. Do you know how you, so, like, sometimes you get a heart and then they're made smaller with the computer? Yes. These hearts are all drawn different. So oh, not, I see. They're not perfect, they're all organic. So. Yeah, they are, they are, they are, you have a hand drawn every single yes, one of them. Yes, every element is hand drawn. So even the writing on the dies is mine. I couldn't decide which paper to use, so I'm going to go with the mask because yes, that's what's I was going to say because that's yes, and I've got the writing. Yeah. So I'm going to build it up. Um, so can I use the Hessian? I love that. I'm not. Mm, yeah. I am allowed. Oh, look at that! If there was. Now, that could be, uh, all right, so we are working out that we need an uh, algorithm for uh, how to be an adult. That uh, might be what it is. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> oh, and the other one is true love. True love. How to find true love. What's the meaning of life? Yeah. Do you know, do you know what it is? If we get somebody that's clever, yeah. in, and this, I have actually made sense of this, then. Yeah, exactly. I could be a genius and well, not even know it. Yeah, I know, or it could be just how to, um, <laughs> just how to not put do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop homeschooling your child. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what they said. I just like no. Um. <laughs> oh, well, obviously, when, the, when lockdown was on, things like I was homeschooling Christopher. He's only yeah. eleven. And every time I did something, he was going, do you really not know how to do that? <laughs> He's 11, and I'm, I've never been made to feel so yeah. thick. <laughs> yeah. They have changed the way they do math, so. It's, it's, well, that's what I was talking because uh -huh. uh, with my father, my sister is a research scientist. She's a uh, physicist. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, top, you know, and, that, and so is her husband. And anyway, so, <laughs> can I, I, I'm going to say what they said. You know what they said in my ear, the director, to be precise. <laughs> oh, that's the successful child. <laughs> You know, my I've sister. I've got three successful ones over me, so you're fine. All <laughs> uh, right. No, but my sister. So then my father um, loves maths as well. So they were trying to talk about something complicated about maths. And I was thinking, well, we were taught this. And then my father had been taught a completely different method. Mm -hmm. So we were getting a slightly weird results, which was quite random. Yeah. yeah. So No, I've got um, yeah. two sisters yeah two little sisters and a big brother and two little sisters are teachers big brothers are policemen and i did hairdressing oh well the thing is i i said i mean it's like my sister is a research scientist that literally goes and works with the nasa and this uh, european wow. space agency and things like that yes that well and um, but i have the coolest job i still think that i have I think got you because have, yeah. I think that I bring more joy to people. Oh, yes. Well, not, not, not me personally, crafting that. <laughs> so, no, know. I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I have always. Um, no, I'm very proud of my sister. Extraordinarily proud of the same. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah, so I'm very proud of mine as well. Yeah. I mean, one's 12 years younger than us, so. Right, uh, there we have. Um, I love. I will just be two seconds, just drying yeah. out here. Well, you do that. I'm going to just quickly remind everybody to check out their baskets because the one day special is extraordinary. It's a joy. It's making us all giddy. It's, it, it is. It really has made my producer, my director, myself, the floor manager, all of us, and of course you, Emma, yes. uh, giddy because it's just like so, it's so uplifting. Uplift, uplifting. Uh, that's the word that I was looking for. Now, that is what it is. It's joyous. It's fresh. It's inspirational. It's mindful because, of course, it's about the mindful girl, mindfulness girls. You are getting the complete collection in the one day special with a 41 panel set. And this is what you can get. Uh, you, the, some of the samples that you, the design team have made, and this is some of the results you could we, could be doing, uh, could be achieving. This is beautiful. I I love that heart with the the neon paint from Pirity Gates Gritty through the stencils. Yeah, it all works, doesn't it? And do you find when you are creating your artwork pieces that being, you know, just Random and bringing all the elements together. Um, it's, um, there's me, Pretty Gets Gritty Lynette, Charmaine Barrett Dolly yeah. Dimples, Bev yes. from Be Crafty, yeah. Julia GMC Design, um, I hope I haven't missed anybody. Lou Sims, yeah. of course. Of course, Lou. And all of us use each other's things and we talk every yeah. day in a yeah. group chat and we've got nicknames. And I find it better having somebody having me back like that than Absolutely. doing it alone yeah. it is on the support and they tell you the truth yeah i just love i love the fact that your collections have got that kind of freshness that yeah. that 